Good morning, everybody, and welcome to a beautiful Sunday morning where I... My name Cameron. My name Cameron. My name Cameron. I play Chibi Robo. Game about small robot. Robo. Chibi. Small. And that's the game. This is one of my favorite games from my childhood. At least that's what my small brain inside of my skull seems to tell me as I remember. I just kind of remember being in the living room, playing with my brother, um, my parents' house, and just really, really enjoying this game in particular. Spending many, many hours attempting to do like, like a very 100% type thing to it. Trying to get all the uh, different like achievements and things that you can grab in the game. Not that there really were like achievements at the time, but like collectibles and whatnot. Such a different world that we live in now. It's a wonderful morning for me. I've got my coffee that I'm going to spruce myself up with. It's been French pressed this morning, but it's just like regular grounds that I had laying around. I just like to do this pour thing because it looks cool and it makes me feel like I'm special. So I did my pour. <laughs> What's in your cup? Mine's coffee and it's probably still too hot to drink, isn't it? It's just, it's just cool enough to drink. It's just cool enough to drink. So let's get right into it. Chibi Robo, the game about a small robot. I was actually playing some GameCube's games yesterday with my buddy Lycos Lore. I went over to his house, we recorded a couple of things, which I won't mention until because uh, they're gonna come out eventually. I actually fixed his GameCube. Uh, something that I think I'll probably eventually do to mine is there's a little laser on the inside that reads discs. And if your disc can't be read, it probably means your laser's not strong enough. So there's a little something on the inside that you can turn to try to fix that up. We start our story on the birthday of Jenny, a young little girl with red hair who likes to wear this frog thing on her head. Here you go, I got you this hat. It's a special present from me, says mother to Jenny. Jenny says nothing and just kind of wriggles in response, staring at her mother in thankfulness. Stares at the camera, says Jenny, and Jenny responds with... I can't do it! Jenny, what's the matter? Jenny shakes her head, and the hat falls down to the ground, but the big rabbit frog, consuming her head, continues to sit around that small developing skull of hers. Jenny, you're eight now. You can't run around in a frog costume all day. You need a real hat, says mother to Jenny. <laughs> says Jenny to her mother, attempting to speak like a frog. Oh, Jenny! Bow, bow, woof, woof, ralph, ralph, says the dog, who's now sitting on the floor. Oh, I got a present for her, too, do you tell? Got a present for you, too? I hope the dog brings in something that's not a rat. I'm way too used to my cats at my parents' house bringing in just the cats. A bone? For the, for the daughter? Woof! Oh, good dog! How'd you wrap it? No, seriously, though, dog, how did you wrap that? Oh, how did you wrap that? Or maybe dad is just, like playing it chill, like, I wrapped it. I wrapped the bone. But I'm making my daughter think it was the dog that wrapped the bone. I turned my camera a little bit, because I'm looking at a different screen over here. Because, uh, for some reason, the GameCube likes to output its stuff only to the screen, not to that one. That's the normal screen. This screen is the one that the GameCube likes. So we do what the GameCube likes, because we don't want to make the GameCube feel uncomfortable. If the GameCube's uncomfortable, it won't read the disc. And if we can't read the disc, we can't play the game. If we can't play the game, we can't do the stream. If we can't do the stream, the endorphins don't go to my brain. So we're trying to keep high energy around here. All right, now it's my turn, says Daddy to the others. You're just gonna love my gift, Jenny. Is how I assume Father would speak because of his, like, wriggling that he does as he, like, does his thing. Everybody's very animated in this game, which I like. Yeah, right. Oh, yo, Seeds of Doubt? What is this thing? I know what it is. I've played this game before. It's Chibi Robo in a bucket or a can. Kind of looks like a can. What is that? You know we can't afford... <laughs> but Jenny said she wanted one. Jenny said she wanted a small little maid that I help out with all the housework. Yeah, as if she knows. Maybe... Does she actually do chores? Jenny, do you do chores? Do you actually contribute to this household? I also love, too, not that I can, like, point at the screen or anything, but, like, when you get the Chibi Robo, there's, like, doors around the house that the Chibi can go into. Like, there must have been a lot of prep work. Because in the top right corner of the screen, so, like, right there, wait, wait, you can see it. See that little thing that's blinking in the corner? It's literally blinking. There are eyes that are blinking. Hello, Harry. Look at that thing that's blinking in the corner. That's a Chibi door. It's a door for the Chibi Robo. A small little robot that goes into little interstices in your wall and then, like, gets into your 
literally gets into your hot dogs and burgers. Like, I, I guess rust isn't her problem. Rivet says the daughter, Oh, honey, you're not fooling anyone. You only wanted one for yourself. Mother says to father. Father says, no, no, calm down, calm down. Well, we'll talk about this later, later. There are marital problems at play here, but we can't see it just yet. But we're a small robot that are getting that, that's getting ourselves involved with the smallest little interstices of human life, such as marital problems. So we're gonna delve into that. Trust me, it's a marathon play. I'm gonna be playing this game all day, probably until I. I my goal is either to beat the final boss today, and depending on how long that takes, then to maybe get all the achievements and stuff, or collectibles, maybe. I remember quite a bit of this from my childhood, but not all of it. So we'll just see how far it takes us. <laughs> what do you think, Jenny? You love it, right? Do you love it? <laughs> Ribbit? <laughs> yeah, I love it, Dad. <laughs> Ruff, I like it too! Says the dog, maybe? I don't know. Who really knows at this point? Oh! This is my Cheebs. This is the Robo. This is the Cheebs and the Robos. Um. Mm. Get ready, Chibi Robo. It's almost showtime. That's Telly, because it's a floating television, appropriately named. Oh, what do you think? Should I flip the switch? Is there a switch on that thing? Because it kind of looks like a bucket. Do you have switches on buckets? I don't know. Let's do it. Ruff! Ruff says the dog. All right, well, let's get ready to... Robo! Where was the switch? Did you actually press a switch somewhere? I didn't see a switch. Why are you drinking champagne at noon? It's not even noon. It's 10.30 in the morning. Why are you drinking champagne already? Clearly there are more problems at play here. Like a steaming bucket of robot? We have to prepare for this. It's the grand entrance. Yeah, Chibi Robo. It's a small robot. That's appropriately named. <laughs> I'm so easily enthralled. <laughs> Mother looks at father like, oh, Why did I marry this man? I can't believe I've gotten this point. Eight years with this child. Twelve, fifteen years with this man. <sighs> anyway. Hello, hello. I'm a television that's floating. <laughs> well, hello there. <laughs> it talks. Ribbit, ribbit. Also, like, look at, look at, look at all the coins that are floating on the couch. Like, spare change? Much? <laughs> Rarf! I'm a dog. Still, aptly named. We're here to make you happy. I'm Telly, and this is Chibi Robo, my friend, who's a small robot appropriately named. Wow, amazing. I've never seen anything more amazing in my life. Not like I'm already familiar with the robot technologies. Secrets for later. Ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. And of course, the dog says, Woof. Woof, woof, woof. As dogs often do. <laughs> oh, oh uh, is this a birthday party? I'm sentient enough to realize that this is definitely an important event that we just crashed. <laughs> well, my little television thing, you got that right. It's a birthday party, all right. Did you did you notice by using your machine learning and computer vision technology to realize there's a birthday cake on the table? Did, did, is that what you did? Was it the machines? The machines have learned? Chibi Robo, um, oh my god. We've come to the party empty handed. What does that mean? How would you know? How would we know? Honestly, they expect us to bring presents and not tell us that there was a birthday party ahead of time? Like, oh, well, screw us then, I guess. How would we know? We need to find a present for Jenny and Fast! And, and what did you have in mind? How about that entire chicken that's behind you? <laughs> oh, -ho! how about the flower? It's tutorial time! How about the flower, Chibi Robo? <laughs> nah, flowers are bad. Little girls don't like flowers. <laughs> really? Are you sure about that? Like, it's a pretty good gift, I think. I mean, a little thorny, but maybe it might hurt the... <laughs> Honestly, I think it's the perfect gift for Jenny. Like, it's a, it's a flower and she's a girl. Therefore, with my little so my little superficial mind and machine learning technology, I think girl equals flower, flower equals girl, feminine. Let's give it to her. How about, what do you, what do you think, Chibi Robo? I really, I don't want to, I don't want to give her the flower. I'd rather give her that entire rotisserie chicken. She looks like she's malnourished and starving. 
Oh, you're just gonna keep, gonna keep pushing, huh? All right, fine. Well, in that case, yes. I think this is the appropriate thing to give to the little girl. Well, I guess I'll leave the rest to you, Chief Robo. You know what to do, right? You're such a smart robot, you are. Yes, you are, smart robot. Well, I'm going to make my way on top of the plate and on top of this vase, climb my way up. <laughs> Whoa, oh my god! It just made its way to across the table, onto the plates, and up onto the vase. I bet it's gonna grab that flower. Hold your horses there, Father Rooney. Jenny, go to load of this robot! It does things! Ribbit, Dad. Ribbit. It's really cool, Dad. It's really cool, 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 cool. Can't say anything more than cool. I'll pick it up with my button. Rolls. It's a rolls. Bumpo. Hot! Diggity! Dog! That's awesome! And then we fade to white as everyone drops dead. And that's the end of the game. Thank you, everybody, so much for coming to the show. It's been an absolute pleasure. That's that's it for this morning, everybody. That's that's all the Chibi Robo we've got. <laughs> I'm just kidding! There's so much more to be found. Wow. Mother says as she puts her head in her hands, wondering yet again why she is in this marriage. Excellent! Very good job, Chibi Robo! You're so good, Chibi Robo! You are the best Chibi Robo in the world! Oh my goodness! Uh, Chibi! Chibi Robo! Chibi Robo! Chibi! Chibi! Chibi Robo! Do I have the name right? Is it Chibi Robo? Mr. Robo? Or do you just, we just call you Chibi? You should try using Chibi Copter! It comes standard around Chibi Robo models! All you have to do is equip it! Really? You can't fly upwards, but... You sure as, it, sure as hell can, like, prevent yourself from falling straight to the ground and dying, which is what would happen if you don't use the Chibi Copter. Listen to this! You can use it to slowly fall from high places. That way, you won't hurt yourself, which is exactly what I said before, but you're, you're too smart. Too smart, robot. I'm going to equip the Chibi Copter. Press X to open the equip screen. Tilt joystick left or right to select the Chibi Copter. Then press AH to equip it. Oh, oh, and if you hold down, ah, you'll hover horizontally for a short time. So, get used to that. It's handy when you want to fly over small gaps or drop from high places. And hey, in case you, I haven't already gotten your attention, listen up, Chibi Robo. Use the Chibi Copter. Okay. I really don't want you to have to take a nasty fall on it, because if you take a nasty fall, I'm the one who's liable. When you want to put the chibi copter away, just press buh. What's a buh? Is that the B button? I want to get on top of the soda cop. Nope, can't get on top of the soda cop. Nope, just kidding. Hello, ma'am. Can I tell you about our Lord and Savior, Robo Christ? Robo Christ? Oh, I got to put my copter away. So let me tell you about my friend, Robo Christ. Oh, really? I can't believe it's been all of our move on like that. Uh, excuse me. I had something to tell you about um, Robo Christ. If you had some, had some money. No? Okay. Uh, how about you, little girl? Do you say anything other than croak, ribbit, and or eh? Which is, I, I've heard frogs make that sound before. Ribbit? She says in an inquisitory manner. Um, Chibi Robo, can you please stop talking to the frog girl? We've got plot to get to. Things much more relevant than this. Give the rose to Jenny! Oh, just kidding. I was reminding you about going towards the plot. And that's a very cool looking cake, to be perfectly honest. I'd love to have a cake like that. Here, a rose for you. I give you a rose. Rose. I am Chibi and Robo. I give you a rose. She blushes. <laughs> Rivet times three. That means I'm excited. Really? Oh, I've got 20 happy points. Oh, they're little flying hearts. But we knew that. That's what happy points are. And she gave me money. Maybe I'll have enough money to pay off this house's entire mortgage. That's a lot of money down the line. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> earning happy points in Maryland by making people happy. Of course, earning lots of happy points will raise your Chibi Robo ranking. <laughs> Let's do our best to get you into first place. Shall we? Is there a ranking? Are there other Chibi Robes in the world? Well, not only we've handed out a present, it's time for Jenny to blow out the candles. Come on, Jenny, blow out the candles. You can do that, right, Frog Girl? Alrighty then. 
and then the lights dim, oh, and the house sets on fire. One, two, and... Very good. Very good, Jenny. You know how to make air escape from your mouth in a forward manner. And then they kept on partying all night long until late into the night. And then everybody fell asleep. Maybe. Perhaps. They do. They indeed do. They do, they do, they do. Chicky check, check, chicky check. I just noticed, do I have any, where's my desktop audio? One moment as I check around my live screen, am I actually being captured on my microphone? Where's my microphone? Desktop mic, where are you? Desktop mic. Oh. Is my volume even here? Wait a minute, where's my desktop mic on my OBS? I'm very confused now. Desktop mic? Uh, is that being a thing? Back to over here, I'm gonna swap a little bit. I see desktop mic over here, and that just disappears. Can anybody hear me? I can't tell. I honestly can't tell. Audio properties. Um, did I click the wrong button? I'm a little confused. I don't know if my audio is on, to be perfectly honest. Do we not get any of that? None of that is there? I'm very confused now. Uh-oh. Feedback requested. Do we have any audio? I can't tell if I have audio. I don't see it on the, uh, where is it? I can't see my, uh, my microphone. Desktop mic. Where is the mic? I see it down there. Where is the mic? Add audio input capture desktop mic. Do we have it now? Oh, we're back again. I don't know where my desktop mic went for some reason. That was really interesting. It's down there. Can y'all hear me now? Did we miss all of that? I, we might have missed all of that. I'm very confused now. Very interesting. I have no idea where my microphone went for a moment, and it's very possible that I just lost the whole damn thing. I can see it over here. I can see it over here. I don't know what happened there. Well, in case we lost all that audio, man, that was a lot of energy just gone wasted, so we'll have to make up for it for the rest of the time. Anyway, you looked a little bit nervous at first, but you came through like a pro! Now listen, we need to make ourselves useful to the Sandersons, right? Oh, these are the Sandersons? Interesting. Sanderson, Sanderson, Sanderson's peoples. I hope my audio is not coming up twice. To be perfectly honest, it's possible the audio is coming up twice. You know what? Let's test this. I can hear myself down here. Let me see. Let's do a test. I'm gonna do a little test, actually. So, let's see about that. A test. I'm gonna do a little test. There's a little actually. test. There's a little test, and now I'm going to get rid of this top desktop mic. There's a little test. There's a little test. Okay, so can we hear me anymore? I'm going to get rid of this top desktop mic. And then can we still hear me? Okay, so can we hear me anymore? Oh, okay. I don't know why. OBS was like scaring me for a moment. Okay. Oh, okay. I check, check. Alright, well, it's still working. I don't know what happened there. I'm just I'm just psyching myself out. I got so worried for a moment. Anyway, we can still hear. It's all good. So, audio not lost. Crisis averted. It's all good. Let's adjust your happy point total. We're adjusting it? Okay. I'm gonna get to infinite robo status. Your chibi ranking has gone from 1 million to 776,662. Impressive. In order to get the next bonus battery, you need 60 more happy points. Get out there and a ton of happy points and grab yourself the top chibi ranking. Chibi Robo, Chibi Ranking, Chibi Door, Chibi Everything. And when you reach the top Chibi Ranking, why? Oof, you'll be upgraded to Super Chibi Robo. What is Super Chibi Robo? It's when you have unlimited battery. Spoiler alert. Take it from me, Temi Vision. I'll do what I can to lend you a hand. You can count on me. On like one, two, three, I'll be there. Oh! While you're here, Chibi Robo, would you like to save? I would like to save, lest my GameCube decides to completely crap out on me. Which I don't think it will. It didn't do that last time. Not my GameCube, somebody else's GameCube. So this should work out just fine. I'm sure you can save anywhere by plugging into any old outlet in the house. They're not grounded, so make sure that you're not, like, building up any static electricity or anything, or you'll fry yourself to death. But don't forget, you have to come back to the Chibi House to adjust your happy points. So, like, please come home sometime. Please come home. Come home, Chibi Robo. Come home every once in a while. It'll be good for you to do. Hmm. Pop, pop, pop of the cans. I'm gonna pick up this trash. I'm gonna take myself out of the plug, unplug myself from the wall, throw my thing down, and pick up some popper trash. 
Always put refuse to the proper receptacle. The proper receptacle is across the room. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, my bad. Anyway, picking up all the trash and stuff. We're a good little robot. We'll put it in the proper receptacle. Wow! You know what to do with trash? Incredible! Probably because you are trash. Or maybe you aren't. This is where your utilibots come from. They're your backup buddies to support your bots. Yes. If you have scrap, we can uh, we can make some utilibots with the Chibi PC. It's the Chibi personal computer, not the Chibi Mac. We don't do the Chibi Mac around here. We're not Apple people. Ew. Think there's any scrap ring staying around? Um, it's where you put your tip. Oh, I thought I had scrap. Oh, no, I just have trash. I get scrap later. I forgot about that. I got trash, though. Trash is good. Trash gets put in the garbage. And when you put trash in the garbage, you get happy because we're helping around around the house. I feel like this game absolutely was, like, fundamental in teaching me about how to be, like, a clean person. Like, I very much remember, like, thinking that picking up trash around the house was, like, a game because this game trained me to be like that, so... Oh, Mr. Sanderson! In a little too much fun at the party, I think he passed out from excitement. What a shame. Oh! But before that, but right now, I need you to look at the top of the screen. Oh, the top left of the screen. You'll see a sun symbol during the day and the moon symbol at night. It's it's a moon, all right. Honestly, to me, this kind of looks like a pizza pie that's had a bite taken out of it with, like, the tail of a rat still left on it. That's that's my interpretation of it, so. The moon is out right now, so that means it's nighttime. And the number five means? How many hours we have left in life, perhaps? I don't exactly remember that one. But uh, let's go. Let's go. Poppers. Poppers. Oh, trash. I always remember the music to this game being an absolute bop. Very, very heavy on the bass line, if you can tell so far. Oh, yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Hello, Caterpillar. Oh, I was going to pick up that trash in the corner, but I guess we're going to talk to you instead. Dear Rory, tonight I'm in my usual spot. Head in the living room, body in the kitchen. Oh, Tower neglected me again. Very typical. Good morning, Lycos Lore. I'm a caterpillar. You will receive my love. Or rather, I'm going to write about my love for you in my journal. To be neglected again by Tao because I'm a toy. He usually drops me right about over here. Over there? Not over here. Over there. No, over there. I am over here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> but tonight he was lazy and now I can watch Drake while he patrols. Oh, Drake, what a dream. It's so hard to watch him that night in shining armor. Oh, Drake, I'm sorry I didn't see you. Perhaps you're on Love Patrol. <laughs> oh, jeez, is somebody watching me as I write this thing? Oh, oh my god. Um, hey, are you, uh, uh, you looking at my diary? Please stop that. <laughs> what a cat. <laughs> Please don't look at my diary. It's private. Uh, who are you? You must be new around here. I don't recognize your face. Uh, uh hello. Hey, now. Uh, what's all the racket going on over here? <laughs> Toy Story rules. Yes, indeed. The toys are only alive when nobody's looking. Or at night, when everybody's asleep, I guess. Well, what in the... The toy is talking! Yes. You're talking your inanimate objects. Doesn't it make sense? That's just how things work in the house. Isn't that how it works everywhere? Like, don't toys talk when people aren't around? And this is what taught me that when my when I'm not looking at my toys, my toys are talking behind my back, telling sweet nothings to each other and back talking me. I didn't play with my toys very much because I always thought they were back talking me. Really? Whoa! The bit of a shocker. So I take it there are other toys. Oh, run of me! My name is Television, and this is Chibi Robo. He's a small robot, very appropriately named. My name is Sophie. I'm a toy. Well, we're pleased to announce that is a punch. We're pleased as punch to meet you. All right, I wasn't exactly sure whether or not I should do like the whole butler like aesthetic for television specifically, but as soon as he just said, "We're pleased as punch," I am now 100% sure that that would be most appropriately stated as "pleased as punch." So pleased as punch to meet you. I was just writing in my diary, and I thought you were gonna try to peek. <laughs> you scared me. You scared me. Indeed. <laughs> no worries, this happens all the time. Chibi Robo is so small, it's so easy to remember to sneak up on you like that, little rascal. Aren't you a little rascal, Chibi Robo? I need like a little Chibi Robo equivalent to like pinch. Here, there's a robot over here. Here. This is. Oh, the chocolate has fallen. This is my Chibi Robo. Chibi Robo will be right there. Pinch cheeks. 
pinch cheek, Robo. There we go. I pinch your cheeks because of how cute you are. But please, allow me to apologize on his behalf. We're both sorry we startled you. We did not mean to startle you. I mean, as long as you didn't read about my secret passionate love for Drake Redcrest, then I suppose it's just fine. Say, you know, why doesn't Chibi Robo apologize himself? Oh, he's mute. He can't talk. <laughs> Very glad that you ask. Uh, apologizing is a vital component of the manager's work, and I'm the manager. You're his manager? Seriously? It's kind of small to be a manager, and like, why don't your feet ever touch the ground? What's the point of having little nubs on your feet when you can't even touch the ground? Anyway, that's kind of weird. Hold on, I need to record this moment so I don't forget. Must write in my journal. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't have anything to write on, honestly. Well, actually, I do, but it's it's covered under. I found a notepad. Yes, I must write. Girls in their diaries. This could be a while. I guess I'll be leaving. Wow, you misogynistic bastard! And I'm writing that down in my day. Television is an absolute misogynist carriage return. What a bitch. Anyway. We're gonna continue on with our knife. It's a, a night. It's a pleasure to meet you, Television. As you can see, Chibi Robo has a limited battery, as as stated by the fact the little battery in the bottom right corner of the screen. And even as I live and breathe and spin my head in a in a clockwise manner or counter yeah, that's clockwise. I use up a little bit of battery, so I'll need to charge every once in a while. But the farther I get into this game, the more battery I'll get, until, as I spoiled earlier, that you will have no concept of battery anymore. You'll just be eternal. You will have quantum technology that will allow you to go on forever and forever and forever. Actually, it's not, it's not, it's not quantum energy. It's Duracell, because that little rabbit, my god, can it keep on going? Hey, you think you can climb up that cord, Robo? I could probably climb a cord. I always loved the little theme that they made as a, as you climbed up things. It always felt so suspenseful, like, oh my god, look at Chibi Robo go! He can he can fall at any time. Better watch out, Chibi Robo. Cookie crumbs. Always put refuse in the proper receptacle. We're gonna be hearing that phrase a lot, like a lot, a lot. Now, I know Telly specifically told me that I really should not. Be falling off the edge. Oh, I know with these boxes that I'm supposed to pull them out and um, let them fall off the edge. So I'm gonna make this one fall off the edge and it'll fall into a thousand pieces. Push off the edge. Bye bye. Bye bye, box. And now I'm going to equip my copter and then fly down to the ground so I make like my thingy bobs, which has fallen to the ground. Hey, it's time to fix myself. To be honest, I've been wondering if someone would do that. My camera's a little bit like. It's not in the proper location. Oh, let me get these heart stuff. Oh, did I get it? Or did it fly away? Oh, did it fly away? Did I miss that? Oh, I fixed myself. My camera seems to be a little better than it was before. Let's go in you know, up a little bit. Ah, lovely. Mm, it's exquisite. It's exquisite. I like that. Fixing has been obtained. And now I will... Well, I guess I'll go back up the cord because there's definitely more I want to go up there. I was warned earlier on... Oh, I have to... Right, it takes energy. Also, I just remembered by clicking another button. What button was that? The X, not the X button. They told me to click the Y button to access my inventory. What a, what a lie. Or maybe it was the X button. Well, if I use the Yeehaw button, I can look around and um, see things that are on the place, like frog rings, froggos, fro more rings, rings of frog and toothbrushes. And well, I'm gonna go up here and kill myself. For the sake of, uh, for the sake of explaining and showing the world how it works, this is this is the first stream playthrough I've done of this. I've played this game many times. I just want the world to know what it's like to perish for a robot. So let's do that. Um, this is how you perish. You jump, jump, jump. Okay, so I didn't actually kill myself, but as you can see, instead of, like, losing my function- my structural integrity, instead, I just kind of, like, I lose more battery. So, I'm not sure if there's a system like that in the world where I can, like, exchange all of that mechanical energy into, I guess, the expenditure of electrical energy? I don't know. That was close. You're fully recharged! Yeah, I am. Am I gonna save? Pfft. Saving is for loot. Yes, no, I'm going to save. Yes, I will save. Saving is good. Yes, I overwrite the existing files. I actually just learned the other day that there are a lot of people out there, and for good reason, that don't overwrite the save data. Because if you think about it, there are some points in like video games where like, if you save at just the wrong moment, you're just gonna keep on dying. 
and you'll keep be going going back to your same save point and you'll just keep on dying so actually in that case it's very advantageous i realize now to kind of like like um segment your saves and like um there's a word for it uh, stagger stagger your saves because then like you reduce the possibility of being like in an uh, like a um i believe the proper term is a soft lock where like technically you're in a position where based off your choices you can't i don't remember what the soft lock means honestly i used to i used to remember but i remember watching a whole bunch of like videos about that there was a, there was a time where i watched a bunch of videos by this guy named P Pika something or other it's 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 spelled like pikachu P picastic or something like that where he was doing a bunch of like like um like soft lock hard lock and like cheaty debug type things like the original pokemon games because at the time i was like really like, i'm still really interested in um electronics and stuff like that but at the time i was like i want to take like a Game Boy game and like reprogram it or like read its memory because of all like the like, like my microcontrollers around or um oh, Let's see the, the toothbrush is important. I'll get back to my um my Game Boy color reprogramming and stuff like that uh, But there's a toothbrush I can't speak so I pop into a rap and beatboxing anyway, it's a, it's a toothbrush It allows us to clean up the ground and look at that so you can only scream so this is hey Look at that! That's Mr. Sanderson's toothbrush! Let's take it anyway! I bet he won't miss it! That... No, that, that big old man doesn't brush his teeth. And now, we have this nifty device! that you can clean all sorts of stains! Lucky you! Like red wine stains! And more red wine stains! And definitely more red wine stains! And mud! But there's definitely a lot of red wine stains because... Well, there's, there's problems in this house. So let's not get too far into that chibi robo. You don't want to mess with the humans. If you wanted to, to put the toothbrush away, just press the B. Oh, and before I forget, the B button is actually the self destruct button, so don't want to click the chibi robo, no! And look, there's a stain right by your foot. Why don't you try to clean it up? Scrub, 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 scrub. It takes energy to scrub. I also there's a little there's a little like um uh, like a uh, acoustic guitar riff that plays when you're scrubbing the floor and it's just it's the cutest thing. Let me put the toothbrush away. Somehow it fits inside of my noggin. I've got hammer space in this noggin. I really do. Really got hammer space in there. Um, let's see. I've got trash on the floor. Ah, but yeah. So, um, back then I had convinced myself like if I had taught myself like all of the inner workings of like a Game Boy Color like cartridge or inside of the Game Boy Color or Game Boy Advance itself that I might be able to like reprogram it. And I never got around to it, but I do have like, I have a notebook somewhere that has my notes on it. I just don't know where it is. Like previously I tried to convince myself that I should write things. I should write things because if I don't write things then I'm gonna wind up forgetting them. And I was pretty good for that for like a few months while I was working at my second co-op job. And I have a whole notebook somewhere with all of my like notes that I took while on that position. I feel like technically I should have given that back to the company before I left. But uh, really, who's who cares? We've got a bunch of paper, paper ball in the bin, Kobe time. Oh, that's too soon. That's right. You can also get happy points by throwing the garbage away. Isn't that great? Because it's happy. It's good for the environment. Go forth. Conquer. Put it in the bin. And party poppers, of course. And little things of crumbs. Some little bits are better than other little bits. So we try to pick up all the bits. But of course, prioritize the other ones. And you get paid for it. Like, honestly, I used to think... I, I vaguely remember... Here comes a very vague memory. And I'm not sure if it actually is a memory or not. Or I'm just making this up. But I feel like I remember approaching my mother and father. And telling them, hey, I learned from the video game that I should be picking up trash and doing chores around the house. I think if you give me like a little bit of money, when I do like pick up trash and stuff like that, I would happily pick up trash. And then they were like, sure. And that's when I started getting an allowance. But to be honest, I really wasn't, my house really wasn't the kind of house that got much of an allowance. Like we were just kind of expected to do the chores. Oh, daytime has rolled over or nighttime has rolled over to the daytime. Chibi Robo, way to go. I think we can call it a day. I'm proud of the work we've done. Come on back home. Come on, go on. Oh, the night's ended. Let's return to the chibi house. Fine. I remember this being one of the more, like, annoying parts about this game, and I don't know if that ever changes, but, like, you have to go back in the night. Um, but I think there are items you can get to make, like, the night or the light, the night or the day last longer. Good morning! Let's adjust your happy point total. I have a little bit more than I did before. I probably unlocked something. 
your Chibi Bobo ranking has gone from 776,662 to 449,475. That was the number that was on the screen. In order to get the next ha bonus battery, you need 31 more happy points. If you ever reach the top of the rankings, you'll die. I'll become super Chibi Bobo. Imagining. See, this is how the robots imagine. There's no thought bubbles because they don't have thought. They're inanimate objects. You'll be upgraded to the super luxurious Super Chibi Robo, or that's what I've been told. And once you earn that, you'll get um, the, something. Uh, I don't know what it was. I think you just get a little badge. It doesn't really do anything. Um, would you like to save? I'd like to save. Oh, I remember. Yeah, no, when you get to that rank, you just kind of get a little badge, and it's like, it's all happy-go-lucky and stuff like that, and zoom. I think you get the unlimited battery from something else. It might have been the aliens. Definitely the aliens. But you don't know about the aliens yet. Shh. There are no aliens. Only humans. And inanimate objects. And semi-sentient inanimate objects, like Chibi Robo and Tilly Vajon. But, but really, really, who's keeping track of that stuff? It's all just a fever dream, to be honest. Honestly, let's just imagine that Chibi Robo is, in fact, just the long fever dream that occurred when everybody got way too drunk on Jenny's eighth birthday. And now, like, they just kind of live on forever like that. So this is the little, this little uh, tune I was talking about before. Just, just, like, you gotta appreciate this little, like... Anyway, I'm using up all of my electricity. Not that it matters, I can always just recharge myself, but I love that little tune. Well, every so often a good vibe check is needed. I am running out of energy. I need to find the closest plug. I must plug myself in. Plug and play. Plug into adventure. Chibi Robo, plug into adventure. I have the case for this game, and I feel like that would have been an appropriate moment to be like, plug into adventure, then put it up the camera, and like, be like, no, ah, you want to play this game? But it's over there. It's by the GameCube. The GameCube is actually not anywhere near me. It's, like, across my desk. So I guess it is kind of near me, but... Am I gonna save? Absolutely. Why wouldn't you save? If you don't save, you'll die. Or potentially soft block yourself. I don't really know. There's no real... There's no real detriment to not saving, unless the... Uh, unless the GameCube decides to just crap out on me all of a sudden. Oh, I gotta pick my plug up and keep on going. Hi there, frog girl. I'll get to you in a moment. Dude brush. Clean up more of the stains on the ground. I always found, too, like, the controls to, like, clean up the ground. All of your hard work has made Mrs. Sanderson happy, happy, happy. You see, she's giving me a bunch of bonus happy points in moolah because of how happy you made them. And when you clean enough, I can give you a nice little cleaning bonus. Aww. Your happy point bonus is... Six. Six happy points. And now we're at 69. <laughs> And my moolah bonus is 24. All these little pennies wind up uh, really, they, they wind up building. Then I'll be able to buy anything I want to for the chibi store, which I guess we don't really know about yet. Is there anything else in this room that I can go and grab? I'll use my chibi goggles on my chibi head with my chibi body to see what else there is around the room. There's frog coins and stuff up there, but I don't believe I have access to the top of the television yet unless I can get around. Honestly, I might as well keep myself to the living room. There's plenty to find in the living room, like that little chibi door. Which I'm gonna need. I, I don't know if I have enough energy to unlock those doors yet. Or maybe as soon as I get close to it, this is gonna be uh, Televisions cue to, exp to incessantly explain it all to me. No, can I, can I open the- I wanna open the drawer. Thank you. I want to open the drawer. What's in this drawer anyway? I feel like I never pay attention to that. What's in the drawer? Uh, books, a ruler, and... Perhaps it's another ruler? I really can't tell at this point. Anyway, chibi door. I know how these work. Let's plug myself in. Door. Do that, and then... Zoop! And it absorbs my energy. Oh! What's this? A small door? Yes. I would believe it's a small door. That's odd. I have no info would have been in my memory banks. It's a secret for you. You see, what we have here is an anomaly, such that the machine learn... Okay, I forgot about that. I kind of forgot about the, the eyes, just like everywhere. No, wait, I didn't mean to go out of there. No. Oh, are you okay? No, I am definitely not okay. <laughs> what, you're not okay? Oh no, what happened to there? Chibi, are you okay? Dum, 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 dum. 
Hey, since this small door has your eyes, let's call it a chibi door. I, t I love how I'm just like, I'm not okay, and Televis is just like, mm, let's just not worry about how not okay chibi robes are right now. But all these eyes around here, and they got the moolahs. Gotta collect the moolahs. Um, I was definitely in the middle, like, I was about to go on, like, a small tangent, and I completely forgot what it was, because that, I forgot about the eyes on the inside. So, let's see what that other... Alright, I fall inside, now I'm back here. It's a little crevice. A little crevasse. Can I plug in? There's a secret little plug behind the dresser. Honestly, I relate to that way too much. I want to say, like, one of our dressers in the room is right, like, in front of a an outlet. And I knew the outlet was back there, and I needed it to plug in my phone charger, so I put a little extension cord back there. I had to, like, move the entire cabinet, like, full of clothes out, like, take my thin hand and, like, like snake it through uh, in order to get to that plug. And then I had the extension cord, so it was really no big deal, but... Oh, ready now, let's go! Indeed. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Oh, I got my thing. Uh, can I move out this other side? Or is this a dead end? Uh, can I go the other side? Can I? Can I? Nope, this is just a little... Oh, there we go. Did I have any more stuff in the receptacle? Did I really? Lob it in with A! Ah! Kobe! No, I gotta stop saying that. It's too soon. I never watched a lot of basketball, or football, or cricket, or lacrosse. I really don't watch sports. I'll be honest though, I really don't watch sports. I don't know much about the sports balls. I know how to play some of the sports balls. I know how to play the sports ball with the foot, aka football. Not football. Football. Soccer. Most Americans. I don't play soccer. I played soccer for quite a while. Um, like four years in like elementary school. Actually, I don't know when I stopped playing soccer, so. That might be a gross overestimation of how much I played soccer. I know I played soccer up until the point where the coach that I had started getting like way, in my opinion, way too serious about the games. Like, I was like an elementary school student. Like, please don't yell at me when I miss the ball. Please don't scream at me when we lose a game and blame it on us. Like, I didn't like that. Maybe at the time, I don't know if they, she was like screaming at us or whether it was just like really loud criticism that was actually very constructive, but because of the fact that it was loud, it kind of freaked me out. But uh, I stopped playing soccer after that because I was like, mm, no, that's okay. If you're just going to yell at me for me playing the game that I don't know. If, like if you're just going to yell at me for me trying to have fun out there, then I don't, I don't want to play the game. Like, um, but then again, uh, again, like I don't know how much of that was like, potentially my coach being like really critical or really mean or tough on us or whether that was just just, just me thinking like I don't want people telling me what to do like let's go against the man you can't tell me how to play soccer I'll play soccer my own way okay let's drop the ground that's not too bad yeah let's plug ourselves in plug ourselves at the end of the wall it's interesting too because like at this time like I didn't even fathom like that tiny little robots like this would be like a thing and as i grew up and saw more like small little dinky robots that you could buy as, as toys like in toys r us or other like toy places when i was like that is so cool but are they chibi robo level cool and none of them ever and none of them ever, ever got that far they never did honestly it'd be really really cool if we could have like a tiny little robot like like i guess like the equivalent we have today is like maybe like a little roomba or like a little roomba like a tiny Roomba with an arm, like with a really extendable arm to be able to like get itself up on surfaces and around and maybe like a little fan on it to be able to climb up walls. I've seen something like that before. It was like, it was like this, um, this, I don't know if it was a cleaning robot or it might've been, I think it was like a, a wall drawing robot that somebody built and it climbs up the walls and it does so by being very, very light and having this like big fan on the end of it. So like, um, I had this little piece of plastic laying around uh, for cosplay stuff because I was playing with it. But like, imagine like the robot is like this big and it's very, very light and it's this big fan in the center and it's got like, I don't know, probably a little like thing over here, like a little drawing like marker. And as the fan spins in one direction, it pushes the force outward and keeps it against the wall. And then it has little rollers on it that can like, roll, like go up the wall. And I like, I thought that was so cool. Wasn't there an RC car that did that? that I think there was an RC car that did that, but I don't know, like, I don't know if it did it well. I know, like, that, like, the robot that I'm thinking of, like, was marketed as doing this, like, really, really well and being able to, like, like, go up the walls, like, all the way. I think I know what robot you're talking- I think I know what RC car you're talking about. And I- but I don't remember what its name was. I may have actually had one of those. And if I'm thinking of the right thing that I had, I remember it kind of doing that, 
but then like not being able to get all the way up the wall just like sort of up the wall like up the wall just enough for it to do like really cool tricks like it flies like like it fly like it goes up the wall enough for it to like kind of fall back down and do like a flip and go back the other direction was is kind of what i'm thinking like if i'm thinking of the right thing that i had that was it and of course i was like it doesn't really climb on walls like that's just false advertising or at least i thought it was false advertising at the time i was a disappointed child if i'm thinking of things correctly then again i am the kind of person who will wholeheartedly admit oh my chibi robo has, has changed from 449,475 to 93,250 now by the way but I always feel like I was the kind of guy, like, you know how they say, like, for, um, for memories that, like, happen for, like, like traumatic memories, like, sometimes you remember it differently because, like, the human brain isn't really that reliable. Like, I feel like my, what I imagine my, what happened in my childhood may not actually be the, the thing. But anyway, Citrusoft has sent you a special gift, a brand new bonus battery for making it into the top 100,000 Chibrobs. Chibrobs. Whoa, what do you think of that? Your battery power went up to 100. Very good. Ding. You know, I gotta admit too, like, for this time, technically speaking, this is like upgrades over the air, like update over the air. That's like a technology thing. Like, like, uh, instead of having to buy a new Chibi Robo or buy a new battery, you just, you got this instead. It's pretty cool. Uh, eventually I'll become Super Chibi Robo. Yeah, fever dreams, we get it. Illusions of Grandor. Press Y to activate your Chibi Vision to scan your surroundings for items. Use R to open, uh, to open up a map of the room and find yourself at nearby outlets. To celebrate opening my advice booth, I'm handing out free advice. Oh, uh, I guess I don't have to pay for that. It's cool. Hi, you're Chibi Robo. Would you like to save? Yes, absolutely. I would love to save. I'm getting stuffy for some reason. I don't know why I'm getting so stuffy. Maybe a little drink of water will help with that. I was getting kind of stuffy on the ride home last night. I had mentioned that I was hanging out with my buddy Lycos Lord the other night, uh, yesterday night. And as I was driving home, I noticed my fiance's car is just a little stuffy in there. It's a little stuffy, so my nose kind of gets like the whole like <laughs> kind of thing. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Can I buy things at the Chibi store yet? Welcome to the Chibi PC. This is the regular Cyclotron. If I had scrap, I don't have scrap right now. Online shop, I can buy things. Uh, timer 10, shopping I don't remember what timer 10 to timer 5. Oh, I think timer 10 extends the time of the day. 10 minutes for half a day for a leisurely pace. Ah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't have enough for... Can't buy timer 15? Oh, is it I can switch it once per day? Oh, maybe that's the case. Um, let's see. Chibi Blaster is hot. Hot Rods, Face Scrambler. All this stuff is pretty cool. They're all really pretty aesthetic. I know the Nectar Flower Seed is important. Uh, but I don't have enough for it right now. Um, but I know these flower seeds can be... The Nectar Flower Seed specifically is, uh, is important. Because when the Nectar Flower Seed grows, you can collect Nectar from it. And Nectar is used to get on the good side of a particular character. Nice! Timer 10! And the timer 10 extends the day or the night to 10. So I have more time to run around. Um, I, pref I prefer a nice leisurely pace. I just don't feel like having things go from day to night, day to night. If I need to, like if I need to to get from day to day, I'll do it smaller, but oh well. Oh look, it's the chibi guy. It fell out of father's hand. What do you do all day, father? Do you even work or do you just kind of sit around the house? Maybe you're a computer programmer or maybe you program chibis. Something fell. What is it? A book. Oh! Ha! Aha! Well, hey look, it's the chibi robo chibi mantle. What's the Chibi Robo Chibi Manual? What, what's, what's got inside? Let's see what the Chibi Robo Chibi Manual is. Hello, Sophie. How are you tonight? Sophie, how are you? Man, I'm sure. I've never heard the word in real life before, but it sounds very important. Chibi Robo and Telly seem very close. Hmm. It's nice to see good friends like that. Also, Drake is patrolling the area again. I love the way his big boots clay up around. It's so manly. Oh, Drake Redcrest. If Drake doesn't pose right in front of me, I think I'll have to run away. I would be so embarrassed. Ah, uh, I remember. Tee -hee. Yes. I remember the tees. Oh, why are you looking at me again? Oh, gonna walk away. Uh -huh. Hey, are you like trying to pick up a diary again? No. I would never. You were actually narrating your diary as you were writing it, so like, I don't know if that's my fault or your fault for thinking that people wouldn't hear you. 
Stop peeking a girl's diary. There's her most private and intimate thoughts. She's ah. Don't do that to me. Anyway, now I think I remember. I have to talk to Drake Redcrest so that I can strike a pose in front of Sophie so that I can gain access to the kitchen at night. Because currently I don't have access to that. Pick me up. Let's move faster. More moolah. Okay, get on up here, and then pop my way around. Where's the Red Crest at? Where are you? I know you're patrolling around. So I think you're in front of the TV. Right? Red Crest is in front of the television? Is this the television? That's not the television. This is the television. He's not patrolling in front of the... I thought he was. Let me see. Let me use my vision goggles to find the Red Crest. There you are, buddy. I gotta get up there. In order to get up there, I have to find my way around. I know one place to increase my altitude, and that's over by the lamp. So I'm gonna go over there. I'm not gonna do that chibi door. Just... Yeah, I'm gonna do the chibi door right now. Just kidding. I'm gonna forget about it if I don't. I don't remember if there's like... I think there's a pause menu, uh, and I think I can take a look at the stickers. And I think one of these is a chibi door for unlocking all the chibi doors. I think that's the... That's the one. If you unlock all the chibi doors, then you get that one. So I might as well go to all of them. And I'm pretty sure you can tell if a chibi door has been opened and empty opened and emptied if its eyes are closed. So we'll see about that. Nope, I don't want the toothbrush. I would like the copter. Chibi copter. Chibi chibi copter. Chibi chibi copter. Chibi copter. Chibi chibi copter. Then I'll pick myself up and plug myself in to the door of the chibi chibi. Unlock. All right. Ooh, some more moolah. All righty then. Well, that was cool. That was exciting. And I fall with a hard on the floor. Let's find our way to a higher altitude and make our way to Drake Redcrest. Honestly, whenever I think of the name Drake, all I can think of most immediately is the SS Drake from the Pikmin series. I, I feel like I am definitely going to wind up doing like a, a marathon run of uh, Pikmin as well, because I love that. Uh, I really, really do like that game. Honestly, I don't know why. I, there's been... I don't really know why I have been like... Mar specifically marathon running like the, um, like the GameCube games from my past and whatnot. I don't know. I feel like they're the... I don't really know what it is. But like, I feel like there's a certain section of me who's just like, I don't want to pro like, I don't want to prolong this. Like, I want to binge this game like, right now because of how much I remember it being like so important to me. I'm gonna get it all out there and then maybe do another playthrough later on, I suppose. But probably on my own time. I don't know how much I want to like reward people with playing the same game all over again twice. But I mean, I suppose that's like, that's kind of how it works for like speedrunners because like. Technically, they're playing the same old, the same game over and over and over. Alright, this is gonna be a bad decision. I'm gonna go into this door. I'm probably like... Oh, uh, I have... Ooh, okay! Let me go inside. See, there is no concept of power inside the chibi door. I am going to die as soon as I get outside. But that's actually okay, because with the power of this, I will actually get a little aesthetic item if I, if I drop dead, which I will drop dead. Here I go, I'm dropping dead. Also, you get that little, uh, little ukulele rip, you know? Seems like an ukulele, maybe. Chibi Robo is dead, and now television has nothing left to live for. What is a manager without any clients? Oh, Chibi Robo! Look at the state you're in! Oh, and I thought maybe you could make it to the top of the Chibi ranking together? You and I, Chibi Robo Television, together. It could have been us. It could have been the world. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, I'm alive. Don't worry, dude. It's okay. Oh, you're alive. <laughs> okay. Yes, I was really sick about you. What's up with that? Remember, you're a robot, so you have to watch your battery. But now that I've bandaged you up, now you can wear this outfit whenever you want to. And you now you have the power to drop dead on command. Oh, and you should know, if you ever pass out like that again, don't get too worried. <laughs> because your faithful friend, television, that's, that's, that's me, that, that's, that's him, will carry you back to the chibi house. Because that's my job, to pick up after your messes. Oh, and another thing. Um, if you press X and select remove, you'll change out of your trauma suit. <laughs> I've gone through traumas. 
Oh, it looks like you lost some moolah. What? Don't look at me. Oh! That's okay. No, it's all good. I actually have enough for the necro seed, so I'm glad I'm gonna get it. Chibi Robo, you can buy Chibi batteries from online shop now. They'll come in handy, I think. And if you get one of these, you can just recover enough energy to go and recharge yourself. Pick one up and try it out. No thanks. Not gonna do that. My Chibi ranking is unchanged. In order to get to the next bonus, the thing. Become famous by follower. <laughs> get out of here! BigFollows.com! I'm not sure why I thought in that moment, like, um. Um. Hotwire. Hotwire.com? Hot. Hot something? Hot something.com? That was definitely the jingle. Dun 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 Hotline.com! And then for some reason I thought too, like. BigFollows.com! I don't know. Honestly, you could get me. But like, big follows? Like, I'm not big follow. To be perfectly honest, what are the people that fall for that stuff anyway? Like, the follower count really doesn't matter that much in the long run. Aside from, like, like tacking, like, certain, like, milestones, I, I guess, for, like, I guess, affiliate and stuff like that. But, like, I don't know, the follower count doesn't really matter. Who cares if you have a fi high follower number? Because, like, there are other things that, like, I, I feel like if, if you want to care about, like, I guess how big, how big, a, how big a streamer you are. It's more about like who sticks around, like who comes back or who's watching, how often they watch or what's your average, I guess for the numbers, like the average viewership and how much, how long people are watching you for. Like not necessarily the followers. Like you can have three followers and they watch you literally all the time. Like that's awesome. If you have like a 10 solid followers that watch you all the time, like that's, that's the best thing. So like, I don't buy any of that stuff. The silly big follows, it doesn't matter anyway. Anyway, back up to the top because night isn't actually over yet. I think if I click the Z button, I can hit, I can just drop dead. Yeah, that's the cool thing about the trauma suit. If I click and hold the Z button, I can literally kill myself. <laughs> that's the cool part. Like I can just drain my battery is, is what will happen. But I don't want to wear that right now because I don't want to look like uh, the equivalent of like, I don't know. I, I don't want to look like I'm in pain. Me Chibi Robo in pain. Me Chibi Robo don't feel pain. Me inanimate object. Unfortunately, that Chibi Robo doesn't have like a low power mode. Like Chibi Robo's got Chibi Robo's got like a standby power mode because when you're just having a talk, like when you're standing around, um, it doesn't use a lot of energy, but it uses some energy. Pull myself out of the wall like it's good. <laughs> I'm gonna trip myself over. Tripping myself over. So let's see. I'm gonna try to get back up here again, and I don't remember whether or not. Um, this was the right area of the living room to go to to get to the top of the television. Or, I mean, actually, I can just use my Googles. Nope. My Googles. To go like that way. So I don't think this is the right area. Let's see now. From here, most advantageously, I want to be over there. Where's the couch? I don't get over there again. I know once I get on top of, I want to say it's the chair or the couch, I'll be able to throw something down off the table. That'll allow me to go up there a lot easier, as opposed to having to go all up here, all over again. At least I believe. That's the thing, like, I remember- I feel like I remember a lot about this game, but... Unless I get, like, right up to it, I could be very wrong about that. So, uh, we'll wind up seeing. We'll see how much of this I can actually remember. There are some, like, secret things that, like, stuck around, like, for example, like... Places you need to water, or places that you need to, um... I don't know, dig up, dig up on. Like there are set different places that you can go to for stuff like that. Uh, I'm not really in the mood to knock that box over, so I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna do something else. That's like a slower with Dishonored. Yeah, right? I feel like, like if you haven't played a game in a while, it's just like, I know like all the obscure secret areas, but like, I can't remember like, like exactly where I need to go at every single moment in the game. I, I cannot seem to remember that stuff. Not that it really matters anyway, but you know. Oh, there's a lot of stuff behind the couch. I'm gonna go over there. What's up, doggeroo? What's up, doggo? Doggo, woggo, doggo, doggo. I'm gonna jump down. It's, it's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Oh, I took a little bit of damage there. That, wow, that was a lot more damage than I thought it would be. Whoa! Cheeves, come on, buddy. Doggo? Talk to doggo? Doggo awake? No, nah, doggo not awake. Snore. Snore, snore, snore. I bet he's, I bet he's uh, dreaming about hamburgers. One of the little mini games that you can do in this is like, um, candy bag, uh, is 
to cook hamburgers for the family. I mean, uh, do like a... That's a fun little one. I think you get happy points for it. You get a little money for it too, probably. Oh, I'm getting a little low. Getting a little low. Don't want to be so low. Uh, let's climb up here again. Can I? Oh, dear. Oh. Oh, hello there. Interesting. I can't get to the... I might be able to get to the couch from here. I'd have to come back up here, I guess. I thought there was something I could do to... Oh, wait a minute. I was supposed to look at the, um... Uh, the book that's on the ground, right? I forgot to do that. I forgot to do that. But first, let's clean up after our mess. I'll probably die again, but, you know, whatever. It happens. It gives me happy points. Oh, I cleaned up a mess. Oh, and that turns the TV on. Ah, that's where I need to go in front of the television. That was the trigger. Oh, that's odd. I think the TV just turned on all by itself. Hmm. Tell me, where'd your accent go? Oh, it's, it's a real accent, I swear. What's in the book? I've already stored this in my memory, but thanks, but I think you should read it. Okay, what's it say? What have we got on the inside? Chibi Manual. It's a bunch of lines pointed to the Chibi Robo. Thank you for purchasing Chibi Robo, a member of the Citrusoft Robotics family. We appreciate your support. Oh, is it the whole thing? I kind of know about this already, but I'm going to read it anyway, because I don't think I ever actually read it in any of my playthroughs. Chapter 1, Chibi Robo and you. Chibi Robo is your own personal buddy bots. You'll never have to worry about little Chibi. He's perfectly content to wander about, working to make your life the picture the picture of perfection. If you ever want to know what Chibi Robo is carrying or what, want to know how to control him, just press the start menu to open the pause menu. From there, you can learn everything you want to about operating your Chibi Robo. Ah, oh, stubbing hard, Chibi Robo. Glad to see it. Actually, I really don't want to do this. Something about memory banks. Anyway, nah, don't want to. Instead, I'm going to talk to Drake Redcrest, who's going to jump down from the television and tell me all about justice or something, probably. Some BS like that. Wow, look at the television. He's so hot! Oh, I'm so confused. I'm so conflicted. <laughs> People say evil. People say justice. But really, what is it all? <laughs> What is justice? And what is justice? Do you find, find the side of justice or am I just a fool? A blind fool? I don't know. I'm just a toy. I'm Buzz Lightyear. No. I fight on the side of justice. Those who think they can disturb the peace will get a taste of my space fury. Yeah! Space fury power activate. Flick the switch. There we go. Now we activate our Space Fury. Space Hunter! Drake Redcrest! I gotta say, bro, you got some powerful hips there. <laughs> Drake Redcrest, you devil! You're still as sharp as ever! <laughs> Alright, pal. Can you, like, quit with the dramatics? We got a story to get on to. Hey, pal. What's going on? Space Hunter Drake Redcrest! Good morning, Chibi Robo! It's not the morning, it's evening. It's at night. Oh, I guess it's morning for you, I suppose. What's this? No answer, eh? Space Hunter Code, part one! Greet everyone by yelling! Alright, Space Hunter Code, part one. I'll meet you halfway. Perhaps you have been sucked into silence by the sight of toys moving! Oh, do not be afraid, friend. The toys of this house move and speak when humans aren't around. Enough talk! It bores, Rick Rick! Grass lost me friends! Oh, diminutive one. Um... What does diminutive mean? Tell me, Google. What does diminutive mean? I need to know. Tell me. Diminutive means... Extremely or unusually small. He is small. <laughs> I'm half expecting him to punch you. Dude, the power that that would be like, Drake Redcrest, kick! Ah! Just flies across the room. <laughs> Honestly, I want to see it happen. But I don't think Chibi Robo gets punted in this game. Sad face. As a friend, it is my duty to inform you your life appears to need more justice. But Drake Redcrest can solve that problem. Take this special gift. It's just for you. <laughs> Take it. 
Take the gift! This is a gift for you! It's a suit. Cool, 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 cool. I got the cool I got the suit. I got the suit. Now I can strike a pose in front of Sophie and freak the shit out of her. Show you show you how to don it, my friend! No, I know how to put on outfits. I, I was in the trauma ward before. The uh, nurses over there. Very nice taught me. <laughs> Cleverness becomes you! You're well met, you and I. Yes, yes we are. Put it on! Do not keep Drake Red Crest waiting! Show me how it looks on you. We shall learn the facts of justice together! This is a little too, like, shonen for my taste. But, uh, it's, it's, it's got the energy. And for that, I'm cool with it. I think it takes energy to do this, so, like, I don't know. Come on, Drake Redcrest, do it. Cheap your elbow! Are you trying to use Z to pose? Yes. You don't even know how to yet. Ask Drake to teach you. But I, but I do know how to. Oh, I know how to click the Z, the Z button at least. Come on, Drake. Give me the deets, Drake. Speed the hunter, Drake Redcrest. <laughs> You look so stupid in that outfit. Just kidding. Looks good on you, little man. So you wish to fight for truth and justice, huh? Don't lie, Drake Redcrest knows these things. I do want to fight for faith, justice, and pixie dust. Yeah. <laughs> Please stop laughing. It's a strain on my voice. But I will. That, my friend, is a specialty of mine. You just sit back and enjoy the ride. Oh! Stand your ground, young space soldier. I will show you how to do the pose. <laughs> Very well, my small metal friend. I will now administer the test of justice. It will be a long, hard, and arduous, but you must endure no matter what the cost. Ready? Then we ride. Mark my words and mark them well. Space under code part two. So justice cannot exist without a pose. Is that so? Is that why everybody poses when they do any of that thing? There was a meta joke made about that in the newest uh, Black Widow movie, I remember. You'll never be an agent of justice unless you master this! Hold, friend! Justice is happening in this corner. Stay back. Stay back, Telly. You must be the one to know as Telly Vision. Oh my god! How did you know my name? Excuse me for a moment as I laugh maniacally as Space Red Crest is doing. <laughs> you are television. I see that now. That's Justice 101, my flying metal friend. Wow, that's impressive. I'm totally in shock and awe that my eardrums have now been burst by the power of justice. But we're about to enter dangerous skies here, so you must fly backwards. Stay. Stay away, television. Watch yourself. Are you ready? Here's the skinny, and here's the fat. When I start to pose, press ZA immediately. <laughs> Whoa, excuse me, my headphones fall off. Easiest pie, right? <laughs> yes. Easiest pie. This coffee's making me too energetic. Or maybe it's not even the coffee. I haven't even drank much of this coffee yet. Look at that. I still got... Can, can you see that? Can you see? Can you see how much? There's still a bit of coffee left in there. You can do it, Chibi Robo! I believe in you, Chibi Robo! Have we ride! z -bun. Oh, I didn't do it fast enough. I had to click and hold. Too slow! Too slow! You have to do it again! Let's try it again! Just this! Oh my god, I, I wasn't ready for that one. Alright, let's try it again. Too slow! Again, curses and blasts! Let's try again! I did it way too early that time. If justice were easy, everyone would be that would be crime fighters. Alright, let's try it again this time. Oh dear. Okay, I, I also didn't do that. I have to you kinda have to like, like predict what it's about to happen. Nobody said I was good at this game. I just enjoy it. Okay. I've done it again. You know, I'm gonna pay attention to the game this time. Oh yes! Look at him go! Telly's just like, oh my god, I'm immediately enthralled! And now everyone is attracted to Chibi Robo. Yes, yes. Telly's just like, oh my god, it's so beautiful, it's so beautiful. We have the best celebration, party poppers everywhere. I've made a mess. Sorry, Chibi Robo. It was pretty fantastic, though. You're the best, Chibi Robo. You're so good. <laughs> Stupendously done, Chibi Robo. 
I mean, Space Hunter Robo, of course. In that outfit, you can spa hunt my spaces. I'm not proud to disappoint you as the universe's 99th Space Hunter. Huzzah to you, Space Hunter Robo. Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. It's for you now. Space Hunter Drake, Red Hunter Drake Red Chris just gave you 19 happy points. Do you feel all happy, happy now? And 100 Muda. Spread the happiness, my friend. Here, take some happiness. Do you like happiness? This is the closest thing I can grab that's happiness. Look, gum. Happiness for you. You must have Drake Red Crest Z action. Za action. Let's show everyone what you can do with it. What can I do? When you wear this, think of justice. See you around, Hunter. My name's Chibi. My name's Cameron, not Hunter. It's time to pick up some trash. Now let's see if I have enough energy to make it over to the plug. And then I will go over to Sophie and freak the hell out of her. Because she'll just be like, Oh my god, my heart will always be enthralled by the wonderful and attractive Drake Redcrest. And then the music will play in the background and sparks will fly and everybody, everybody will drop because they're so enthralled by the cheebs. She'll be like, Oh my god, it's my love! Just kidding, I've been traumatized because it's not my love. It's a small robot who is impersonating my love. I have to back up and make way for the kitchen. Am I going to save after that display? Why wouldn't I save? Oh, for sure. I will indeed save this time. This time or another, there's always time for saves. Ready then, let's go! We're going and we're going and we're did it here. Alright. Oh, oh, oh! Hi, Sophie. Oh, I didn't mean to do that again. Eep! Oh! Oh my god! D Drake? Drake Redcrest, is that really you? Oh, no. Yes! It is I, Drake Redcrest. So, I don't mean to be, like, rude or anything, but aren't you a little smaller than usual, you know? I'm not sure that you're the one who complained to be. I need proof. Show me your pose! It's pose time, baby! Swish <gasps> It's the real deal! What was that sound? That handsome sound, is that Drake Redcrest? Oh my gosh! You... Patrol is really, really good. Oh, Sophie, no. Sophie, no. That was so stupid. Ah! I'm now sinking back into the darkness. I don't need to be here anymore. Oh, I just cracked. Nope. Anyway, I have too many things behind me to truly back myself out of the camera that far. <laughs> What's up with her? <laughs> oh, well, I guess now I can go to the kitchen now. Isn't that right, Chief, Chief Robes? You're right. Justice. Anyway, it's time to take this off my body. We don't need that anymore. We don't need this suit on anymore. Not unless I really want to freak out Sophie again. <laughs> Classic. Classic terrifying caterpillars. We like to terrify the dog toys. That's what we do around here. Alright, well now we're in the kitchen. I'm going to recharge myself. Good morning, lovely! Ooh, Anna is not a morning person. She looked at me with this look of disdain. I've been screaming for the past hour. It's, it's, she's probably not already. She's probably been awake for a while now. Are you ready to save? Oh, so always, always. I don't remember exactly what's in the kitchen. I believe this is the easy way to get outside. I don't really remember. I honestly don't remember. But uh, I'm gonna run around and find out. I also think I'll tell you. I just noticed that the company who makes Chibi Robo is called Citrusoft. Like. Like citrus, like citrus soft, because like if Mac was apples, then obviously citrus soft has to be like other forms of citruses, oranges and lemons and stuff like that. But also, there's a really like obvious citrus aesthetic going on in this house. Like these are obviously like orange peels, or orange wheels on the floor. So it's, it's pretty cool. And now Sophie's all the way up there. Sophie, hello, my love. I am your Drake Red Quest. Red, Red Quest. Can't speak. Now, I see the dog bowl here. If I find a bone and put it in the dog bowl, I can become closer to Tao, the dog. I just noticed, does the... Oh. For a moment, it seemed like the control stuff wasn't working in the other direction. I was wrong. Oh! Hello, Sophie! What are you doing up there? Oh, Drake Redcrest! Oh, yes, indeed. Time to, time to get my way all the way up there. Uh oh You look at me too much! <laughs> Stop looking at me, Drake Redcrest! Why do you keep gazing at me from afar, Drake Redcrest? 
don't do this to me. Please, you must stop looking at me now. Stop looking at me. <laughs> Why are you still looking at me? Stop blinking. You have to blink. It's a, a, Sophie, that's a mug. Um, It's not going to blink. It doesn't have eyes. It, 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 we'll, we'll get there eventually. Um, So time to climb all the way up. So it wants me to go upwards. However, I am blocked from doing so because of this other uh, drawer. I cannot do it. I gotta get up there somehow. How do? How do? How does I do it? There's a spoon up there. Dog tags over there. Dog tags are definitely for Tao. How does one? I can get up on top of... Was I missing something over here? There's a muck up there. How do I... I do not remember how to do that. Well, let's explore around the kitchen to see if we find something else along the way that we couldn't normally see with our regular chibi, chibi eyes. <laughs> look! Look with your special chibi eyes! <gasps> My chibi brand! <laughs> was that like a 1-800-CONTACTS commercial? I think there was like 1-800-CONTACTS or something like that. Like, they can't possibly have my brand. They do have my brand. I have special eyes. There's a chibi door over here. Oh, you know what it is? I need the chibi blaster so I can destroy that sticker. That's how it be. But first, chibi dibi door. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I still have some fake juice in my lungs from last night. While I was hanging out with my good pal Lyco Slur last night, I we we had they had bought like this like organic juice type thing, and they're not really good. It's by a brand called Honest Kids, and I really wish I would would have taken like like a, a carton of this with me so that I could put it on camera. But these kids are the farthest from honest. Let me tell you. One of their flavors is Berry Good Lemonade or something like that, and it doesn't taste like lemonade. Not only does it not taste like lemonade, the first three ingredients are, I, I think in this order, apple juice, grape juice, and then another, and that might be like cranberry juice or something like that, and then it's lemon juice. Like, that is the biggest lie ever. Chibi Blasters 110. I thought I had 110 moolah. Did I not? Oh, it says I have 745. Why did I think I had more moolah? I need 100, I need 1110 moolah in order to buy the chibi blaster. Why did I think I had 110 moolah? I don't know why I thought that. I, I have no idea why I thought that. Anyway, time to, the, I can get money by going to the trash, so I'm gonna put, throw some things in the trash, because I did pick up quite a bit of trash. I do need all of that. I do need the chibi blaster so I can break the stickers so I can get up onto the ledges of the kitchen. And also make a hole to the outside, too. Let's throw our trash in there. Trash, trash. Do I have any trash to, like, pantomime? No, not really. Lob it in. Ah, uh, hiya. And then hiya. And then hiya. And then hiya. Yeah, all that hiya's. Good stuff. And then the uh, big old, big old thing in the bottom. Oh, actually, that might have been. I now have enough for the blaster. Sweet. Forty-one happy points and four hundred and ten moolah. See, the way to make bank in this game is to pick up trash. Pick up in the picking up after the Sandersons. That's like the way to do it. Now I wonder. What was I wondering? I was wondering something. I was mid wonder thought, wonder thought, and I, now I can't remember what the wonder thought was. It must have been a wonderful thought. I'm sure. All the best thoughts are. Some of the thoughts I know. Very, very. But I've lost it. And it's something to do with throwing trash away, something to do with the blaster, something to do with maybe the chibi. Thing. I, I don't know. If it's important, I'm sure it'll come back to me eventually. Let's adjust my happy point totals to see what rank I'm at now. Maybe I get a battery upgrade. We're moving up in the world. We're moving across in the world. I don't know what direction we're actually moving. We are now at rank 37,326, slowly but surely making our way down up to number one. The numbers are going down, but our rank is going up. I will the most definitely save. And then I'm about to let the blaster. That's what we need. We need the blaster. Need some blasters. Let's see. I need that blaster. There's the cheeky blaster. There we go. Allows me to fire sonic blasts. And that's what I need. That will allow me to shoot things. Like... Like stickers. 
walls, humans, and if there were ever an antagonist in this game, I'd be able to shoot them too. Man, look at me in my total mega my totally not Mega Man blaster. Pretty cool. You've upgraded! <laughs> keep it up, Chibi Roa, and let's keep going! And now there's trash on the floor. Thank you. It's actually good that the trash comes to the floor, because it's a little, a little quick buck that I can get. We're in it for the quick buck. Not the long buck. The quick buck. As in a dollar, of course. I mean a dollar. Not like anything else. That'd just be weird. So I'm gonna try to, as quickly as possible, like, break the sticker in the kitchen, maybe, and see if I can get up and talk to Sophie. I definitely will not be able to, but I will definitely be able to break the sticker. So let's get the blaster. Oh, I ran out of time. Just ran out of time. That's okay. Oh, Chibi Robo, I know you're working hard, but it's time for a break. Onward to the next morning. Bum, 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 bum. Cock a doodle, doodle bottle, dee doodle bottle, gee doodle bottle, dee doodle bottle, 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 my ranking has not changed. How could it? I haven't done anything. I walked out of the house last night and did anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we get it. We get it. You really, really want it. I, I see that. Yep, yep, yep. Namely, your name, Chibi thing. To cross small gaps, use the Chibi Copter. Oh, I forgot. This is like the advice that he's supposed to be giving. All you gotta do is press A. Ah! You gotta press the A ah button. Oh, what is this? New items in the shop? Hmm, what is this? Citrus Soft has been secretly developing an all-new brand of Chibi gear. Hmm, isn't that exciting, Chibi Robo? Maybe. While you're here, Chibi Robo, would you like to save? Sure. And I guess I'll check what they got in the shop, too. Might as well. I also love how the sound it makes when, like, you're on the menu for the saving menu. It kind of sounds like a computer fan, I think. Charge chip. The charge chip does what? Enables the TV blaster fire a charge shot. Uh, TV battery. Oh, maybe I need the charge shot for the the the, the outdoors. TV battery. TV battery. What does the TV battery do again? Uh, it's just my spare battery. Yeah. yeah. Range chip makes the TV blaster fly long distance. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Good upgrades for the blaster. Let's see what I can shoot this morning. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll go to the backyard, shoot up some plants, shoot up some natural substances, of course. All right, well, hello, everybody. I know I collected a frog ring, so I'm going to give it to Jenny. I collected that a while ago. I completely forgot about it. Oh, you know, I also should, uh, I'll clean up the, uh, the crayon mess. I'll scrub the floor. Chicka, chicka, chicka. Chicka, chicka, chicka. Oh, come on. Come on, clean up. I have to click, click on the A button, I forgot about that. There we go, I cleaned up your little scribble mess. Thank you for drawing on the floor, and because you draw on the floor, I got happy. Very, very happy. So let's talk to the frog girl. I got a frog ring for you. Caro, caro, caro. Caro, caro! Ribbit, 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 ribbit. There are these frogs down south that just make noises outside of our hotel uh, for my family vacation. And they go like, eh, 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 eh. And that's what I imagine things sound like. Um, I know I'm supposed to give you a frog ring, and I'm not sure if that is in my. Oh, I'm going in your hand. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Oh, come up to my face. I'm gonna give you a big old kiss. Mmm, rebuts. And then Telly's gonna be like, I think she, you have something she wants. I can draw, ribbit. Nice. No, oh, you're welcome, little one. Spread the happiness. She's giving the little Chibi Robo some kisses. Drop it. Drop it. Draw. What are you drawing? Nice picture. I have a frog ring for you. Oh, I don't. I, can I talk to her again? Gimme. Yeah, gimme. Gimme, gimme frog ring. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you the frog ring. Absolutely. Here's your frog ring. And I have the nectar flower seed already. Did I already buy that? I don't remember buying that. Did I really? Hmm. Alright, I'll take it. You're welcome, Rivet. Some 33 happy points. I definitely went up in rank. Oh my gosh, and 50 moolah? You're so kind. Where do you get all this money? Do you pick it up on the ground too? Nine more. Nine more. And I think I remember 
for my original playthrough of this, and I don't know if I ever got like 100, I don't know if I ever 100 percent this game, but I'm pretty sure the last thing that I did, the last thing that I needed to do was collect one more frog ring. And I don't know where it was. I don't know whether or not I like, I, I, I remember distinctly going all around the house using my chibi vision to try to find it, and I just couldn't. I, I couldn't find it no matter how much, how hard I tried. Anyway, let's use Chibi Blaster to break this thing. Uh, how do I use this thing again? Oh yeah, there we go. Now it's been broke. And now the sticker is gone. And I might climb up to the topmost surfaces of the world. On top of the cabinets. Honestly, this reminds me of me and my own cabinets and stuff like that because I am small and need my step stools to get up to like where all my liquor bottles and stuff are. Uh, so... I feel small. I personally, I can personally relate to Chibi Robo and the plight of smallness. Oh dear, what are you doing? Um, uh, what's this again? I have to jump. Uh, I know I need to get on the top of there, but how do? How do? Uh, la 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 la. There's like a, um, there's a little chain. Oh, okay, I see. Go down. There we go. And I go on the chain instead. There we go. That's what it was. The little necklace. Impressive how, like, Chibi Robo is not heavy enough. I mean, I know it's just a game physics thing, but, like, interesting how Chibi Robo isn't heavy enough to, like, completely pull that whole, um, uh, the whole necklace down. Like, just incredible. He's got a couple of happy points. I'll go to the ground eventually. There we go. Falling. Oh, I didn't want to fall. Nope. I wanted to go back up, please. Oh, I can just climb back up. Uh, I, I don't remember whether the, like, points actually go away or not. Come on, I'm gonna grab it! Right, there you are. Yeah, okay, if I don't catch it fast enough, it goes away. That's unfortunate. I can pull out these drawers, too. I would always wonder, too, like, if I pull out all these drawers, like, do the people in this house just, like, not care about it? Like, I, I wonder whether they are they actively know, like, oh yeah, that's, this is probably something that Chibi Robo uses, or they're just like, well, somebody's been opening all my drawers. So who could it possibly be? Is there a purpose of being up here? I feel like there is a purpose of being up here, but maybe not yet. Maybe I need to grab, grab like, treats for the dog at some point. Maybe that's what I used to do. I do just remember, not right now at least. Uh, is there a, oh, I should charge before going up there. So I will, to the wall, over to the wall, go to Chopper Chibi, on the robo, yeah. Plug into adventure. To be fair, the slogan for this game, plug into adventure, you're not really plugging into the adventure. You're plugging in to experience the, the, in order to experience the adventure. Like, I mean, you don't have to plug in. Plug into adventure. Yeah. Unless these outlets are the adventure. The, the, that's, the, that's the game. The game is actually just, you plug into as many outlets as possible. That's what Chibi Revo actually is. It's not like trying to make people happy or like uncover the secrets of a long lost alien or robot civilization that's definitely not this game by the way i mean if you thought that's what the game was you're sorely mistaken i apologize i know how this story ends and it's not with alien robots trying to take over the world there may be alien robots they're most certainly not trying to take over the world all right now that i'm up here um what, what good does that do me i don't remember honestly Let's use my Googles. I can probably get to... I don't think I can get the table from here. Can't get over there from here. I want to be able to get up on top of that toaster, but I don't think I can get up that high. Is there anything else? Oh, those big soda cans are worth a lot of money, I believe. I want to get up. How do I get up? Uh, I don't know if that drawer... Is that drawer over there closed at this hour of the day? Is it? Yeah, it's totally closed, so I can get over there. Oh, uh, but now I'm up here. So... Ah, I'm gonna get up on top of this tissue box, and then up on top of this milk, and then up on top of this shelf, and then up on top of this box, and then up- uh, I grabbed the- oh, this isn't a thing to pick up. And then I get up on top of these cookie jars, and then the scale, and then chibi door, I guess. Yeah. Um, carefully move my way around. Plug on into adventure! Nice. Oh, there's a lot of moolah in here. Give me the moolah. 
give Chibi the moolah, I suppose. Not really me that's getting the moolah. So I want to get over there. So I feel like this is time for a Chibi Copter. There we go. I don't know exactly what good this does me. Also, props to Chibi Rogue for somebody be ha somehow being able to float on air and not fall into the toaster. Like, good for the Chiefs. Good for the Cheapster. Get on over to the next shelf. On top of Cactus. Unless there was something over here. Uh, there is not, but I should go on top of the Cactus. Cactus, Cactus, Cactus. Cactus, Cactus. It's a Cactus world. What else we got? Now that I'm all the way up here, what new things can I hope to find? Um, I might be able to get over to the top from here. Or, actually, I, I'm gonna get over the table. The table seems to be... I think the best thing to do. So let's go to the table, hopefully, and not die along the way. Oh, come on, I'm so close! Oh! Oh, I was very close to the table, but alas, I fell. There's definitely a better way to get to the table, but eh, whatever. All right, so let's get this and hopefully not die. Fall to the ground, not a lot. Over to the plug in the wall. Do -do 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 -do. And now at the plugging wall. And now that we're full, we're gonna try to talk to mom. I'm not actually gonna say it this time. It's a little extra time that I can shave off. Not that I'm speedrunning this or anything. I'm definitely not speedrun. I don't think I have the patience to be able to speedrun things. To be, to be perfectly honest. I can't do that. However, we've got, we've got the toothbrush, toothbrush, we're gonna clean up the ground, clean up this little paws. I don't remember whether these paws, like, come back. I know some messes, like, come back, like, every couple of days or so, and I don't remember if the dog prints, like, over near here were one of them or not. Oh! Cleaning bonus! My bonus is... 11. It's a number with two ones in it. As opposed to being seven, like before. Actually, it was six before. It was six before. It would have been cool if it was seven. Seven's a lucky number. Or at least so what I'm doing. Come on. There we go. Scrub up the messes. Put that away, and I'll plug myself back in. Actually, is there a plug up on top of the... There is a plug up on top of everything, so... I will go up and do that. Depending on how fast you run depends on how fast the actual theme gets played. If, if you notice, if you need a little bit. Grr, Tao, wait, no, 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 why are you, why are you gurring at me? No, buddy, buddy. You, you be quiet, Tao. All right. All right, then. Yeah, please don't, please don't yell at me. I'm just, I'm just trying to help out. I promise. I promise I'm just trying to help out. Really. Really, I am. Can I have this mug? Ma, can I have this rub, this mug? <laughs> Oh, Chibo! <laughs> I'm sorry for saying you were a waste of Muna on Jenny's birthday. I'm making my husband sleep on the sofa until he's sorry for what he did. What a god! Wow! Marital problems. <laughs> you will not be sleeping in bed with me! No, no! Not until you apologize for purchasing this incredibly helpful robot. What an incredibly helpful robot you are! Don't worry about it. It's his fault, not yours. <laughs> Don't blame yourself. I blame myself, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm currently blaming myself. Please stop me from blaming myself. I'm blaming myself. Alrighty then. I'm gonna take this mug. Do you mind? <laughs> That's Drake Red Crest mug. That's a Drake Red Crest mug. Cool. I'm putting it in my head. Shibo, that belongs to my husband. I don't know if... Oh, forget it. Go ahead. Take it. Wow. He's got so much Drake Red Crest stuff, he'll never know I gave something away. He must be a big nerd. Nah, it's okay. It's okay to like what you like. I'm gonna clean up some of this water. Ah, uh, see? Isn't that nice? Isn't it great that I help out? Oh my, how thoughtful of you. Excuse me. I love it when you help out. It saves me a lot of trouble. I'll make sure to give Telly your new love bonus. Thank you. Nice. I love that. They, they really do treat Chibi Robo as if, like, they're like a maid eater butler. Kind of cute. Kind of cute. TBH, honestly. Pretty cute. Let's plug on in. 
this day went by fast. I feel like it's already almost the end of the day. But I guess the days do last 10 minutes. As opposed to, I guess, being lasting like 15. That would make this last bad. Am I gonna save? Yeah, I'll save. I'll save this time. Progress has been made. Uh, okay. Well, I didn't want to do it over there, but I did it over there. There we go. I've staggered my saves. Some would say that's a good thing. Let's see. What else have we got? Come on over here. I want to get that move up. Get move up. I know there's also dog tags somewhere. Uh, they are where? Where? They're down there. Inside of the hole. What's in the cookbook? Yeah, those are deadlines from bill collectors. We're pretty far behind. Oh. Uh-oh. I am very sorry to hear that, ma'am. Mrs. Sanderson. Can I call you Sanderson? Can I call you Sandra? Oh, dude, was there already a thing over here? Oh, here we go. I can push this down. Now I can get up here easily. Did I ever know about that? This may be something that I've discovered. I don't recall there ever being a wire over there to be able to climb up, so that'll be very, very useful going forward. Very good! Very good. Now I'm over here, so I can get up here. I don't have the squirtima jigger. If I had the squirtima jigger, I could suck up water and clean up this mess. I can't clean up that mess with a toothbrush, because I can't make the toothbrush vertical. Not yet, at least. Let's see if there's anything that I can help out with over here. Can I get up on top of these uh, bottles? I believe that I can. I can just kind of go behind them. Unless... Oh, I can, I can go on top of this can. Can? Can, can, can Chibi do the can? Nope, he cannot. He cannot. <laughs> puns, are, puns are not really my thing. I feel like I always have the urge to make a pun, but never enjoy it when I do. I'm always just kind of like not proud of myself. I know there's sometimes, there there is eventually a reason to go into the drain. There's not really a reason to go in now, but I'm gonna jump in the drain nonetheless. I remember there being like rats down here and stuff. So I'm not, I'm not gonna go in here just yet. Eventually, oh, okay, I guess I'm staying in the drain. Oh, can I climb back up? Yeah, I can climb back up. In the drain, there's a point in the game where like, I'm pretty sure either father or mother loses the wedding ring. Oh, I went back into the drain. I'm pretty sure one of them loses the wedding ring in the drain, and then Chibi Robo goes down and gets it. What a helpful little robot. Oh, I can't see. There we go. <laughs> this is Sanderson. I really can't see. Wouldn't mind assisting with that. What else is there around here to find while I'm up here? Uh, I can go behind the- Oh, I'll collect the soda cans. The soda cans are for good moolahs. Moola, moola, moola. Moola, 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 moola. This is where you cook hamburgers, if that minigame were available right now, but it's not. I remember that. Empty can! Always putting refuge in the plopper receptacle. Any more trash around the corner? Nah, there's gunk in the wall. It's all a bunch of grease. It's a bunch of grease in the walls. I know if I go up on top of this guy. Oh, time's up! If I'm on top of the stove, I believe there is a way for me to get up to like the top, like the rafters in the kitchen. Don't remember what's up there, but there's stuff up there. There's stuff everywhere. I always was like, I think it was this game that inspired in me like a love of, like it might have, this might, may, might have been one of the ones that inspired me the love of electronics and stuff like, like, like things that are small. I was very, very enthralled with things that like, for example, small electronics. I was like, I want to know how this stuff works because it seems so cool. Um, and like small things around the house. When I was younger, what I used to do is I'd play, um, my brother and I, would make like little towns out of like pieces of paper. You'd take like the piece of paper, rank seven on the nine hundred. Sweet. Uh, for making it into the top ten thousand, we get a battery upgrade, right? A brand new battery. But so what we would do is we would actually, wait, I, honestly, I remember exactly what we do. So let's let's do that because I'm reminiscing in my past because it's a it's a game that brings about nostalgic feelings in me. This is what this is what we kind of do. Well, what we kind of do is we'd um we kind of take like a little like note card or something like this right and we draw something on it i don't know like a little uh tower little tower i'm gonna draw like a little um just kind of a rectangle going upwards with a rectangle going upwards can't see that there we go They're just like little squares or circles circles are easy to draw and like a little let's go with a little point at the top of it and then a little dude on the bottom just like that and then what we would do is we would kind of cut it out. 
naturally. Cut it out from... I think we would use, like, post-it notes and stuff like that, but, you know, it gets the job done same way. Kind of cut them out, not exactly, but as much as we could, or as much as we thought would necessary, such that we could fit a paper clip in it. Let's see. Just grab... Go that down a little bit. And then, now we've got our little skyscraper, a little tower dude, or a little dude who's going to go into the tower. We can find our paper clips. I got paper clips around here somewhere. And tape. I just kind of take the paper clip, just put it on its side like that. Same thing with the other guy. Grab a couple of pieces of tape as well. I don't know why Chibi Robo just made me remember this. Like I, ha I feel like I haven't thought about like these little towns that my brother and I used to make for years. Let's see. Then you just kind of take the, the tall side of the paper clip, put that onto the back of your little tower. Preferably close to the bottom of the tower. So that it stand up looking straight, like that. And then do the same thing for the other one. This is what I, I remember how like spending hours just making like tons of little um like tons of little towers for these little dudes to walk into. And tons of little dudes to walk into the towers. And then you'd have like a little uh you'd kind of do this over and over again. You'd have your little little uh paperclip dudes, little paperclip dudes, and your little paperclip towers. Oh, let's see. There we go. And you'd make like a little town out of all of them. Maybe you'll all walk around and go into the tower like, Oh, I'm gonna go to the back of the tower! There we go! Anyway, that's me reminiscing on my past. L lovely time. I feel like there... It's very possible, if none of that stuff has been lost to time, that there's a bunch of like little little towns and towers made out of like paper clips and post-it notes like dotted around my parents' house somewhere. That'd be so cool if I found that stuff someday. It's interesting. I've been reminiscing about a couple of objects in my life recently. Just the other day, I was reminiscing about these little, like, magnetic board things that I remember I used to draw on. And and then, like, literally, like, my youngest brother sent me a little snap of the things because he found one of them. And I was like, that is so cool. Excuse me. I completely forgot about that. And I, I didn't know if there was any left. I mean, I didn't forget about them, actually. Uh, but yeah. Yes, indeed. So, let's keep on going. Want to save? Absolutely. I don't even know what it was that I did. Oh, I got to the next, uh, rank level thing. So. That's all Gucci Gucci. Gucci Gucci gumdrops. Very good. All right. Let's push on this back down. And continue on with our adventure. How much moolah do I have? How much moolah? I got 568 moolah. I could really use more moolah by going over to the trash bin and then... Come back with the moors. There's more stuff to do. There's definitely more stuff to do. I want to go talk to Sophie now. I should be able to get up there because the drawer is open at night. But now I have the cord. Okay, so the cord must have come down previously. Otherwise, how else would I have gotten up there before? I'm going to stop at the trash can. Throw all my gunk in there. Oh, there's some more uh, trash. That's not worth very much. I it's just going to swamp back anyway. That's kind of like the thought of cleaning up is like... I mean, I, I clean up no matter what, so I don't really abide by this this particular philosophy. But, like, why clean up if it's just going to get dirty again? And my, my, my answer to that question is because it looks nice, and it makes me feel like I don't live in, like, like a slum. At least for me, at least. Um, but, like, that's how I, I kind of feel stuff about that. Uh, but that, I feel like it's, like, the, the most prevalent philosophy for people, people who are like, oh, I don't want to clean. Because, like, it's just going to get dirty again. Like, yeah. But also, it looks kind of grungy. But, um... This isn't worth my- this is a video game, so it's not. If you shoot that with the Chibi Blaster, I bet you can go outside! But breaking windows won't make Mrs. Sanderson happy at all. Whatever! Who cares about Sanderson when I can shoot things? Come on, Sanderson, I'm sure you understand. Bam! Yeah, I definitely need a more powerful blaster- oh, just kidding, it broke. I broke the window! <laughs> Yipes! <laughs> didn't do it. I uh, wasn't me. I uh, did. Don't need to activate me, please. I didn't break the. I didn't break it. I didn't do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mrs. Anderson. But now we're in the backyard, uh, and I think I can go into the kitchen from out here. But uh, there's a little, little, there's a little door over here. So I'm not gonna open the door. Let's go into the door. Open the door. Get on the floor. Everybody walk. Chibi Robo sword. I bet uh, Papa Sanders got himself a dinosaur computer somewhere, or a dinosaur robot. Foreshadowing. Now I get to pick up sticks outside. It's everybody's favorite part of the day. Picking up sticks. Picking up weeds. I can't pick up- oh, can I still pick up weeds? I can't pick up weeds. 
beads. Beads, beads, beads. And a weird set of stone like thing out here. Almost like a crop circle to summon maybe aliens? What could this possibly be? Mm, perhaps a way to summon aliens? It is. It's a way to summon aliens. Not the aliens of the apocalypse. No, no. Not those aliens. But there are others. Hello, frog. Dead frog? There's a dead frog outside. What do we do about it? Oh, wow. Ish, she's all dehydrated and shriveled. It hasn't rained least lately, and looks like she's really weak. This is so distressing. We have to get her some water. I don't have anything to pick up water yet, so... The scurvy splinter is underground. That's a pirate ship. There's a pirate in the basement who wants that ship. The chibi suckamajigger is not outside. That may be inside. Uh, what else is there out here? I can also put... I think the nectar I can grab from these flowers. There's a frog ring over there. There's really not much to do outside as of right now. When it gets to the daytime, when I have the, um... The chibi... The chibi siphoner. The chibi suction thing. Whatever. Then I can... Then I can do things outside. Because then I can actually, like, water plants and get the nectar and all that other jazz. All that stuff good. But in the meantime, let's clean up some of this... This mud outside. Honestly, I I thought originally, like, during, like, first playthrough or whatever, that that was all, like, oil outside. And I was like, that must have come from Chibi Robo. But later on in the game, you actually find, like, oil to clean up. And it's not from Chibi Robo. It's from our yet-to-be-introduced game's main antagonist. So we're not there yet. But, alas. That's for later. That's when we eventually start needing to use this Chibi Blaster for offense and not just exploration purposes. So now I guess I'm gonna go talk to Sophie, who I think is up. Maybe she's totally lost without her uh, Drake Star Red Crest mug. Isn't that right, Soph? Sophster? Hey, Sophster! Hey, over there, Sophster? Yeah, you is. There's also a bandage and a spoon up there. The spoon will allow me to dig. I do want to dig. Digging is good. Digging is good for us. And then I, now that I can really, really easily get up here, I'm gonna go into the. I'm gonna go into the doghouse and grab the dog tags. And then I'm gonna come back up, take care of Sophie, maybe grab the bandages. I don't remember what the bandages are for. But I do know the dog tags are probably for Tao. What's inside? What could possibly be inside? Power of the copter. We will go down and find out. Pew. Let's grab all the dog tags. What can we use them for? We're gonna put them on the dog. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's not actually for the dog. The dog tag is not for the dogs. It's actually for a, a fallen war veteran. That may not sound like 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 game with robots and toys. Like, what are you talking about, war veteran? We'll get there. Patience, patience, patience. Oh. Spooky sounds coming from downstairs. Um, Chibi Robo, did you just hear that totally weird sound? Um, yeah, I definitely did. Or, just kidding, maybe I didn't. I don't have ears. Do I have ears? I heard a strange noise coming from the far side of the foyer. I'm scared, Chibi Robo. What do I do? Don't piss yourself or oil yourself. I don't know. I mean, technically speaking, like... So, urine... It's something that we need to get out of our bodies because it's a waste. It can't stick around, right? So, technically... Chibi Robo, can you please climb up the thing? Thank you. For the robots, the oil is used to lubricate the parts and collect, like, little bits of gunk that would get collected in in, in the cogs and gears. And if gunk gets in there, it cogs, it clogs the gears. We don't want to clog the gears, so we put oil in there. The oil is in there when the stuff comes in to clog it. It gets stuck in the oil, and now it pre like, precipitates in the oil. We need to get the oil out of there. <sighs> That would imply that robots need oil changes every once in a while. Therefore, I don't think it's very all far off to think that when a when a robot, you know, like pisses itself, it just it's just kind of an oil change. But then you need to put oil back inside. And I don't think they have a digestive tract, so I don't really know if there's a proper way for like a robot to very reliably like excrete its oils and then put backwards. Oh, cutscene time? 
Oh, it's the groaning from downstairs again. That strange sound is going for the false side of the foyer again. Well, it can't bother me. I already know what it is. It's the ghost from downstairs. Because people die. What do you think those dog tags are from? The Fallen War veteran. It's the ghost. It's haunting the area. It's also a way for the game to encourage us to, encourage us to uh, just kind of proceed on with our lives. I will proceed on, Chibi Robo. We will proceed on. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, Cheapster. We'll go. Oh, we'll go all right. All right, Sophie. Time to dress up. Time to play dress up. You'll take on the role of the super fan, and I'll be the star of the show. So, ha-ha! I'm Redcrest. Ah, oh, 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 it's Drake Redcrest! Oh my god, it's Drake Redcrest! Huh, Drake? Uh, oh my, you're here to see me, <laughs> little old man. Oh my god, you really should not. I can't believe you do this. Wait a second! You're about to smile, Drake. Is that you, Chibi Robo? You playing a nasty old trick on me? You little bastard. I can't believe you do that. Jeez. <laughs> yes, it's me. At least I'm at least he's honest. <laughs> don't startle me like that. Please don't startle me like that. Oh. Oh well. I guess I'll talk to you normally then. <laughs> guess I shouldn't be doing that. Hey, what's up, dude? I'm gonna just talk to you regularly now. Just thinking about being near Drake makes me so nervous. And then nervous is wiggles all the way down to my thorax, because I'm a I'm a caterpillar. Caterpillars don't have thoraxes. They're not bugs. Not yet. I mean, they are technically insects, just different forms of insects. That's why there's no way I can confess. I can't possibly express my love to Jake Redcrest. After all, I'm just a woman who gets used to used as a dog's plaything. I'm nothing. I'm nothing. How could I ever be good enough for Drake Redcrest? I am merely a toy. No, Sophie. Don't feel that way. You are so much more than just a toy. So much more than just a plaything. So much more. You're a woman. Lately, I've been hearing weird noises at night. They make me scared. Jake Redcrest is already very busy. Um, so I think you should check it out, Chibi Robo. <laughs> Alrighty then. I'll figure out what's going on. It's definitely not some giant malnourished robot who sits in the basement just getting rustier and rustier with time or a super secret ghost pirate. Definitely not. There's definitely not a big monster in the basement. For sure. But it's over in the foyer. Uh, is that door open? I don't remember if that door opened or not. Well, let's go find out. Uh, honestly. Yeah, maybe this is the right time. I don't remember whether, right, whether you're supposed to go there during the daytime or the nighttime. The door currently is... Oh, it's not open right now, but I can run all the way to the cross. Okie dokie. Let's use the copter to get on down, Funky Town. It's not actually Funky Town down here. I don't even know what, like, it is. What this neighborhood's name is? Where are we? Are we even on Earth? Is this Earthern technology? There we go. Strange Town is coming for the foyer again. Yes, we are aware of it. We are very, very much aware of it. So we're gonna make our way towards the foyer by going through the living room because there, the door from the kitchen just isn't open right now. We have to experience the game the way the developers intended us to. And that's following the correct path, the right path, the robo path, the cheapster path. Hey, what's up? Uh, I haven't talked to you in a hot second, uh, Mr. Redcrest. Please don't scream at me, please don't scream at me. Please, please don't scream at me. Space Hunters Ray Red Christ! He screamed at me. Tonight we ride! If you can do my signature pose, you can patrol with me! I don't wanna patrol with you. No, thank you. I don't wanna patrol with you. I think if I I think if I patrol enough times, like you get something for it, but I'm not particularly interested in that at this time. I am interested in I don't know, really doing whatever. I don't know. <gasps> Look! I left right. Well! Hey! Who's that? Tex Frisco! Get that little guy! Yo, what's up, boss? Here we come! We're little egg dudes! We're little egg dudes! We're gonna go for our boss in the war veteran! Oh, yes, sir! What do we got? I want to report immediately! What is that thing? I don't know, what is that thing? Um, it's an intruder, sir! They intrude! It's kind of what intruders do! I think it came from the living room, perhaps? For the perimeter, men, do that! Why, uh, yes, sir. Absolutely, we will. Go, 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 go. Follow your perimeter. Go get that little intruder. It's the red block. I recall the blocks being important. The red block was right there. 
The white block is on top of the roof outside. I remember seeing that. Defensive positions! It's a bunch of egg dudes. Egg dudes gonna kill some motherfuckers. Anyway, uh, introducing now the montage of a bunch of little hacky sack dudes who are gonna try to, like, I guess, beat the shit out of me. And see, they're already, they're already, like, outlining, like, how I'm supposed to go about avoiding all these guys. It's by putting the cup over top of my head. Um, I don't know if I can do that at this point, though. Use the cup like that. An unauthorized intruder has entered the area. The free range of pride is at stake. Stop the intruder. I'll make you egg salad. Oh, they are eggs. They're definitely egg hacky sex because for like free range chickens, eggs. There's a pun to be had here that I just don't want to go too far into. If he comes into range, let him have it. Okay. Don't let your guard down, men. You got this. I believe in you. <laughs> I always love the little sounds that these guys would make like when I played this when I was younger. Like the grown scones and like the... All those little sounds. Insert onomatopoeia here. Uh, Chibi Robo, I don't think this is very good. <laughs> this isn't good. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> Chibi, this isn't good. Yes. So, yes. But we can hear the evil sounds coming from the foyer. The strange sound is coming from over there. We have to go to it, Chibi Robo. Come on, let's go. Andale, andale. Arriba, arriba. It's going to be really hard to get over there. The strange is mean business. Can I actually put the, um... I can put the mug on my face. All right, let's do it. I was being hit, and now I'm not being hit. I mean, it's hitting the cup, but the cup won't break. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Just keep up. You can never get through my impenetrable forces. As you throw a bunch of, like, like weird, like... I always thought they were, like, gumballs. I thought they were, like, pieces of gum at me. And then if I got hit enough that, like, I'd be eventually stuck to the ground. Son of a battle tank! Well, I guess he didn't look like an enemy, so I guess we're fine. Come to think of it, he may be an ally. We should ask him about it. But still, my men were just pitiful. You guys suck. I'll scramble you next time. How dare you be so bad at your job? I can't believe my electronic eyes. That was truly amazing. My goodness, you ran through those fearsome free ranges without getting shot. Good for you, Chibi Robo. You really are superb. I love you, Chibi Robo. I'm just kidding. Only in the workway manner. We don't have any like sort of existential relationship or anything like that. This is purely business. Of course, I was able to fly right over them because I have a helicopter. You were literally a television attached to a ceiling fan. That is your aesthetic, and I love that. That is perfect. I enjoy that. Oh my! John sounds for the basement again. Well, let's let's go get him. Let's go get him, Telly. Between you and me, I'm a little scared, and I think we better go investigate. Besides, if it's terrifying me, it's probably terrifying the young girl who lives here. All right. Um. Well, let's get a doobong down, down the stairs. A little bit of moolah on the side of the steps. Some of this stuff as well. Uh, I'm going to push that off the edge eventually, but not right now. I'm gonna pick up trash instead because I want the moolah on the stairs instead. The hard points. So I see a little thing that I can hit with my laser if I could, uh, if I can shoot. Ah, look, it's a giant monster robot. So, one has to ask, if the little robot is the chibi robo, what's the big robot? We shall see. We shall see. I know what it is, but why would I spoil that? Why, why would I spoil it? We're about to find out, probably, maybe, I think. Squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. Cleaning up the mess, cleaning up the mud. I don't know how the mud one is getting downstairs. But there is mud downstairs, nonetheless. So we will clean up the mud. We'll, uh... Uh, scrubby, scrubby, scrubby. And there's plenty of broken bottles and stuff down here. Interesting, go. You'd, you'd think, like, oh my god, like, they must have a drinking problem. Like, no, they're just, they're tomato. It, they look to be, like, bottles of tomato juice. Always put referees in the proper container. I mean, it looks like potato juice to me. Or, uh, potato, tomato juice. Um, but alas, always something to be cleaned up nonetheless. 
I mean, at least, at least if you're going to have a drinking problem, like, clean up after yourself, at least. Don't just leave it around for somebody else. Or, like, you know, I was saying how before, like, if it's just going to, if it's just going to get dirty again, why clean it up? Like, I guess that goes a little deeper than uh, other things. Like, 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 why clean up the bottles that are now empty on the thing when it just, they're just going to come back again? Why would they come back again? Because I have a drinking problem? Oh, yes. But you should still clean it up nonetheless. Cleaning up is good. I think these, is, these might actually be grease stains because they take a little bit, they take a little bit more to clean up. Grease is naturally a little harder to get off the ground unless you're using like some sort of soap or something like that. I think I could probably uh, clean up these grease stains too. Before I plug myself in. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, maybe. There we go. I had just enough power left in me to clean up all the grease and then plug myself back in. That's what we like to see! Yes, that's what I like to see. I like that kind of stuff. I've recharged 13 times. Have I really? Oh, well, thanks for keeping track of that. I think there is like a, a, a statistics window you can look at. Because I want to see that. That was a thing that like... I don't know whether it's, like, I'm missing it in more modern games, but, like, I feel like it was always cool to see, like, the stats page in, like, old video games. I, I say old. This is, like, more retro, I guess. Status. This is my status of a cheapster, uh, but I don't think I have any, like, um... No, nothing like that. But, like, I miss that in games. Like, I feel like there are not enough games nowadays that have, like, a full, like, like, everything that we've, like, we've been tracking everything that you do, and here's the statistics page in case you wanted to see about it. Like... These are how many robots that you killed, or just one, and it's Chibi Robo. Or, um, I don't know, these are how many steps that you took. Like, stuff like that I thought was, like, really, really cool. Um, but yeah. So I'm not actually gonna be able to get over there until I buy the long-range upgrade for the blaster, because I have to be up on the st Actually, wait, can I shoot it from here? I think if I use my Chibi eyes... Oh, just kidding. I think I might be... Yeah, I forgot I could do this. Just kidding. Boop. Oh, really? Come on. Come on, break, I say. Break, 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 break. Am I doing this wrong? Definitely not doing this wrong. Maybe I just need to, like... Oh, maybe I need to... Break the thing? Nope, break the sticker? Trying to break the sticker. Why can't I break the sticker? Gunpowder? Nice. Well, there's a lot of stuff in the basement, and I think I need more power in order to get to it. So, I am gonna make my way back upstairs, I suppose. Because I can't seem to shoot anything, so... I need more power! And more power, Chief! I need more power! Well, I've got all this other trash, so I should be able to uh, make a pretty good dent in um, in the the, uh, the overhead that's now necessary to be able to do that. And the night is pretty much about to turn over anyway, so if I just kind of... I'll collect these happy points over here to unlock more items for myself back at the homestead bucket. The bucket home. And that should be good. Uh, let's see. Push that off the edge, and then Chibi Copter to get down there. Ba -da -do. All the way down to the ground. Five points. Now, is there anything else that I can do here before, like, the timer runs out? Or maybe anything else to clean? Not really. I could just kind of... I, I could just attempt to keep shooting that thing incessantly, knowing that it's not going to work. But, no, nah, it's about to turn over anyway, so we're good. Bow! We should be getting back to the chibi house. Yes, indeed, we should. A very easy way to teleport early game. Just, like, wait it out. Just wait it out till later, you know? Okay. Cockadoodle dank. Here we go. Good morning. Let's see what my chibi rank has now. I'm at 7,900, and let's see what it has gone down to now. I think the next goal is... 5,000, I think? 5,133. Nice. In order to get the next bonus battery, you need 110 more happy points. Nice. Oh, okay, so it's much farther down. If you're only gonna come to Super Chibi, uh, to pull and, uh, pull and push objects, I suggest you hold down ah! and grab them. That's the A button for those who aren't familiar. Why are you here, Chibi Robo? Would you like to save? Yes, I would love to save. Saving is good. Saving is wonderful. Saving is wonderful. Good. We sing songs because we can, really. Oh. Any other, any other like Chibi Robo lovers out there? Just I don't know. I remember thinking to myself like years went by before I realized that Chibi Robo also has a game for the DS, which at the time I had literally no idea about, and I was like, I can't believe it. Why don't I have this game? And I never asked my parents to buy it. 
I don't know why I never did. And I never bought it myself. Like, frankly, I never, you know, I never bought it myself either. But I, I don't remember why I never asked anybody to get it for me or wound up getting it myself. Like, I always wanted to play it. I think what it, I think I might have done like research on it, thinking like, oh, is it like the original game? And most things were like, no, it's not really like the original game. It's something different entirely. And I was like, eh, but I want more of the original game. So I just kind of went back and played the original game again. I guess that's kind of like the trade-off, right? If you have a game that you love so much and you want to see like a sequel to it, like, is it enough that it's a sequel? Does it have to be reminiscent enough of the original game? Or do you want it to be like a completely different experience? I for one think that like if a game is going to be a sequel, I feel like it has to be like like enough of the original game plus a little extra or or be a completely different game entirely so that the original one is able to kind of stand on its own like like the wonder that it actually is. Because I think this game was really, really awesome. If they had like a like a I mean, I know this game has sequels, but, like, if there was, like, a Chibi Robo 2, like, it better be, like, kind of like this in the original. I, I wouldn't know, because I never played the other games. Actually, this came up in conversation last night as well. While I was hanging out with my buddy Lycos Lore, me uh, and um, his, his sister were playing Kirby Air Ride, which is a phenomenal game. If anybody doesn't know about Kirby Air Ride, like, you need to fix that. It is an awesome game. Um, but so, we were asking ourselves, like, is there a successor to this game? From Nintendo? No. There really isn't a successor to that game. Like, they never came out with anything else that was like, like, um, excuse me, um, like, um, Kirby Air Ride. Yo, apparently, uh, Lycos Lore is editing that right now. Ha! <laughs> nice! Yeah, we, we recorded a couple of- I, I won't say anything, because technically I'm not the one who's going to be releasing videos, but there may or may not be some clips of that going up on the YouTube, on uh, Lycos Lore's YouTube channel, if you want to go over it. Check that boy out, because you should. Very good friend of mine. Very wonderful friend of mine. Shout out my brother. Like, listen. Yeah! Uh, but so, yeah, so we were actually looking into it, and there's no, like, official successor to the game, but, like, um, City Trial was such a unique game type in that game that I've never seen a game like ever uh, going forward. And so people, I think about two years ago, started making a spiritual successor to City Trial. And it's actually called, like aptly named, Town of Trials. And I actually just joined the Discord server to that the other day because it's currently in development. Uh, it's, I think it's been, it's being, it, it, it has been worked on for I think, I think the past two years, I think, and it's still being worked on right now. Um, and yeah, I think it's planned to be released in 2023, I think, is the roadmap that they've got currently, according to their website. I would definitely recommend look it up. If you're a fan of Career Air Ride, and specifically City Trial, you should definitely look up Town of Trials. Town of Trials. And give that a check, honestly. I would definitely recommend it. It looks really cute. I think... It's attempted to be like, it's got like the same, like, from what I can tell so far uh, of the trailer video that went out, it's kind of got like the, you ride around this town, you pick up boosts, you can like do tricks and stuff, not that that really matters, you, um, and you can ride upon different like vehicles that give you bonuses depending on like what those vehicles actually are. Um, I think they're also planning on having like a top-down mode, which was the equivalent and I love like one of the other game modes in um, Kirby Air Ride, and like a regular like racing mode, which naturally was like that was the whole like flagship of the game, like you ride on these boards, these like, Kirby Air Ride boards and stuff like that. It was, it was really, really cool. Town of Trials. I'm looking forward to seeing, like, what they do for that. When it eventually becomes wishlistable on Steam, I know I am going to go after playing it. I, I want to be one of the first people to play that game. That would be so cool. Oh, sweet. We're in the top 1,000 now for uh, happy points. That means we get a battery upgrade. Sweet. But I want to be I want to be one of the first people who play that game. And maybe even contribute to it, too. I know in the Discord server, they've got, like, various different roles for, like, art and contributor. And I think the last post that they, they, um, they made was about the search for C-sharp programmers. And although I don't I, I don't have a lot of experience in C-sharp specifically, I have marginal experience in C, I have more experience in C++, and I really haven't touched C-sharp at all. I, I touched it once. I tried to, like, do some tutorials in Unity, I think, or something like that. I didn't need to plug myself into the wall again. But, um, and I did a little bit of C-sharp stuff there. It feels very similar to, like, like Java, I think, or, um, very similar to Java. I think if I remember it was a little similar to Java. I don't remember if C-sharp was, like, object-oriented or otherwise, or if it was similar to Python. I don't really know. That's programmatic stuff. I'll get to that eventually at some point. Maybe I'll program on stream one time, sometime. I don't know. I feel like I have a really, really good idea of what I'm doing 
for me to like feel confident enough to like do it on stream playing a video game i'm happy to fumble around but like i feel like there's a certain like standard that i want to keep myself if i'm gonna program on stream I, I don't know i don't know why i feel that way oh i need to buy things i need to buy things i need to buy upgrades for my chibi blaster maybe not a range one but definitely the power one if i can um but so yeah they're um they're apparently looking for c-sharp developers right now so if you find if you are a developer yourself C-Sharp specifically, if you've coded in Unity before, um, Town of Trials is looking for C-Sharp peoples, uh, according to, I think, a message they sent out, like, a few months ago, so, uh, check it out if you haven't already done so. If you're a fan of Kirby Air Ride, I, for one, am a huge, huge fan of Tur Kirby Air Ride, and, oh, god, I, I love that game. It's, it's currently still with Lyco Slow right now. It's my copy of the game, but we, we have decided we are gonna keep it over there so that he can get more mileage out of it than I would. I feel like I wouldn't play... Kirby Air Ride enough right now. Uh, I'd much rather play it with, like, my friends and whatnot, and he's a very good friend, and I go over and play it with him, so. We can make more content of Kirby Air Ride! Uh, yeah. Charge Chip. If I'm correct in saying, actually, I think Kirby Air Ride was the first YouTube video that Lycos Lore ever did. Or, I think, if I'm correct in saying, and... I remember that. What was that, dear? Did you say something? Oh, you watch an anime? I'm sorry, I thought you were talking to me. I thought you were, you said something to me based off of my comment. Uh, what, what show are you watching? Big what? You're watching The Big Bang Theory? I told you this last night when you woke up. Oh, I thought like I thought you only sent me a, a a clip of that because like it was on like your Reddit feed or something. Not you were actually watching the show. Uh, well, you'd have to tell me how it is. I always like I tried to stay away from the Big Bang Theory because like. I never actually. I. I. I yeah. I. I never tried it. Oh, actually. Yeah. Oh, she sweet. Was the only one that knew what she was talking about. Everyone else. Was like, oh, <laughs> nice. You let the old doctor get your dog. You've got yolk for brains. The little egg guys are gonna come after me again. I feel like I never watched The Big Bang Theory because I had always thought like, well, uh, I don't want to watch a funny show about making fun of smart people because I'm a smart person. I now realize I'm just as stupid as everybody else, just a different level of stupid. So I probably should watch the show and laugh at all the people. Also, like I knew a guy who people would always say like was very similar to Sheldon. And I always thought they, like, referred to, like, they were like, oh, he reminds me of Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory. And I always thought that was supposed to be, like, a personal hit against this guy. And I was made rather uncomfortable by, like, the mucking of it all. So I was like, I don't want a comparison to, so that I can agree with it, potentially. That was my young boy logic. I don't think it really makes sense now, but whatever. Anyway, this big old hard-boiled egg over here is screaming at his little guys to, uh, to kill Chibi Robo. Free range is rule number one. When Sarge gives an order to private, say, sir, yes, sir. That's rule number one. Free range is rule number two. Leave no egg behind. Except for the one who's already dead. But you didn't hear it from me. Rule number three. Sue is on patrol. Get thrown in the hole. Where's the hole? I wonder where the hole is. Free range is rule number four. Show up for roll call or suffer the consequences. There's one person who's not there for roll call. Maybe that's the dead one. Free range rules is number three. Failure to abide by final orders is punishable by scrambling. Well, that seems threatenable. By death. All right, never forget the five. Never forget the five rules. Yes, sir. Here we go. To begin, we will defeat Tao. Oh, I yep, they're gonna defeat Tao. Why? Because, as we saw before, we found dog tags in the doghouse. Dog tags are worn by soldiers. Dead soldier. Dead soldier. Tao has killed a soldier, and now they want to get revenge on Tao. Go. Go! Go! Text Frisco, begin roll call! Yes, sir! Let's do it. And now they're due roll call. <laughs> they're, they don't want to bother me right now. They, they, they don't want none of this. They don't want none of this chibi robo. You don't want none of this sheep chibi robo. Um, let's see. I actually might need the long range upgrade, so I'm gonna go back downstairs in a little bit. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go upstairs and see what there is to find up there. I know there are more characters to find, so we will find them. Oh, is that a little gunk on the ground? Oh, it's a little knob. I don't remember what that knob on the floor is for. So I'm just gonna ignore it for now. Oh, I think it's actually a door. Oh, you know what? I think it's a door stopper. It might be a door stopper. Hey, look, Free Ranger's photo. 
this will come in handy one day, probably. Uh, what do I do after getting up here again? Uh, hmm. Do I need my copter? Do I need my copter to get over the stairs? I don't really remember. Or was there just nothing to find up there? Can I actually climb up the stairs? I really can't remember. But we're gonna try it anyway. Can I climb up the stairs? I can. Using this thing. Hello, Sarge! Goodbye, Sarge. Actually, tell me more, Sarge. What do you got? I have a photo of your your, your boys. Are you the robot that breached our perimeter? Yes, that was he. That was I. I was the robot who didn't did that. Well, feed me a depth charge and call it a biscuit. Feed me a depth charge and call it a biscuit. Very impressive. Not bad for a pencil neck robot. Just don't let it go to your head, your scrap metal head. I won't let this happen again. You aren't half the robot that Giga Robo was. Not even half of half the robot. Or half of that. You're so tiny. The robot downstairs is the Giga Robo. We're the Chibi Robo. That's the Giga Robo. It makes sense. <laughs> All right. Well, I'd like to tell you about this free range robot photo I found. Hey, is that our photo? Yes, it is. Free Ranger's photo. Your dead boy is in there, right? We took this back when we were first deployed at the Sanderson's house. General Sanderson took this photo. Oh, we were a full platoon then. That was before the incident. Before the incident when they took my boy from me. My precious little boy. And now we get a sepia montage. Run, I say. We were doing our daily physical training routine. <laughs> and then everyone died. Sort of. Look at them all shooting each other just like we did before. That was the training routine that we saw before. I, I recall now. I want more coffee. Let's drink more coffee. I made myself two cups today because I felt like I could handle it. I haven't started jittering yet, so I guess we're fine. Enemies attacked! Oh my god! And that's when the dog came in and started creeping on all of us. Dun -dig -a -dun -dig -dun. Oh, it's the evil dog from Cloud9. What is he gonna do? Well, like a dog would to most types of toys, I feel like he's going to try to kill them. <gasps> oh no! What do we do? It's a dog! Quick, run. Run for your life. Everybody down to the ground. Stop, drop, and roll, egg boys. Go after your friend. Oh, nope. Slashed. Oh my god. He got him. He slashed him good. He slashed him real good. And now, I'm gonna take your boy. No, please, help me. Officer, no, General, please come back after me. He's going to take me away. Oh my god. And that's how I imagine the screams would have been if I could hear the screams. But I can't hear the screams because I'm a robot. I have no ears. <laughs> Memphis! <laughs> my boy! I miss my boy, Memphis! I know it's gotta be done. We have to train harder so that one day we'll win the war against the great beasts. We need to make sure we never lose another ranger in battle. Never. Thank you, Chibi Robo. You've helped me remember my true purpose in life. To kill that animal. Ch Chibi Robo, like, shakily, like, salutes, like, thinking in the internal monologue, like, I I'm not sure if I really wanted to contribute to the death of a living creature. However, um, you're welcome. Spread the happiness, says Television. Television in the corner just like, you go, Chibi! You got it, buddy! <laughs> like, oh god, you poor, poor man. But now you know, and that's probably a trigger for other events going forward, so. Um, yeah, no, I actually can't get up to the other floor right now. I just can't. But we've, compl we've accomplished other things. There's some Chibi doors around here, so let's do that. I still don't exactly know how long it's gonna take me to get to, first of all, the final boss, and second of all, like, all the other Chibi stuff, so I, I don't know how long I'll be playing this. We'll see. We'll see. Currently, the longest I have ever streamed was about 11 hour, 11 and a half hours. I didn't actually make it to the 12 hour um, threshold, I don't think. We'll see if I can go longer than that. I, I honestly don't know. I have no expectations. We're just gonna go until I feel like something. Excuse me. 
which is what I like. It's what I usually do. I usually just kind of go until I feel like <laughs> stopping. Um, but like in recent in recent weeks, I've been doing a lot more like work stuff because I felt like previously I wasn't like accomplishing my own goals, and I kind of fell into a bit of a, like a like a depressive slump, so to speak, because I was like I was sitting here thinking to myself like. Am I, like, am I making enough progress in my life? And I know, like, you don't really, you shouldn't really stress yourself with making, like, this quote-unquote idea of project progress because everyone's progress is different. But there were a couple of, like, things on my checklist of things that I need to worry about that I was kind of ignoring uh, for a time. Or not really ignoring, but, like, tackling in a way that wasn't seeming to get results. Like, first, the, the main thing being, like, so, I mean, previously I used to work for a company, and then COVID happened, and then I got furloughed. Then I started getting unemployment, and the unemployment buffer of money that we had was enough for my apartment, uh, my uh, fiance and I to get an apartment. And so for a while, the unemployment kept on coming in and whatnot, and we, you know, got our apartment. We've been living here for pretty much almost a year now, and that was able to kind of get things done. We was able to the, pay off the apartment, the electricity, the internet, some loans, basic costs, which is exactly what I feel like unemployment was supposed to do because during the time of like COVID and stuff, they didn't really want people to go into work and stuff like that. Although I'll be honest, I'm sure there are many people out there who kind of felt complacent with it. And I feel like I fell into that category of feeling like, well, it's coming in, so I should take advantage of it so that I can worry about, like, kind of keeping myself and my family safe and whatnot. But then a point came to me where I was like, you know what, but I really can't, obviously you can't, like, deal with, like, you can't just rely on that forever. And eventually it came to a stopping point, naturally. Tax return eventually came in to make up for the rest of it. And I was like, all right, I need to, like, get in gear with getting, like, a job that's going to pay off the, the rent. And I did my finances and whatnot and determined, like, basically, like, how much I would need to make an hour to be able to pay off the apartment. And with all the stuff that I had done now, like, for example, like, Twitch stuff, like, I never expected for money to actually come in from that stuff. A little bit has. And it pays for, like, meals and whatnot every once in a while, which is a super awesome thing. But it's never, it's never been something, like, that you would expect, at least in my case, to pay off actual bills, which is, which is granted. I do it mostly for, I do it mostly for fun, like majority for fun, because I like to play video games and I like to chat with new people online. And I feel like I've made a lot of like really, really important, like relationships in my life because of streaming and gotten certain places in my life because I've streamed before, which is actually really cool because I never thought any of that would be. But anyway, that's why that stuff is happening. And of course, I freelance for a company right now called Spark Toast, and it's a really, really fun position. I feel like I've made a lot of like really important contacts there as well. However, as say, same old, like it doesn't really make a lot of money. Not enough to pay my rent. It's enough to at least pay off my internet, which is again a really great thing. Like if streaming sometimes offsets the cost of like a meal every once in a while that's perfect that is absolutely awesome and if the other position winds up offsetting like the cost of like internet then also like sweet it's doing it's it's absolutely doing its job however there was a pee piss pee, key, key piss a key piece missing which was something that would like cover the rest of it and i didn't have that and i have thought like well I was doing like favors and stuff for like my my family and family friends and whatnot thinking like maybe i'll get a quick buck here and there but a quick buck here and there is not something that was going to be able to like cover all that stuff uh, and so i started job searching again like long story short i started job searching again and i managed to do i mean applied to a couple of positions had a couple of calls for like programming positions or some embedded design positions which i get really excited about i get really excited about hardware stuff i mean even the other day i was describing before like when i went over to a uh, uh, lycosis house that i um that we kind of fixed up the gamecube because the gamecube wasn't reading the disc and i was like um all right actually actually before that even happened i originally came over because he had a, an Xbox One controller that wasn't charging anymore. So I was like, oh, I'll try to replace like the USB port on it, the micro USB port. It was a little small. I'll admit, I have, I have soldering iron skills, but they're not really that good. And in addition, the tip of my, like I have a very fine tip soldering iron, at least I have a tip for it that's very fine. And the heat distribution is very, very bad on it. So I really wasn't able to, I really, really wasn't able to um, get enough heat 
in the right location to be able to heat it up properly and like attach the thing attach the new usb port to the board so you know it was already broken i just broke it more and so the plan now is to take like because the, the special thing about that controller was it has like a custom paint job to it that i think like i said bought out on, uh, online and so we we're like okay well we'll just take all the aesthetic pieces off of it you wind up getting yourself a new xbox one controller eventually and then um and then we'll just uh take the custom pieces and just put them onto the new one and he's like all right we'll do that but then after that we wanted to play curvy air ride and curvy air ride wasn't working on the disc so i was like i know of a trick where you can increase the power of the laser that allows for the computer or it allows for the chip inside of the gamecube to actually read the disc and so i wound up taking the whole thing apart and uh adjusting the little thing and that's the kind of stuff that i love to do like if i feel like if i could open up like a little like computer repair shop like a, a little hole in the wall like i'd be happy for the rest of my life like maybe that would be like like my um my retirement position um not actually right now like i i wouldn't aspire to be at that point i feel like i don't know enough about electronics to be able to be like an all-round good repairman guy so maybe that's not the best option. I don't know. At the very least, uh, hopefully this whole streaming thing keeps up for the next few years because I really enjoy it. I want to keep going with it. And maybe I'll be, maybe I'll do a little streaming when I retire. Continue to entertain the folks because this is enjoyable to me. It's a very good time. I imagine myself many, many years in the future of being like, ah, oh, yes, I'm an old, like, 80-year-old man who's now got, like, like this full-on VR stream setup that's super ultra mega because of the new technology of the future. Uh, and he's just enjoying himself on camera. I feel like there's definitely at least one person that I know about on the internet who already does, like, something like that. I don't know if she streams, but I know she's, like, an maybe 80-plus-year-old woman who plays Skyrim. I don't know if she makes videos or if she streams or people just, or she just kind of is known about by like an uh, some other online persona but like that's super awesome that people see i mean ultimately like i feel like i respond differently because i know that this is a person who in my head in my own like uh a, like original head is like well i don't imagine like like elderly people playing video games that just like my own prejudices are not in there like who knows who i'm talking about and thinks that she streams awesome awesome then she should stream. Honestly, Skyrim is a pretty cool game to stream. If I had a copy of Stry Skyrim the stream, I may have a PC edition. I don't know. I don't play it as, like, obsessively as other people would be. But, like, this woman in my head, like, I don't think of elderly people as being, like, the ones to play video games. So when I see that, I'm like, like wow, this is really, really cool. It'd be like if I saw, like, I mean, like, this is my own, like, my own internal prejudices, prejudices at work. And as time goes on, those prejudices get weaker over time. And I'm proud to admit that I have, like, like, I I'm proud I'm proud to admit that I have some of those prejudices in my head. I don't think they affect me, like, anybody negatively at all. It's not like I'm going to look at an old person and be like, oh, old people don't play video games. So I'm not going to talk about them in that stream stuff. Or I'm not going to suggest this game that they might like because of that. So I try not to let it, like, in like interpret, like, my actions and stuff like that. But because, like, you know, you have to train those out. I think they're, like, there's a word for that. Micro, micro somethings or other. But, like... I, I don't know. I'm trying to get that out of there. Anybody can be. Anybody can do anything, which is a great old, great old thing. My TV ranking is changed. I'm now at 710, which is a wonderful thing. To get the next bonus battery, I need 243 more happy points. While you're here, would I like to save? Uh, not yet. I will save in just a moment because I want to buy my long-range chip from the shopu over here, and then I should be able to break that thing downstairs. Ba -da -ba -ba. Got me a range chip attached to my blaster. But yeah, I don't know. I think like I think in my head I'm like anybody who like I don't know. I, I gotta think of it this way. Like if uh, if I were to know about somebody who streams Skyrim all the time and they weren't like somebody who is like a senior citizen, would I feel the same way? I don't know if I would because of that like an, an internal like and I don't know if it's just a prejudice I don't know if it's prejudice is the right word or what but I don't really know oh my god it seems like my stream is dropping all of a sudden don't be doing that OBS don't do that you're bad bad OBS don't drop like that I hope we don't have any like um random like downtimes today that'd be really unfortunate because I have literally no control over that. It's not my... It can't be my computer getting overloaded because this game isn't even running on my computer. It is just OBS. So, I blame Comcast. But anyway, there's not really much I can do about it. So let's just continue. Let's just ignore the problems and just continue on with our lives. Anyway, Drake Red Chris is doing his thing. 
Good for you, my man. Good for you. But I got a charge shot now. I've got the long range chip. I'm going to go downstairs and try to do stuff. So let's do stuff. Let's go for it. Um, what was I talking about? But yeah, like, oh, Jenny. Jenny's not feeling so hot. Oh, what's wrong, Jenny? Maybe my, maybe her parents are fighting again, which I believe that they probably are. Oh, are the, the little eggs are afraid. Tears on the battlefield? Never, we're too manly to spread tears on the battlefield. I would never. How did I talk to her? Talk to the little one. Talk to the little one. Jenny, Jenny. Jenny, Jenny, who can I turn to? Oh. Ah. Uh, come here, Ribbit. Okay, I'll try to as best as I possibly can. I'll try to get up there. I come up the steps. Where can I go? I need to go over here. So let's fall to the ground. Oh, I lost a little bit from that. Whoops. Let's go up to the shoehorn. But like, I can't go up any farther, so... Oh wait, I can copter over. What am I doing? Can I copter over? Can I... Where do I go from here? Oh man, I can't remember where to go from here. Is there something else? By the way, what is the final boss in this game? There are a couple of little guys called Spidors. They're little like mechanical beast things that uh, you'll wind up finding uh, later in the, in the game. And the final boss is like the queen of them, like the hive queen or something. And basically to the point where electronics take over the world or at least take over this place. Uh, I don't really know. It's, a, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty bullshitty, but you know. No, I really can't get up there. How did I just, how did I get up there the first time? I, I feel like it's staring me right in the face and I just, I just don't know about it. I can't even fathom what it is. Because I definitely can't climb up this way on the thing. Gosh, I can't remember. Ah, I wish I'm worried about it for now. I really do want to come up there, uh, frog girl, Jenny. But I just can't right now. I'll go talk to the hacky sacks on the ground. The hacky eggs. See what they have something to say about this. Help me reach the girl. Unless there's like, um, maybe I can use my Googles. Can I use my Googles? Hello! Yes, I want to talk to you, but I really can't. I'm so sorry. Oh, maybe I can, and I just, eh, whatever, whatever. Anyway, talking back to, um... Hello, y'all. You afraid of a little girl? I te technically, she's a very, very big girl, from your point of view. Listen up, soldier. Let me tell you something about wartime. With Jenny and General Sanderson patrolling the premises, we can't conduct our operations. The men aren't getting the training they need. It's not just that either. To be honest, General Sanderson is being a coward. It's enough to make this soldier sick. He's sleeping on the couch. It's an officer's duty to be a... Be a... Hard-boiled example for the troops. It's the man's job to be a manly man. And he's not a being a very manly man to me. If it were up to me, I'd have to court-martial you. Wow, dude. You should, like, lower your standards or be more accepting of the men in your life. I'm Tex! Um, we're all awfully fond of Jenny and General Sanderson. Uh, we're, we all really are. We're little eggs, little eggs. That was Tex. Private Frisco on duty, sir! We can't train when the family is around, unfortunately. Alright, well, if I can't be me when things are like that. Um, do I have any, like, inventory items that might help with that? Getting up that ledge, there really isn't. So, I'm just gonna continue. I'm gonna go downstairs and, uh, try to figure out the Giga Robo case. I believe there is an item or something I can use to kind of get back up there, and I just, I just don't know what it is. I can't remember. I can't remember. I just cannot remember. Anyway, down we go. Down the steppoos. Down the step. Oh, don't fall down all the way that way. That's very unfortunate. Don't 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 da da Now I can use the. Oh, I gotta get up onto the top of the staircase. If I go this way, then I take out my blaster. Super blaster majigger and then shoot right across. I should get a perfect shot from here. Where's my there we go There we go Power power shot there we go No, is that not working? Maybe I thought this is what I had to do get the sticker 
Well, now I'm confused. Because now I don't even remember how to get that thing down. Did I really not do that right? Did I have to shoot the, um... I feel like I have to shoot the, uh, the... Like, the string, maybe? What am I doing wrong here? It's got a sticker on it. Stickers usually imply, like, good things like that. Well... Hmm. Like, there is an urge for me to look it up. I want to look it up because I want to know what the heck I'm doing wrong, and... Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm gonna do something different. Because I think I have a better idea. I see that, she, that Diego Robo has a plug on. I'm going to plug myself in first. That's probably what I had to do next. Maybe I didn't have to shoot things. I'm going to plug myself in first and then drop dead. Because I think that's what happens. I remember this now. I had to plug into Giga Robo. And now we get a little bit of back and we're downloading the memories. Not like that plug that's on there is... That, that plug that's on there is not supposed to do data, but whatever. Oh, Chibi, Chibi Robo, you plugged into the big man. Are, are, are you all right, Chibi Robo? No, I'm not all right. Stop fooling around. Seriously, are you okay? C come on, this this place is it's giving me the creeps. Oh, let's hurry and get out of here. Uh, huh? Oh, your eyes. You fried a circuit, it seems. I guess that's what happened when a cheap <laughs> and then he drops dead. I guess that's what happens when you fry a circuit. Chibi Robo! Don't die! No! Chibi Robo, no! And now I will have flashbacks to the horrible, horrible past. And now a story. Back then, they got Giga Robo, and Giga Robo was very good at totally beating Mr. Sanderson to a pulp and ripping him of his masculinity. Then, he'd bring in packages, which may be a toaster. He'd help out around the house. Very good. And he'd honestly just kind of hang around. Note that there is no Jenny in this case. Game over. You lose. You're dead, sir. Giga Robo would kind of hang around. And then, all of a sudden, Giga Robo caught this flying saucer that was flying in from the sky. See, I told you they were aliens. I told you. And these little robot aliens from the future gave them the little ball. The little, little ball of what? The little ball of power. And it brought all of the toys to life. Maybe. But then, eventually, bills started piling up. The electric bill was too much for Giga Robo. The toys stopped talking to Giga Robo, and they had to leave him in the basement because they couldn't afford the bills. See, that's the problem I'm in. I can't have a super awesome robot man because I can't pay my bills properly. That's why I'm getting a job. A better job. Does Sanderson even have a job? Shabby Robo. Are you dead? You... You died! And that's the end of the game, everybody. Thank you so much for coming along. It was a really, really good time. That's the end of Chibi Robo, everybody. Um, everybody is dead. <laughs> just kidding. This is the second time I've done this. You fell for it again, you silly peoples! Uh, just kidding. Yeah, okay, so Giga Robo is coming back. There was just a little bit of charge left in Chibi Robo to make him move again. Sort of. Huh? What's going on? Huh? I'm rattling. I can't just not rattling. Quick, somebody get the AED. Giga Robo is going into a seizure. Ah! Says Telly, Telly, whatever. Phone call for Telly. Gotta go. Gotta run. <laughs> it's fine. I'm oh no. Mm, robo time. Phew. Well, that was a relief. That thing is terrifying. Wow, Telly, you are a robot. How could you be so like? Afraid of this robot you'd never met. I can't believe it can move after all this time. No, oh, I wonder what's for dinner. Just kidding. I wonder what this might be. It looks like a giant battery cell. That's because it is. It's a giant battery cell. But more importantly... Ch Chibi Robo, are you dead? See, now I wonder where the hell the water came from. We were just getting used to this house. 
And now you die, and, and you leave me all alone. I mean, I'm a manager without a client. I'm alone. I'm alone. No, Jimmy Rubble, why would you do this to me? I have no purpose in life anymore. Oh my goodness, Jimmy Rubble, please come back to life. Oh, oh, uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Rubble, are you alive? Oh my God, Jimmy, oh, you're alive. Jimmy Rubble just kind of looks at the camera like. We've been through this. I'm not actually dead. I'm a very well-made robot. You're alive! Uh, I'm so glad, Chibi Robot. I thought you'd kick the bucket. Uh, but I suppose I shouldn't have worried, because you're good at that stuff. I was going to fix you no matter what, even if I had to use my own parts. Yes, yes, I would have. So tell me, did you dream? Do robots have dreams? I never dream. I just have these really existential thoughts sometimes in the middle of the night while I'm plugged in. Actually, television doesn't even have a plug. Did I dream? Yeah, I dreamed. I consider this a dream. You didn't dream, right? Robots can't dream. It's, it's quite possible that you downloaded data from GigaRobo's memory banks. No, all this time is really tucking me out. I'll see you later, Chibi Robo. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to my corner, which is the bucket where you usually come back at night. And I'll come back to you later. <laughs> kind of like, kind of like, like snaps a Chibi Robo as he goes away. Like, I'll see you later, buddy. <laughs> but no, we're back. We're back in action. Yo, what's going on, Astro? How are you? This fine, wonderful. It's noon. It's not noon. It is 1.10 Eastern Standard Time. Afternoon. Afternoon, yes, sir. I'm gonna clean up the tears of the fallen. Cleaning up the tears of the fallen. Because people die sometimes. Cleaning up tears gives you, like, a disproportionate amount of happy points. Oh, there's also some gunk over here, so I'll clean that up. It's a lot of grease. It's actually, it's mud down here. A lot of grease, a lot of mud. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Well, with that, I am going to pick up this charger. A giga battery. Boy. Astro pretty much fell asleep at 6 a.m., so just kind of wake it up. My goodness, that was a long time. I got back home in my apartment around 1 a.m. last night, and I zonked right out. So that's where I'm at. Chibi Robo, wow, that's a... Uh, I'm sorry, I, I, I told you I was going back to my, like, my corner, but I decided to come back, so that's that's a that's a battery, right? It's a big battery. Huh, what, what is it? I don't know what this is. There's nothing in my memory banks telling me what it is. Hey, if you plan on taking the battery, you're gonna have to go through me first. Who is it? It's a pirate. I know. It's an alcoholic pirate. I'd thank you to charge it up and bring it back in one piece. My buddy Giga over here is feeling a little down the weather. Yar, yar be harba dinga donger. And yet, it's not what you want, is it, me colossal matey? What is it that you really want? Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna really, really, really wanna sail seven seas. If you wanna be my crewmate, you gotta get in my ship. Um, but I've lost my ship now. Where is it? It's in the backyard, actually. Yard, if you only could speak to me, Giga Robo. What? Is that really Giga Robo? I had no idea there was a bigger Chibi Robo. It's like you, Chibi. But bigger. Is, is he dead? D television, I feel like you should know just as much as the next robot that's just out of battery. Robots don't die, you flying boy! Oh, <laughs> right, should have known. I'm a robot. I knew I couldn't die. I definitely did not have a fear of death up until this point. He sure is big. He's a lot taller than you, Chibi Robo. One moment. Uh, according to my data. He is a very old model. He started a trend known as Giga Robo Fever a long time ago. Astro, for some reason, couldn't sleep last night for some reason. Well, I hope that whatever we do here can give you the rest you deserve by putting you to sleep. Unless I scream hard enough, in which case, lower the volume. It's okay. I understand. It's a very loud place around here. Giga Robo started the trend of Giga Robo Fever a long time ago, but his energy consumption was too high and his popularity completely plummeted. He was driving up the electric bill. Shut your blubber hole, you stupid piece of television! Um, you think you're smart, but you know nothing about him. Oh, 
I'm sorry. Uh, I, I didn't mean to offend anybody. I'm really sorry about that, Mr. Splinter Beard. Maybe you look like you're made of wood, so I assumed you were Splinter. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, I thank you very much. Uh, if you'd excuse me, I'm gonna go cry in my corner again. Fair your sails, matey. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Terrifying pirate man. Yeah. You come blowing in here like a summer squall and leave without introducing yourselves? I'm sorry, um, I'm Television. Um, my name is Telly. Uh, I'm Telly, Telly Vision. It's funny, because Telly is like, it's British. Oh, the telly, Telly, we told you that over there is Chino Robo. He doesn't talk much, so like, don't, 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 don't make him feel bad. Uh, don't mind him, he doesn't talk much. And, and who might you be? <laughs> it's about time, yes. You see, I'm the notorious pirate of the. I'm the scourge of the seven seas, the overlord of the ocean's blue, the king of all pirates. Captain Blankbeard! I'm sure you've heard of me. You're a pirate? I, or at least, I used to be. Now I'm nothing more than a shipless landlubber. Oh, and how did you lose your ship? That tale's as long as the sea be deep. And as sad as a tailless mermaid. Lycos lore has got to bounce for now. I'm going to enjoy my stream very much so. I don't know who ye be, Lycos, but I hope you have a wonderful rest of your sea-loving journey. It's a sad tale, I tell ye, but me throat's as parched as my soul. So I'll be saving me story for a bit. Not until you can bring me some rum. Somebody's got to have some rum around here somewhere. Who's got the rum? Do you have the rum? Tell me you have the rum. Give me the rum. Yeah, yeah, I love the taste of water. Just kidding, I'm not an alcoholic, I just like water. What say you? Will you return someday and listen to me, sad tale of woe? Um, yes, yes, uh, I promise, I, I promise I will come back. <laughs> Never make a promise you can't keep. That's the pirate's code, you know. You do well to remember me words, you overgrown piece of plankton. Okay. I got you. That's me, Chibi in the corner, like, yeah, I got you. Got you, pirate man. Got you. I won't forget them. Even if I die, I'll come back. It's really impossible for me to forget. I'm a robot, you see? Unless I have to make space for memory. We've got about a gigabyte in here. It's a lot of memory space, you know? What did I tell you? Robots don't die, and you don't get to scurvy neither. You're right. You're right. You're right. Are you heading off for studying, dear? Okie dokie. The Giga Router is no good by its lonesome. You need to search the house and find the Giga Charger. <laughs> it's up there. Pretty sure the Giga Charger is up there on the shelf. Or at least I thought I saw it up there. Ooh, that was scary. Uh, anyway, let's go back. I ain't going back just yet. There's so much so there's still so much left of the night. I can't just go back yet. Bump it bump bump ba da ba. So the next main story goal. Oh. Peace out, dear. I'll see you later. Bye. Phew, that was close. I hope her studying goes well. She's been stressing out a lot about like she's got. I think her practicals coming up this week and some other tests and stuff like that. It's it's finals week. People get stressed for finals. I completely understand that. I almost sometimes feel bad that. I guess the environment I make here, especially during stream time, is not very right for studying. But there's like, there's the library that she can go to. I know she's got some friends. I think she said she was actually studying with some of her PT, PT pals today. So I hope that goes really well. I know tonight we're expecting, we're hoping to have like a lo nice, lovely dinner to kind of de stress from things, kind of ease into the next week. We had, um, we had like a friend, I think a PT friend of her, uh, recommended this like, this, this, I don't know how they got into the topic of wine, uh, I guess at the, at the classes and whatnot, but they recommended this, uh, Pinot Noir wine, which is supposed to be very sweet, sweet red wine. So we're hoping to try that, uh, at some point. We wanted to make it a special story, or a special little time to celebrate, celebrate my, like, uh, the job calls that I got the other day. I, I didn't, no, no offers, just interviews and stuff like that. 
but I haven't had one of those in a while, so it was a kind of a, it was a special need to celebrate and to help Anna kind of ease into the study time. So hopefully it'll be nice. We'll have to uh, start another anime too, uh, because we usually we usually watch the animes and stuff. But um, let's see, we finished watching Monster was an anime that we just finished watching. That was a very like long like seventy episode psychological horror one. It was pretty cool. It covered a lot of really deep topics and made me feel a certain way to think about things. But that's good. I like to think about things sometimes. I gotta put my, I gotta get my inventory up. Where's my inventory? There we go. Uh, the blaster. And so we also finished watching season two of a show called The Promised Neverland, which is a one where children basically get eaten um, by like demons and stuff like that. Pretty cool story. I really like, I really liked it. So will this work now that I've talked to Gigarobo? I really don't know why I can't break this thing. I don't know what I was missing, honestly. Is it... Maybe I need to hit the Giga Charger up there? I, I don't really know. There's a sticker on there, so I feel like I have to do that. Or maybe I gotta give the water to Mr. Plankbeard over here, and then maybe he'll help me with that. There's also gunpowder up there, too, but... Oh, did it actually do anything? Oh, it makes funny sounds. It makes his mustache go around. <laughs> That's funny. Well, anyway, I suppose I will go back up because I just don't know. Or maybe, you know what? What if I shoot it from a different angle? Maybe if I shoot from the bottom, it'll be more advantageous. Oh! I had to walk closer to it. See, this is like, this This. This would have confused me. I almost walked all the way upstairs and then just forgot about it. That looks like it's about to snap. Equip the Chibi Blaster and take aim with Chibi Vision. Oh, you mean like the thing that I was literally just doing? Mind where you aim that thing, laddie. I'd not see anyone hurt by your careless ways. And that's when I shoot him, and then his mustache flips around, and then it's all fun and uh, funny, funny, funny. All right, let's go up. I know the Giga Charger is all the way up there, so I have to find the Giga Charger. And I think, I think I use scrap to charge the Giga Charger. I, I don't really remember what it is. Oh, you know, and down here too is I think where we find the uh, the inklings of the game's main antagonist, the spy doors, which are another type of. Uh, I think they were. I think in in universe. They are uh, a rival uh, robot made by a different company, meant to like make the job of chi like Chibi Robos difficult because they were jealous of like whatever company was jealous of Citrus Ops. I've also picked up gunpowder. That's not scary or anything like that. Certainly not. Certainly, certainly not. Let's go down here. Push out the bricks. Was there anything else up here? I think to get to. Uh, I get definitely can't get over there. But the little Chibi door over there. I want to get there. That's where the Giga Charger is. So I will climb my way up until I can get to that Giga Charger. Giga, Giga, Giga Charger, Giga, Giga Charger. Use my copter powers. Copter powers activate. Move across this little long gap over here, and then I'm gonna pull it on out again. All right, let's pop on on. Um, I need to get to the bird. I think I need to be. Just in the right position to get to the birdcage. Then I can climb up somewhere else. So let's put the copter back on. Uh, hopefully this works. Yes, into the birdcage. Oh dear. Oh, yes, perfect. And then the rope goes down and I can access this a lot easier next time. Yes! Success! Hey, what are you doing, TB? Uh, just messing around. Don't, don't mind me down there, sir. Tis a dangerous game you be playing. Yarr, what be this? It looks like a rope. Tease a rope. I, I see. you searching for the Giga Robo's Giga Charger, eh? Chibi me, lad. You're a slippery fish to get a handle on. <laughs> yes, I'm slippery because I'm a robot. Because obviously that's exactly how that works. I always had trouble with these. I always thought too, like, this birdcage looks like it has, like, bird droppings in it. Is what I assume those little white things are. But I, I really don't know. So let's get to get over here, and there we go. Some more charge. I have to get up these ropes and get to the top. I don't remember if there's a charge up here, but I know there is something up here. Let me use my my Googles, my Googles to see around. What is up? What is up here? The box up here. Which I don't really care about right now. There's a door which I I should look at. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to go to the door. Then I'm going to. 
go to the charger, and hopefully I'll have enough um, energy left over to get back down to the ground without dropping dead. We'll see. We'll see. Doop. No, I am getting pretty low. We'll collect all the moolah. Lots of moolah to be found. Now I need to go over to the Giga Charger, which is over there. So I can do that by going a decent way. Bump it a bump a ball, get into the thing. Da, 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 so I should be able to just kind of hover down. There we go. Got it. I'll pick up some trash and then proceed with the storyline, I suppose. Big ol' soda cans. Very good for getting money from the trash. I've got the Giga Charger. Giga Charger, yeah. Yar! That be it, says I. It's a shame that I couldn't tell there was a charger up there down from here. Do you truly mean to set Giga Robo to sail in once more? Yes. I, that's, that's exactly what I plan on doing. Oh, uh, Chibi. You're such a... You're such a good little robot. I got one more thing for you to remember. And that's... That's to... Never stop believing in yourself. Don't use the outlets in the house when you fill her up. It's no good. You'll be drawing so much power, the poor Sandersons will go bankrupt. It'll be bad. Causing the family hardship wouldn't sit well with Giga Robo. Let me tell you, he's already feeling pretty bad about that. Ain't that right? You giant can opener. Giga Robo says. His survey says. Silence. Yar, I almost forgot Giga Robo re missing a leg. Ain't no peg leg either. If me memory serves, Captain Sanderson put in a queer sort of treasure chest. Queer sort of treasure chest? What do you mean by queer sort of treasure chest, my see? Ah, sort of a steel trunk with a handle. A suitcase? Perchance it's a suitcase. I'm gonna make my way down from here. Going all the way down so I can, um... I guess while, I'm, while I've still got some time left in the night, I'll do a little, uh... Do a little cleaning. I don't think I'll need the outlet tonight. We'll see. Do a little scooping. Scoop a scoop a scoop a scoop a scoop in. I'll scrub myself dead. There we go. Or maybe not scrub myself too far dead. And let's make our way over, over to the wall plug. Where I will wait until the next day. And when the next day comes, I will take a quick break to make a sandwich for myself. Because it is about lunchtime and I'm in the mood. I got a hankering for something. But I don't know what yet. I believe Anna went off to Chick-fil-A yesterday and might have gotten me a couple of nuggets. So I might munch on some Chick-fil-A nugs. That'll be very pleasant. I do like me some Chick-fil-A nugs. Energy's full. Am I going to save? I'll save when I go back to the Chibi house. In the meantime, let's cl clean up some more stuff. Claim some more stuff until the night rolls over. That's kind of like, that's a habit that I've been trying to get myself back into. Is like, when, because I, I usually wind up working on stuff all day. Whether that be streaming, or some programming, or chatting with peeps, or whatever might be job related. Or vaguely job related. And I'll always like, after, I, after it gets too late in the night, I'm like, oh, oh, I can't just keep working. I've been working all day. So instead of just going straight to bed, I try to, like, take care of some housework around the place. Like, you know, clean up the counters or do some of the dishes, do a little laundry and stuff like that. It feels good. It makes me feel like I'm making progress. Oh! Daytime. And this is where I will do, conduct a quick break while I fill my tummy up and take care of a couple other things along the way. So while I am gone, please enjoy these parrots and I will be back in a hot sec. Peace out till then. And we're back, everybody. Welcome back to Chibi Bravo. I had me some leftover Chick-fil-A nuggets from last night that my dearest very, very happily, or rather I very happily, was able to eat because she very kindly purchased for me. <laughs> this is the proof. This is a packet of Chick-fil-A sauce, in case you doubt me. Why would you doubt me? Why would you doubt me? Because I'm some random dude on the internet. That's exactly why you should doubt me. Nice, you're very smart. Anyway, let's get back into the Chibs of the Robos. It's a morning time, and let's adjust to the happy point total. My chibi ranking has gone from... By the way, OBS is still scaring me with audio stuff, so I'm just gonna test real quick to make sure this everything is working. 
Yep, it is. Your chibi ranking has gone from 710 to 595. We're getting closer. In order to get to the next tower, you need 198 more happy points. Those are so happy points. Those are some points that are happy. And... Well, that's done. Um, so, uh, I guess it was Giga Robo who was making that noise we heard, right? You might not know. But Giga Robo is the brainchild of the legendary engineer, Dr. Joy Ebusu of Citrusoft. Citrusoft. He made you too. Even though he designed you both, Giga Robo is ten times bigger than you are. And he's a hundred times heavier. And uh, don't get me started about his battery. Oh, baby. He used a thousand times more energy than you do. There was an energy crisis a few years back. Uh, uh, and all at once, everyone just stopped using their Giga Robos altogether. Makes sense. These days, you can't even pay someone to take the poor guy off your hands. It's just sad to see someone like this ha something like this happen. Tossed aside like so much trash. The poor guy. Ellipses. Well, that's uh, enough of it moping around. We've got work to do. Let's go earn us some happy points. <laughs> la, 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 la. Oh! Now just take out the Giga battery and Giga Charger you're carrying. Ding dong. Yep, that's it. Look at that. It's already bigger than you are. Ha! Chibi Robo. It's pretty heavy, so let's set it over there. Okay. I will lift it up to the gods! And then the god will provide us with a means to charge. Ah, it's steaming for whatever reason. Yeah, that's the way. And then do the same thing with that one. And then again. It's the Giga Charger. The Charger even looks like Giga Robo too. I think it's I deposit monies. I think I deposit monies. That's how, that's how I do it. You know what that means? You can finally charge the Giga Battery. While you're here, Chibi Robo, would you like to save? Yes, absolutely. Boop -a boop. Meow, Chibi House. <laughs> Alrighty, so now that's out of the way, and I'm pretty sure I attached myself to the wall. I think this is coin operated. Oh, I think you could probably charge it if you're willing to shell out the moolah. It looks like the Giga battery doesn't have any energy stored up at all. I think it's gonna take a whole lot of juice to charge that bad Giga battery up, Chibi Robo. We can't charge it from the outlets of the house. That would break the family's bank. But your bucket house is connected to the charger, which is connected to the thing so uh, you're also taking energy from the house but whatever let's not worry about that let's not worry about how it's actually working on the grid so let's say we do our best to save up some moolah on paper from our own pockets uh, do you want to charge it sure a thousand kilowatts equals a thousand moolah and how many kilowatts will you charge oh uh, i don't have a lot of moolah so you can take oh can i only do i can do only in thousands I want a thousand, do it anyway. You don't have enough moolah. Okay, well, I guess I'll come back for this later. Any other things in the shop? I don't have any scrap yet, so I can't do scrap stuff. I don't think there's anything else here that I would need. Gee, the battery's not very useful. Nah, all right, I'll start saving up my monies. Fun stuff. So now we've got Giga Robo doing his charging -y thing. Um, what do I gotta do next? There's definitely other things. I need to figure out how to access the spot. I need the spoon so that I can go and dig outside. And I think the spoon is over here in the kitchen. So let's go grab the spoon. It would be appropriate for the spoon to be in the kitchen, right? Bandage, frog rin, ah, spoon. There's a spoon up there. I can get the spoon. Get the spoon. <laughs> Every single piece of music from this game just feels like just it's not it's got a nice like bass line to it Like somebody who whoever is the guitar master the bass master behind this. I love you. You're awesome Thank you for doing this. Thank you for working on the soundtrack for this. It's it's wonderful And plus all the little like funny jingles and stuff that you wind up hearing throughout it too is just like ah, it's beautiful one of my favorite characters in this game, which we haven't yet meet, met yet, um, technically favorite toy in this game, is this flower who's like all jazzy like that. He's, I think, like Funky Phil or something like that. And I think that 
he may be the one that you get the little squirting thing from. Maybe. I'm not exactly sure. And I know I can't talk to you. Uh, let's see. The spoon is up there, so I need to make my way up there some... How... Actually, let me check, check it over there first. What is the best way to do? Best way to do, best way to do... I need to get up there with the spoon. How to get to the spoon. I don't think I can get... Oh! I can get on top of this now because it's lower to the ground. Maybe? Can I? Hello? Maybe. I want to get on top of this. It will not let me. So I guess I will not be going that route. Can't go on top of this can. I don't think there was an area in the back that I can get up to. <coughs> Excuse me. How do I get up on top of there? I know there was a way for me to get up on top of there, and I think I have to be up on top of the back first. Maybe. So I'm just gonna go up there and see what there is to find. Because I haven't been up there yet this playthrough, so... Might as well charge before I go on my little adventure. Am I going to shove? I'm a, no, I'm not going to shove today. No shoving for me. No thank you. No shoving. I just want it. There we go. Gonna make my way over the stove. The stove has these little areas that you can, like, climb up. And that should bring me to the top over there where there might be grease, there might be treasure. We, who no really knows, honestly. There's plenty to find in the world of Chibi and Robo. And the juxtaposition of the two, uh, delimited by a hyphen. So let's climb up and see what we can find. Now that I'm up here, I can find what? Can I climb these poles? I can climb these poles! Climb these poles up to the top. What's up here? Oh, right, there's like grease dripping from the top here. I don't remember if there's like a purpose to cleaning up all this gunk up here. Just kind of, just kind of drips a little bit. I wonder if there was a purpose to being up here. Wait a minute, there is... I see a little thing phasing in and out of existence right here, and I don't know what it is. Was it a crayon? I feel like there might be a, like, there might have been, like, a, uh, a collectible thing up here. I don't know. I don't exactly remember what the point of this was. Oh, gotta clean, gotta clean, gotta clean, gotta clean. Gotta clean, clean grease, gotta clean grease. There's so much grease from the ceiling. Cleaning bonus time! Sweet! Yeah, but there is something phasing out in and out of existence right there. So the bottom, towards the middle bottom right of the screen. I don't know what it is. I can't fathom it right now. All is good in the world of Chibi Robo where we clean things. It's a very simple life we live. Scrub, 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 scrub. Yeah, I don't know if anything comes about from this. Aside from just kind of happy points and stuff like that. But it's fun! Uh, all right, well, I'm gonna go back down uh, using the power of the copter and try to see if I can identify what this little thingy is. Nah, I really couldn't identify it. Oh, oh, it's this thing. This was what was phasing out of existence. It's right here. It was just a can, right? Was that it? Okay, I could see it through the grates. I just couldn't tell what it was. Okay, plot out my course. My next course. Where's my next course gonna be? I want to get to the spoon. How do I get to the spoon? I need to get up there somehow. How to get up to the top of the branch? Bandage is way up there. Was there another location I could go to? Technically, I also want to go to the table. I don't have a conceivable way of getting over there right now. I do want the spoon. But I'm wondering why the route that I'm taking over there with the with the jars is not working. There was nothing else up there, and I really don't have enough space from up there to get to the table. Maybe I do. I honestly can't remember how to get up there. It was the kitchen magnets? Did that have something to do with the kitchen magnets? Can I climb in the... I don't know if I can climb in the kitchen. You don't remember I can and I cannot. Well, we'll try to see. Now, there's definitely no ledges right there. Maybe this is a bit of a dead end for me. Perhaps the area to the upstairs has been unlocked. Or something like that. Maybe if I help out... If I help you in, out enough, will you, like... I don't know. Will you do good for me? Can I clean up your messes? See, just like that. How's that, Mrs. Sanderson? Oh, how thoughtful of you. I love it when you help out. It saves me a lot of trouble. I'll make sure to give Telly your moolah bonus. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, girl. You my friend. You my friend, girl. I like you. I like you a lot. Oh, fishies? Oh, if I had fish food, I could put it in the tank. You wanna give something to the fish? I have breadcrumbs. I got crumbs. Cookie crumbs. Here you go, bud. We like to feed the fish. 
And I think actually a fish, there wind up being more fish in there, I think, the more you feed them. So cookie crumbs is good. That's 16 happy points for helping out the fish in the house. Nice. Interesting how they're also able to give us moolah because like uh, You're so kind you're so kind, Shibo. I should have married you instead of that slob. Oh. There comes the roughness again. Uh, do I have anything else that you guys can eat? I feel like cookie crumbs are the best thing. I don't think you can eat other types of trash, so let's not worry about that. Okay. We'll clean some of this. Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 no. I want to clean up this mess. It's my job to clean up your messes. I get happy points. I have an incentive. See, if I were able to gain a sort of thing, like a sort of currency... For happy point, like happy points to do dishes around the house, maybe I'd be more inclined to do so. Um, that or maybe not. Actually, that might be an area I can only get to when I unlock the little. You can unlock like little utilibots, and the utilibot that I'm thinking of might be like a little ladder. So maybe I need that first. In which case, I can't do the spoon just yet. I also can't get over there unless I'm all the way up there. But it's just the chibi door, and eh, it's not really a worry right now. Perhaps I should make my way back. To the foyer to try to find um, something else up there. We'll try that instead. I don't exactly remember what part in the game like occurs when you can actually like fight these other things because you can't the, the, the other currency in this game is the scrap and you don't collect scrap unless you defeat the like the other the evil robots the evil robot spiders um, and I haven't seen any evil robot spiders yet. Uh, not something we can do right now. Everybody in formation? That's good. That's very good. Is there a little block up there now that I can use to uh, go up that way? Or, uh, hi folks! We're not in this spot. I'm Orlando! Private Memphis used to stand right here. Now the Sarge screams at us every day. Roll call, it's all because he's gone. Well, sad. Oh. You're slacking! Start over again. Initiate roll call! Sound off! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yes! Yes! Oh yeah, you're really good at roll call. <laughs> 16, 17, 18. Everyone's accounted for, sir. Show up for roll call or the whole army suffers. <gasps> oh, but it looks like everyone's here. So today's your lucky day. No one suffers. Today, you don't have to suffer. That's okay. Wow, nice. 20 happy points. Oh yeah. Spreading the happiness one day to call, one day at a time. Good, roll call is officially done. Go! 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 Text Frisco, begin physical training. Yes, sir! Well, do I get to do physical? I don't, I don't think I get to do physical training. There's no need for me to physically train, I'm a robot! I don't, I don't have to physically train. I just need, like, I just need to use my money to purchase upgrades. That's my equivalent of training. It's just making money and then upgrading. To my knowledge, there's no sort of like robot structure out there that gets like better the more you use it or stronger the more you lose it. Um, I think to my knowledge, that's just kind of a biological thing in the body, in the body or the animal, a body of the animal, I think. Not that I know of. Although there might be like, like some material developed out there that gets stronger the more you use it. Maybe. And I don't know how that gets like... I don't know. I don't know anything about that one. So, I can't speak upon that. But it sounds cool. It sounds like a cool concept. Let's use my chibi glasses to see if there's anything up there. Uh, yeah, still doesn't give me the right level. What am I missing? There's a frog ring up there. I feel like I'm missing. There's definitely something crucial that I'm totally missing right now. And I don't think it was outside. Because I can't really go many places outside. Maybe it's the living room. I, I, perhaps I messed something up in the living room. Or missed something. There might be, like, a thing here. Or uh, some some trigger that I haven't yet done. Frog rings, frog rings, frog rings. Nothing over here now. I haven't talked to the boss, man. I haven't talked to Sanders yet. 
So let's try that. I would actually talk to you, like, while you were awake. So let me talk to you while you were awake. What's up, Mr. Sanders? I want to tell you something, Mr. Sanderson. Hey right there, Chibi Robo. How goes it? You getting used to our house yet? My uh, wife is mad at me, but don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. You just go out and get a lot of happy points, okay? Oh, is that all? All right. Um, what if I equip my Jake, my Red Crest mug? You want that? Oh, can I do that? No? All right, you don't want it? All right, then. What if I am in my Red Crest suit, right? What if I show you my action? My action figure! Ooh, that's good! I really like it! I mean, I really, really like it! Man, Drake Red Crest rocks. So you get some happy points for that. Dad just gave you nine happy points! Alright! And got 70 moolah! Ooh. Spread the happiness. It's a shame my wife can't understand just how cool he is. Unfortunate. What a shame your wife feels that way. Let's take that off. I know I have quite a bit of rubbish for the can. So let's throw some rubbish in the can. Maybe get some more moolah for that. Um, maybe the next trigger happens when I start charging the battery. Perchance. Because I think I need scrap to build the utilibots. I don't have scrap yet because there are no spider robot demons. So I need to accomplish that. If I had the spoon, I could dig up outside. If I had the little uh, siphon thing, I don't know exactly what they call it in this one, but it's a little, uh, it's a little like, um, uh, it's like, it's a shot. Like it's a shot, but it's made of plastic and it's a whole hell of a lot bigger and significantly less sharp. I don't know what you call those things. Pipette, I guess, but it's not made of glass. I, I cannot remember. I just cannot remember. I'm gonna go outside and do some things out there too before the day ends, because I don't know if there's much else that I can do in the day today. Except find more trash. Bonnie's trash. Actually, I'll try to climb the tree. I haven't done that yet. Oh, what is that sound? Oh, I can hear, like, I guess cars from the neighborhood. I guess. When I have the squirt of a jigger, I can water up this girl. This gal right there. But I can't yet. Unfortunate. Then I can also suck up nectar from these flowers. Might as well grab that, uh, frog thing. Oh, wrong button. I'll do this up. Scubble, scubble. Only a little bit. I know there's birds up there. I don't remember what the birds... Well, like, what you're supposed to do with the birds, but I know... I know that the birds are, like, a something you can get. Maybe I had to find, like, other baby birds. Maybe. There's also, too, there's a, it might be a reference to another game made by the same, like, developers, but there is a dude dressed like an eggplant up in this tree. If you, like, I think water the ground or dig the ground on a certain point, um, yeah, so, and I don't exactly know what that gives you. Ooh, chibi do water. I'll take that. No, 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 I don't want to go back down. I want to go up. Thank you. So let's see what's in the door. Open the door, go inside the door. Gonna get money, cause money is good. There we go, one and two. Let me come on back out. I wanna see what's at the end of this thing here. And use my chibis. There's the white black over there, and there's a spider web over here. I think I need to uh, use my power shot, my, my blaster. Help me, my blaster. Boy, I broke it apart. Now I can go up. Up into the tree. The tree of power, the tree of wonders. Hello, birdie. Can I talk to you, birdie? What do you got, birdster? <laughs> He's in a deep sleep. If he doesn't move, we can't get to the other side. Maybe you'll be awoken at night. Perhaps you're nocturnal. Oh shit, that's me dead. I have now died. I have fallen off the tree and have perished. That's the end of Chibi Robo for now. Until I go back to the place, and... Well, I lost money, too. Mmm, that's not fun. I did not mean to lose money like that. Oh, well. Yeah, cry about it, Telly. Oh, man, I had, like, over a thousand. Gosh, no! Unfortunate. Oh, yeah? Oh, well, it looks like you lost some... Yeah, yeah, we know, we know. We've been through it all before. We've already been traumatized. But at least we get better happy points. I think I get better battery at this point, right? Right? Maybe. 
260 now. Very good. Very good. Making our way up in the world. Because they have the next bonus and it's 63 more happy points. Huh. Well, Luigi, would you like to save? Might as well. I suppose I'll save. Might as well. I don't have enough, uh... It sucks, though, now. I don't have enough, uh, moolah to even put a little a kilowatt in this thing. Oh, that is so annoying. Is it daytime now, though? I wonder if it's daytime already. Um, actually, no, nighttime. Nighttime. Or if I have a little bit left in the daytime. What if I have, like, just enough time to, like, pick up some more trash and throw it away? Yes, I may. I may. Just enough more trash and stuff. So let's try that. Or, like, a single, a single coin moolah. Because I don't know if I'll make it all the way over to the trash bin. There's a moolah right there! I have to go grab it! Go towards the moolah! Is it two or... Oh, it's ten. Sweet. Now I have enough for a uh, kilowatt, I guess. And I know also over here, there's a little crumb in the ground. I don't want to... I don't want to... Oh, time's up. I almost grabbed the, the cookie. The cookie stuffs can be given to the fish. Do you need some quality time with television? Oh! Oh! I don't remember what it means. Uh, maybe that's an indicator if Telly says like, oh, when you go to the to the thing. Good record there. Uh, I guess my happy points have adjusted a little bit since last time, because I was literally just here. And then we get to hear a little bit of advice from Telly about what comes next in the day. I'd like I'd like to say, not really, to be honest. It's, uh, I just don't need it. And now I have enough to put in a kilowatt. Giga battery doesn't have any energy. But it will in a little bit. Yes! I, mean, I can't remember how many kilowatts we need in there. I think it might be 10. One. We'll give you a thousand kilowatts. Boop. Yeah. That drops a whole little green thing in there. More Chibi Mobile, more! The Giga Battery is charged a thousand kilowatts. And I think there's only 9,000 to go. I think. That's that's what I'm inclined to believe, but I could be very wrong. Pick up this trash. You dirty, dirty robot. Very dirty, dirty robot. There's nothing for me to buy over here, so... That's how it'll be. That's just how it'll be. Onward to the living room. Maybe I should go on Night Watch with uh, Drake Redcrest. I haven't done that yet. Yeah, I really haven't done that yet. Oh, where is Drake Red? There you are. Just kind of yelling at yourself in the corner, I guess. Good. Good for you. Good for you, Redcrest. I need to go into my inventory. I'm going to put on my suit and strike a pose right next to the Redcrest. And then we're going to go on night patrol. Whatever that means. Oh, wait. I did the thing. Why? No. I, I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you with the power of the thing. Come here. Come here. Redcrest. Mr. Monster Redcrest. You know me. Good morning, Space Hunter Chibi Robo! <laughs> Space Hunter Code Part 3! Never neglect your patrol! Gotcha. Patrol with me, patrol for justice! Okay. I like the patrol for justice. <laughs> then we ride! Do we ride? Amazing Force Shield of Forcefulness! What the hell? What does that do? Space Hunter Chibi Robo, be on your guard! This world still crawls with dangerous danger. Stay within this force field and follow me! I don't remember ever doing this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude. Why are you running so fast? Hold, Hunter, you left the force field. Well, it's a common error among beginners. Not to worry, not to worry. Can I try again? But if you wish to maintain peace, you must try harder tomorrow. We ride again. Oh, serious law? Ugh. It's because I didn't pick up my plug. Can I try again? I guess not. Can I, can I try again? I want to try again. Come on, boss. I can do it again. Pow. And then? Yeah, Red, Red Chris. We get it. Hello, Space Hunter Robo. Your excitement is indeed impressive, but you want to try it tonight, right? It seems that the living room is currently in a state of buco bucolicism. I'm not familiar with that word. That is a word, right? <laughs> of course it is. And regardless, I shall leave you in charge of tomorrow's patrol, Space Hunter Chibi Robo. Okay. All right. I've been denied by the mighty Drake Red Crest. So, huh. 
Huh, what other goals do I have? I want to get this the sucking thing. I have not yet found the sucking thing. I need to go upstairs to the sucking thing, I think. There's other things over here. I see it all around. There are places to go. Family members to find. Nuts to crack. I'm gonna go on top of the couch and grab, I think, is there a frog ring on top of the table? I spun all the way around to answer that question. There isn't. There's a frog ring over there. How do I get up on top of those cabinets? I feel, perhaps, it would be beneficial for me to go over here. Potentially, and open up these drawers. Nope, open up the drawer. Nope, don't. Don't pick yourself up. Ugh. Throw my plug in the other direction. And then climb up on top of here, potentially, to get on top of the TV, maybe. Dinkle! Nice. Little moolah. Little moolah? Very good. I can't get up there from here. Oh, what was stopping me? What was the thing to do? Hmm. Oh, I need a plug. I guess I'll go over this wall over here. Maybe it's, uh, maybe I go to the bird at night. There's still more up in the tree. Uh, I haven't explored all the tree yet, so I'm gonna go in the tree. Or perhaps there are certain areas that I can get to only at night. I know not the, like, the foyer. The foyer, I don't think, has any areas that I can get to when it's at night. Unless something else happens at night, like training for the, uh, the egg, egg dudes. I'm gonna save. Ah, I don't have time for saving. I gotta keep on going. I gotta figure out more things to find. Picking up these sticks. And I'll go outside, into the tree, see what I can find. I think I might actually be able to grab the white brick at the top of the tree if the bird gets out of the way. Oh, you know what? I think there was... There might have been, like, an item that I can yell with. And that might be what I need to wake up the bird. And I know I also need the spoon to awaken Eggplant Man up there. So... Nah, actually, I don't think it's worth it for me to go outside. So let's try the foyer again. There's definitely something, like, that I'm missing to get up to that top level. It might be the Utilibot, and if it is the Utilibot, then, wow, all right, then I need to find the scrap. And to find the scrap, I need something. Something, something, something. There must be something to talk to. Is Jenny still, is Jenny up there again tonight? She is. But I can't get up to that level, or maybe I do need to get up on top of that thing. Maybe I just need to be in the- oh, I don't have the frog suit. There is a frog suit! I remember the frog suit! I remember that. It's like that- it's like that feeling of, like, you feel like you know this game, like, the back of your hand, but then you go back to it years later and you're like, I don't remember a damn thing. Ugh. But I do want to try to talk to Jenny again. I, there is a- there is a door up there that I might be able to gain access to from this- from this reach. So maybe that'll help. Let's try this one more time. I get up here. Oh, but I can't... I can't reach up to that next area. That's the problem. And I bet the door is... All the way over there. I cannot get up there. I can't talk to Jenny over here. I see stuff all over the floor. Maybe in the kitchen. That was a lot of energy that I wasn't expecting to lose. I guess I could try to talk to Sophie in the other room try that. I haven't talked to Sophie since discovering that weird sound. I'm just trying to remember in my head, like, there was definitely a scene that occurs where the, the, the evil spider things appear for the first time, and I just don't remember what happens, like, directly before it. I don't think it's, like, the, charging the Giga Battery isn't, like, the main thing right now, I don't think. It's, maybe after I charge at a certain point, that's what helps me out. Is Sophie up there? I do see Sophie up there. I see the bandage. I still see this thing. There must be a way for the chickens to get this food. Now I'll pick up trash along the way and go up to the top. Pick up the crumbs. Oh, I got a couple of crumbs, actually. So I can give it to the fishies. I wonder if the fishies are asleep at this hour. They probably are asleep. I mean, the fish really sleep. Do all fish sleep? I know some fish sleep, but not all. Not all the fishies done do the sleepies. Or maybe this little jam bar over here is climbable at night? I don't really know. I see a bunch of, like, gunk and stuff up there, so there is a way to get up there, and I think it's a utilibot. I just... Ah, I just don't know. 
just don't know. There's Mulava behind there, and I can't, like, I, if I could get on top of this jar here, that'd be good. But I don't think that I can. Can I? Nope, I cannot. I can't get on top of these little things over here either. Hmm. Because the spoon is up there, and I want the spoon. Oh, it just got oddly quiet. I wonder if that's a good thing or not. I have fully recharged! Am I gonna save? Uh, no, we're good. We're good. Let's go. I wish I kind of wish there was a separate option for save because being asked to save every single time I plug in, which is something I have to do often, is a little bothersome. You want some more crumbs? More crumbs, my feces? Yeah, take some crumbs. Actually, uh, no, that's a cookie box. That's not an actual cookie itself. I also can't remember what gunpowder is for. Gunpowder might be used for somebody in particular is looking for gunpowder. And the fishies will get bigger and they will be happy and give me the happy points. 16 happy points. Nice. Spread the happiness. Now, does it give it to them one at a time or all at once? Yeah, it gives them one at a time. Yeah, take some more. Want to give something to the fish? Yeah, 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 more crumbs. I got another crumb. Take it, the crumb. Crumbs for you. Crumb for you. We like to see happy fish around here. Mmm, tasty. Drink a little bit of water. Oh, they're not hungry right now, so I only got one happy point. Ah, maybe once a day. I drink a little water and swish it around, or else my teeth will begin discoloring from all this coffee that I drink. I don't drink a lot of it, but I have been drinking like a cup a day. But not too much. Mrs. Sanderson is always working. Why don't you talk to her? I'm sure she'll be thrilled. Was that supposed to be by hint? Well, she's upstairs. I can't get upstairs. Don't you think I would talk to her if I could, Sophie? You just don't understand. You don't understand the plight of Miss Sanderson. You just don't understand. What I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to use the vantage point all the way up there to get to the table. I don't know if that's exactly enough distance, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my bestest. If not, it might be enough distance to get over to that chibi door over there, which is making progress towards like achievement stuff and whatnot. So I don't think there's an area at the table where I can go to that will be advent too advantageous from here. Not on the bottom, at least. Oh man, do I have to- Ah, I gotta use the cabinets all over again. Oh go! Push the plug around that way. Pull it out this way. Get the moolahs. Jump on up. And here we go. Here we go. Let's, let's keep going up and do the thing. A hundred moolahs. That's a good amount of moolahs. I suppose it would pay to know, like, um, where all the really, like, hefty moolah coins are. But I don't know. I'm not that smart. Okay, can I get on top of this toaster? I want to see if I can get on top of this toaster if I, like, push the little tab down. <laughs> you know, I feel like I always grew up thinking, like, like, a toaster was, like, like, an essential part of, like, any family's, like, collection of things. Oh, I can't... Oh, I can't use that. Oh, well. But uh, to be fair, my my house, like, growing up, we never had a toaster. We always had a toaster oven, which made it unnecessary to have a toaster. So, like, I only wound up getting a toaster much later on. I have a toaster now, because my fiancé had a toaster. And it's one of those, it's one of those fancy, like, novelty toasters, because uh, it toasts your bread to have a little, like, Mickey Mouse face on it, which is it's entertaining. It's cool. It's cute. We like it. We like to see it. I like to see it. Makes us happy. Every once in a while, it makes us all very happy to have a little Mickey on our toast. I feel like Mickey is slang for something, like drugs. But I don't know for sure. I know. I now realize to get up there, I need a Utilobot, and I don't currently have a Utilobot. So my thought is, if I aim it just right, maybe I'll be able to get over to the table from here. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe, maybe. Oh my god, I was so close! But at least I'm on top of this chair. Which means I can do this, I guess, to get in the middle of the table and push things down. Well, now I'm down here. Ugh. Oh, didn't want to climb up on that. I wanted to go this way. Put it to the ground. Get some happy points. Climb my way back up over here so I can charge up once more. I guess and try again. How many other outlets are there in this room? There's one over in the corner over there. I'm gonna try that one more time. One more time to try to get to the table. Now, 
I'm just having a memory now. There might be like something that I can knock over to get to the table. And if that's the case, I gotta find that because I don't know where it is. I don't exactly know where that is. But I have a feeling that there's definitely at least one case in this game where you shoot something and it falls down and then it makes a bridge to another one. I feel like that's just kind of like a thing in games like this. Nighttime is almost over. I am running out of time. But I do have some more time to just kind of fool around with things. Now, was there anything up there that looks like it could get out of the table? No. Nothing over there either. That'd be, like, really, really long to get to the table. And there's no other areas upward. I will try it once more time with the time that I have left, left in the evening. Being younger, I always remember, like, if I was Chibi Robo's side, like, how the world would be different. It'd be very different. I'd be very small. Much smaller than I am now. And I'm already a bit of a small lad. Let's see, can I get on top of, like, one of the chairs from here? I didn't want to do that. If I use my googlies. Technically, I can get to that chair, and maybe that'll help me out. Let's try that. Try to get to the chair. Try to get to the chair. Try to get to the chair! Ah! Did not get to the chair. I am very... I'm very not so skilled. Very not so skilled at this. And the time is about to flop over, and I don't think I'll actually make it to the table. But I'm sure as hell gonna try. How much moolahs do I got? I don't know. I'll check that in the morning. I might have enough for more kilowatts of energy for the giga, the giga battery. Like, I mean, it's very possible that this was the part, like, this is the part of the game where it's all about making moolah and using it to, uh, for the, for a little buddy. But I don't, I don't know for sure. Actually, if I'm up here, this might be a better angle to go to the chair. I just gotta get this just right. Yes? Okay, that's good. But can I get to the table from here? Nope. Oh, I ran out of time already. Oh. To be fair, I don't think that chair is close enough to the table for me to actually get onto it. But there's not really anything important on the table aside from like a frog ring, so. Zoom! I'm at all. 185 moolah. Not a lot, but it's okay. Maybe it's a happy points thing at this point. Perhaps once I get to like rank 100, that's when things start showing up. Maybe. Right, 180 now? So maybe just my goal should just be to help out, go around, just get more moolah. Potentially. If you see a sunshine sticker, I suggest you pop it in your chibi blaster. Sunshine? It's not actually sunshine. That's the name of the bear, I think. The little bear character, I believe, is named Sunshine. While you're here, Chibi Robo, would you like to save? Mm, yes. Yes, I guess I do. I'll save on the, the staggered file this time. Because why not? As long as one of them's good. Are there any, like, small improvements that I can buy right now? Like, really small improvements? Um, I could have more time in the daytime or whatever. That doesn't really help me right now. Chibi battery would be okay. Nah. I remember, like, when I was younger, saving up for, like, the Chibi Cruiser, the Hot Ride, or the other things like that. There we go. Here comes the spiders. They're making sounds outside. They're coming to destroy the family. Uh, did you hear that? I did. And I am very happy to look forward to it. Now I can shoot things. Oh, I remember now. Here we go. This is the next part. And it took four hours to get here. Hmm. Everything seems normal. What do you think that what noise was? I see grease on the ground. It must be a, must be a spider. It's another robot. Uh, can we zoom in? Huh, hey, wait, wait a second. What's that? It's grease or oil. Is that oil? Why is there oil here? Let's do a little investigating. I'll scoop it up with my brushy brush. And as we get closer, they come out of nowhere. Yep. That's oil, all right. I wonder where it came from, huh? And then it drips more from the sky. Yep. And then you look upwards and you're like... Oh no! Wait a second, what's that thing over there? Yeah! It's a big old mass of bad things. The spiders are here! Uh oh! Uh, I know 
this move? It's, it's... When they surround you. This is also a totally epic, like, battle theme for these guys. And I remember this. I do. Spider Roulette! This is going to be bad! Really bad! Quick, get the Chibi Blaster! Uh, did I leave the oven on? Uh, I'm out of here! Peace! Oh, I did not mean to do that. Eek, you're in danger. I gotta shake him to get off me. There we go. Get off, get off me, get off. You just gotta keep on shooting at him. And then they drop scrap. And hopefully don't wanna end up killing me. On the bright side, these blasts are like a little, uh, they're a little homing, a little homing attack. Hey, is that what I think it is? It's scrap, Chibi Robo. Collect enough of that and you can build a Utilibot with the Recyclotron. Spiders are good for something after all. They're good for recycling. <laughs> nice. And I think that's more than enough scrap for me to make my first Utilibot. But first, let's clean up some of this grease. Let's clean up some of this. We don't like leaving the grease around here. That's disgusting. Nasty grease. Nasty, nasty grease. I believe as you proceed through the game, like if you find grease in areas that really shouldn't have grease, that's probably a good sign that a spider attack is going to happen. If I'm correct in saying, which I very well could be wrong. I often am. And I'm proud of that. I'm proud of my wrongness sometimes. Alright, well, look, they don't want to clean inside. I want to plug myself in and then use the Recyclotron. I see that my scrap icon is blinking over there. Nice. Fully recharged, adjusting my happy points total, and I think I've still got quite a bit to go. I think 100 is my next milestone. 156! Nice! In order to get the next bonus battery, you need 22 more happy points. While you're here, Chibi Robo, would you like to save? Nah, yeah, not really. Recyclotron! Living room ladder, that's what I needed. Or, the richest high place is placed near the Chibi Robo house. Ah. That's one. It's not the ladder that I look for, but it is one. It'll help. It'll help. Please come again. Chief Robo, put your scrap into the Recyclotron. <laughs> Lob it with A. <laughs> Empty everything in your head. Now we've got good stuff. Nice. Look, something came out. Nice. It's like a gotcha pond. I'll set it up out in the living room. Go for it. Go for it, Chibi! Alright, let's go. Let's go check it out. Yeah, let's go check it out and see what we can find. Ah, uh, so where are you? If I use my... Oh, hero. There we are. Come on, hurry up, Chibi Robo! We're unveiling it for all to see. Congratulations on building the Utilibot! T. <laughs> I feel like we got a new partner. I'm so happy! Um, I invited Jenny as our special guest. Ribbit, ribbit. Did you get him? Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Now, Chibi Robo, are you ready? Yes. I was born ready for this. Now then, everyone. Let's go for it. I will now unveil the Utilibot. Ribbit. <laughs> Excuse me. I love like the little low poly. Like the eyes are definitely supposed to be circular, but it's like a it's a it's an octagon. We don't need it. The GameCube has to, to to save its graphics for something more important, like like all of those curves on telly. Oh my goodness! This nifty ladder utilibot will let you do all sorts of things, and you can push or pull it in any in addition to raising it up and down. Uh, ahem, isn't that something? Ribbit, ribbit. Yeah, you go, dude. Oh, really? Wow, that's sweet. I can't tell what you're saying. Now you can reach the high parts of the house, Chibi Robo. Uh, and now, Chibi Robo, you tell about. I present to you my new song. Are you ready to be amazed? Yes, I'm very ready. Wow me. I, Television, will now enthrall you with the gift of song. This one is called... Teriyaki Blues.
Time to be seduced by a tiny robot. Was that the song? What? Oh, right, you were standing on top of it. <laughs> you broke the camera. Or the ceiling. Oh, no, 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 no! I've broken the third wall! The fourth wall! What do I do? I, I appear to have been interrupted by a malfunction of some kind. <laughs> or the utility bot wanted none of your shit. Or, or it was an accident. Rivet. It's very possible it was just an accident. We're fine. We're fine. It's good. It's fine. Uh, I wanted Chetty to, to hear the whole song. Well, I like the beginning of it. It was very nice, very smooth, like like jazzy almost. This is so disappointing. Th 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 thanks anyway. Um, you are you are a great audience. Um, I'm gonna go try it in my corner again. Bye. I'm gonna clean up after your mess while you're gone. Silly robot. What's up there, buddy? You're brand spanking new. Where do I want to get to? Um, let's see. There's a two, there's a chibi door up there that I don't... I don't really need to go to, but it'll be good anyway. I don't need to do this. I mean, I, I, I do technically have to go up to it. Chibi robot, do you want to know how to use the ladder, Utilibot? No! I already know. Oh, you already know how to use it? Uh, fine. Well, if you ever need a refresher, check the chibi manual. Up. Up, I say. Go upwards. Perfect. Let's get on up there and go to the chibi door so I can find more... cash money. Because cash money is one of the things we need right now to bring Chi Giga, Giga Robo back to life. It's a puzzle game like that. What's up, moolah? Yeah, only one, but it's good. Now, where else would I want to go? I'd like to get to the frog ring. So I'd like to use it to get on top of there. There's also a frog ring over there, another the chibi door, and... What else is there in this room that would be very advantageous? It's mostly the chibi doors and the frog rings, because the frog rings allow me to get stuff from Jenny. So let's go over there. Oh, dear. I did not mean to do that. I forgot. I need the copter. Um, can I get up, please? I can't get up? Why can't I get up? I can't seem to get it up. Oh, dear. Well, now I can. All right, back down we go. There we go. Let's bring this over to the television. Drag along this way. Well, not actually the television. I'm more towards that little, uh, this little set of, um, cabinets over there. So push that on there. Oh, oh, dear. I really gotta stop picking up this plug. This plug's so annoying! But it's a crucial part of the aesthetic of the game, so I understand it. Let's go over here. I think... Yeah, if I go behind this little box, I should be able to access... If I go behind this little box, there's a little sticker back there that I can break, and then there's a frog ring on the inside. So let's push this off the edge, so I can get that. Oh, can I get the hard points? Yay! There we go. And I can pop on up here. And that guy using my chibi blaster to shoot the shit out of the wall. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Bap! Oh, I forgot there was sound effects to that. Boop, boop, boop. I broke a thing. Haha, <laughs> good for you. You've broken more of the Sanderson's furniture. They paid money for that. Boy, they'll be angry if they find out. But they won't find out. Right, Telly? Television? They won't find out, will they? Um, no. Very good. I'm close to this one. Uh, is this a good location? Okay, there's some moolah up here. A little bit of moolah. It's good, it's good. A little bit of moolah is good. If I kind of use my copter, can I kind of like go around the edge a little bit? Yeah, just like that. And I think there's a door right here. Sweet! And then I'll increase the ladder height so I can go higher up. Way up, way up, way up to the moon. Ah, oh, let's go inside! Oh, this moolah. All of this moolah. Uh, I need to charge myself somewhere. So let's go over there. How many more in this room? How many more doors are in this room? There are nine doors in this room, and I have gotten five so far. Nope, didn't want to do that. Nope. I don't want to waste my energy. 
don't want to talk to you either. Uh, Telly, Telly, please. Let's keep destroying those spy doors. Which room gets the huge box net? Ow! Uh, hopefully, the foyer. Or the hallway room. Whatever you call it. I don't think I've ever heard a hallway room called... A hallway room. A foyer called a hallway room. If I had a stair... I don't actually have... In my parents' house, there is no area for a staircase. But the staircase that leads up to my apartment would imply that that is the foyer. Save. Nah, we don't need it. Ready then? Let's go! Back up to the top of the mountain. Top of the cabins. Not the mountain. There's no mountains to be had here. <gasps> Crumbs! Not just here. I've got bigger fish to fry. Bigger fish to fry. Oh, it turns to that my direction. I forgot about that. Now, how, how, how high up does this go? That's my question. That's as high as it goes. All right. Let's push you the survey. That's as high as you're going to go for me? Fine. Thank you for at least trying. You have gotten me most of the way up to the ceiling. And for that, you have my undying gratitude. My never-ending gratitude. Oh, look, there's a plug up here. How about that? Ha, I'll plug myself right in! Nice! Are you going to save? No! Stop asking me! I don't like it! So now that I'm up here, where is the best vantage point to go next? I don't think my copter can actually get me that far over there. Um, this thing's height can only take me so far. Going over to that ledge isn't gonna help. There's a sticker over there, I see. So actually, can I get a good view from here? Let me see, actually. I see a sticker. What does that do? Is it far enough? Is it too far? It might be too far. Oh, you know, it's a little tassel that hangs down from the ceiling, so I can get up there. So what's the best way to get up to there? I think if I can manage to get all the way over there, then I can hop on top of this. Oh, but how does it... Oh, wait, no, no. Then that'll... Mm. My brain is thinking wonderful things. There might have been another utility about over here, or something like an access point or anything. What are you doing on the couch? Aw, oh, Mr. Sanderson is playing with his uh, action figure. See, we're all kids at heart, or at least some people are. I, for one, don't. I don't, I don't. I don't play with action figures like he does, but we've all got our own way. Was there anything inside of that cabinet there? I don't think there was. What about over here? Oh, there's a little TV door right here. So I will try to access that. <laughs> the little telephone has eyes on it. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Awesome. <laughs> I really dig that. But you know, let's go inside and all the thing of Mom Bobber. Ooh, 300 moolah. Oh, yes. I feel like this is probably one of the best ways to wind up getting moolah at this point in the game. And it's just kind of like going around and just finding them cheap doors. Oh, you know what else will be uh, advantageous? If I take the little ladder you told up uh, to get myself over the table. I really haven't been on top of the table yet. So I'll take it over there. Can you actually go on the carpet? I don't remember whether you can go on the carpet or not. I feel like you can't. You cannot go on the carpet. So I will push you over. Uh, I'll push you over to where I'm going to go with you next. Which will be across. Over there. And then I'll head on top of the couch. And then I'll go on top of the thingy. It looks like Jenny is continuing to work on her uh, drawing over here. Oh, it looks like it's Chibi Robo. Very cute. That are about cute... So I'll talk to Jenny, and then I'll go on top of the table, and then I'll come back over here. It's the funny sound that you will tilt. <laughs> they make such funny noises when you push them into things. <laughs> I love torturing robots. I'm uh, picking up trash, too. It's candy. What do you got, uh, Jenny? Also, by the way, you should really clean up that for yourself. But it's okay, you're, you're an eight-year-old. We, we can still take care of you. Oh, Jenny's happy about it. Chibi Ribbit. Thank you, Ribbit. You're welcome. Aww. It's sweet moments like this where you're like, honestly, like, yeah, like, be thankful for, to the people who are, like, making your life easier. Like, uh, I feel like if you've got, like, a butler or something at home or, like, a home servant, something like that, or the, the janitor that keeps your school clean, or literally, just be thankful for people, like, or the person that you're buying, like, your Starbucks coffee from, like, 
they don't get nice costumes. They don't get nice customers that often. So like, you know, maybe it's good for you to just get, bring some brightness to your. I think one of my favorite moments is being able to walk into like a place and talk to the people at the cash the cash register. And like, I'm genuinely, I'm generally a pretty energetic person and try to stay positive at most points in times. And it's really not, it makes it all worth it when somebody's just like, by the way, like, like your smile made me like your smile made me smile today. Like I really like your energy today. And that like really really does it for me. And so that's reason enough for me to continue smiling into the people who are working at places like that. Because I'm sure like I, I feel like it's less often that like a very happy customer goes to a McDonald's versus somebody who's just like begrudged with life and being like, well they get paid like like shit, so I don't have to treat them any better. I was like, which I think is incredibly disrespectful. But, you know, some people gotta deal with that stuff. And I feel like it's for people, it's the people who are, like, kind to kind of, like, give them the reason to continue, like, to continue just doing what you do. Like, you're just working your job like the rest of us. Like, we don't, I, I don't, just because, like, the food wasn't up to spec doesn't mean that I need to make it your problem. Like, technically, that's the chef's problem. And, like, make it, like, if you're gonna give it like that, don't, like, complain about it. Just, like, give some criticism. Like, hey, Maybe the food wasn't really to my liking, or like, hey, I found like the, the other day we were at a restaurant down the street, and uh, Anna had gotten like a like I think some avocado toast or something, and there was a piece of plastic inside of the avocado, and so we took it out, and by that point she was pretty much done eating anyway. But when the server lady came back, I was like, by the way, like I just want to let like I'm gonna let you know because I'm not sure like whether the like for all I know like they have a they have like a pile of guacamole back there that they use for um all of the avocado toasts and if they were it's possible that three or four other customers might also have plastic in their food if somebody doesn't speak up at the beginning so i was like well i'm not gonna make a big, like, obviously not make a big deal about it but i'm gonna mention that you know the plastic was in the food because somebody might like, like a child might be eating the guacamole so if they swallow the plastic unknowingly that's that's gonna be really really bad for the restaurant so i'd rather let somebody know versus let it happening on like i remember one one of the jobs that I worked was at my school's um, recreation center, the gym, and one of the training things that one of the training questions they asked you was just like you're walking down the hallway and you see like a p you see like a piece of the rug like kind of flipping upwards. What do you do? And I was like, well, I probably I'd probably flip it back over because like for all I know somebody's gonna trip on that. And they were just like, that's exactly the answer we were looking for. Very good. I was like, oh, good then. And I try to do that pretty much whenever, anywhere I go. If it were like, if it were my house, I wouldn't want somebody to potentially trip on it. So I would take actions to make sure that people don't, if I can. Um, not that that always like works out that way, but you know, you try every once in a while. And I try to do that in like public places too, because like, I'm sure most people will just walk by, or most people will probably be like, well, that's not my job. I don't get paid to fix your problem, so I'm just gonna walk on by. And like, yeah, that totally makes sense. However, it's like such li it's such a little like the time it takes for me to make that thought is just as much effort as me for me to like kick the kick the carpet over so that it's just flat on the ground. Like that's the way I see it at least. So I'd rather like and plus like it's a small little thing. And you know, I guess for, if you care about your Oh, ouch. What the hell just happened? Oh! Uh, are you okay? Yeah, what the hell happened? I forgot that happens. Where the where did that come from? What the heck was that? That was interesting. I think sometimes when you're unplugging yourself from a wall, that'll happen. If I if I'm correct in saying, um, what was I going on about? Yeah, like I mean, if you care about your own repu reputation, like people are watching all the time. I'm sure. So like, um, for the person, like I, I feel like I would if I saw you, like another person, like do that kind of correction to the mat because like people might get hurt from that. I'd be like, wow, that person must be a pretty cool guy, like because he did that, as opposed to just walking by it, like probably everybody else would. But, uh, yeah, I, I kind of like that sort of stuff. And I like to think of it, like, if that's my way to, like, make sure that people know, like, I'm an approachable person. Can I, like, I don't know. I feel like there's a certain limit to, like, how much I do or do not want somebody to, like, care about, like, who I am or my actions that I take. Like, I don't want... The actions I take are not something that I hope somebody is going to look at and be like, wow, that guy is an asshole. Because I don't really want to be an asshole. Because there is a piece of me that it lives inside of everybody that I've ever met. And I personally identify with that person who is a part of me inside of somebody else, his head. And I feel like kind of like, uh, I think this isn't the first time I've mentioned something like this before. It's like the whole like, um, like in the movie Coco, only when you cease being remembered do you die the, the last time. And like, technically speaking, that would mean that there is a piece of me still in other people, uh, even when I pass on. And I personally identify with that, that other person that lives on inside of your head. 
So I want to make sure that that person is good because I want to make my, I want to be like a really good person. I want that person that you see in your head to be a good person too, because it's me. I don't know if that's like micromanaging of like personal, like of my own, like, like things that are out of my control, but like, I, I, I feel like it's good. It, feel, it makes me feel good. So I'll keep with it. There's another chibi door over there. So I'm gonna try to go over there. Oh, it's almost time for, oh, it's done. Well, now it's nighttime. I wonder if we'll find more scrap. Excuse me, the coffee is making me a little, a little burpy. That and the Chick-fil-A nuggets as well, which were mm, very good. Very good Chick-fil-A nuggets. Love that. I had the sauce to prove it. Still got my sauce. I wonder what I'm gonna dip in that sauce next. My rank is now down to 82. I think I've unlocked the next battery level. For making it into the top 100, Citrus Salt has sent you a special gift. A brand new bonus battery. And now I have more battery power. Whoa, would you look at that? Your battery power went up to 160. Well, very good then. Awesome. I'm the best Chibi Robo ever. In order to get to the next bonus battery, you need 380 more happy points. While you're here, Chibi Robo, would you like to save? I will. I got a new bonus battery. Bonus battery good. Over right. Yes. Yes, indeed. I'll pick up these party hoppers. Party hopper, party hopper, party hopper. Party popper, party popper, party popper. Pick up the... Yeah, pick up the thing. Pick it up the trash. At night. Grab it at the bathroom. Oh, don't worry about it, Telly. TV, Telly, television, television, television. Don't worry about it, Telly. We all celebrate sometimes. Um, yeah, the kitchen for you, but I need more scrap. I don't have a lot of scrap right now. I need more scrap. What am I saving up for? Really nothing. The chibi battery, I don't think really... This always felt like, like a, like a, eh, I don't need this particular upgrade. Like, I don't die that often. I don't run out of power that often. Do I really need the battery? I really don't need the battery. If I had more moolah than I knew what to do with, I'd maybe go for the battery. But I'm gonna go with the Giga Charger instead. Right now, the Giga Battery has about a thousand kilowatts charged. Do you want to charge it? I do. I do. I want to charge it. Yep, yep, yep. Let's do a thousand kilowatts. There you go. One thousand at a time. Those numbers are satisfying. Just the other day, when I was attempting to fix Lycos' controller, I, I did I forgot to bring my, my, control, my um, screwdriver set with me, so I bought a new uh, set of screwdrivers for, like, monies at the Best Buy that was around near he lives, and, like, I think the total came out to, like, something in change, and the change was, like, um, like 62 cents, I think, and they're like, would you like to round up to donate? And I was like, yeah, I'll do another amount. Do you guys accept anything, like, less than a dollar? Because usually I love to be able to, like, like donate a little extra money if it means that I get to, like, round up to the next cent because that is incredibly satisfying. Like, something about seeing, like, an even dollar amount is, like, incredibly satisfying to me. So if I can throw a couple of extra bits of change at the at the, the starving children or, like, people who just need, like, a little extra assistance in their life or need more education, then I am more than happy to do so. Um, and so there were a lot... I was like, do you have, like, a sub $1 option and like well there's no roundup option but just tell me the amount you want to try to do it and then i'll just put it in the thing for you it was like okay and so i actually did my math wrong i was 10 cents off and i paid a little bit extra for that uh long story short it's it was satisfying and it was wonderful and it made me feel like a good person so that's uh that's why i like doing stuff like that but some of the some of the actual terminals have like a click button like round to the next dollar button i'm like i like that i'm gonna click that i think five below is a place that i've been to recently that has that round up option Amazing force field of shelter and forcefulness. Space hunter, be on your guard. We're so cross with dangerous, dangerous enemies. And so now I'm going to pick up my... I need to pick up my... No, 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 no. I need to pick up my plug so I can run faster. Focus on the patrol. Transform your mind into the laser of justice and truth. No, I want... I'm trying to pick up my plug so I can run faster. Focus on the patrol. Transform your mind into a laser of justice and truth. I'm actually gonna go ahead and then pick up my guy and then are you gonna go where are you go oh my god oh my god dude you run so fast Ugh. I'll try again next night I guess I need to like be ahead of where he is so I can run cuz like, I don't I, I thought maybe if I picked up my plug that I would be able to run fast enough apparently not I need a speed upgrade if I get one of those, I don't think I get an upgrade for speed. Not not sure if I do or not. Can't remember. Oh well. Well, there goes uh, there goes my draking for the night. 
I'll try again tomorrow night. But first, Dad, have you been eating cookies again? You've been eating cookies again, haven't you? Tisk tisk, Dad. Mr. Sanderson. Tisk tisk tisk. Let's get some more money. What else was I doing? I was trying to find all the chibi doors in this room, so let's continue with that goal in mind. I've got my utilidor, which should still be over in that corner, unless you reset on me. Did you reset on me? Aw, oh, did you go back over there? Aw, oh, mucho disappointing. Mucho disappointing. I thought you'd stay exactly where I put you. Ugh. Oh, well. I'll just bring it back over wherever I need to be. So, you're gonna come. You're coming. Follow me to where I need you to be. I think the... I want to be on the other corner of the room. Oh, is there... I can zoom with the C-stick? Oh, yo, I had no idea I could do that. That's cool looking. How did I never know you could do that? Nice. Well, I'm trying to go over here to that cabinet. So, uh, that's what I'll keep doing. I'll keep going to that cabinet. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna... Ugh, I have to go the other way. I don't think I can squeeze the utilidor... Uh, the utila... Blah, 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 the utilibot over in that direction. I have to go all the way around. So let's do that. <laughs> I know that this isn't a follow-up to the hit game Gubble, but it feels like a follow-up to the hit game Gubble. <laughs> What's the hit game Gubble? I've never heard of that before. I've never heard of Gubble before. G like, is this gonna be like a Gubble these nuts type thing? That'd be funny if it was. And if so, you totally got me. I've never heard of Gubble before. Is that another like a like retro type game of thing? Because if so, cool. I like the idea of Gubble. I'm gonna have to look into that. I gotta write that down. Where's my Where's my thing? Gubble. Couple. I wish it was a link for joke. I was like, it felt like it definitely could have been. Like, somebody tried to pull that on me earlier this week, and I'm just like, I'm not gonna let this happen. I, I cannot let this happen. Oh, there's a rug in front of that. Hmm, that might be not just so fun. Gubble's just a bad game. Oh, what is this gubble you speak of? I need to know more about the gubbles. Can you describe can you describe the game for us? We can paint a picture in our minds of what this gubble actually is. And then we can all make fun of it together. I'm trying to grab one of my post-it notes over here so I can actually write it down. Gubble <laughs> gubble game. I love the alliteration. Gubble game oo! Gubble gubble gubble. Well now that I've written that down, I can um you know what? Maybe we'll play gubble sometime, just for the hell of it, you know? It's such a bad game, we have to go for it. <laughs> gubble. Well, why wouldn't you want to share the glory of Gubble with the rest of the denizens of the world? I'm sure there's somebody else out there who wants to suffer as much as you have. Some people are into that. Kinky, but okay. Not super duper kinky. I'd say, I'd say wanted to play this Gubble game. No, I fall into the ground and now I'm going to die. Well, I probably could have used an extra battery there. And I die yet again. Oh, well. It happens to the best of us. We die sometimes. Oh, and I lost some moolah too. Maybe I should get that extra battery. Oh, uh, it's okay. You haven't made the huge mistake. I've made this huge mistake. Did you just see how far I've fallen? Don't forget to recharge! Or not fall from high surfaces. Yeah, yeah, I know I lost my moolah. It's fine, it's fine. I'm not, I'm not the one falling off of surfaces. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Merely invoking the name of Gubble results in tragedy. You know, I can say, I don't think it was just a coincidence that I died after mentioning the word Gubble. Maybe it's because I said Gubble three times. It's kind of like a Beetlejuice scenario. Now, if I say Gubble, Gubble, Gubble again, what will happen? Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll totally perish. <laughs> then perish? No, Mr. Obama, please! Is my, is my thingamabob still over there, though? Please? Yay! He still is. Well, I guess I'm not getting that box anytime soon. Uh, I wonder if this little guy can go across this mat. Now, this central mat, this thing can't go on. Maybe this mat it can. Maybe? I'm not exactly sure. Go forward. Can I go on this mat? Can't go on that mat. Show what I gotta do about that. Nope. Uh, how about just moving forward a little bit? Thank you. Gotta go up here. I know there's a chibi door, not on this side of the armoire, but on the other side of the armoire. I'm just calling it an armoire. I don't know if it's an armoire. It's a set of cabinets. Like, we don't have to be so extra about this. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get over there. Come on, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna try to take my copter and move over to that location. That's definitely not gonna work. 
And nope. Getting ladder working. I'll take my little ladder thing over to the other side of the mat. Come here, little guy. I'm gonna name you. What should I name you? I'm gonna name you. Let's see, we've had G words mentioned recently. Your name is Gary. You are Gary, the Utilibot of the living room. Thank you for your service, Gary. We appreciate you very much. Or at least I do. Nobody else appreciates you, but I do. You're my special flower, Gary. Mwah. You're my special flower. Keep being you, Gary. <laughs> it's at this point, like, the, ro the robot just, like, starts blushing. <laughs> yeah, like, just like that. See? <laughs> it blushes just like that. <laughs> we love you, Gary. Everybody loves you, Gary. So now I'm over here. There should be a door. I'm gonna go into the door and then... I don't know. Die or something. Uh, I need to make my way on top of these books. Ah! Oh, that didn't work. Oh, but I'm on top of this thing, so that'll work. And then copter again over to here. No, why did you do that? Oh, man. Oh, shiitake mushrooms. Well, I got... No, don't fall! Oh! Oh! I almost fell again. I have to watch out when I'm thinking about Gubble. I was like, I was thinking about Gubble at that time. I, I think I was, and I was this close. I just shouldn't have said it. Ah, oh, Yolando wants to marry Gary. Unfortunately, you know, a while ago, while I was on a trip with my high school's marching band, we all wanted to, like, gather together in a room and do, like, online applications for, like, becoming, like, um, what's the word? The people who marry? The people who marry. What are they called again? I don't remember what they're called. Um, uh, the ones who marry. I don't remember. But we were gonna take, like, the tests to do that. Damn it, I fell again! Actually, you know what I can do? Oh, no, I can't do that that way. I have to be difficult. But if I... Uh, okay, I, I don't remember. Reverend. Reverend? It's Reverend. I think it's a Reverend application where you can marry people together. If I were a Reverend, you know I would do this. I would do this for you. However, um, I feel like I would need everybody's personal information. Um, so I would have to collect your personal information in a totally, like, end-to-end -end encrypted manner, obviously, so everybody's safe, and I don't have to get all the personal information for Gary. Now, I have to ask, because Gary was just kind of born, if there's, like, I don't know if there might be a problem with, like, age or anything like that. Like, I don't know how mentally old Gary is, but I feel like this could be the source of a problem. And why can't I get on top of this thing? What is preventing me from getting on top of this? Is this, like, a little, like, micro thing? No! 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 Well, I'm gonna go plug in behind this little armor over here, so... Gary! We love you. At least two people love you, Gary. And that's more than we can say about some. Which is a good old thing. Let's plug on in. Boop! I charged myself up. Apparently, I can't get to that door from here. I need to go to a better location to get to it. Phew, that was close. How did I get on top of it before? I definitely got on top of those... Th uh, I got on top of it by bringing the thing to the other side. And Maybe I gotta do it that way. Nice, and somebody else is throwing shit at me. Whoops. Are you okay? This, ha this has happened more than once now. Somebody keep throwing things at me. Maybe it's because I'm trying to skip through Telly's dialogue and Telly just doesn't appreciate it. He's just like, <laughs> I'm like, I really don't want to listen to you right now, Telly. He's like, no, you wanna listen to me. You wanna listen to me right now. And Timmy's just like, <laughs> why did you hurt me? Why do you gotta do this to me, Telly? Take your anger out on some other robot. But you're the only other robot in within my immediate range. Oh, unfortunate. Actually, so I'm gonna try to take this back over here, see if I can get on top of the cabinet, armoire, whatever you call it, whatever's most fancy for you to say. I, for one, think armoire is a very fun to say word. So I'm gonna keep calling it an armoire. 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 I just kind of like the... It's got the R sound and then the moi. Like you're, like you're kissing. Like a moi. A moi. I really don't know what an armoire actually, actually is. In my head, an armoire is just another type of cabinet. Potentially one that's tall standing and holds clothes. Maybe. Potentially. So what can I do from up here? Can I actually get up there? Was I able to... Oh, that's where I got before. Maybe, if I go in from the back, if I go in from the back, I might be able to get on top of the thing and then up to the... Hmm. This may be the way to go. Maybe. That or I'm like, totally chipping right now, dog. Totally chipping, bro. Uh, okay, so I want to get on top of the Imoha. So I will go over here to this surface, then copter my over to this one, and then... Oh, nope, I tried this before and it also didn't work. I can't make my way over like this. 
Oh, but you know what I can, might be able to do? Get my way to the table. Nope, that's not gonna work. Uh, welcome back, my love. Welcome back. How was your study sesh? Good, good. Very good. Very good. Well, that didn't work. Uh, I have wasted the whole night attempting to get up to a higher altitude. But you know what? At least Gary was there to accompany me. So thank you. Thank you, Gary. I, if I could kiss you, I would. But I don't think robots have lips. And nor do you have any zones to kiss that would make it very worth it for you. It would just be inconvenient for everybody. I'm sorry, Gary. I'm sorry. But this is your life. It's Gary's life. It's now or never. Except Gary is going to live forever because Gary's a robot. Robots don't die. They get dismantled and reborn. The concept of reincarnation is very real for, uh, robots. I wonder if they've ever had, like, a- I wonder if, like, any, like, cr like sci-fi creator has ever taken that into account. Like, robots can be, like, recyclable. Therefore, they can totally be reborn. Therefore, this- the concept of reincarnation is something that robots, like, totally understand. I- I feel like that would be the case. If Gary is kissable, Yolanda will find a way. If you find a way, let us know. We, I feel like we want to know about this. There are other people out there who definitely want a piece of that Gary. I mean, I for one, I'm already betrothed. So if I if I never get the opportunity to get a piece of that Gary, I, I think I'll be able to live unhappily. But there are some people in this world, some people who, because of their lack of Gary, or some metal equivalents, are suffering. And we don't want people to suffer like that. There's too much suffrage in this world already. Su suffer suffering, suffering, not suffrage. <laughs> There's too much suffrage. Too many people are allowed to vote. That's a different word entirely. Time to go over to the next day. Can I get this key piece of coin? Yes, I got the piece of coin. Yes, awesome. By the way, Darius, thank you so much for grabbing the Chick Fil A. The nuggets were divine. I ate all the nuggets. There are no more nuggets left. I have had this little Chick Fil A packet to prove it. I've been thinking of other ways to utilize this Chick-fil-A sauce packet. It might make it might make a nice lip balm if I were to expect any kisses from robots. Not that I would expect any kisses. I would never go into a mo like a, a conversation with a robot expecting to be kissed. I'm just saying, if the robot wants wants to kiss me, then I would like to be prepared prepared for it, right? Right? It's it's wrong to like expect things like that from like your partner or potential relationship buddies. Like, why would you go into the relate? Like, why would you go and do a job expecting to be paid unless you were already told to be paid? In which case, that expectation is totally grounded in something that you were told. Like that's a, that's a bartering thing. Like I, I do this for you, you give this to me. But if that wasn't specifically stated beforehand, why would you expect a kiss to happen? It's like it's like you know like walking your pal to school. And, and when your pals are like, yo, thanks, bro. Thanks so much for walking me to school. And you're just like, you start leaning in for that kiss. And you're just like, no, bro. Like, what's that for? What are you doing? And you're just like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, I walked you to school and I expected some form of payment. I mean, I'd be like, dude, I like you. But like, not in a kissy kind of way. And then you're like stuck in this awkward scenario. And you're like, wow, I could have sworn. I could have sworn that was the deal we had here. See, that's why it's important to read your signals. Now, I feel like robot signals are less easy to follow than than like I guess human signals because I got I got eyebrows and stuff like that like like if you're going in if you're going in for that and I'm just like then you might know to back off but like a robot's just going to be like and so a robot would just kind of sit like that no matter what you do to it. Unless it has, like, I guess, like, eyes that blink like TV Robo or this thing. This thing can blush. If this thing, Gary, I'm so sorry. Gary can blush. So, that's something that only Gary can do. A and Gary's pals, who we have not yet brought back to life. There are more doors in this room. Where are the other doors at? There's a door up there. How do I get up there? I see. I spy with my little eye something that's something that will allow me to proceed farther into my existence. I don't know. Let's take Gary to the corner. For good reasons. All good reasons, I promise. Uh, nothing bad ever happens in the corner. Not my corner. Telly's corner is a bit of a mixed basket. I'm pretty sure Telly goes there to cry. I mean, that, that's that's okay, because it's okay to cry. It's okay to, it's okay to have feelings. But, like, Telly, like, purposely hides those feelings. And I think that's something that, like, Telly needs to stop talk about. I think Telly could really use, like, somebody to talk to. I think that might benefit. 
Um, this is too high for me to get to. Oh, damn. That was so close. Hmm. How to do about that? Can I get up there? Can I? I'm gonna have my copter on just in case I fall. Yep, I fell. Now, can I get like one more? Can I get one more pump out of Gary? Gary, can I get one more pump out of you? That sounds really weird, Gary, but you know what I mean. It's it's our own special language. Up, up. Oh, that's all we can get. Oh, that's okay, Gary. Don't push yourself. Oh. I need more scrap. So you know what? I need to walk around. I need to walk around and find more scrap. I need to find ways to get myself into harm's way. That's how we do this. So I'm gonna go to the kitchen, where there may be evil evil doers hanging around. No one puts Gary in the corner. Nobody except for Chibi Robo. That slide bastard. But I guess Chibi. Nobody can stop this Chibi from doing his Robo. Oh oh oh! I think I think there might be some evil doers around here. I see grease on the floor, so I'm inclined to think. Hi, everybody. Nice. Easy mode. I've got 300 scrap now. Yes! That means I can buy... I need the... I, I need the Gary equivalent for uh, the foyer. So I'm gonna go buy one. I'm gonna go purchase more Gary's. Gary equivalents. I mean. Time to take the Gary equivalency test. Actually, you know, while I'm in here, I was told by Sophie to talk to Mamacita. So I'm going to talk to Mamacita and see what she's got to say. Do you have anything to say aside from complaints about your husband? Say, Chibo, you saw Jenny, right? I did. What a beautiful, beautiful young one. Don't you think she looks weird? I mean, she thinks she's a frog. She's an eight-year-old. Like, just let her have her imagination. You think so, huh? Uh, one day she just started saying ribbit and nothing else, and I don't know what happened. I know. I live with freaks. Dude, you are shallow. Listen, just because your daughter dresses up in a frog unicorn and says ribbit like 70% of the time, and just because your husband, who seemingly doesn't have a job right now and sits around the house playing with uh, action figures all day and obsesses over various different types of action figure franchises, doesn't make either of them a freak. Maybe you're the freak. Maybe you're the biggest freak that you live Say, hey, would you like to chat with me for a little bit? Yes, let's chat. Let's chat. Let's chat over a nice coffee. Wow, you're well made. Now that the water is boring, let's have tea. Oh, we have tea? Well, I got coffee. Well, since you're so small, you can sit over here. It's tea time. I forgot this is how you get on the table. Time to talk with Mama Sita. Tea. What's in your cup? I've got coffee. I think this is a fine reminder for all of us to talk to our parents every once in a while, or those who we hold dear of us. Indeed, indeed. Yo, did you see my husband sleeping on the sofa? Lazy, no good so-and-so. You see, husbands who live on the, sleep on the sofa are no good lazy so-and-so. Obviously, not just because I told him he has to sit on the sofa. My husband is so lazy for sitting on the sofa. I mean, I told him to lay on the sofa at night, but pff, he's totally lazy, am I right? Like, don't you feel that way about your husband? Jeez. Oh, you didn't know? He screwed up big time, so I threw him out. What? You think I'm too harsh? Yes. <laughs> but it was his fault. Maybe you should look inward. Allow therapist Chibi Robo. Dare I say, TB Robo. T, because like, T, this is coffee, but coffee E Robo. TB Robo. I, I like that. I, that's that's good. T T T P T P T P Robo. What? You think I'm too harsh, but it was his fault. Maybe. Maybe you gotta think about that. He bought you without even asking me. Like, did you even consider that? He's between jobs right now, and he even spins Moolah like crazy. He's a slacker and a bum. Yo, that describes this is, describes me perfectly. Where are you going? I failed you! Okay, go back to the computer and have fun. Okay, my fiance has given me permission to be my lazy self for a few more hours. We're good, we're good. Remember, ask your parents before going online and ask your fiance before being an absolute bum. Um, yes. What was that? What were you saying? Yes? What were we talking about? Oh, I I'm sorry. You should be. 
It's not fair to go off on you like that. I'm sorry. It's because of this tea. The tea has so much caffeine in it. The caffeine makes me riled up. And when I'm riled up, I get really aggressive. And when I get really aggressive, I want to hurt people's feelings and take them out of other people. Thank you for helping me understand, Chibi Robo, that really I should breathe. You know, tea always tastes better when you have someone to talk to. Remember to breathe. Thank you, Chibo. Oh, <laughs> Chibo! She called me Chibo! <laughs> That's not even my real name. Mom just gave you 13 happy points! 42 moolah. See, this is a therapy session between you and your local small robot friend. Have you talked to your Roomba today about your feelings? Tell your Roomba your feelings. It's listening. And so is your phone. Hey, Google. I'd like to talk to you about my feelings today. Sorry, I'm not sure if you were talking to me. I'll disregard what you said. Let me know if I can have. Well, it seems that Google is not vested in my best self today. That's exactly what Telly did before. Telly was like the Chibi Robo, like, are you okay? And Chibi Robo was like, no, I'm not okay. And he's like, mm, well, okay, I'm just gonna ignore that and move on. Like, that's exactly what Google did to me. Bad Google. Bad. Get. Get. I don't need you right now. Hmm, maybe I made it a little too strong, this tea. I'll have a little more cream next time, a little more sugar. I think this tea is too bitter. You sleep for too long. I just remembered a dream I had. You were picking up garbage around the house. Oh yes, truly one of my fantasies. Whenever I have that dream, the house seems to sparkle in the morning. <laughs> Thank you, Chivo. <sighs> You're welcome. Oh, You're welcome, Mamacita. I would happily clean up for us for you. All the time. <sighs> Got some money. Man, chump change. Alright, fine, fine. I get it. Spread the happiness. Yeah, spread the love. Eh, it's fine. I'll pick up this. Oh my god! I never noticed that there was such a tiny... There's a tiny little teacup! Oh my god! I never noticed that. Look at this little thing! Look at it! Not you! Look at this little thing! Oh. It's, so, it's so cute! And it's actually got a little tea in it! <laughs> Ma'am, you realize I don't drink, right? Anyway, let's clean up the table that you've surely made a mess of. Oh, look, a sugar cube. Can I take that? I knew I could take the sugar cube. What am I going to use this for? Huh. You'll stuff anything in your head, won't you? <laughs> sugar. Sugar cube. I don't remember what that's used for. A cookie! I know somebody takes cookies. I think it's the bird. Maybe the bird outside takes cookies. Cookies. Cookies for the birds. I got this bag. If you put them in the garbage, it'd be a really great help. I, that's what I plan on doing, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am, please. I, I have a job to do. Don't you know how I clean? Don't you know that I know how to clean your house? Give me some more credit, jeez. By the way, what's with all these bills? Tell me more. Oh, dad, oh, yes, those are bills. <laughs> bills, 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 bills. My husband is constantly blowing all of our moolah on his stupid toys. You know, not that I remember, but I bet you blow some money on toys too, don't you? People are supposed to grow out of toys sooner or later. At least, normal people are. Listen, chick, let me tell you something. I am not normal. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. Ugh. <laughs> Local streamer panics. I do sometimes. I panic all the time. I'm gonna jump off the table. I'm gonna wind up dying. That's like right when I was talking like... <laughs> Remember. I'm not, I'm not normal. You're normal. I'm, I'm fine. Everybody's fine. You're normal. We're all normal around here. Yeah. Anyway, let's see about that. A clip for your day. Pass a clip to your local streamer. There you go. This one's on the house, you know, Mr. Streamer Man. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, let's see. Thank you so much for the wonderful conversations, ma'am. Can I say goodbye to you? I'd like to go back on the ground now. It's, I'm afraid of heights. Hey, Chiba, did you bring me a sugar cube? Yes, it's literally on the table. You couldn't have reached for it. You know what? Yes, I am happy to bring you sugar cubes. Was I supposed to do this? Oh, look at that! Cheers to you, madam. My, how thoughtful of you. Thank you, Chibo. You're welcome, ma'am. Anything for you? Anything for the person who blows me kisses? We get some moolah. It's not like I do it for nothing. I get happy points out of this. 
I don't know what happy points are to robots, but I get some of that. Jenny Stats still watches Space Hunter Drake Redcrest. It's like living with an infant. I mean, he's an adult. Don't you think there's something wrong with him? I watch anime all the time, Missy. So watch yourself. No, I don't think that's bad at all. <laughs> you think so? Maybe I'm just an old maid. Or maybe you are vain as all hell. Or you just you just got your own preferences. And everybody's entitled to their own preferences. And yours is okay too. But you know what you need to do? You, you need to talk to your husband. You need to talk to your husband. If you think he's a child, you need to tell him that. You need to walk up to your husband and you need to tell him, Husbands, I think you're an infant. And then husband will probably be like, Uh, no. And then your next response should be, Husband, I disagree, but I respect your opinion of yourself. And that's how good relationships happen. Talk with your spouse. Say, how do you, how do you reach high places when you're such a little guy? I use hard-earned cash to purchase things. I bet the Chibi Robo manual that Jenny's dad got would say something about that. The utility thing, whatever. It's true. Slurp, slurp. Oh, nuts, it's bitter. I forgot to stir it. <laughs> oh, nuts. <laughs> Me too, lady. Oh, nuts. Hmm, let's see. Something to stir with. Something to stir with. I don't have access to this spoon. Would you like to give me the spoon? Hey, wow, that's a kid's spoon, isn't it? I, I bet you could use that as a shovel. Can I have it? Isn't there a spoon around here somewhere? Um, but I wasn't able to get to that before. Um, yes, ma'am, if you wouldn't mind. Could I bother you to get me that spoon over there? Hmm, let's see, something to stir with, something to stir with. Uh, I'm gonna have to wait till I get the kitchen thing. I gotta go, Chiefster. Well, I guess I should get back to work. I'll get you eventually, Mrs. Sanders, and I promise! I would get you your spoon, but I can't right now. I need... The Gary of the kitchen. The uh, uh, Carrie, Carrie, if you will. Ga Karen, Karen. Karen is the Gary of the si kitchen, because K stands for kitchen, and kitchen is for... Oh, do we got more? Got more baddies? Oh, where the baddies at? Oh. Huh. There's no baddies. I thought there were baddies. I see grease on the ground, therefore I thought there was baddies. Eh, whatever. <sighs> Spoon's important, but... I feel like there's more... There's more exploration to be done upstairs, so I'm actually going to go for that Utilibot instead. So that I can go upstairs because I want to go upstairs have I mentioned has I said the word have I said the word upstairs enough I want to go upstairs I want to go upstairs please please can I go upstairs I'm like a dog I want to go upstairs I really want to go upstairs please do it yourself if you can't climb the steps you're not allowed to the foyer yes I can reach high places please come again so it's Gary of the foyer so it's Fairy. We'll call you Ferris. Ferris is the Gary of the hallway. Now installing and getting the parts for Ferris. Bueller. 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 Is there a Bueller pleasant in the room? No, it's just Ferris! That's his first name. I like to think, what if Chibi Robo's last name is not actually Ro uh, Robo? It's just, it, his name is Chibi Robo Bueller. Everybody's Bueller in this game. Bueller. Bueller, Bueller, Giga Bueller, Chibi Bueller, Telly Bueller, <laughs> Utila Bueller, <laughs> all Bueller all the time. That's how we play our game. That's how my Chibi do. How does your Chibi do? <laughs> leave a li and you know, leave a comment in the comments section about how you do your Chibis. <laughs> or don't really do whatever you want to. Don't let me tell you what to do. Live your life. Live your life. I'm gonna live my life as a sinner. Hey, look! It's Ferris! I like Ferris. Can I push you on the carpet? I mean, I wouldn't- I would think that I wasn't able to- Oh, you know what? There's a chibi door. I just remembered. There's a chibi door over here. If I push it over here, then I'll get the thing. Oh, I can't go on the carpet! Can I get around this little notch in the floor? Ferris, please work with me. Please, please. Yes! Yes, Ferris! 
Yes! You are a queen! You are a queen, Ferris. We love you for that. We love you for your queenness. I'm gonna need... I need power. I can sit on this. Huh! Forgot I could do that. Alright, up we go. Come on. Ferris, you got it. Oh, I need to unplug. I'm using all of my energy. Let's see. I think there's a plug right over there. To the plug so I can plug myself into Ferris. And Ferris will be, Ferris will be like juiced up to do whatever. We try not to push Ferris too hard, though. That would be unfortunate. Hmm. That was close. You're fully recharged. Good. Are you gonna save? Yeah, I feel like we've made enough progress. What are y'all doing over here? Are y'all fighting? Y'all wanna fight? Fight the good fight? Y'all got any fire spiders around here? Any evil doers? Oh, just kinda shim shit on the floor? That's fine. That's fine, my friend. Let's go. Do you want to know some spy training? Yes. I want to become a spy. I knew I could count on you. All right, spy time. This exercise trains your eyes to follow the great beast lightning fast maneuvers. Find the spy. You're free rangers. You're hard boiled. I'm Detroit. I'm Tex. I'm Frisco. I'm Orlando. I'm the spy. All right, Orlando. All right, hunt down the spy. I don't think the spy moved at all. Here you go. You didn't move. I'm Orlando. I'm the spy. Good for you, Orlando. Bingo! You got it! You did so good! You did so good! What's that good, Chibi Robo? You're a good Chibi Robo! Oh my god, I can like... I just noticed I can like bounce this thing like a basketball. It's so cool. Spread the happiness! Ready for round two? Yes. Why, yes I am. I'm Detroit! I'm Tex! I'm the spy! I'm Frisco, and I'm Orlando. Where are you going, pal? It's very possible it's this guy or the other one, so I'm gonna go with my gut. Are you Tex? Howdy, I'm Tex, and I'm the spy. Bingo! Bingo! Bingo, bingo, bingo. Round three, right? This is a hard one. Spread the happiness. Spreading the happiness. Round three. Sure, let's do it. What do we got now? I'm Detroit. I'm Tex. I'm Frisco. I'm the spy. I'm Orlando. I think it's the guy all the way on the right. That's what I think. Are you the guy? I'm Frisco and I'm the spy! Yes! Suck it, Charge! Bingo! Nice! Very good, very good, very good! Four happy points. Is there a, is there a level four? We're gonna try for number four? We doing it again? Oh my god. How many are there? I'm Detroit. Oh god, I'm Tex. Yeah, 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 we got it. Frisco and then Orlando. Trying to follow again. I'm pointing on my screen in hopes to follow. I think second from the left. That's what I think. These are my thoughts and I'm sticking to them. Are you the one? I'm Frisco to the spot. Yes! I don't know how many you need to do. I think you get something for doing like all of them. Or maybe you just get more and more happy points. Five happy points. Oh boy. You did it again. Ready to try for number five. How many are there? Does it just keep going? I don't actually know how long this goes. Oh, you're the spy. Uh, Texas the spy. Number two. I almost did not read that. I think all the way on the left. That's what I think. Hello, buddy. Maybe? I'm texting on the spy! Number five! I don't think I was ever this good at this game. This is probably just beginner's luck, to be perfectly honest. Beginner's like, as in like, after a long time of being a beginner. Like, I'm not a beginner at this anymore, but I don't remember playing this game very well. 
Okay, how long does it go? Does it just keep going until I... I, I guess I'll just keep going until I lose. That's right. Become human. Texas the spy on the second map. Oi. Okay, you moved. And then there. And then... It's really hard when, like, they all move at once because they all look the same. I don't know if that's wrong to say it. They all look the same. But they all really do look the same. Oh, I totally lost them now. I'm gonna guess the second one from the left. I completely lost track this time. Are you the guy? I'm no spy, unfortunate. Too bad. Oh, well. Well, that's it. You just passed spy. I passed spy train. I passed? Oh, that's good. Oh, sweet. Wow, 33 happy points. That's so cool. I didn't realize that it went that far, to be perfectly honest. Honestly, I would have never been able to get that last one, I don't think. Next up is handrail training. You soldiers are a disgrace. CB Rose is more of a ranger than any of you will ever be. Fine. Dismiss. Oh, I just spit all over my computer. <laughs> Takes a lot to be a spy. Can I do that all today, Sarge? Can I do more handrail training today, or we gotta wait till tomorrow? Are you here for handrail training? Yeah, I'm here for handrail training. Let's go down the handrail. Like, just like that. It's the sound it makes when you go down the handrail, don't you know? That's the spirit soldier. All right, let's do it. It's designed to teach you how to run fast so you can catch Tao. Well, I need to take, get my plug on top of my head. Just run on top of the handrail to the end of the course, then run back. Don't fall. You're free rangers. You're hard boiled. Go, go, go. Picking up and plug. Here we go. Here we go. Just kind of going to go until I get to the end of the handrail. Honestly, it's a pretty nicely curved handrail. All I got to do is just hold it in a particular location of the joystick and we're good. There's no problem at all. I'm a really good driver, so... Oh, now, now, now come back. Okay, I have to turn around and then... There we go. That'll be easier. I honestly... That might have been the most time it took me. Uh, how much time do I have to do this in? I don't really know. This reminds me of driving on curved roads and having to, like, switch lanes. I'm gonna, like, fall at the last moment you watch. Just kidding. Just kidding. We're fine. We're fine. Finish. Do I need to do it in 30 seconds? 32, 23? You passed handrail trading. Yeah, we did it. We get snaps this time. Snaps. Snaps you get chibi ribbon. Very good for you. Spread the happiness. Spread it to the world. Jungle training is next. You soldiers are a disgrace. Chibi Robo is more of a ranger than any of you will ever be. Dude, why do you gotta be so mean to your soldiers? They're the ones who you're trying to hype up. All right, time for jungle training. I'm done training for the day. Oh, okay, okay. I'll just go elsewhere then. Um, okay, well, in that case, I'm gonna try to go up to the Cheapster. Uh, I needed more... I went to the wall to charge myself up to have Ferris over here go a little higher up. Go up, Ferris. Up to the Cheapster door. Unless I'm right underneath it. Oh, that's going to be a problem. Oh, I've been bounced. Oh, whoopsie. I've been bounced. Come back this way a little bit, Ferris. Thank you. Monsieur Bueller of the foyer will help me get up to the Cheapster door. There we go. Perfect. That's another... Yikes, you can't plug in from there. I wasn't attempting to, but... All right. Maybe I did by accident. Sorry, Telly. I didn't mean to scare you like that by attempting to plug into the air. Oh my god, whoa, okay. Oh, I'm not close enough. I need my copter. In this point. There we go. Now it's the right location. Now there's absolutely no worries at all. So let's plug on in and go. Into the special room. Beautiful. And I can use the copter. I can actually use the copter from here to get over the table, I think. Or a little bit of copter? A little bit of copter to get on top of- No! Oh, I've fallen! Oh. Well, I guess I'll kind of go on top of Ferris and then go back up to the top. There we go. And then I'll use Ferris to get my way to the top of the table. Hopefully where I can, like, throw a little railing down or something. There we go. I'm kind of running out of energy, so I'm not sure if I'll have enough to get up the way up the top. Maybe we'll see. I'll see if I can. I'll try my best. Mm, might be tough. Might be a tough one to get to the top there. I know there is a plug up there if I can make it all the way to the top. Maybe I can. It's about... It's about like a unit and a half of energy per step. 
And I'm also trying to pick up trash along the way. Not that that really does too much, but I might... This might be the end for Chibi Robo. How much moolah I got? 387? I think I'm more than halfway there. I should be fine. I'm, I'm gonna be fine. If I just tell myself I'll be fine, then everything will be hunky-dory. Stay close to the the inner part of the railing. Or I'm actually gonna run out of time before I get to the top. Uh, Cause daytime is pretty much almost over. Okay, I'm getting there. Oh, where's the plug at? All right, now where's my closest plug? There you are. Right there. I guess I'll wait till the day ends. This is about to end anyway. Take it. Oh, we're working hard, but it's time for a break. Fine, fine, fine. Ba -da 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 Great work out there. Thanks, pal. Really appreciate that. Now, let's see. I doubt I might actually have got enough points for the next level. There was a lot of points that I got from Sarge for all that training. 58. In order to get the next one, we need 251 more happy points. Slowly but surely, we will get there. We will. I would love to save. Actually, this is probably a very appropriate time to save. I'm cool with that. I'm very cool with that. Picking on up. Put it in the trash module. Now, if I can find more spiders, I can get another Utilibot that will allow me to unlock the spoon in the kitchen. But I need to find some no-gooders first. Do I see any grease around? I'm on grease duty. Let's try to find it. I think I'm gonna go back to the other room so that I can... Oh, what are you doing over there, um... Space... Space boy? Space boy, what you doing? Actually, I'm gonna try to trade with you again tonight. Might as well. There we go. Might as well. Try it until I do well. Uh, buddy? Yeah. Time for training? Yeah. Silence, fool! There's something in there. An ill wind blows tonight as something happened to Mr. and Mrs. Sanderson. Drake Redcrest also heard Jenny weep large, bitter tears. Curse you, sadness! I will continue my patrol upstairs. Oh, bye, buddy. There he goes. Is Sanderson not... Mr. Sanderson not down there? Yeah, he's down here. Oh. Huh. I wonder what could be the matter. I wonder indeed. What could it possibly be? Perhaps we'll find out. I mean, I guess now that I can get up the stairs, I should be able to talk to Jenny tonight. Yeah. The soldiers out tonight, if they're underneath over there, is there Jenny? No, there's no Jenny. Hmm. Jenny, Jenny, where are you now? I just can't tell. So I'm gonna go up the stairs and try to find y'all. With the power of my buddy, Ferris. Ferris, how are you? I'm doing all right. How you doing? How you doing? Climbing up my ladder, I see? Climbing up your ladder, exactly. Thank you for always being a friend, Ferris. I know I kind of just met you about 20 minutes ago. Maybe even less than that, but I feel like we're closely becoming good cronies. I mean, we're ba we're basically co-workers. I mean, I'm a ro- I'm a somehow mildly sentient robot. You're- you can- you can blush and respond to kisses, I guess, as we learned prior. Just like Gary. Gary, Ferris, and the soon-to-be Karen. Karen for the kitchen, of course. K stands for kitchen and for Karen, obviously. That's kind of how this whole thing rolls. I wonder if I... I'm not sure exactly if what I'm hearing, like, game-wise, is in sync with everything else that occurs in the game. For my for my GameCube stuff, I use a Roxio capture device and it introduces quite a bit of delay in that. And I did have it set up for my other streaming computer when I had the two computers set up. But now it's um, it's the single one set up and I might need to um, adjust the audio delay settings. Because what I hear, I, I oftentimes sing to the music. So if I sing to the music and it's out of key, it just kind of sounds weird for you guys. And I don't wanna do that. I'd rather keep them all in sync if I can. I'll do that eventually. Maybe not right now, but uh, I will figure it out eventually. Ooh! A door. I will go into the door. There's plenty of grease behind that, uh, underneath the car. No good. Let's plug on in and find the money that lies underneath. Moolah. I'm actually really glad that I didn't run out of batteries that last go up the stairs. Otherwise, I probably would have lost quite a bit. Hi, Jenny. 
Hi, Johnny. How you doing? I'm gonna pick up your trash. You can't hold any more of those. Oh, what? Oh, where's the nearest trash receptacle? Oh, I don't have one. Um, but I can pick up one of these, right? One, two... Maybe it's not so bad. Oh, yo, you're trying to... You're looking at the, um, the bills, aren't you? Oh, poor Sanderson's. It's okay. I bet by the end of this game, we'll figure out the, like, the solution to the energy crisis, and then you'll be just fine, and you'll be millionaires, because, I don't know, alien technology or something. Right? That's that's definitely how this game ends. Oh, for sure. For sure. Faster. Everybody knows the logical conclusion that any video game is solving the energy crisis. Everybody knows that. Right? Right? Yeah. Yeah, right. Hello, anybody in there? What's all the racket out there? I told you to keep quiet! Oh, hi, Cheapster. Oh, it's just Chibo. Um, sorry, I thought you were Jenny's father. Uh, I'm balancing our checkbook right now. I need to be alone for a while, okay? Oh, you seem very angry. Hee 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 hee. Chibi Robo got yelled at. <laughs> and you'd better go to bed too, young lady. Ah, humph. Yeah, go to your room. Stop messing with me. See, that's a little hint to let us know how to open that thing indefinitely. If you can, which I can't as of this moment. Can I get on top of this pipe? Oh, so close! Oh, well, I guess we're going to the ground. Hello? Jenny, you okay? Rip, 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 uh oh. Oh, sorry. Can I talk to you? You're a toy. You're definitely alive, aren't you? Hello, Chibi. Jenny says she's upset because Mom and Dad aren't getting alone. They're not getting alone. Mom won't let Dad sleep in their bedroom. I want to go into Mom's room, but I can't move since I'm a stuffed animal. I am very sorry to hear of your plight. I am not a stuffed animal. Therefore, I was blessed with the ability to move because of the power of automation and human ingenuity and engineering. One day, perhaps you will be able to move too. <laughs> Whispers, we can move. We just can't move in front of the humans. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Well, I guess that applies for all stuffed animals, I guess. Come on, Jenny, let's go to your room. It'll be fine, it'll be fine, I swear. Oh, do we got some uh, baddies? I feel like we got some baddies. I see grease all over the floor. Or maybe it's the car. Or the grease from the car. Probably grease from the car. Ah, eh, let's pick up some trash instead. That's probably the easiest thing to do right now. Picking up some soda cans. At night. And there's tire tracks over here too. Yes. I know there's quite a lot of cookie wrappers. Or cookie wrappers. There's like four of them out here. But I think there's a rubbish bin in uh, Jenny's room. So I'll go in there and deposit all of my trash. Where's the trash bin at? Trash bin? Trash bin. Lob it in with- Ah! I got a lot of things on me, actually. There's a lot of money that I could have gotten before. Sweet! Some soda cans, too? Excellent! And boxes! Ooh, lots of boxes. They were pretty big. It was a lot of money to go in. Yeah. It pays to take out the trash. 80 happy points and 800 moolah. Cha-ching, baby! I'm actually gonna go back out into the hallway to collect the other trash so that I actually have that and I'll come back in, explore this area a little bit more. I love Jenny's room because the aesthetic of Jenny's room, like the whole castle thing, reminds me a lot, of, and I'm not exactly sure why, but if any of y'all have ever played uh, Super Mario 64, the, like, the underground city area in, I think, Wet Dry, Wet Dry World, I think, is the level, uh, the painting that you jump into, and... The actual area of Wet Dry World is like the under, like the under area city. I don't know why, but reminds me a whole lot of that. Like that entire state is actually Wet Dry Land, and I don't exactly know why, but it's like, I don't know. Just, I, I just, I had that sort of like association in my head for some reason. I don't know why, but sometimes I'm good. Let's see, I got plenty of energy too, so I'm gonna clean up the floor a little bit. There's paw prints up here because the dog is dirty, dirty, dirty. 
There's grease prints up here because apparently the little RC car actually takes grease and oil, which is unusual, to say the least. It is very odd, to be honest. Why would the car need grease? Is there really that much of a mechanism on the inside of it? I can understand, like, a, like a toy grease, perhaps, because the gears are probably made of, like, plastic or whatever, but, like, actual grease? Like, what's up with that? Actual grease all over the floor. I guess maybe that goes into the whole, like, it's Toyland. They're like, kind of got, like, human aesthetics. Or being alive. Anthropomorphicness. Relation to human. How do an inanimate object relate to human? I know not. These are actually incredibly difficult to get up. And they... It's good, though. Gives me a lot of happy points. I'm slowly but surely running out of energy. Ooh, I bet it's a cleaning bonus time! I just earned a cleaning bonus, Mrs. Sanders said told me to give them out. Your happy point bonus is... 28. Very good. Moolah gets... Oh, man, that's a lot of moolah. Thank you, Mrs. Sanderson. You know, to be fair, for somebody who complains a lot about her husband, like, making silly money decisions, you're the one who's throwing change at something that you shouldn't already have to continue paying for, I guess, because you've already purchased the product. Okay. That's all the cleaning out here. So I'm going to go into Jenny's room. Oh, there's a couple of more... Those things. Oh, there are more scuff marks. Okay, yeah, I can't do that right now. I'm running out of power. So I'm going to go into the room, throw out all the trash, and then hopefully find a very close wall outlet. We'll see about that. Let's throw all the trash in there. So I've got a full, like, a totally empty inventory for all that stuff. There we go. All the trash. And let's find out. How do we next? You got some 40 moolah. I would do not want to lose all this moolah now. Oh, there's a plug way on the other side of the room. Oh, shucks. I hope I can make it over there. Yeah, I, I think I can make that. Yeah, I, I can do that. I can do that very good. That came a little close, though. But it's all about close calls. If there were no close calls, there wouldn't be any suspense. Ding. Your energy's full. Yeah, it was a pretty close call. I'll admit that. Am I save? Yeah, I'll probably save that. That feels like a good idea. Oh, right, because Redcrest comes up here because Redcrest is in love. In love with the princess. What about what a bunch of line, love tri there's a there's a love triangle going on here. It's it's um Sophie, the caterpillar, is in love with Redcrest. Redcrest is in love with the princess, and I honestly don't remember if the princess actually has a particular love interest. If she do, it apparently didn't give a long-lasting memory for me. So I'll talk to Redcrest for the night. Are we going on patrol up here, Redcrest, or are you just gonna like really creepily just kind of stare at the princess for a little bit? Yeah, that's kind of weird. You know, something was- while I was hanging out with Lyco's Lord and family last night, something was very really interesting with pointing out. Mario is a human. We know that. Is Princess Peach a human? Or like, some interesting like, like, Queen Bee situation of like, the Mushroom Peoples is? Because I don't know. Apparently, I think they had mentioned that there was a game theory on that? About like, the idea like, Peach isn't really a human. Peach is actually just like, one of the toadstools. But like, because they are, like, I guess, with a certain, like, I, I don't know, like, queen bees. Queen bees are queen bees because they fed, like, the royal jelly, and then changes in the body happen, and it's, I, I don't know. It was just an interesting concept that, I, that we thought of, and it totally came to mind. Hello, Space Rander Robo! Look at that! It's a princess! That towering castle! And all the way at the top of it! What do I see? Why, it's a fine maiden! <laughs> Delightful damsel! Indeed. She gazes down at me with lost eyes. I can tell her heart aches for justice. Listen, I have something important to tell you. Space Hunter Code, part four. Love justice with a burning passion. Burning passion. Drake Red Christmas speak to her. She needs my attention. So, um, I'm gonna go do that. Just kidding. However, a minor obstacle stands in my way. How am I supposed to get up there? I can't jump. 
I mean, I jumped literally all the way up to the top of the staircase, but I can't seem to get to the top of the tower. It's, 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 don't worry about it. The inconsistencies are not something we worry about in this video game. <laughs> the one called Mort will know what to do. I'm at a loss, but the destiny of a space hunter is to find the truth. Oh, that's it. I think Princess is in love with Mort. I remember who Mort is. I believe so. I believe I do. Anyway. Okay. Okay. I forget these blocks are for. Oh, I just have to put them in order, and I think something happens, maybe? Maybe. Well, I'm gonna do it anyway. Maybe I get something out of it. Something good. There's a little heart that goes up here. It's a little- it's a fun little thing. We like to have fun around here. There we go. And I'll pull this backwards. Spades! Spades is the next step in the puzzle. Forward, spades! And then clubs! Clubs come from over here. Dun, 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 dun. Well, games lag a little bit. Just a wee little bit. Not enough for it to be a problem. Can I, did I leave enough space? I didn't quite make enough space, so I'm going to push you inward. Then pull you this way. We see how it goes. We see, we see how this is. And then I believe Mort is like an appropriately named, like, I think, Grave Digger toy. Who's somewhere, like, midway towards the top of the tower. I think... I don't remember who... I, I think... Mort likes the princess, and I think the princess likes Mort too. So that's where the love triangle kind of ends, I think. That's how things go. I cannot remember, though, so... All the dead flowers. That's how I talk to Mort. I recall now. Ding, 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 ding! What do I get? Happy points! Yes! Very lovely. That was a lot of happy points, too. Well, now that I got this flower... Mort, you around here? Mort. Mort. Where are you, buddy? <gasps> Ooh, trash. I do like me some trash. Love to get me some trash. There's plenty of trash underneath the bed. Oh, Mort is under the bed, I recall. He's a he's a dead dude. He's a zombie! Not a grave digger. Zombie type character. And there's tons of trash down here. Oh yeah. Probably because like Jenny, I guess, throws the trash underneath her bed. Well, it's a good thing you got Chibi Robo here to clean up after your messes. I don't think I have enough time in the evening to um Take care of all this trash and more at the same time. Open up the coffin. We'll find Mort, the evil that lays underneath. He's probably actually a very handsome prince. He's a money! I recall now. Bah! He's got the thing that comes out of his chest and terrifies people, although not really. Are you not scared? Didn't I scare you? Um, yes, I believe you did. I'll just say that I did. Oh, you're, you're being nice. That's good. You're being too nice. Perhaps I should lie to you once more. Maybe I should say that, no, you did not scare me. I should be honest with you. I really should. But what if, like, I was a young child playing this game and I actually was scared by the evil monster Mort? Maybe not. Pick up all the soda book cans. And then I'll talk to Mort again. Hopefully I have enough time to pick up all the trash and then talk to Mort again at the very least. And then come back here the next night, I suppose. There's not a lot of, not a lot of trash left. I've almost got all the trash. Oh, and a crayon, too. That's good. I, I think there is a crayon box, I think, somewhere in this room that if you get all the crayons, you get, like, happy points or something like that. Or an achievement. Or a sticker. Sticker. There's, sheet. There's stickers in this one. And we got that last one of trash, the piece of paper. Now I'm gonna talk to Mort again. There you go, picked up all the trash. Please. Oh. Sad boy time. Alright, I'll leave you alone. I'll go bother somebody else then. Where's the honey, my friends? Where be the honeys? Somewhere on top of here, perhaps? I believe this. If Sunshine weren't with Jenny tonight... Come on, go to the top! Am I gonna fall? No! I saw the red shoe right there! I could've grabbed the red shoe! So close. You know what time it is, Chibi Robo! Time to go back home, because you don't need this shit. You don't. No, you don't. Go home, take a rest. Take a load off, Cheapster. Oh, good morning. Oh, good morning to you. What have you got from this morning? 
What's my rank now? We were at 58 before, so now we're at... 10! Oh my god, wow. For making it into the top 10, Citrusoft has sent you a special gift, a brand new bonus battery. I'm at 180 now. Would you look at that? Your battery power went up to 180. Very good. Yeah. In order to get the next bonus battery, you need 499 more happy points. Yeah. While you're here, Chibi Road, would you like to save? But of course. Good idea. Wheel. I think my other memory card that's currently in the GameCube might actually have the original Chibi Robo save data on it. Potentially. That one might be at home, though. Like, home at my parents' place. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. No, it's fine, it's fine. Are there any more fancy things to buy? I don't believe that it is at this point. I think Moolah is really only good for the, um, the Giga battery. Chibi battery? Yeah, no, it's for the Giga. Giga! Giga battery! Put it in with the Giga battery. You battery is about 52,000. Do you want more? Can I actually, yeah. Can I do it in more than just kilowatts? Or can I do, like, kilowatt fractions, too? I don't remember. One, and then can I go the other way? I don't know if I can... No, I don't think I can actually move any more than just one at a time. 1,000 kilowatts. If I had to get, I'm pretty sure it's 10,000 kilowatts. We'll get there. I love it, like, the power that comes out of that is, like, that literally looks radioactive. Like, quantum or whatever. It's distilling, it's taking energy and making pure matter out of it. That's why it's so incredibly energy intensive. Duh. We found out a way to convert energy into pure mass. Oh, there's no there's no poppers in the ground. Oh, very interesting. Well, time to head out for the evening. Or for the day. It's the daytime. It's the daytime. Alrighty then. I kind of want to go back upstairs again because I think... Now that mom is downstairs, I can actually go into the room while she's gone. Might be able to do that. I also picked up a lot of trash, so I should definitely throw out the rubbish along the way. How you doing, Jenny? How's your picture coming along? Looks pretty good. It's Chibi Robo and Jenny. Look! Oh. Maybe? I like that. That's a good one. Woo! Celebration because the picture is good. No. Oh. Many happy points. 20 moolahs. Spread the happiness, my friends. Spreading all the happiness. Gibby, Ribbit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got another frog uh, thing for you. You're somewhere. Here you go. Here's a frog ring. Yeah, I know you like frog rings so much. So I brought this one for you. Somehow you left them all over the house. I think there's seven left now. That's a lot of rings. That's one frog ring for each finger. I wonder if, like, the frog... Oh, six more. Interesting. I wonder if... Oh, you know what? It's six more until I get the frog suit, I think. I don't think that's actually all of the frog rings, if I'm correct in saying. Which, I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Oftentimes, I am. I am wrong with frog rings. Like I mentioned before, I'm pretty sure that in my original playthrough, I got every single sticker except for the frog ring one, because there was one frog ring that was missing, and I guess, like, I was just kind of too proud at the time to figure out, like, where the other one must be. But this is a fresh playthrough. I might be able to get them all. Not, I don't know if I'll be able to get all the stickers today. Uh, that might take a lot more time than I anticipate for, but I at least want to get to the final boss today, and then continue playing until I feel like stopping uh, late into the evening, potentially. We'll see where it gets me, to be honest. Okay, let's try to get our way all the way up to the top. Over here, there's a little candy wrapper. And again, we like candy wrappers. We'll go to the top of the place. Actually, is there training going on down there? Boys? Boys, you training today? No, I actually don't see any of the boys training today, so that's fine. I will continue up the staircase and think about training with, the, with Sarge another time. Let's see if the door up there is actually open. It may not be. Jenny's room may not be open either, but I did have some unfinished business in Jenny's room, so I do want to go back up there if the door is open. Are they all up in there in the in the jungle this time? Oh, that's the next uh, training module. We completed spy training, handrail training, and next is jungle training, and I believe it's up in that little uh, topiary up there. I don't know. What's the word for those types of, like, plant holders? Like, 
I, I, I don't know. I, I know there's a name for that kind of stuff, and I just don't know what it is. But the best I can come up with is topiary. There's bushes up. There's plants up there. Not even just bushes. There's plants. Ah, so now I can go to the parents' room, and when I go into the parents' room, I will be going, able to go to the other side of the door and open up the little blinds so that Chibi Robo can go in even over the nights. Even when Chibi Robo's on a night shift, he can go in and spy on mom and dad. Or just mom right now, because dad's sleeping on the couch, so. Dad sleeps on the couch because he made a, he spent too much money on a really good business decision. For example, Chibi Robo. He spent all the money on Chibi Robo, and that's why mama's really mad at him. Unfortunately. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. I was actually just about to go up there to the baseball cap. Yeah, yeah. That, that was the plan, at least. But thank you for pointing it out for me, video game. <laughs> oh! It looks like you can use this to climb up! Thank you for pointing that out for me, Tony. Honestly, if you weren't there to give me the instructions, I, I'm not sure if I ever would have found it. I wonder if there's a way to play this game with like as little like tutorialing as possible. I don't know. I, or I guess there might be a technique like where you press the pause button and then the Z button and all the other buttons and then you can like, like speed run past all the dialogue. I'm sure the speed runners have figured it out. I think I remember as I was looking through, through some Chibi Robo stuff this morning, I'm pretty sure I saw a speed runner who did the entire game in like two and a half hours. Uh, we're like in five and a half hours. I'm not a speed runner. I ain't good at that. I can get on top of this bell. Oh, oh, there we go. Perfect. I rung the bell and then cute. I rung the bell. Awesome. And then I should be able to climb on top of this guy here. Carefully. Carefully. There we go. Click. Now I can come in here anytime that I want to. Thank you. You opened the people! Now you can pass through here at night! Thank you. Yes, indeed. You're absolutely right, Telly. I couldn't have said it better myself. This is exactly what I'll be able to do now that that thing is open. I don't think there's anything in this particular plan. I believe there's a- is that a frog in the middle of the floor? Oh, that might have been not a very good idea. It's okay, I can just plug myself in. Apparently when I take mortal damage, I just plug in and I'm all better. It's the equivalent of healing for robots. Seriously. It's not too- is it really that much to have to suspend your disbelief for? Fully recharged. Do you want to save? Yeah, I don't want to save this time. I say no to saving this time. Is that a frog in the middle of the room? It looks like a frog. Hey, buddy. Now I know your friend outside. Your uh, your your girlfriend, your wife, girl or boyfriend uh, outside, girl or whatever outside. They need some water because it dried out. What's wrong, Chibi Robo? Dead frog. Huh? Well, what's that? Let's go and have a look closer look. Sure. Uh, it, it looks like a frog, but it's got bites taken out of it from the giant Lego monster. How horrible! Who could have done such a thing? You think it could have been Tao? Ah, uh, nope. The bite marks don't match up to a dog bite. Yeah, you're right. He already has plenty of food and bones and stuff. Hmm. Yo, sorry I had to go for a moment, but you're back? Oh, welcome back, Astro. No worries. You can go and come and please as you want to. The game keeps me occupied nonetheless. Who could have done this to the poor frog? Who could it have done? Huh? Oh, dear. Time for horrors to ensue. It's a dinosaur! Chibi Robo! There's something, there's something over there! What do we do? Uh, uh. Oh! What is it? Huh? Wait a minute. Uh, it seems like it's gone now. What happened to the robot? What happened to the dinosaur? There really was something over there, I swear! I swear it! Uh, I'm gonna go take a look. Bye, Telly. Yep, you can go up there. Ceiling fan man. Bye-bye. Bye. Go, go, go get him. Well, I want to talk to this frog. Ribbit. Ribbit. Hurry. Ribbit. Ribbit. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I, I feel that way too sometimes, honestly. After a hard day's work, a couple of drinks later, I feel a little, uh, little, little like I got a frog in my throat too. <laughs> Obviously. They just don't make games like they used to. I completely agree with that. I mean, like, I, 
I was just thinking, like, like this game, I don't know if there's, like, a modern equivalent for... I know there's a game out for, like, the... I know there's a DS version that's out for this. Um, and I know I was playing Kirby Air Raid last night with a buddy of mine, and there's no... There's a spiritual successor coming out for that that's not associated with Nintendo. Although, I don't know. They don't make games like they used to. You're absolutely right about that. Although, maybe just the tastes of the world have evolved to be something else. On the bright side, I think it's actually a really nice thing that some of these games just kind of, like, stay within their retro dumb. Because it kind of, like... It's like a snapshot of time, of what things used to be. I mean, I don't know if I can particularly say... Oh, I've run out of papers. I need space for more papers. I don't know if I can, like, particularly say that, like, I love retro games more than I do modern games. I've definitely played more retro games than modern games, but that's because I've been kind of out of video games for quite a few years now. And all the games that I played previously were, like, that's exactly what they were. They were, like, retro games because that's what we had at the time. Yeah, right, right, but story and mechanics just are nowhere where they are nowhere near where they are now. Like, in terms of, like, whether, like, story and mechanics stuff is better now than it was before. Because I feel like there are some games that get, like, that are, like, generally, like, really, really well story-driven. I haven't played many of them, but I know, like, um, there are a lot of games on Steam that are, like, really story-driven that I haven't played. And this one here, I feel like, kind of, like, I feel like games like Chibi-Robo and all the other ones kind of leave a lot to the imagination. I think more so, uh, which I think is, I think it's good in a way, because it kind of lets you as the player kind of like weave, like, kind of like feel your way around the story yourself and have like an idea of where things go. I think this game is probably an exception to that. There's not much left to the imagination. Like, you know that they're going through memorable troubles and they're trying to, you, you kind of bring the family back together as you go through and make things work. Uh, I mean, but like, where have you seen that as the object of the story? And in any modern game, like, I, I don't know of any other games that I can think of where the object of the game is to bring a family back together. Uh, or actually, I guess I can. I guess that's a very vague goal to a story. There must be some other games that the goal, like the goal being, you bring a family back together. That's kind of what you're doing here. But also, like, no, but you bring the big robot back to life, so that's also part of the family, too. So, like, yeah, yeah you kind of bring in a family back together. Maybe that isn't- maybe that isn't so far-fetched a, a concept for Vigi games. Hmm. Maybe Chibi Robo- like, or maybe it's just because, like, I've had the opportunity to kind of, like, dumb down what this game's, like, thing is. Like, if you had to give, like, um, what's it, like, uh, sh sh like, shitty movie summary of, like, Ch Chibi Robo, or I guess shitty game summary of Chibi Robo, I'd be like, uh, a little robot a little robot who plunges a family into debt helps them learn to cope with that debt as they as they go back together again or something. I, I don't really know. What is this little thing on the wall? I forget what this is, but if I turn it, good things will happen. Um, can I go on top of this? I'm gonna go on top of this little knob. Oh, I went right through it! Oh, well, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, well, now I'm down here again. That's fine and dandy. That's not exactly what I wanted to happen, but alas, here we are, so. Oi! Oi, oi, oi. I'll plug into the wall. I don't have much time left of morning, but... Whatever. I'll take it. I've recharged 33 times. Thank you for reminding me. No saving. Only going. Well, I guess Telly went all the way up to the top to try to figure out where that the jaws were coming from. I kind of went on top of the bed to get up to here. I climbed up over here because I wanted to try to get little Funky Phil out from the top of there. Or I guess Funky Philippa. Or I, I don't know. It's a funky thing. A lot of toys in this house. Not just because we have a, like a young eight-year-old, but because like our our boss man, our, uh, our, our, our old dude, our grand father, father figure, is also, he likes toys. What's wrong with a man? What's wrong with a grown man liking toys? I like trinkets every once in a while. I don't really play with them per se, but what's wrong with what's wrong with that? I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Okay, so now I'm up here. I want to I want to go over there, but I want to collect this item first down here. It's a ticket. Oh, don't want to do that. It's a ticket for what? Click button. Click button. Oh, ain't nothing wrong with grown men with toys, or grown women with toys, or grown people with toys. It's a ticket stub, and now I have it. My in inventory. Let's try to get back over here. Is that gonna work? Ah, fall into the ground. And we come back up again. It's okay. Honestly. And, look, and like, 
Mrs. Sanderson, too, is saying, like, and he watches, like, cartoons and stuff like that. He's such a child, like, dude, what if it's his coping mechanism? What if he's going through a really, really hard time between jobs? Like, give the man a break. Come on. To be fair, like, to be fair, I don't know exactly how long he's been, like, between jobs so far, so I don't, I don't know. Like, I can see how frustrating it must be for, uh, the other, you know, for the wife, for... I'm not exactly sure if she has a paying job. I think she just kind of does all the dishes all day, so... Um, but housework. Housework is good. Like, being a mom is a full-time job. And the payment is in a completely different currency than what we use to pay for goods and services these days. The payment isn't in dollars. I guess unless you're momming for somebody else, I suppose. If I had the shovel, I'd be able to plant seeds up here. Like, nectar seeds and stuff. But nope. Let's see. So now I'm on top of the bed. There are some stuff on top of the beds. Those are more bills and stuff that were being gone through by Mama Sita. But I'm gonna go up here and see if I can get to the top of the thing above. If I can go right over there, that'd be great. Oh, look at that. Ah, more, more toys and stuff. So now that I'm up here. Uh, oh, okay, I've fallen. Well, I certainly didn't mean for that to happen. Okay. How did I fall? I didn't mean for that to happen. I'm gonna get over to that windowsill over there. So I'm going to use the power of my... Please don't fall. Please don't fall. There we go. I'm going to try to get to that windowsill. 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 Oh, oh. Okay, well, that... You know, that works. That works. I'm cool with that. I like that. I like it a lot. Let's continue forward and see what we can find. I'm kind of running out of energy, but then again, the day... The day is running out of time, too. Mm, that wasn't going to work for me anyway. This is down here now. I don't think there's a plug over here, though. Oh, there's a plug down there. Mm, gotta sacrifice it. Gotta go to the bottom. I wind up coming back in here another time. Maybe tomorrow night. When everything is dark. When it's nighttime, I'll return. That was not very close to Telly. Come on. Am I gonna, gonna save? No, because I'll be saving in like a minute anyway. I think I should, pur I think I should purchase the 15-minute uh, timer. Oh, I got whacked in the head. Buy a thing again. Not sure why, but hey, whatever. That's happened three times. It's true. I don't remember what that. I think if I try to reach for the plug, and I don't know, it's something to do with reaching the plug makes that a problem, and then stuff falls on my head, which is like, yo, incredibly disrespectful. But like, I don't know, I don't know who's doing it, so I have no one to blame. Can I pull this? Oh, can I pull this thing out? Oh, guess he's having what we call performance issues. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Like, somehow, somehow, the... <laughs> you unplug yourself from the wall, and, like, like, for the equivalent of a human, that's, like, I'm unplugging, like, my computer from the wall, and, like, a plate, just, like, like a pizza pan, or uh, a python, just falls down from the ceiling, just like, Yo! What was that all about? God, why do you hate me so? If, if the, if it was God's fault. It might not be God's fault. For all we know, it's the fault of, like, I don't know, somebody's just playing a trick on you. I don't know. Who's your roommate, and why are they setting up traps for you like that? Free work out there! Chibi Roy was- your Chibi Ricky is still 10. That makes sense. 84 to 53 more happy points. Well, you wanna save? I'll save. Yeah, I like saving at these points in time. That's good. Saving is good. I don't have enough- I don't have enough- I don't have enough, uh, scrap for another, uh, Utilobot. Although I'd rather have enough for Util- Oh, actually I have a thousand G. A thousand Mula. I need to go back inside and deposit more to, excuse me, fill up the energy. Because we gotta fill up this battery over here. 3,000 kilowatts out of, I'm guessing 10,000. Let's fill up 1,000 more. Little by little. We're getting there. Oh, I didn't, zero watts, that just won't do. Uh, I didn't mean to click that button. I was too trigger happy on my button clicking. I do want to charge it. Yes, I do. You continuing to ask me these prompts over and over again is... Let's see. Currently we got 3,000. Now I have 4,000. We'll kind of dim the lights a little bit again and add some more um, slur slurm to the to the battery. It's actually just powered off of slurm. We're somewhere way, way into the future. Where, uh, where slurm is still a thing. Honestly. The only problem about old games is the accidental trigger happy moments. Yeah, I do that a lot. I just like... I'm, like, trying to click through things, and I'm just, like, if I click through it, then everything will be okay, right? There are, like, some games nowadays have, like, an option to just kind of make the text go faster, which helps for, like, somebody like... I like to narrate the games that I play, so that works out well for me. 
uh, for, but for other people, maybe they just kind of want to go through it and read it. I, I understand, like, it's slower so that you can actually read the whole damn thing before, like, other stuff happens or it goes on. But, like, I don't know. I'm a very fast... Actually, I'm not really a fast reader. I'm a fast talker. I'm not a fast reader. I read very, very slowly. But if, like, all the text is right there in front of me on the screen, I can read that really, really fast. And often do because I'm trying to get to the next piece of text because my, my, vocal my vocalizing of it has already proceeded past the proper ending punctuation. It's like, good. Give me more. Nobody else training tonight? Is, uh, is Jenny up on the steps? Jenny up on the steps? Jenny on the steps? Anybody? Uh, I guess I can't tell until I go up onto the steps. So, I guess I'll go up there. Isn't that right, Ferris? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, Chibi Robo. Chabo Weebo. Chib Chibo Weebo. Chib Chib the Weebs. Chib the Weebos. Wobbly Wobbly Boom. Chib the Chib Beeb the Chib Beeb Beeb. Yes, that's exactly what he is. Depending on how well you've constructed your thoughts, you can talk fast, but usually don't. I, uh, I just kind of like. I don't have to think necessarily. I should be thinking every single time I make a statement. Like, I should think about the words that I say before they come out of my mouth, but oftentimes, like, the mouth just runs faster than my head can think. Um, for example, responding to the chat message or re reacting to things that happen just, like, on screen, I guess. Or just kind of talking about whatever it is to be talked about. You know, it it's great. Plus, it makes my voice stronger. Your vocal cords are a muscle, and the more that I use them, the more beautiful I sound. Or at least that's what I keep telling myself. Yo, Jenny, you girl, you good girl? Girl, girl, Jenny, you good? Come on, Jenny, you'll be okay, you'll be okay. I'm actually gonna go to your room tonight while you're not there, um, so don't worry about it. I'm gonna go talk to your toys and not the sunshine bear. The sunshine bear gives me nightmares. Oh, Astro's problem is that the brain thinks quicker than the talk. Ah, I for one like, my brain is always thinking of thoughts and whatnot. However, I find that like if I'm distracting myself with something else, for example, I'm listening to music or I'm playing a video game or I'm already in the midst of talking, I don't really have a, a hard time just kind of going for it. Uh, the Sunshine Bear a Care Bear? Not a Care Bear, Sunshine Bear and Two-Faced as well, but you didn't hear it from me. Oh, <sighs> sigh. I'm sorry, Mort. Are you okay, buddy? 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 I saw you drop those flowers over there. They're beautiful flowers. They may be dead, but they're beautiful just like you are. Are you dead too? Aren't we all dead on the inside? Love it in with ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> And, and ah, and ah, and ah, we click the ah button. A lot of trash in my inventory. Damn, that's a lot of trash. Ah! I'm clicking the ah button. This is the ah button. I click the flop, I lob with ah. Man, that's a lot of moda on there. Nice, Chibi Robo. My, nice, Chubsy Wubsy. Chubsy Wubby, Chibo Weebo. Chabla Wabla. Let's go talk to Mort. He said that he's trying to be scary. I'll make him scary. I'll make him wish he was never dead to begin with. Oh my god, there's so much more trash to get to bed. Perfect. I like that. That's more money for more. Because everybody knows that recycling pays. And it pays... Come along now, trash friends. We'll pick up these pieces of paper and all these candy wrappers. And then after we're done, we're going to talk to the dead. Quite honestly, we're going to commune with the dead. At least we think he's dead. But technically, we're all inanimate objects and whatnot. So really, really, are they dead to begin with? Going back to old games being superior is that the music is normally pretty good too. I, for one, have like this this love for like chiptune music. So I, I'm like, if I hear chiptune music, I'm like, oh, it feels so retro, and I'm more inclined to enjoy it more so than other than modern music. But I have had a couple. I think it just depends on, like what games you find, because some game soundtracks like totally hit the, like the right frequency for me. Namely, namely, I love the music to A Hat in Time, which I've been listening to last night, and Chicory as well. I really like that music. It's very nice. Oh, what's that? I forgot. We were talking about video game music. I, for one, really enjoy the music of the original game Contra. Have you ever played Contra? That's where the Konami code comes from. Nobody remembers the good old games. Ah, but I digress. Let me introduce myself. 
I am Mort. That's kind of what death is in another language. Do you know the whereabouts of the red shoe? I do know the whereabouts of the red shoe. I'll go grab it for you. Your lies sadden me. What? Will you listen to my story? Yes. It's about the other nights. It happened just last night. You see, I was playing Metroid Prime, another one of my favorite games of all time. Ooh, the music on that game gets me good. But alas, I digress. Let me tell you about this monstrosity that I saw banging on the tower. He looks so cute and fluffy, but if you get him in the wrong mood, bad things start happening. Oh no! Stop! Stop! You're going to break it! You're going to break my tower! <gasps> my red shoe is far off! Look at it go! Oh no! Red shoe, please come back! Bye-bye. Uh, that is what transpired. What a story. As I reminisce more, Contra was definitely a fun one, honestly. I don't know it all the way through to play it again. I've actually never played Contra. I, I don't even know what Contra's about. Is it kind of like a Metroidvania type game or like uh, like Doom-like? I don't know anything about Contra except that's where the Konami code came from. I don't do a lot of retro games. I was playing Sonic CD the other day just for fun. That was that felt good in retro. Love the music from Sonic games, but we've been over that before. The lovely Princess Pitts hasn't left her castle since then. She stays up there, afraid of the sunshine bear. Her bare foot causes her terrible embarrassment. I'm totally sure about that. If I had bare feet, then I'd be terribly embar- It appears that I am without shoes, therefore I am embarrassed. <sighs> I also don't have any socks on her shoes, so I am also barefooted, but you didn't hear it from me. I'm very worried about her. What will I do? If you find the red shoe, please let me know. Until next time, my metallically lacquered friend. I do know where the red shoe is, so I'm gonna go get that. Sonic games are just superior. Actually, I was talking with my buddy Lycos last night, and he was he was like, were you ever like in like middle school or elementary school when people would ask like, yo, are you a Mario guy or a Sonic guy? Like a Nintendo guy or um or um or, or, or like a Sega guy? And honestly, I like Sonic more because I think he has more of a personality than all the other uh, Nintendo characters. Like, I feel like Nintendo Nintendo characters are just like they feel so one-sided. They're just like, we're all happy all the time! And like Sonic, even going back to the first Sonic game, has, like, personality, like, this snarky attitude, just like, I gotta fast, like, I don't have time for you, like, pausing the game and stuff like that, and I just, I just love that he's got, he's, he's more dynamic, I think, than uh, Mario is, with the exception of Luigi. Luigi is also a very, like, I think, thought-out character, in my opinion, for Nintendo, but I like Sonic better than Mario, to be honest, and this music from Sonic games, more, more often better than Mario games. Shadow the Hedgehog, what's my opinion on that one? edgy honestly if they had to do something if they had to give shadow his own game i'm kind of glad it was that one like that one i it's again like it kind of goes into like the the um like the the personality of the character to <laughs> shadow the hedgehog is so freaking edgy like and for that i think the game was rather appropriate i don't think i really enjoyed it that much like, gameplay wise because it was kind of confusing and really frustrating to go all the way around but like Frustrating in the same way that Sonic Heroes was, like, especially like the Chaotix uh, story of Sonic Heroes, where like, if you miss the goal along the way, you're gonna have to do the whole stage over again and find what you missed. And that was something that like, I don't, I'm not a big fan of. Um, I mean, I'd play it through it nonetheless, and I'd have a great time with it, but like, compared to other things, that would be like, that would be like what kind of turns me off from the game. But other than that, you know what? I was cool with it. I, 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 think, I never actually got to the end of it, though, so I don't exactly know. I mean, I guess it ends depending on how you play the game. But I liked it. I liked the fact that you had... I will say I liked the fact that you had, like, different branching storylines based off of what your decisions of the game were. Like, that's something that I've always been a fan of. Like, your choices actually making a difference in the game that you're playing. I've always liked that. <laughs> Astro's most hated Sonic game is Sonic 06. Only redeemable part was silver. I love Sonic 6, uh, Sonic 06, for the memes and the music. I like, I really like the music on that one. 
And uh, Mort over here is telling me to give the, the shoe to uh, the Princess Pitts. I can't go inside the castle because my body won't fit. Another one of the little disappointments. I put a flight of stairs in front of the castle. Go ahead and use it. Excuse me. Thank you, Mort! Classic. But honestly, I personally never played Sonic 06, so I feel like I would hate it more if I actually got my hands on the controller for it. Um, I'm not sure whether there was a Steam, a Steam port for that, and if there was, I'm not sure if I own it or not. I may. And I do want to play that one day for the meme so I can, like, actually feel, like, the struggle through it. Because I'm not the kind of person who gives up on a game easy. Like, if it's just gonna kind of, like, mess me up just because it's, like, difficult or glitchy, like, I'm gonna go past it. I may get a little frustrated, but I'll get past it. And I kind of want to play it just because, like, I haven't played it before. And I'd love to get through it. Eventually, that's one of my goals, I think, to play all the Sonic games because I really like the character a lot. And I think, honestly, despite the fact that a lot of people are, like, really, really disappointed with a lot of Sonic games these days, I don't know. I think of it what you want. I mean, compared to other Sonic games, yeah, I'm sure some definitely suck. For example, like, Sonic 06 because it was rushed, or Sonic Boom because the characters are, like... Like, what did you do to the characters in the design? Um, I think that was Sonic Boom. That was Sonic Boom. Also, like, dude, Sonic Boom, like, you completely ruined those two words for me. Because every time I thought of Sonic Boom, I don't think of Sonic CD, like, Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom. And now I think of, like, that game. Um, let's see. Other Sonic games that I really enjoyed? I loved Sonic Colors. I know they're coming out with another one of those. I liked Sonic Lost World. That was, that was enjoyable for me. Never got through it. Didn't like the characters, but I liked the stages. The stages and the gameplay were fun. I feel like Sonic was one of the, Sonic is one of those games, like, even if the characters don't really get it for it, like, if it's not one thing, you've got the other. Like, if the graphics weren't there, you've got the gameplay. If you don't have the characters, you've got the gameplay. If you don't have, um, let's say the gameplay or the characters, which I suppose, ex with the exception of Silver in Astro's case for, um, I guess Sonic 06, like, you've got the music, which, honestly, no matter how frustrated I am in those games, I feel like if I was playing it, the music would keep me sane. Maybe. I wouldn't know because I haven't experienced the horror of it yet, but I'd love to be proven wrong. We'll see. Eventually when I get to that, it's definitely on my list of games to play. At some point, I definitely plan on uh, playing, um, I think, Sonic DX I want to go through, and of course Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, because it's one of my favorite games of all time. Astro never played Boom, neither did I. I only heard terrible, terrible things about it. Never got into Unleashed, but gave it props for being different and taking a chance on something new. I played in Unleashed, never got through that one either. Um, I think I managed to get towards the end of it, I think. Um, but I liked, I liked Sonic Unleashed. That was, that was cool. Um, although there's so many, there's so many memes about Sonic Unleashed, like, looking, like, Sonic, where, Sonic the Werehog screaming, like, like, at the top of his lungs as he falls off any surface. Like, that whole, I do, I do it now, but I don't think I can do it justice. But that, that scream, that blood-curdling, like, scream, like, it's so meaningful. It's so funny. Get on top of this little guy. There we go. But yeah, it was something new and it was something different. Like, I feel like Sonic doesn't feel the same every time or like significantly the same every time. Mario kind of feels like the same game, like the cla like a classic games, uh, Mario games, but kind of reskinned re a bit with extra concepts and extra abilities. Like, I mean, it's a, it's a classic type of game. I totally get that. But I feel like S Sonic games more so than Mario games. I know there's a lot of overlap between... Like, you, if you vagued it all down to, like, well, all Sonic games are the same, I, you could definitely make a very valid argument for that. Just as well as you could say that all, like, Mario games are the same, which I also think you can make a very valid argument for. But I think more so, Sonic has a little more there, in my opinion. Also, like, I feel like I can't tell the difference between half the Mario games that are out there, because they all felt so similar, at least to me, versus Sonic games feel, a lot of them, very, very different from each other. And they all have particular things that they brought to the series. Of the ones that I've played, that I remember distinctly for that game. Well, I think so. I mean, it was a good time. Mario games are kind of the same since they, like, they released the same game, like, five times, just with more power-ups. I, I feel that. I Exactly what I was what I was kind of thinking on. I mean, it's, it's your classic platformer game, and I suppose, like, there's always a need for it, because I feel like you're always gonna want to see, like, how they redo the old game on the new platformer. So, like, in a way, I think Mario games are, like, that notable exception of, like, new games that do that do it right. Oh, I fell off the tower. Damn it. Because, like, I would say that I guess every single Mario game, like, Super Mario Bros. game that came on after the fact is an improvement upon the way that came before it. Um, 
But that's because it's basically the same game with improvements and more power-ups and stuff like that and a slightly different approach to things. But also, I haven't played enough Mario games recently for me to really, like, outline the differences for that particular set of games on them being too different or too the same. I don't really know. Sonic has similar areas, but they have new levels for each kind of areas. Yeah, I, I feel that. I feel that. It just feels like... Not like, not like I can put it into, like, succinct words, but I feel like Sonic games are much more different from each other than Mario games are different from each other. Now, I say Mario games as in, like, like, um, I suppose, let's say, like, um, like the Super Mario Brothers games. Like, Super Mario Sunshine is no, like, it's, it's so different from, like, I guess, new Super Mario Brothers Wii or Super Mario Brothers DS, or whatever that one that came out. New Super Mario Brothers. Um, but I suppose this just the thing, the same thing. The same can be said about Sonic games. So, me, like, kind of bashing on one side versus bashing a lot more on the other, they, they all take their, they all take, like, different routes on it. And, you know, it's all fun. It's all fun. I think they're all fun games. All in all. But I think I like... I get more excited. I, I think I get more excited about new Sonic games more so than newly announced, um, newly announced Mario games. I think that one I can, that one I can say with relative confidence. I complete that statement. I definitely agree with. Oh, I fell down. Damn it! I keep doing this to myself. Actually, what's this one? Can I go up? Oh, that that was exactly where I was supposed to go anyway. Super Mario Sunshine was a masterpiece. Oh yeah, all of those like 3D Mario platformer games. I have like fall in love with. I love Super Mario 64. I love Super Mario Sunshine. I loved Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, I loved Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 2, which I didn't give as much effort into as the um, as Super Mario Galaxy 1. But like, you know. Ah, uh, yeah. That's, that's, that's my... Oh no! Oh, I, fall again. I keep falling. I'm not supposed to fall. Why do I keep on falling? They peaked with Sunshine and you've never had the game to compare them. Uh, you've never had a game to compare it to them. Yeah, right? Still haven't played the Switch one. I, I liked Odyssey. I think it was different than Sunshine. I think I definitely enjoyed Sunshine more so than the others. Got the blast this. Uh, blast. There we go. I think I enjoy Sunshine most of all um, because of, like, I guess the impact it made on me when I was younger. It just, it was a really, really fun game. I loved it. Oh, I gotta get this battery, which means I have to do this thing over here. The puzzle. I have the other battery. I don't know there's a battery point downstairs. Oh, Mort, what are you doing down there? You just astound me. Oh, the goal is with your reach. Go to the lovely princess and deliver her red shoe. All right, Mort, I'm running out of time for the night, so D battery. Now I need to go back down to the other battery port so that I can put it in there. Um, but I'll have to do that probably in the next night, because I gotta go and recharge, or else I will die. I will not be able to do that. I won't be able to complete all the castle right now. But, I did like, the one for the Switch was uh, the Super, Super Mario Odyssey. I liked that. It was pretty cool. It had a lot of it had a lot of late game content that I feel that Super Mario Sunshine and Super Mario 64 really didn't have. And it, like, late game content in, in the fact that it's a lot of, like, customizable stuff and collectible stuff that those games really didn't have very much like, aside from the original aspect of, oh, you gotta collect all the stars, or you gotta collect all the sign sprites, which is fun in and of itself, but I, I feel like it's more, it's a lot more small goal. Like, instead of the big goal being, like, I have to get all the stars or the shine sprites, it's like, the small goal is, like, I need to get that one hat that I really, really want, and then I can go for the next hat that I really, really want, and so on and so forth, if, you, if you're a collectibles kind of guy. I'm a collectibles kind of guy. It's not like I will go after all of the collectibles, but... I will try to get as many as I possibly can, because I enjoy them. <laughs> oh, time's running out. Are there any coins in the drawer? Oh, I'm out of time. I'm definitely out of time. Ah, on to the next morning. I think I'm going to buy the counter <laughs> for 15 minutes. I, you know what? Actually, I don't even think it matters. Like, what's the point of buying the extra counter? I'm just going to get to the same point as I was before, except 15 minutes later, where I'll be like, Oh, it's so close to what I wanted to do. Besides, I got the whole upstairs area now, so that's kind of what I'm going to do. The world is my oyster at this point. I don't feel like I'm blocked like I was before. Or, I guess, like, stifled because of whatever goes on. So, I'm down with it. GB Robo Ranky, you're still 10. In order to get the next bonus, you need 400 more. All right. Yeah, yeah, I'll get Super Chibi Robo.
Excuse me. My voice gets a little tired after a while. I think I have to sit up straight. Mm. I gotta sit up a little straighter. You know what? I should take a micro break. This is my micro break. I'm gonna stand up and walk around a little bit. This is my micro break. Going on a micro break. Walking to the other end of the apartments. And then I'm gonna walk on back. Yeah. I'm gonna stretch my legs out a little bit. This is my own self. This is my own uh, self prescribed workout time. I'm just gonna do a little stretch too because I feel energetic and my knees hurt. My knees have been hurting me quite a little bit, to be perfectly honest. I don't know what it is. I think it's about sitting in the chair. I actually reduced the height of my chair. See, see, normally, my chair is all the way up here, and I'd be close to the screen like this, but my feet aren't touching the ground because I'm a very small person. So instead, I have the seat all the way down here. So I actually feel small compared to my setup now, and I feel like I'm kind of, it, it, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's better for me. Micro break over. Uh, I do want to save. Thank you for asking me, Telly, as you do every single time. And I know you think I'm annoyed by it, but I'm not. I like your spunk, okay, kid? <laughs> I like your spunk, dude. Ah, <laughs> oh, you playing Minecraft. I like your cut, G. And then he smacked the kid. It's the top of his head. I would never smack a kid. I would never smack, smack a baby. Would you smack a baby? Telly, would you smack a baby? Tell me that you'd smack a baby. Would you smack a baby? Don't smack babies. Smacking babies is no good. It hurts the baby. We don't want to hurt things. All right, where are these spiders? That was another thing that I recall about this game. Like, it's really tough to find the things that give you scraps, which are the spiders, the little enemies that pop up every once in a while, the grease traps, and it's tough to find them to fight. They kind of appear randomly. So you kind of get stuck at this point in the game, in the very beginning, where you're like, I need scrap. Oh, look, speak of the devil, here they are. I need your scrap, give me your scrap. Ah! You have to smack a baby when they're born. I mean, you don't have to smack the baby before you're born, but you gotta make them out open their mouth. I feel like the reason for smacking the baby when they're born is to make sure that they get all the, like, gunk out of their lungs so you make them scream. If they're not already screaming, we have to make the baby scream when they are born. Otherwise, like, I don't know, there's, like, fluid in, in the lungs, I, I guess? I, I think that's the, I think the idea, the, the idea is we want the baby to survive, therefore, we're gonna give it a smack so it can scream, so it can get all the out of its lungs and cough it all out as it cries and screams. This is what I imagine. However, the world might have changed since then. I don't know if I was smacked as a baby. I don't know. Well, actually, you need to see, you need to, so they start crying and breathe on their own. Yeah, exactly. Get all the gunk out of the lungs and start breathing. O on their own, of course. I guess that makes sense. I wonder, like, for a baby, if you don't give them the smack, like, what's the process? Like, when the baby is born, like, what are the next, like, the crucial steps that happen, like, in between? Like, is it, like, the baby realizes, like, I no longer have to... I mean, like, come to think of it, when the lungs are in, like, when the baby is in the womb and there's just, like, this, the fluid everywhere, do the lungs actually, like, move in and out? Like, while inside? Like, of course, the heart beats while inside the womb, but, like, do the, do the lungs move? I don't really know. I don't know enough about, like pre-birth, like, prenatal stuff. I'm not a, I'm not a doctor. I'm an engineer. I don't do that stuff. I don't engineer babies. Or at least, I haven't yet. That, that hasn't yet been my job title or any of my job responsibilities. Uh, now I have a utility button in the kitchen, so I'm gonna go grab the spoon. I need the spoon to proceed on with the life. Make sure it breathes and has a healthy heartbeat. Absolutely. Healthy, healthy heartbeat, which we gotta do by spanking the baby. I suppose, like, because, like, I gotta think, like, what else can you do abruptly to a newborn to make sure that they start breathing. Like, it kind of got to spook them, I think. Maybe? I, I don't know if there's another solution. I know this sounds incredibly aggressive, but, like, I kind of see where it comes from. The baby doesn't breathe until it's out of its mother. It gets oxygen through the navel string. Oh, really? Oh. But I wonder if, like, the lungs, like, beat, like, the lungs move anyway. I, I don't know. I wouldn't know. I'll have to take your word for it. But once it out, it obviously has to start breathing because there's no, there's no prenatal string in there. Actually, you know what? Come to think of it, if it, if the oxygen comes through the the, the, the cord, the umbilical cord or prenatal string, the, the navel string, whatever you call it, does that? If okay, if a baby is born and you don't yet cut the umbilical cord, does it have to breathe on its own to survive outside? Interesting question. I would think if the oxygen does indeed come through that little string, then no. 
they don't need to start breathing until that thing is cut. So technically, it comes up, the, the baby comes out, and then you get it to breathe, or if it breathes on its own. I don't know if it does breathe on its own or anything, if you don't encourage it first. And then, you cut the cord. I don't know. Ah, oxygen goes straight into the blood. Hm. I believe it. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know. I have all these questions now in my head. But I am no baby scientist. Nor do I know but, but much about babies. Maybe Anna knows a bit more about babies. Hmm. That's a sound. This sounds like a topic for my next delve down some random rabbit hole somewhere when I learn random things. Oh my, how thoughtful of you. I should have married you instead of that slob. Stop saying that! That's nasty. It's no good. Don't don't be mean to your husband. Your husband's a good man. He tries his best, I'm sure. I'm sure. Maybe. I don't really know. Believe so. Once they're out, they can only survive by breathing, but yeah, I wouldn't know how this works. Honestly, I ain't no I ain't no baby doctor. So I wouldn't know. So I'd say we're all in the same boat. Like, not woefully, but relatively unknowledgeable. Ways to learn there's plenty of opportunities to learn though. I don't know where, like, I, I guess I'd just ask Google those questions. If I wanted to. I'm not sure if I want to, though. And now I've got the spoon! Yes! Now I can dig. Oh, I want to dig. Doug, dig. Dig, 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 Doug. Oh, I want the spoon, please. Dig, Doug, the dig. Nope. Grab the spoon! Yes! That's a kid's spoon! When you hold it, it looks like a shovel, Chibi Robo. Yes, indeed. And now I have a spoon. Yes. Hey! All right, now I can dig things up, right? Oh, I can dig up some plants, and I can plant things in the garden. I'll make flowers. That'll be great. Ah, uh, that's why they're smacked anyway, so it gets spooked and start breathing. Yep, I feel like it's all for the good cause of the baby. It's so that the baby survives. Not that it's like, like traumatized or terrified or anything like that. Certainly not. What is this game? This game is a game called Chibi Robo. If I had to describe it improperly, man makes really bad. Man delves. Let's see. Man plunges family into debt for the sake of a new maid, robo-maid, and then that robo-maid helps the family recover from and cope with that debt, thus bringing the family together. I am a little robot, and I help out around the house. That's, that's essentially it. And there's a, like, I talk to toys, and, and go into those really odd trippy dippy rooms. Scares the hell out of everybody. Don't know. It's like being inside of this metal chibi universe inside of those doors. There's definitely a magical aspect to these games. I mean, toys are talking, so that are real high as f- <laughs> A little bit left in my coffee. I'm gonna pour the rest of it in here. I have a little bit left. I've actually had two cups of coffee today. I usually don't drink that much coffee. Oh. <laughs> oh or developer meets LSD. Dude, literally, what if the developer was like, I need to figure out what to go inside of those cheap doors. What do I do? Then has a massive drug trip that evening and comes back and he's just like, eyes. Uh, he, he goes to the front of the board and like, all right, what have you come up with? Eyes! I see eyes! They're eyes! They're everywhere! They, and they come in from the darkness! It's a wall of flesh! And there's eyes! And they're gyrating everywhere! They're going all over the walls! And then the other creative team is just like, okay, so the flesh of the robot is metal, so wibbly wobbly metal, and eyes of Chibi Robo. Nice, nice job, John! You got it! Thanks! Thanks for that idea! And then he like, goes back to his seat, like, cowering in the corner, he's like, the eyes! <laughs> I can see them. I can feel them watching me. Right, can I actually dig up these plants? No, I can't actually dig up these plants. I don't have any... I don't have a significant number of seeds on me, so I don't need that right now. But I do have a spoon. That's honestly the only reason I think we have this thing is... Over here is to get the spoon. Unless I might be able to... If I pull this thing a little farther away... Because I really don't know... I don't need to go up there any more often now. And I go here and I plug myself in, then I might be able to get to the top of the kitchen. And I think there's bandages on top of the, there's bandages on top of the refrigerator. Um, and I think bandages might go to Mort, because Mort was the mummy dude, and the mummy dude could always use more bandages. Oh, that's perfect. Hey, I'm gonna pop a hole in the wall. There we go, let's go up there. Thank you, Karen, for allowing me to climb up your ladder. Karen, because it's the kitchen Gary. Gary is in the living room and Ferris is in the foyer. We've got some fanciful alliteration here with, with, the, with the letters. We likes that. We likes that a lot. All right. Time to shoot the wall. I'm going to break your wall, ma'am. Boom. Woo! Destruction! We make progress by destroying things. Oh, what do you think this is? 
It's a hole in the wall. Tell her, are you blind? It's clearly a hole in the wall. There's nothing else that it could possibly be. Is there anything up here? Oh. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Uh, let's see. What's down there? I see a little chibi door on the other side. I can get up here very easily, so I'm gonna take my chibi copter with my chibi robo to go across to the chibi door to go into the chibi LSD universe. <laughs> chibi, chibi everywhere. Everything's cute and has little eyes and they're all robotic. Driving me insane. Driving me absolutely insane. Ooh, that's a lot of moolah. Currently, my goal is to bring back, there's a large robot downstairs named Giga Robo, aptly named because of its size. Welcome back again, dearest. Hi. And I'm going to fill up the battery of Giga Robo. Giga Robo used to be the family housemaid, which was a lot bigger, like, a th and drawed like a thousand times much more power. So I'm going to turn the guy back on pro by providing my own currency to charge his battery and then learn about the secrets of the past or whatever. And maybe save the world. And perhaps solve the world's energy crisis. That's that's like a side thing, though. We may solve the world's energy crisis. Although we may not. It's an unrealistic goal, but it's a goal nonetheless. Let's go back to the top. To the top of the kitchen, so I can go on top of the refrigerator. So I can collect the bandages and anything else that may be up there, like trash and other things. Hey, it's time to do some reverse lunches. I actually took a micro break while you were gone. I did. I took a little walk around the apartment. It was great. Time to do reverse lunches. Uh... Am I doing that right? Oh, did I fall away to the ground? Wow, I was not paying attention. I'm pretty sure when we did reverse lunges, it How do like I do reverse step lunges? back and then down. Step back and then down, or whatever? Yeah, first of all, you're not using your left echo. Like what do you mean? I'm not supposed to use my left echo. It's a lunge, right? What am I supposed to do? Alright. Oh, am I supposed to do that? That's what I'm supposed to do? Yeah, you don't have to oh. move your front leg. That I thought I just moved my front leg. That would be like more of an anonymous stretch, oh. but you don't Well, have clearly I wasn't provided sufficient enough instructions when I first received the orders to do something. Well, I think you Well, now I have reverse lunges. Now I'm doing reverse lunges. My knee has to go to the floor. Well, the reverse lunge involves stepping back into it. That's why. Oh, okay. Well, ooh. But you don't really do that. Well, okay. Maybe you can teach me after the fact, because apparently well, I'm not doing You have to adjust that. your own. Yeah, my, my, my exercises need a bit of an upgrade. Some of them I really can't do while I'm playing a video game, and some of them I can. I can play Chibi Robo while doing my reverse lunges. That's easy mode. Although sometimes it's not as easy. Oh, I'm gonna get to that Chibi door. Oh, Kidoki. I did my lunges. I did my lunges. And so now I may continue. Now I can use the power of this thing to go to the Chibi door. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I go down into the door. Come on down. There we go. Sweet! There's a little box up there. That's okay. We don't need the box right now. Alright. More doors. Back to... Um... I don't know. Metal, metallic, scary land. With the eyeballs. Eyeballs aren't usually included in your Chibi Robo experience. However, this time, it is a necessity. And I got bandages. Bandage. This is the bandage. Yes. Bandage good. Bandage good for the body. Alright, so now I got this box. Um, I'm gonna pull it, and then... There's happy points inside of here. We're also trying to stay happy. We want happy points. Happy pointsu, happy laifu. Happy waifu, happy pointsu. Happy robo. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Gotcha. Now, is there anything else that I should be aware of on top of, like, the fridge or whatever? I think that's pretty much... Oh, there we go. I could get on top of there, uh, but I need to be back up on top again, so I need to make my way back over. So, let's, let's head on back down. Down to the sink, and hopefully I can make it over to that other chibi door by the time the day crosses over into night. That'll be good. That, that's a good goal for the day. For the rest of this in-game day, that is. And then eventually I'll buy some seeds so I can plant them in the kitchen thing. I feel like... With the, is that like an herb? Is that a common thing? Like, maybe this is like a, like a Japanese thing where they have like a little garden in their kitchen. Like, right on their countertop. For like, fresh herbs and stuff, I suppose. Because I believe this was inspired... I believe this is a Japanese-inspired game. Um, it seems that way. Although, that might be just my... Um, assumptions kicking in. And if it is, and I'm incorrect, then I apologize. That was the most I could, that's just the most I could go off of. But it is kind of, it's got that, it's got that aesthetic. It's, it's fun. It's interesting, and it's different. That's how I would consider it. 
Let's go over here to the top of the thing. Now I'm up here and I can get to that little chibi. Hopefully, if I don't run out of time. There we go. That's the big one. Go inside. Inside the door. We've got another one. How many more doors are in this room specifically? I don't know. Life. Ow. Life. -o. Life. -o. That's definitely life. Ow. By the way. However, I I appreciate the effort. What else is in this room? Uh, there's three more doors in this room that I have yet to find. And excuse me, where might they be? I wonder what's in this little area behind me. Let's see. Oh, I'm kind of running out of energy. But the day's about to turn over to the night, so we'll be fine. <laughs> I think what you can actually do is if you go to a chibi door and you try to um, unlock it and you don't have enough energy, you'll literally suck yourself dry. <laughs> it's great. And then you'll drop dead. <laughs> and then you get back and lose all of your money. And then it's sad and unfortunate. But, you know, that's just, that's just how it be. All right, I'll wait for the time to go up because the time, yeah. That way I'll just get recharged in the night. So good, there's three more doors left in the kitchen. Where are they? I don't know. Time sure flies when you're making folks happy. Oh, you're definitely right there. Mm, indeed. Um, chibi house time. <laughs> Great work out there. I don't think my GB rank definitely has not changed. And I have 2,000 moolah, so I'm going to spend money on them. I would like to save indeed. Good stuff. I'll add 2,000 more kilowatts to the giga battery that's sitting on top of the giga charger that is used to complete the giga robo. Naturally. Because that's what Giga means. Giga means ultimate! Also, like, you know, Giga as in, like, Gigabyte, or, like, would be below Terra, or Petabyte. But I feel like Peta Robo, or Terra Robo, or, uh, Terra Robo just doesn't have the same ring to it. Just doesn't have that same ring to it. Oh, how will you charge? I'll do 2,000. Two nice! It's convenient that the power company actually does their rates like this, where it's like one coin, one moolah per thing. Sweet! We're more than halfway there. More TV Robo, more! Stop telling me what to do, you stupid flying television chandelier uh, uh, ceiling fan thing! Jeez, get on my case! Stupid telly, get on my case. We don't like that. We don't like that at all. Ooh. All right, let's, uh, let's head on out for the day. For the night, it's nighttime now. Definitely nighttime now. All right. Where to next? I suppose I'll head back upstairs because there is more stuff that I want to do up there. I want to go back to the big old tower. I think the next key item that you wind up getting in this might be the chibi radar. And I think the chibi radar actually shows you um oh yeah i remember the chibi radar can do a variety of different things but most importantly it allows you to find hidden chibi doors because some of them are totally invisible oddly enough trippy right pretty pretty weird and creepy yeah they're gonna be um, they can be totally invisible too so it makes no sense why bother why would it do that i don't know ask nintendo what's that it's on GameCube. I'm playing GameCube. What about it? No, GameCube's got more than just Nintendo games. Oftentimes, the GameCube games came across as like GameCube exclusive, though. So some of these games, like this this one here, GB Robo, I think. Actually, can you can you get the case? Can you take a look at the case for me? If it's got the yellow bar on top that says GameCube, then it was exclusive for the GameCube, like Luigi's Mansion ones. This one might have been also a GameCube exclusive. No, it's not? Okay, so it was not a GameCube exclusive, to my, from what I can tell. I think the yellow label at the top of the GameCube case would determine whether or not it was a GameCube exclusive or not. Really? Well, you just, I guess you just never noticed. I know it took me a while to notice. I think I wound up looking up one year why, what, what the yellow thing means, and I'm pretty sure that's what it was, but I could also be incorrect. I oftentimes am. Hey, Anna, question for you. Do you know 
whether before a baby is born, whether its lungs move while still inside the womb? Like, does breathing occur at all? Like, any attempts at breathing occur so at all? technically, you do not breathe oxygen from air. They well, yeah, I know, but like, but do the lungs move, like, to get used to the motion? Um, yes, the lungs, well, the heart moves in the blood. Mm -hmm. Lungs are connected to the heart, so like, but we have a little, um, there's a little patch in your heart that actually comes up after you're born. Oh, really? That just allows the natural, like, natural blood to just flow in directly. Interesting. The oxygen from your Mother's yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the air, the air comes directly through the blood into your uh, into your body. Yeah, yeah, and that, that makes does sense. have a natural circulation. So just yeah. Like, okay. Because I was wondering, like, so the idea came up of smacking babies, and you smack babies when they're born to kind of freak them out to get them to start breathing for the first time. And I was wondering, like, do the do the lungs move? Like, technically, when you come out of the womb, before you cut that cord, do they need to breathe? Oh, naturally. Yeah. There's something or there's something covering their mouth. Oh, okay, okay. And usually you have some you like smack the child before you're removing it directly because sometimes it's not Okay, okay. Is there like a little like skin thing over top of your mouth that they kinda have to scream to open? Oh. Did you watch a lot of childbirths? I don't remember most I feel like I blocked out a lot of those memories. Oh, in oh, college. college, college. And so we watched uh, a lot of births. From seated. Well, we didn't actually watch the childbirth, we watched the take the child. And then like, the aftermath kind of thing. Interesting. You had to watch a lot of childbirthing videos freshman year. That's, that feels like hazing to me. It was, uh, I suppose it's just all a part of the process. So there was a lot of birth. Well, once they went through, like, some of the cycles, they went through the different ways that you gave birth. Was there a plug up there? Water, uh, water births. Mm -hmm. I guess that makes sense. There are a bunch of different ways to birth. We're learning so many new things today. Makes sense to me. You don't want to be hospital when your baby's born. What if I went? I'll wind up sitting in the hospital and be like, when's my baby being born? And they'll be like, sir, your wife isn't here. I'm like, what? Where's, where's my wife? <laughs> you, you left her at home where she's currently having your, chick, your kid. <laughs> Shit, I gotta go. Okay, I don't wanna have birth at home. Do you know how much blood comes out of that person? Uh, a lot? Yeah. Naturally, that makes that makes sense. Oh, I wasn't, I wasn't assuming that there's not a lot of blood. Definitely a lot of blood. I don't wanna imagine that. Ew, I'm trying to drink coffee and play games here. Don't make me think of that city stuff. You're going back outside? Okay. Oh, it was buggy out there, so you came back for some bug spray. I've been eating a lot. Being eaten a Is there a plug up on top? No, there is not, so I have to go all the way back down. Here we go. To recharge. So that I may not die. Yeah, have fun out there. Oh, now why are you gonna spray the bug stuff in here? Then it's gonna smell like bug spray. No, don't do that. It's gonna smell like I have to smell that the whole time. I'm gonna burn incense then. While you're gone. I'll burn incense to make this place smell better. Do I wanna save? Yeah, I wanna save. Ah, I can smell the blood spray in my apartment now. This is not a very well ventilated place, except for the things on, I guess. Oh, man. I mean, it's mostly like citronella oil, so it's really not that bad of a smell. It just kind of like... Oh, it's in my nose now. It's really in there. It actually is kind of clearing my sinuses a bit, so you know what? Thank you. I'll take it. I will take this as a gracious opportunity to breathe better today. So I'll take it. I'm okay with that. Come back here, little uh, British garb thing toy. You know what's up. You know what's your deal. You know what your deal is. I have a memory of having a really hard time with that little guy. Like, not being able to get the timing of the jump right every single time. And just suffering all the time, as we do. We suffer. I suffer all the time. Oh my goodness. Now, now my apartment smells like bug spray. Um, I cannot escape that smell. Oh my god, please. Oh, I almost fell. I don't want to fall. I do not want to fall. 
Falling is a falling is a no. There you go, and I can just go over here. I'm already up there. Now I climb up the ladder, and now that those guys are moving, I should be able to get the final battery. Where is the final battery? It's behind these guys. Sweet! All I need is that final battery in the final slot on the final part of the kingdom. It's the C battery. I love how, like, this, for some reason, this particular toy tower requires three different types of batteries. Like, how unuser friendly is that? Like, come on! That's redonkulous. That's too many battery types. Oh, it did a little, it did a little thing. So now I gotta get on top of these guys. I go on top of the little guy. And then I'll be able to get on top of the big guy. What the, come on, stay on top. What are you doing? No, I forgot. Ah! Well, I'm gonna have to wait till the little guy goes around again. Round and around and around and around and around and around and around and around. I need to get up there to the top of the tower. Actually, do I need to get over there? Come to think of it. I don't know if I do. I'm gonna have this thing. No, not yet. Not yet until I get on top of the blue guy. I go forward. No, what are you doing? Oh, please. There we go. There we go. All right. Now I'm on top of the yellow guy. Now I gotta get on top of the blue guy. I must. I must obtain the top of the blue guy. Well, Princess whatever is up there. Do I need to be over there and, like, cross over? I can't exactly remember the point of this. Oh, well. And then we'll go very slowly past each other. Right, guys? Right, guys? Very slowly. There we go. Yeah! Now I just gotta get across the other side successfully. Which, honestly, probably asking a lot for me to do that. Oh, yes! Very good. I'm almost out of energy, too. That's not good. But, you know, whatever. Oh, what the... Oh, I can shoot the thing from up here. Aha! Uh -huh. I'll shoot it! Boop! Right? Is that the thing? Long rage. Sweet! Sweet, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweetie, sweet, sweet, sweet. And before I... Oh, I guess I'm talking to this lady now. My mother is calling me. So I should probably take a quick break to speak with her. I will be back in just a moment. We'll get that to this in a hot second. Peace. And welcome back, everybody. As we can see, the princess is bouncing for joy because we have saved her, finally. Or rather, given her her red shoe because she is nervous to go out. I took a call from my mother and I talked to both of my parents. I'll be seeing them next weekend because it's my father's birthday. And we're also doing a little, like, combined graduation thing because I graduated a couple months ago and so did my youngest younger brother. So we're going we're gonna to celebrate a little bit with the uh, extended family. It's going to be great. Anyway, oh, my red shoe. Thank you, thank you. What else? <laughs> Here's your thing. There you go. It's yours. I love how they've got the entire, all the court musicians celebrating. Because finally, finally, the, the thing is back on. Oh, you know, I bet Sunshine, Sunshine Bear, was responsible for destroying and knocking out all of the stuff. That's probably what happened. Now I can go outside again. I suppose so. If that's, that's your deal. Yeah, I guess. Now I can go outside again. Good, good. Princess Pits, give out. Princess Pits, not Princess Peach. Princess Pits, like pit stains, perhaps. I just reapplied my deodorant too, because I'm starting to smell a little bit. Disgusting. And Mork gave me some happy points too. They're both happy. Spread the happiness to everybody. See, they were meant to be together, Mort and the princess. That's just how we do it around here. We gotta make everybody as happy as possible. Everybody happy, happy, happy all the time. Yes. Hello, princess. Let me introduce myself. I'm Princess Pitts. Okay. And then? I don't know who you are, but you have my undying gratitude. I had already given up. So I decided I was going to stay at the top of the tower forever. I'd resigned myself to spending the rest of my life in the castle. I mean, walking outside without my shoes? Please! That would be so icky! Seriously, though. Anyway, thank you very much. You're welcome, ma'am! If it isn't too much trouble, would you be so kind as to tell me your name? Shady Robo! Yeah, 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 let him speak. He's my manager. Ahem! This is Chibi Robo. And my name is... You're the famous Chibi-Robo? 
my name's Telly. Excuse me for asking this. But you wouldn't happen to be the one who's been bringing me flowers. No, wait, wait, I didn't mean to click yes. Uh-oh. You mustn't lie to the lady! Oh, she's gonna believe it anyway. I see. Then who could it be? <laughs> A sweet damsel! Oh, Drake Redcrest? This asshole? Hello. Can I help you? <laughs> I brought you more flowers! I found a flower in the backyard that was almost as beautiful as you! I picked it! It's one of the rare ones back there, and now there's only two more left! So that all of the people who rely on its nectar to live and thrive will now suffer! Because I wanted to impress you! Doesn't that make you feel so special? It's a special present from Drake Redcrest! For... You! You... Is for you! Meanwhile, I'm more just like... Stupid Red Crest, I hate this guy. Can't believe you do this to me. I curse you, Red Crest! Drake Red Crest. Are you perhaps the one who's been bringing me flowers? <laughs> Those filthy things? I think not. Absolutely not. They look disgusting. Oh, I see. But I like these filthy flowers. Anyway... Thank you. I'm gonna put these away in my special compartment. Uh, what? Uh, mm, perhaps... Justice demands filthy flowers? <laughs> Excuse me! Here I go. I need to go cope with this. My idea of romance has been completely shattered. Unfortunate. Oh, well, Princess Pits, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to get going and leave. Make like a tree and get the hell out of here. Chibi Robo, please come and visit me again. Mwah. Oh, wow. Her kiss is turning to happy points. But I can't reach it. Oh, come to the ground. <laughs> Two. Two happy points. I should probably go talk to more. He's probably feeling pretty shitty right now. I'm gonna make him feel better. Mort! Buddy! Buddy, you eating chips again? Buddy, it's gonna be okay. Promise, man. Promise, man. Uh, we, get over, we gotta get over this loss. Um, I'm sure Mr. Mr. Rad Pit or whatever will be uh, just fine with what he's doing right now. He'll come to terms eventually. He's just kind of out of here. It's all for you, man. It's all you now. Right, buddy? My, uh, my very scary and very muscular ally. What do you want? Yes, why, that's... Um, is it? It's the ticket! It's the ticket stub for the show! Because it's got Mort on it. If you look closely, it's got a big old zombie mummy character on it. This is... the movie where I play a hero. Do you... Do you want to hear about the movie? Yes! Tell me more about the movie, sir! I was once the star of film. Sanderson's took me out of their wing after they saw the movie on my first date. This brings back memories. In the movie, I met a beautiful woman. I could have drowned in her eyes. I fell hard for her, like a stack of sarcophagi. A bit like in this hieroglyphic here. What great memories. Oh, I'm happy to listen to your story, sir. Happy to do so. Spread the happiness. You know, it's what we do, right? Telly's here and is your manager to remind you to spread the happiness. Have you spread the happiness today? You need to spread the happiness today if you haven't done so already. Or else, people will die if you don't spread the happiness. Well, I'll talk to more. Uh, Pit? You got anything else to say, Pits? Pit, Miss, Miss Pitstains? Maybe? Pitstains? Pitstain girl? Yeah? What do you got? Who's been bringing me flowers? Must be a secret admirer. I'm sure he's just a wonderful person. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm running out of power over here. What else is in this room? 
D batteries up there. That's all fine. Uh, snorkeling goggles are necessary for... I think the eggplant dude needs those. Not sure why. The squirter. That's over there. I need the squirter. That's what I need to be here for. Because if I had the squirter, I can collect water. And I can also collect nectar and do other things. Nectar is good for sunshine bear. Sunshine bear needs... Requires the nectar. To survive. Phew, that was close. Recharge 41 times. You think you're recharging too much? I think it was pretty good progress. I'll overwrite that. Yes. Yes, indeed. Ready then? Let's go. Alright, well, let's make our way over to Squirter Town. I think I need to go up that plant over there, and that's how I gain access to the Squirter. There's also various different crayons inside of that little thing up there. Uh, I will get the crayons. I will obtain your audio crayons. All your crayons are belong to me. I am the one who takes the crayons. I don't actually use crayons very much. I think they're a very underutilized um, drawing utensil. Pencils are cool, and so are colored pencils, but like crayons are have offer such a, like a a thick surface. And like honestly, crayons are really good for any surface that has like a lot of texture to it because like it just works because it's wax. Like crayons are underrated. That's my statement. For the, that's my statement for this episode. Oh, I fell to the ground. I needed to hover over there. Did not realize that. Whoopsie daisy. Daisy whoopsie. Loopsie hoopsie goopsie oop doo. Looks like I need my copter in order to get over to that plant. Forgot about that. And then fly all the way over. Get attached to the plants. Go up plants. Up plants I go. And there should be a squirter up here, right? Or something equivalent. And a cheapster door. I love cheapster doors. Let me go inside the door. Ooh, some moolies. Mooly, mooly, moolas. Uh, where's my squirter at? Where'd my squirter be? Is it on top of there? Where's the squirter? Uh, was it below me? Somewhere? Or is it up higher? I definitely saw a, quarter, a squirter in this corner of the room. Where'd it go? Squirter, it's on the bed! Okie dokie. Honestly, crayons can come next, but the squirters are really important. Right, it's on the table. I see, I see, I see. Oh, and there's a door over here, too. Oh, sweet. Swag! Enter the chibi door. And find magical adventures beyond your wildest dreams. Oh god, what are those? Now I'm gonna pick up some more trash over here, because trash exists and trash should be picked up after. Why do you leave so much trash in your bed, Jenny? Unfortunate. Okay, so I feel like race against the clock right now, so I can actually get over there and grab the square, which should be on the table. Right? Squirter on the table. Yep, here we go. That's very important. Squirter, very important. Yes! I think I just made it. Awesome! That's a squirter from a doctor's kit! Sorry, there's something below me. That was a piece of 3D print. I was working on some 3D prints uh, the other day and uh, making them look nice. Trying to make them look nice for a friend of mine. I think it's coming out quite well. It took a while to get all the, um, the gosh, all the filling and stuff out. The uh, support stuff that was printed. It's probably Jenny's! Looks like you could plug water with it. So then you can spray it on all sorts of things. Nice. Yeah, but I don't need that right now. Not yet, at least. Eventually, I'll grab water, and then I can bring it to the frog that's outside, which is good. I guess in the meantime, I will uh, scrub things up. Oh, well, I still have the time to. Come on, scrub, 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 scrub. Oh, I was so close to scrubbing it all up before the end of the evening. It's all good. Yo, Chibo, I know you're working, but it's time for a break. Come on, Chibo, come back to bed, bro. Come on, Chibo, you got this, Chief. Chief still? Chief, Chibi dude? Chief still Weebo Weebo? Oh, why do you have to scream at me in the morning, Telly? Jeez, come on. Couldn't we be, like, a little more chill in the morning? Like, wait till I get my morning coffee, my morning juices? My morning, my morning electrical juices as my, uh, as my internal batteries, like, swap their... Chemical, I don't know what kind of batteries inside of Chibi Robo. But if it's like it's one of those classic rechargeable like solution batteries, then like the electricity actually takes the ions that go from one side of the battery to the other and put them back the other way. 
for the power of electrical charge. I don't know if that's a very lossless pro- it's probably not a very lossless process, but it gets there. Thousand kilowatts, so I need three thousand more moolah to fill this guy up. And I think this gives us one opportunity. I want to say, once you fill up the battery, you get- like, Giga Robo gets a little bit of time to walk around, and then it actually, uh, dries up again. But, um, but you get something. You get something for it. I know you get something. And it might actually be the Chibi Radar, if I'm correct in saying. I could be right wrong, though. I am unsure as of right now, because I don't exactly remember. But all this stuff is, uh, basically, everything that I didn't already remember that happened, like, that has happened so far, I remember now. Because, like, it happens, and I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that happening. Although I didn't remember that it would happen before so to speak. There's, there's words. Anyway, I got the Squirtzer now, and if I fill that Squirtzer with water, then... Awesome. So I'm actually going to go into the kitchen so I can grab some water from the sink. Uh, actually, I might have some tea time with Mom because I have the spoon now, so I can actually allow her to um, swap the sugar cubes out. What's up, Tao? What are you doing, buddy? Hey, bud. What's up, pal? You want a bone? I'll go get you your bone. Woof! Nice. But that's all you got. <laughs> Woof! And that's all you get! So I'm gonna come up here. That was just gunk on the floor. Ah. I'm gonna get the water first. And then. Only then. Will I ask mom for some tea. Tea time. Tea time with mamacita. Honestly, I never really... I, I wasn't into tea when I played this game originally. Recently. Now I'm like... I'm pretty, I'm pretty into tea now. Because there are so many different types of tea. I'm into it because, like, I can't just say, like, I don't like tea. Because that is such, like, a really, like, it's a really bold statement. Jenny's dad, Jenny, and Tao are such slobs. We have garbage and stains everywhere. I love it when you help out. It saves me a lot of trouble. I'll make sure to give Telly your moolah bonus. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. Oh, if I spray water at you. You like me now? <laughs> I'm chaotic. Hey, Chibo, you want to chat? Absolutely! I like to chat. I like to chat with the missus every once in a while. I'm slowly but surely pulling the missus away from her husband so that she'll want me, Chibi Robo, instead. It's a little weird. Oh, are you going to let me borrow your spoon, Chibo? Yes, absolutely. I mean, technically, it's your spoon. I just stole it from you. So, yeah, you can use it as much as you want to. My, how thoughtful of you. Thank you, Chibo. Mwah. She gave me my happy lights! And I got Mula! I'm going to cause a ruckus in your house! Thank you for the spoon. And now I've got a pet. They're all sunshine. They're like the spoon and the squirt are all like sunshine bear brand. So what do you think of the house, Chibo? I like the house. It's a nice house. I like the colors. There's a big like orange aesthetic here, and that's a very nice kind of color. I know flattery when I see it, but thanks anyway. I haven't been getting much sleep lately. Too many bills. Some of us can just lie on the couch and saw logs all night, but not me. Oh no, I can't do that. I'm in the bedroom all night trying to fix things, and frankly, it's not going very well. I'm sorry to hear that, ma'am. Oh, this tea is really sweet. It's nice and soothing. Oh, yum. Could I have that cookie? You may. Take cookie. Cookie for you. There's your cookie. Honestly, sometimes we need to take little breaks like this. You just gotta take a break and just like enjoy yourself, you know? Mwah, thank you, Chibo. You're welcome. You're welcome, Mrs. Sanderson. The one who calls me Chibo. The only one who calls me Chibo. You can call me Chibo whenever you want to, you know? Whatever you want. Just because you are awesome, lady. You're cool. I like that. Spread that happiness. You tell him, Telly. Spread the happiness. All right, shut up, Telly. Jenny is a talented artist for her age, don't you think so? Yes. Actually, she draws many, many good pictures, and I like them all. She uses a very underrepresented drawing utensil known as the crayon. Are you familiar, Mrs. Sanderson? I'm a lousy artist. Can't draw a thing, especially not with crayons, those dastardly drying utensils. Oh, what's that? You think they're underrated? Hmm, maybe I should give it a second chance. Jenny must have gotten it from her dad. Oh, what is what does dad do? You wanna wanna tell me that? Well, I suppose I should get back to work. I suppose so. Thank you for dropping me back on the ground. Appreciates that. 
Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Let's go outside. I'm gonna bring a frog wreck to life. <laughs> As that's what we do around here. I'm a necromancer. I am Chibi Robo, the greatest robot neck robo robo necromancer of the century. I bring frogs back to life and mend relationships. Not only am I a necromancer, but I'm also the witch doctor who told you what to do because I want I want my wife to love me and I want myself to love my wife. And so the witch doctor said, ooh ee, ooh ah ah, ting tang, wada wada bang bang. And that's exactly what Chibi Robo says because Chibi Robo is in fact the witch doctor and also a necromancer. And the two, I mean, are the two really that mutually exclusive? Like, I don't think they are. I don't know how much of a difference there is between, like, Witch Doctor and Necromancer. I'm not really sure. I guess, I guess Necromancer doesn't necessarily, like, imply that you're healing, like, people who were alive. Who are alive. I guess technically, if you're a Necromancer, you are, quote-unquote, healing people that were alive. Hey, look, there's a bone. I bet Tao would really want a piece of that, so I'm gonna dig it up. I've got one more tool that I'm missing, and I'm pretty sure it's the chibi radar. Dig it up in the ground. Oh, I can. Did that work? Yeah, I, got, I can't actually hit the bone itself. I have to go around it. Nope. How about over here? Oh, did I do it already? Is that it? Oh, I can just pick it up from the ground. There we go. Dog bone. Dog bone. Ba -dum boom boom. I also see grease on the ground, so I bet there's some spiders around. Anybody? Spiders? No? Nobody at all? Oh. Well, uh, alrighty then. That's fine. No, we don't have to- we don't have to get all the greasy and stuff like that. That's fine. Are you sure? Cause I could- I could really use some scrap right about now. Maybe? Yeah, hey guys! Welcome to the party! Welcome to the party, you mangled metal bit things! Anyway, and now that that's over with- over and done with. I'm gonna go over here, plug myself into a chibi door, and then I'm gonna dig up the pirate ship because I can do that now because I have the shovel. Pirate ship? We didn't know about a pirate ship. Oh, we knew about a pirate ship. Uh, Mr. Uh, Plankbeard, I believe it was, wants his pirate ship. He won't tell us, but he wants his pirate ship. Or he hasn't told us yet. We'll dig that up next. Also, some water over here. Oh, I didn't realize there was water outside, otherwise I wouldn't have gone all the way to the kitchen. I mean, well, I, got, I gained stuff from going to the kitchen. I got to talk with Mrs. Sanderson. And got some stuffs. Dig up the boat. Oh, here it comes. Little by little. We're gonna dig up the boat. Yeah, maybe. There we go. I'm digging up buried treasure in the backyard. It's beautiful. And then I'm gonna watch me stuff this entire ship into my head. Incredible how this whole thing was just like buried in the backyard and apparently nobody knew about it. Chibi though, Necromancer, bringing people back to life and bringing memories back to life, such as this one for um, um, Plankbeard downstairs. It turns. That's incredible. All right, so now what? Is there a first mate or something on there who's gonna tell me to bring me back to the captain? Or am I just gonna put this in my head? I'm gonna stuff this whole thing in my head, right? Yep. Huh. Mine now. I'll take that. <laughs> the scurvy splinter! Watch me stuff that in my head. There it goes. See? Wasn't that incredible? I can now drop myself into the hole. I don't know if there's anything to find um, down here still. I really don't think there is. No, there's nothing in there. But I can come up now. Now there's a little hole in the ground outside. A perfect place for a dog to perhaps rebury a bone if necessary. Hey, look. A little ant. Oh, you know what that- oh, you know, I, I recall now. The ant likes the water. Or, uh, I think the ant likes the nectars. And those are nectar flowers over there. So I should be able to, uh, suck the nectar up from them. I just need to- I need to squirt all the water out. Come on, get all the water out. We're almost there. Keep it going. I want to- is there an easy way to get all the water out of here? Alright, it's empty now. So now I'm gonna suck up some nectar. And this flower- these flowers over here. Wait, I thought they were- but Drake Redcrest just took one of them. Oh, I guess that's fine then. All right, let's do it. Suck it up. Flower nectar. I'm pretty sure this ant will be much more happy about nectar than anything else. Would you like some, little one? Would you like some, little one? Here you go. 
Oh, did, did you want it? No? Okay. I thought that the ant wanted nectar. Maybe just crazy. Oh, now I have water now. Okay. Oh, so I can just suck up a new fluid. That's kind of how I do it. There we go. Oh, I got him out of the water and he was able to return back to the... Oh, okay. Well, that's good. That's good. Well, now I have water again. So I can go bring a frog back to life. Bringing frogs back to life is a part of the job of being a chibi robo. Maybe. I don't know. I never actually looked at the job application. I just kind of know that it, it's a thing. Rabbit! Come back to life. Frida just gave you seven happy points. Spread the happiness. Frida, come back to life. You want some more water? Oh, see, now you're coming back. You're really like, you're like re... Um... What's the word where you, you're reconstituting, I guess. That's what happens. I think that's what the term where you like, you take the space food and you put a little water in it and it comes back to like all living. Ribbity, 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 Robert. Ribbit. There you go, Frida. Oh, thanks for the happy points. You're welcome. Hopefully you can find your buddy Fred or whatever never now. He's upstairs. Should go find him. Nice work. Where'd it go, Chibi Robo? You're welcome. The frog seems to be saying something, but I don't understand this strange language. Red. Yeah. We're gonna give you this frog suit. Now I can understand frogs. <laughs> Thank you. I'm fine now, thanks to you. My boyfriend's lost in the ho that house, and I'm tired of waiting around. Yeah. Now that you're one of us, you can speak ribbitsies too. Cool, huh? Isn't it just the greatest ribbit? Now that we can communicate, I have to ask you a favor. Could you please find my lost boyfriend, ribbit? He's probably collapsed somewhere all alone without a even a fly to eat, ribbit. If you find him, I want you to bring him here. I'm counting on you, ribbit. Alright, peace out, girl. Peace out, girl scout. I'm gonna find your buddy. He's upstairs, and he's had, he has a bite taken out of him, but uh, I'll be sure to look out for him. Don't you worry, ma'am. I'll save your boyfriend. But first, I'm gonna go inside. And now, actually, now that we have the frog suit, I can actually talk to Jenny normally, because Jenny will talk to me because she talks in ribbits. And she actually speaks ribbitese, apparently. I'm gonna go back inside, give myself a quick recharge, and then I'm gonna go up in the tree. Hello, okay, there we go. For some reason, couldn't go into the crack for a moment there. Interesting. All right, let's charge ourselves. And then we're going to go talk to a bird up there or whatever. Actually, maybe I shouldn't go up there yet. Because I'm pretty sure there is... I know there's a little eggplant dude up there. Don't ask me how I know, like, it's an eggplant. There's an eggplant up there. Don't ask me why, but there is an eggplant up there. And I think he requires the snorkel and goggles that are currently in Jenny's room. So now that I got the squirter, I can do other things as well. I can actually take nectar from outside. So I'm gonna go grab the nectar from outside. I'm gonna bring it back up to Jenny's room, and then I'm gonna put it in the honey pot so that Sunshine can be like, oh yeah, give me all that honey, oh yeah, because that's kind of what he does. It's, it's what he does. He's a, he's a very vile, evil little teddy bear. I mean, apparently there's a lot of love and affection that they got from Jenny, but like, deep down, that bear is downright terrifying. Like, yikers. Big yikers. Let's go over here and get some nectar. That should be enough. I think, also, if you just keep on spraying the bear with all this nectar, like, oh god, things things happen. I think he just kind of like keeps on getting more and more like riled up, like, because he loves that nectar. Yes, he does. So let's go back upstairs. I need to go up to the stairs. Actually, how much scrap do I have? Can I tell if I stand here? 190. That's definitely not enough for another Utilibot, but I really don't need too many other Utilibots right now. Because of the Utilibots that I already have, I would gain access to the Squirter and gain access to the Spoon. The next big thing is going to be the Radar. If I'm correct in saying, which I very well might be. I have no way of knowing for sure. However, I have a feeling. I've got me a feeling. I've got a feeling. Do, do. Actually, Jenny, I'm going to talk to you in the frog suit. Jenny and the frog suit. Frog suit, frog suit. Jenny in the frog suit. Baby? Oh. Oh. 
Did the did the evil frog wizard put a curse on you too, Chibi Robo? You're absolutely right. He certainly did. He definitely did. Yeah, that's what I thought, just like me. Finally, somebody understands my plight! God, I've been in these sh shackles for years now! For months, even! At least that's what it's felt like. I've only been on this earth for eight years, but... Well, it looks very good on you! <laughs> oh, that's a lot of happy points. 66? 66 happy points. Spread the happiness. Yep. Yep. I can only speak to other frogs. So, how do you do? Rabbit? 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 I'm not a rabbit. What? I mean ribbit. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Hilarious. It's because I'm in a frog suit. That's so funny. It's a robot in a frog suit. A robot isn't alive, but a frog is. That's what's so funny about it. Nice. Anyway, time to make my way back upstairs so I can um bother people even more. <laughs> And as I make my way upside, upstairs, I have to recollect that. My, we had a pretty fun day so far. It's been good. We've been going at this for about seven hours now, and honestly, I'm, I don't think that I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm close to the end. Maybe at least halfway through. I don't really remember, honestly, but uh, I'm going to keep on going at least until I beat the final boss. The final boss will be defeated tonight. Maybe all the stickers will be garnered in another marathon episode, perhaps. I don't really know. I can do whatever I want. The, the sky's the limit. I'm gonna try to see if I can get that chibi door while I'm up here. If I hover enough, I should be able to reach it. But, you know, uh, you know I can get that whenever. But I'm gonna go up to the top of the... Or do I want that cheapster door? Cheapster door? Where's the cheapster door? Come on, give me my lenses. Is it down there? Oh, I'm still going for it. Here we go! Cheapster door time! Yeah, alright. Another cheapster door unlocked. Click. I wonder if this is only like something that Chibi Robo can see. Like, it very well might be. Maybe we're all like collectively hallucinating. Now, is there anything over here that I wanted to find like on these shelves? I don't think there was, but I'm gonna double check anyway. Most of the stuff that I wanna find is actually up there in the jungle area. And I think the only way, I think I can only grab that, um, that frog ring if I, um, if I if I do the jungle training. So actually is Sarge out here right now? Nah, Sarge ain't here. That's fine. Oh, wait a minute. They're all they're all, all, they're all they're over there. Okay, wait, I'm gonna go talk to Sarge. Sarge! Buddy! I want to train with you! Right? Is that what you guys are doing? What are you, what are you guys doing? Oh, where's Sarge? Oh, I don't know where Sarge is. Alright, well I'm gonna chat with you guys anyway. You're pretty cool. Pretty cool, yeah. Pretty cool for a dozen eggs. <laughs> I'm gonna collect these candy bucks first. Because cleaning up is priority number one. That's rules of Chibi Robo, number one. What's up, guys? Hey, guys. Hey, guys, what's going on? Yeah. Private Vegas reporting for duty, uh-huh. Well, Sarge has been a tough egg to crack lately. All I want to do is race cars. Maybe I'll drive away and go AWOL. Oh, is that what you guys are all talking about? You just want to get away from it all? Private Cincy, ready for duty. There's this rumor going around that some soldiers are going to go AWOL. Maybe I'll go with them. Fluttering booty sounds fun to me. Oh, I think I remember that they actually do go AWOL and you have to find them all. I, I have a vague memory of that. Be interesting that actually is the case. <laughs> well, the day's pretty much going to turn over to the night pretty soon. I'm going to go downstairs and see if I can talk to you, Plankbeard, with the ship real quick before the day ends. Because that's definitely a more attainable goal than going all the way upstairs and stuff. Let's see about that. Let's see if I can talk to Dr. Uh, Plague Beard about his ship. It's a pirate ship, so it just seems appropriate, yeah? Come on, you got it. Yeah, here we go. All the way down. Oh, hi. Guard, belay your foolish chatter. Oh, oh, I forgot about this chick. Forgot about this one. You're a cheating, lying, demon crab! What even are you? Uh, cheating? Why, that's so rude of you. You fail because your soul has not been properly cleansed. Do you take me for a brainless piece of kelp? 
I know ye decide whether ye eye opens or closes, ye filthy bilge rats. That is totally, completely untrue. A person with a pure soul would be able to see this clearly. Me soul's as clear as the waters of the Shanty Pete's blessed arbor. Yar, one more time, you scurvy scum. Gulp, gulp, gulp some water. Remember, he drinks water, not rum. There's no way the King of Pirates is losing to some half-baked sea cucumber. What a guy. Throw up some more moolah. 300, oh my god. That's a lot, for just a guess. Get on with it, you scallywag. Mm. How frightening. Very well, I shall begin. Everything is nothing. Yo, you're really flubbing around with those eyes of yours. Reach out with your soul. Feel. Let it flow to my right eye. Will it open? Or will it remain closed? The world may never know. What do you feel? Will it open? Arr, arr, uh, arr, uh, last time it was ye port side peeper. And and the time before that starboard. Uh, no, ye shall open the eyes, says I. Are you totally certain of that? Well, as certain that the times do ebb and flow, I'll open, I tell ye. Oh, gulps. C consumption. You're with me, aren't you? Um. No. I don't think I am, to be perfectly honest. I, I think that. Ah, curses! Ah, that's what I get for trusting an undersized boat hook. Are you certain? Yeah, me pirates words as good as me gold. And I don't even have any gold. It's all fool's gold. It's made of wood. Just like my body. Very well. And now, watch as my eyes quiver in their anticipation. Um. I don't even know if I'd be right or wrong. Uh. Why is it still going? Oh. It appears it was closed. <laughs> it opened. <laughs> Yar, it opened, I tell ye. Or do you know which side is your right... Or which side is your left? Do you actually do? But it's your left eye! Oh, how unfortunate. I'm so sorry, but you were totally and utterly incorrect because your soul spirit wasn't in the right area. Don't play dumb, you miserable loaf lifeboat leech. You're nothing but a liar and a thief! Great Pico, great Cheeto is more like it. I'll have ye clapped in irons and keyhauled. You're lucky I'm without me ship, ye great blinking sea slug. I've had me fill ye. But I, I actually, sir, I have, I have your boat, sir. I need to speak with you about your boat. I have it. I need to talk to you about your boat. Ahoy there, Chibi. It's good to see ya, laddie. Been a long and long it has. And uh, so, uh, you've come here to hear this old salt's tale, have ye? Yeah, I want to hear the tale. Hear the tale of the, uh, whatever. All right, sit ye back and get ready for the whale of a tale. It's time for tale time, huh? <laughs> Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna hear it too. Can I, can I be a part of story time? Tell he wants to be a part of story time. He always feels like he's left out. I'm here to keep my promise too. Ah, oh, yeah, there, squid bait. You're looking ship shape today. Um, squid bait. Squid bait. Aye, squid bait. Now simmer down. What I'm about to tell ye happened many years ago, when the world was young. Oh wow, we actually get story time. I forgot about. This? Did I ever remember this? No, let's just say I forgot about it, and I am pleasantly surprised that it happened. It looks like a coin. It's a coin of the living room, maybe. Hey, we're all pirates now on this type of journey. It'll be a great time, indeed. Moolah. That fateful day, I found a doubloon gleaming like a wee in Lassie's eyes. And the salty scourge of the seas that it was. 
Oh, that's a pretty doubloon. Spinning. Spinning. I decided to seize this tiny treasure for myself. Oh, what pretty treasure it was. However, boy, was I wrong. The Sandersons were so poor, you could hear their bellies rumbling like thunder. <laughs> Gigarobo blamed himself for their troubles. Aye, he did. Indeed, he did. And every pirate swears to be as evil as a barnacle in the bed. It'd be our code. Ah, uh, but I couldn't even steal one measly doubloon. Gar a foul humiliation it was. As you know, pirates who aren't evil end up at theme parks. It'd be terrifying. I hid me ship and confined myself in the briny dark at the basement, never to be seen again by any of the Sandersons. Yar, the Sandersons be out of moolah and can't be buying food. I'm betting they be. By this point, at least, they're lying on the floor, for God's sake. I'm betting they be dead! But, but they're not dead. Uh, they're still very much alive. They're definitely upstairs. You think they're dead? Uh huh. Um, actually, the Sanderson family is doing just fine, actually. I mean, they might not be rich, but they were at least able to buy us. And we're not exactly bargain basement items, if I do say so myself. <laughs> cluggity, cluggity, clug, clug, clug. <laughs> Gar, what sense you be saying? You saying the Sandersons are alive? Uh, so... They'd not have been troubled if I claimed to more life on his me own. I mean, I heard that Mr. Sanderson hasn't been working and finances are kind of tight, but if it's just a little, it's not a problem. <laughs> Do you know what this means? I'm no longer bound to this dank backwater. There's treasure in this house, laddies, and I means to find it. Hoist me mainsail, me hearties! Uh, mainsail? Uh, me hearties? Where are me hearties in me mainsail? Where's me boat? Where's my soul? Where's me water? Um, don't you need your ship first? Oh, shivery timbers, I forgot I'm not a dinghy to, the name, to me name. I left my ship somewhere else. If only I knew where it was, I put me ship in dry dock so as to keep her safe, but... Oh, me head's full of fog and me ship's lost! Oh, woe is me, you're me only hope, Chibi. I want you to find me ship and bring her home. Could you do that for a poor old sea cucumber? A pirate in need is a pirate who gets what he wants. Uh, that's the pirate's call, you see. Ah, uh, that doesn't seem right somehow. If, if, don't think so, eh? Ye fancy yourself a great thinker, don't you, you flying chum bucket? <laughs> Takes another glug of water. Live your keen as keen as you think, you'll keep your blowhole shut. Pirates are not accustomed to waiting. Now go find me ship, or I'm gonna. Or I'm gonna... Uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, Captain, uh, Captain, sir. We'll, we'll do that for you. Uh, no problem. Uh, we, uh, let's go look for the ship, Chibi River. I'll go on ahead and I'm gonna scout around. And uh, I'm out of here. I'm gonna go. Bye-bye. Um, sir, I have your ship. Can, can I give it to you? Oh. What's that, Chibi? Have you find me long lost ship already? Hey, what's that poking under your head there? How'd you even fit that damn thing in there? You say that you got it. I, I do. It's the it's the scurvy splinter. I mean, you are plank beard. You are made of wood. So scurvy splinter seems like an appropriate name for a ship that might belong to yours truly. Did you see me pull this thing out of my head? Was that fucking incredible? Pirate time. Doesn't it get you excited? Looking at such a mighty steed such as this? <laughs> drunk. Kidding. It's just been water he's been drinking, supposedly. Um, is this, this your ship? Yar, it be mine, you floating kill pube! That's me scurvy splinter! 
Ah, uh, me ship? Ye've earned me thanks. And thanks equals 66 happy points for those who were not accustomed to the conversion rate in Chibi Robotown. There's treasure awaiting him. He thinks he'll be getting me some. I'll be getting me some of that treasure. The moolah will all be mine. Yar har fiddly d. I says there be treasure awaiting. Anchors away, me hearties. Where are your hearties? Do you have any hearties? It looks like you need some friends, right? Uh, Yar? <laughs> Awkward moment. Yar! Barnacles and bilge pumps! I've got no plastic crew! What? what? <laughs> you don't got a crew? <laughs> Maybe we could be your pr crew? Shut up down there! I'm sorry. Aye, then there's only one thing to do. I need you to find me some brave lads who yearn for a life of swash swash swashbuckling adventure. Such as yourselves? Would you two be interested in a little swashbuckling adventure? Hmm? If you find me four men, I'll... I'll... Uh, yes? W what will you do? Gar, I'll have no choice but to give you me treasure map. Got it. One pirate crew coming up. We can do that for you, probably. Oh, come on, Chibi Robo. Let's get out there and find four crewmen for Captain Plankbeard. Courage, me lads! Courage! Tally ho, television ceiling fan guy. I think you also wanted water, too. Did you want water? I've got nectar for you. Want some of that shit? Do you like that? You like you like that? Stow your foolishness, laddie, or you'll be walking to Plank. Welcome back, dearest. Um, what about you? I haven't talked to you yet, you freaky teapot-like lady with feet on your stomach. Or those hands? What are your hands? Are they hands or feet? I need an answer. Huh, another sucker. Oh, I mean... Oh. Dear me, your soul is unclean. Will you cleanse your soul? I'll cleanse my soul. I want my soul cleansed. I'm a robot and I have no soul. However, if you claim to clean it, I very well may be dirty. Your desire to achieve enlightenment is quite admirable, young chibi robo boy. Moolah corrupts the soul. But if you use your moolah, then your soul will gradually be purified. Now then, allow me to take your moolah as ablution for your dirty soul. Let the cleansing begin! Did I- how much moolah did I use? By repeating the process, this process, your moolah will be purified and returned to you in time. This is the one true way to abandon worldly desires and become one with a higher plane. You have 1,005 moolah. How much will you purify? Um... How about... I don't know. How about- how about 500? Want some hundo? I know Giga's gotta have his battery recharged, but you seem like a very trustworthy individual. Although, for some reason... Oh, I can only give that... Hmm. Yeah. Here's your sucker. Oh, 1,000 moolah, yes! Now, let us begin the process of cleansing your moolah and your soul. Everything is nothing. Entrapment is release. Abandonment is friendship. <laughs> the cosmos embraces you with their love. Let your doubts and fears melt away. Stop looking at me like that, Anna. Don't corrupt the soul. Don't corrupt your soul. Release! Release your moolah! And now what? We return to a new beginning. Do not let your lack of experience make you nervous. There's no need to be nervous. If you're nervous, then I too am nervous. Let us begin, oh wanderer. Reach with your soul! Feel with your soul! 
Let your soul flow to my right eye. Will it open or will it remain shut? I know not. One whose soul is clean will be able to see the answer with certainty. Well, will my eye open? No, I don't think so. I have my doubts, dear. You believe it will remain closed, yes? I'm ready. Why is it still going? Oh my god, stop! Can, can you stop now? Do I have to click a button? Oh, look at that. It opened. Huh. It appears that I was incorrect. Oh, unfortunate. Oh, well. What do I say? I'm, I'm very disappointed beyond, beyond words, honestly. I'm very, very disappointed. Uh, the great Pico just gave you 100 happy points, so there's that. Spread the happiness. Uh, living can be a painfully sad thing. However, do not give in to this sadness. If you cleanse more of your moolah, you will be able to obtain a soul that can endure any suffering. Will you cleanse your soul again? I have no more money, sir, madam, person. Oh my, well, this is not part of the plan. You're going to stop? How unfortunate. Oh, well, I guess that's it. Well, well why don't you please come again? Bye. All right, well, that was a time that I think I have to come to terms with. I'm just gonna clean up mud. Feel useful again. Go back to the grind after spending all of my money on spiritual cleansing or something. Wow. I feel like I have a whole new idea about life. What even is life? What is suffering? What is the lack thereof of suffering? Everything is nothing. All of this, all of these contradictions in my life have absolutely no meaning, yet they have all the meaning themselves. Well, that was an eye-opening experience because because they were opening up their eyes, right? The, the eyes open one or the other. Like, it was eye-opening. That's, I think that's the metaphor we had here. And if that was not the metaphor that we have here, then I... Well, I feel like I missed the point for a thousand moolah. Ready to save? Now the day's about to end. We'll be fine. Ready, then let's go! Clean up more of our messes. Wait, I have to... The, the day's about to end, but I have, I have cleaning to do! Must clean the grease! Must clean the grease! The day is over. The day is now over, and we are happy yet again. But with a thousand less monies than we had previously. Get back to the chibi house, yeah. Let's get back to the chibi house. Let's see what that, let's see what that does. Yeah, yeah, chibi house, chibi house, chibi house. Ba -da -da -bum -bum -ba ah, great work out there. Yeah, of course. Let's adjust your happy point. So, did I get anything better? Oh, we changed. Nice. I'm down to, I'm up to rank nine now. Very good. For making it to the top ten, top nine, Citrusoft has sent you a special gift. A brand new Bunny's battery. Wow. Whoa, would you look at that? Ooh, now you're up to 200 now. Very good for a you, Chibi Robo. Very good indeed. In order to get the next bonus battery, you need 471 more happy points. If you're always oh, you know, blah, 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 chipper, stupid, lively, whatever, super TV, robo, whatever. If you need to dig a hole in the planter, perhaps a spoon might come in handy. I have a spoon, and I know how to dig. However, I thank you for your well worthwhile advice. Would I like to save? I'd be happy to save. That actually feels like a really, really good idea. Saving's a good idea. Time to pick up some stuff. Well, I'd spend some money to increase the battery of, uh... Giga, whatever. Giga, Giga battery, Giga robo, but I have no money left to give. I don't think I can give just five cents. No, no, no. There's some music inside. It's very entertaining. It's actually more annoying than anything else, but that's fine. Hey, Drake, um, can I try to, like, be super duper awesome again with you? Maybe? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Will I pass your test? I will try every night until I pass, sir. What a 
and two, and one, and two. Hey y'all, Kia, hey y'all, hey yeah, good. Oh, what's that? You want to come on patrol with me again, sir, Space Hunter brother? Well, there's no need for Drake Redcrest to patrol. Peace has prevailed this day. But, but, you never know when the enemy will strike like a cobra, and so, wah pow pow. Space Hunter Code Part Six: Acquire the Ultimate Technique. Mm-hmm. Uh, once I master the Great Twin Blizzard, I will be invincible. The fuck? What are you talking about? <laughs> Evil will freeze and shatter when I slap it about the face with the frozen hand of justice! And everybody knows that evil is baby, so I must slap babies and they will shatter if they are frozen by the icicles of justice. But now, I must train. Leave me. I'm out of here. Okay, pal. Um, so I'm gonna take that. You could have just said no for tonight, dude, if you just weren't into it, but... Thanks for the theatrics, I suppose. I'm gonna go upstairs and and try to talk to the teddy bear and hopefully not die. I don't want to die, but oftentimes dying is all just a part of the process. It's the cycle of life, mortality goes over and over again. Things die and things are born. It's a, it's a lovely, lovely thing. <clears throat> Giga Robo alive. Oh, uh, they're hiding down there, so that must mean maybe Jenny's on the steps, finally? Jenny, Jenny, how are you feeling? Are you feeling okay, Jenny? Are you on the stairs? No, you're not on the stairs tonight. Doesn't look like... Nope, you're probably upstairs. Kind of sad. No. Because your parents... Your mother is very, very not so happy with having to balance the checkbook. Balance the bill. Interesting that always aware, like, like, you had to balance checkbooks. Hey, Lorio Cop Lorio Calypse. Like like Apocalypse. Loriocalypse! Loriocalypse! Welcome to the party, my friend! And in recognition of your arrival to the party, we put on party hats. I've got one, a pink one. You love this game? Dude, I love this game too. It's wonderful. I love this game so much that I've been able to continue playing it for about seven hours now. Seven and a half. Oh my goodness, we're getting real close. This is a fresh playthrough, too, so, like, it shows that I, uh, I mean, I'm not very good at the game. I don't move through it very fast, but damn, do I enjoy it. This is one of those things I decided I, I had to play one of these games from my childhood. Not like my childhood was that long ago, mind you that. I am, I am only a 23-year-old right now, and, and I don't know when to remember when this game came out, but I definitely played it when I was, like, in elementary school or something like that. It was at least 10 years ago. I can call it my childhood, right? Or, or if I'm still a child... Then that means my childhood never ended. Perhaps my childhood never ended. I don't know. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I consider myself to be an adult for all intents and purposes, and a child for the other intents and purposes that don't fall under the other category, so I'll take it. Oh, you're 23. It was also a part of your childhood. Perfect, then. Then it seems that we're all in agreement in terms of the, the, the age thing around there, and that it is a part of our childhood. Did you like that, sir? I gave you some nectar. Is that good? Did you like the nectar? Mom locks the door at night. But she leaves the door open all day. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. Um, I'm gonna go talk to... There's crayons in your room. I'm gonna go find crayons in your room. And if I have more time, I'm gonna... Actually, you know what? Let's go to Mom and Dad's room. And then I'm going to find... Um, Raptor Dude. Like, um... What's, the, what's their name? I don't know. Uh, uh, the Lego, Lego dinosaur person. Where it goes... Ah! Oh, yeah, that one, because it's a dinosaur. At least that's, that's how I recall it in my head, you know? That's what I recall. And, um, and there's also a frog in there. I need to get, uh, D'Angelo, or whatever his name is, and bring back to, um, Ray, I believe? Dinah. Yeah, that makes sense. Dinah the dinosaur. <laughs> of course. I haven't yet made contact with Dinah, so that's why I completely forgot her name up until this point. However, when I started this playthrough, she was the character on the front screen that allowed me to choose my menu options. Alas, oh, it's nighttime in the room. Everything's getting dark and scary. <sighs> what are we going to do? Oh, Mrs. Sanderson, you seem to be awake. These bills are piling up. And on top of that, the electric bill has skyrocketed. Probably because of Chibi Robo being in the house. Wow, I don't like how much you're smiling right now. He's just hopeless. He's a hopeless little man. I hate my husband. Or maybe I just hate myself with my husband. I haven't quite figured it out yet, but I definitely hate something. Mr. Sanderson, are you okay? Do you need therapy chibi robo time again? We could have tea. Just because it's 2 o'clock in the morning doesn't mean it's any worse time to have tea. 
Snore. Can I pick you up, sir? Oh, maybe you're only awake at night in the morning. Or maybe you're dead. Are you dead, sir? Don't be dead, sir. Buddy? Live! Okay, I'll come back for you. Back for you. Should I talk? I'll talk to you. What's up, Mrs. Sanderson? How are you feeling tonight? Stressed about the checkbook again? Know what we could do with your checkbook? You could set it on fire and throw it out the window. But then, when you throw it out the window, after it's on fire, make sure that it lands in a location where there isn't any other flammable debris out there or your house will set on fire. Then you'll have no bills to pay. Because there won't be a house to pay taxes on. Oh, hi there, Chibo. Oh, how'd you get here? D did I hear you saying something about setting the house on fire? Oh, whatever. Did you come to check on me because you were worried about me? Yes, worry that you had to you'd set the house on fire, which you obviously shouldn't do. That's a very bad idea. Thank you, Chivo. You're so kind. You're welcome. <laughs> she must commit insurance fraud. What's that, Mrs. Sanderson? You say that the house just caught on fire? Why, yes. I'm not an arsonist. She says that she smiles, but my husband might be. Spread the happiness. Yeah, yeah, we get it, Tilly. I'm spreading the happiness. Thanks. Thanks for that reassurance. Oh, I bet Jenny and her dad ask you to check up on me. Nope. I didn't. What is that screeching sword that sounds? Your meat is screeching? Oh, Anna, my dearest, is cooking dinner, and it sounds like something like the like a. It sounds like a balloon making the sound. You know what? You know what sound I'm talking about? This sound. That's the sound that it kind of sounds like. Uh, I'm not sure if the, the, the actual sound over there got picked up on the microphone. That one sure as hell did. Well, since you're here, would you like to mind keeping me company? See? It's it's the perfect time for uh, um, uh, uh, drinking some tea, talking about your feelings, or planning tax fraud and arson. I'm balancing our checkbook, but something just doesn't add up, and I'm exhausted. <sighs> I wonder if there's a toy receipt I'm missing, but I bet he's hiding someone somewhere. I don't have one of those right now, but I'll grab one. I asked him about it earlier, and he said... Don't worry, you have all of them. Huh. When it comes to toys, I don't know if I can trust them to have any self-control. Oh, hey, can you do me a favor, Chibo? See if you can find a hidden toy receipt. And if you find one, please bring it to me. You got it. And if you do, my husband will have some explaining to do. And if you don't, I'm setting the house on fire. Okay, um, I'll get you your receipt. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, Mrs. Sanderson. No arson today. No thank you. What a woman! <laughs> Who wants to set the house on fire and commit tax fraud and or insurance fraud? Tax evasion. Tax evasion? Insurance fraud? Eh, whatever. We're both do- it's all duping the government, whatever. Alright, so what's- what's in here? There's probably- I want to get up there, and the best way for doing so is, I believe, going around that way. Or was it to get on top of- I'll get up there again. Oh, there's the little- that might help. That little hanging thing over there? Yeah, that'll help. I'll go over there and climb my way up. It's a bunch of trash up here. Miss, Mrs. Sanderson, you're gonna go clean up after yourself. I'm telling you. Just kidding. Why would you have to clean up after yourself? That's exactly why you bought the Chibi Robo. <laughs> Duh, right? Oh. Um, I didn't mean to go back all the way down, but um, perhaps I should have charged first. Is there an outlet over here? Hmm, there's an outlet on the way on the other side. Ho hum de dum de dum. In the words of television. Which, as I'm pretty, I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but I'm pretty sure Telly said something like that. Definitely not anything related to like, um, Chibo, Weibo, and plugging yourself in, and uh, like tips about digging up the ground or other encouraging words. Telly's a good one. Am I gonna say? Uh, we, don't we don't need to save right now. We live on the edge, dude. We don't need to save all the time. Although I was doing that in the, the first two or three hours, and then it was just like, eh, I'll just save every morning. It's much more easy that way, I think. And then all of a sudden the music gets eerily quiet. Again. Scary. Scary cheese. Scary robos. Scary toys. Scary nights. Don't worry, Phil, I'm coming for you, buddy. Or whatever your name is. Honestly, I feel like if your name is not Phil, I'd be sad. You just seem you just seem so Phil-like. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's my memory reminding me about things, or your name is... Uh, or you just funky, and funky just feels like... Phil seems like a pretty funky name. 
in a good way, though. Like, all the best types of funk. Oh, is that a little... Oh, there's something on the wall over there. What is that? What is that there? Can I zoom in this position? Zoom. There's definitely something down there. What is... Oh, it's a little scooge on the wall. Well, I don't want no scooching on the wall. And then I think I'm able to go down here and go on top of this guy, right? Can I climb this? I can! Up to the ceiling! Red Chibi Robo, you know how it is. For a chance, this was the way to go. Yes, I now remember how to proceed. Well, now that I'm all right up here, it's time to jump! No, just kidding. I need to get... Oh, I forgot there were a bunch of chibi doors over there. How many are there in this room? Twelve. That seems appropriate. And of course, not counting, like, you know, all the hidden ones and whatnot. I don't have the radar yet, so I gotta... Gotta get that. Gotta get that. <laughs> These must be all the toy boxes. Oh, thank you. Is it chicken noodle soup? Really hot. Really hot chicken noodle soup. Awesome. Thank you so much, dearest. The rest of your things are no, I'll probably eat slowly because I'm very distracted. I'm splitting my focus between, uh, let's just say, a couple different places. Thank you so much, dearest. Oh, I can shoot the wall over here. That seems like an excellent idea. Shooting the wall. Great, great. And they'll never know about it because really, who comes up here anyway? And who micro-inspects the wall like that? Oh! Nice! Thanks, Telly. Really appreciated those words. Uh oh, and nice. Sweet. Let's see, I gotta see a book up here. Can I read that book? Can't remember if I can read that book. Definitely can't read that book. Is there something over here? I see a thing over here. I'm gonna go through the wall at some point, but first I'm gonna check her out and see if there's anything else around here that might be of interest to me. Oh my god, there's a bunch of ones over there too. Sweet. I forgot about all the doors in this room. Sweet! That's more moolah for the cheapster. Oh, what is this? Do I recall this? Oh, it's the way to get up from the... Yeah! Nice! Burb! Burb! See you in a bit. Where is my... Where's Dino? Dino, where are you? Where are you, you silly dinosaur? Where could you possibly be? There's some moolah under here. That's very good. Okay. I hope I remember that, that little shortcut is there. What else is there in this room that I should be aware of? I don't see any toy receipts. There's really no other items in this room that I can see of right about now. Can't get up there. Can I climb on top of this little television? Not tell you the television. No, I can't. But that's okay. I think what would be in my best interest is to try to get over to the the Cheapster doors, if I can. But I'm not actually at that level to do so yet. I definitely can't get over there just yet. What I want to do is I want to, um, it's the, the blinds over there. I want to pull them up. I don't exactly remember where the string is. So I'm going to take a closer look over there, because that is where I want to figure out next. Because I want to access Phil. Where's this thing? I think it's all the way at the top. If I can, there's a string all the way at the top that I think I have to pull up. I'm gonna have to climb that bit, but that's fine. Easy, easy, easy. Easy, breezy, beautiful chibi robot. Oh, please don't fall. Just just climb. Nope. Okay, fine. You can climb then. Get get up. Up onto the ledge. I think I remember being very frustrated that you couldn't climb up with that those set of rungs specifically. I remember I remember being like, why can't I climb this as a child? As a child, as a young adult. Say, as a young adult. I mean, I'm. Um, I guess I'm a young adult right now. So, what's really the difference? I mean, I'm. I, I'm more adult than young now. Maybe. Anyway. Youth is fleeting. Take advantage of it while you can. Oh, I need my copter again. I need to go over here, and then I need to climb up the thing above over there. Climb this up over here. Gotta go up, 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 up. Once I get to the very, very top, I should be able to access the little string over there. If I shoot it, maybe. Do I shoot it? Or do I just do I just touch it or do I shoot it? Oh, there's a little thing over here too. There we go. That might be. That would be advantageous. Let's hope I don't run out of time before I get to the top. Oh, they're just happy point things. Oh well. No, I will succeed. 
I will succeed. I am speed. I am robo. Ah, okay. In the meantime, I think I'll take a bite of my uh, chicken noodle soup that I have now in front of me. It smells great. Thank you so much, dearest. Once again, if you can still hear me. No, I think she's watching the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> Very good. It's about dinner time for me. Like, six o'clock-ish. My TV ranking is still nine. In order to get the next bonus battery, I need 419 more happy points. Only a little bit more. While you're here, TV brother, would you like to shave? I would love to shave. I would love to shave a little bit. Shaving is good. Saving is very good. I don't have enough moolah to purchase anything else. So... Eh. I'll take it. I'll take it. If my wife ever finds out, I'm in huge trouble. Oh, is it daytime? It is daytime. Oh, you lost the receipt, didn't you? <laughs> this would be a shake place. Dude, why are you hiding things from your wife? You know that's not a good thing to do. You know this, Mr. Sanderson. But you do it anyway. You're a serial liar. What's wrong with you, sir? I can't. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna rat you out. I wonder if, like, Mr. Sanderson... Or Mr. Sanderson? Yeah, Mr. Sanderson had, like, a secret... <laughs> Secret, secret, super expensive toy purchase. Which I'm sure he does out of stress. I'm sure he's very stressed about going between jobs and stuff like that. It makes sense. However, it doesn't really excuse that type of irresponsibility. You should take accountability for your actions. I mean, you're a father, my guy. Come on, dude. Uh, 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 what's wrong, Chibi Robo? Uh, to toy receipt? I, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Silly robot. Tricks are for kids. Television show. This is a news emergency phone news emergency alert. Phone because it's fake. This just in: Chibi robots everywhere are coming under attack, and the perpetrators appear to be these things. The the spiders. Where do they come from? Where do they go? Where do they come from? Why did they attack? We don't know. Cotton Eye Joe. Perhaps they hate Chibi Robo's winning smile. Chibi Robo's don't smile. I've never seen Chibi Robo smile at all. What are you talking about? Viewers, I ask yourself is your Chibi Robo safe or is it in mortal danger? This is Ron Broke Jaw reporting for Info News. Now let's go to Sunny Manny Weather with tomorrow's forecast. Sunny? Rainy, actually. <laughs> Why, thanks, Ron. You're gonna like my forecast. In fact, it's rainy, uh, which is ironic because my name is Sunny, but I've said that joke literally every single week, at least three times a week. Tomorrow will be sunny, rainy, or, um, uh, Haley, uh, I guess. No, no, that's all wrong. The spiders are the Chibi Robo's friends. They are, at least they should be. Oh, frosting. Uh, uh, listen, Chibi Robo, you need to be more careful. Those spiders are dangerous right now. And if something were to happen to you, I'd be really sad. Got it? Don't make me sad. Gotcha. I'm gonna take this receipt from you, buddy. Toy receipt. Nice. <laughs> oh, you found it! Oh, you. Well, don't tell my wife, alright? Mr. Sanderson... If Chibi Robo is anything, it's honest. To a fault. I'm gonna tell you what. There's no stopping me. Oh, uh, man, the news is boring. What a store fest. Hey, Chibi. Lori Ocalypse is now co-hosting the party. Thank you so much for doing so. It's an absolute pleasure to have you co-hosted along with us. Grab some popcorn. Stick around if you'd like to. Can you change the channel, buddy? I, I could. Is the remote on the table, my friend? Oh, by the way, aren't you the neat freak Chibi Robo? Aren't you the neat freak Chibi Robo? That was a statement, not a question. 
I won't be using that toothbrush again, but if you're going, if you're using it to clean, I'm totally fine with it. I barely brush my teeth anyway. <laughs> he didn't actually say the whole not brushing his teeth. He didn't say that. That was my, that was my, my improv dialogue. I even tricked my fiance. <laughs> like that. I got some moolahs. Moolahs. Alright, let's open this. Uh, I need that. Wait, was I supposed to talk to you? Oh, no, it just kind of happened. Well, Chibi Robo is always glad to talk to a fellow denizen of the house. The only world that Chibi Robo has literally ever known. Impressive. So where's the remote, pal? Where is it, huh? Maybe if I use my special eyes to find the remote. Where's the remote at? Father, where's the remote? Tell me where the remote is. It's probably on the table or something. I swear, if it's on the table, you couldn't have just reached over yourself. Okay, it's not actually just on the table. We don't know where the remote is. It's, you know what? It's definitely either right in front of the television or it's below the couch and you're too lazy to just kind of get up the couch and... Do you think that or the remote is totally missing and I'm incorrect on all of those and I am so sorry that I doubted you, Mr. And Mr. Sanderson. Where's the remote? What if the spiders took the remote? Oh. Yeah, the spy the spiders took the remote. I, I just I just remembered the spiders took the remote. I I, rem I remember this now. I was thinking to myself, as soon as I thought to myself, where could that remote be? I imagined Queen Spider at the very end, and I was like, there was definitely a remote on that machine. I'm not getting that back. Not anytime soon. Oh, time to go talk to Mr. Sanderson and rat out, rat out her husband. <laughs> it's my favorite part of the game. Justice. I learned that from Rick Crest. What a shining example of what life is supposed to be. Justice is supposed to be that. It's incredible. My apologies. I'm gonna be taking some like Small hits back and forth of my chicken noodle soup at some point. Oh, Tao, I have something for you, buddy. Come down here, I have your bone. I want food. Okay, I guess you're gonna hang up there for now. What if I, okay, I'm gonna talk to you. Hey girl, found your toy receipt that was giving you all these different types of com discombobulations last night. So did you find the toy receipt? Yes, I did, indeed. Here you go, girl. Take that as a present from Chibi Robo to you. Let's see here. What? Another Red Crest toy? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's another one, all right. Oh, you seem angry. I told him that these toys are a waste of money. Doesn't he listen? Is he deaf? Oh, my husband is so stupid. Dude, chill. It's okay. Tea time? Tea time? Thank you, Chibo. I am definitely not burning down the house now. Instead, I'm gonna burn what's less of my husband's dignity by berating him in front of our child. Peace out, Chibi. Think of the children. Think of the children. Or rather, just the one child, I suppose. Spread the happiness. Yeah, you, you keep telling him, Deli. I've had it with that man. He can do the housework himself then. Huh! I'm walking out. I don't even want to look at him. Oh dear. Forget this. I'm gonna lock myself in my room. Oh, oh, well, you don't you don't gotta do that. But what about food and the bathroom or wait a minute, is there even a bathroom in this house? I don't recall there being a bathroom in this house, come to think of it. Do you want to explain this? Yeah, uh, where do you find that, sweetie? I don't know what that thing is at all. It doesn't matter where I got it. Another toy? What is wrong with you? Ah, uh, that's it. I've had enough of this family. I'm locking myself in the bedroom. Oh, stomp. Stomp. Woof. Ribbit. Oh. Oh man, I'm in a world of hurt here. Somebody come save me. Like a little robot friend that I spent way too much money on. Oh. Well. She is upstairs now. That's sad. I'm gonna take a big old scoop of my chicken noodle soup and then uh, just move on with my lads. I need a little towel. I got this little pot holder here so I'm not wiping my face with my hand. That's disgusting. Alright. 
I did have to rub my chin a little bit. Apologize. I'm trying not to. Be, I'm trying to be as courteous as possible. Where's Tao, though? Buddy? Tao? Where are you, buddy? Where'd you go? Did you go outside? Buddy. I have a bone for you if you'd like it. I have bone for you. My friend. My friend Tao. Bestest friend Tao. Where are you, buddy? I do have a bone for you. And a bone to pick with Mr. A Sanderson. Is it Sanderson or Anderson? I, for some reason, keep on forgetting. I'm sure I'll see it eventually. Probably Sanderson. It's definitely Sanderson. I, I think about it now, and it is most definitely Sanderson. I recall, I recall now. Um, Tao? Buddy? Oh, hello, Redcrest. Oh, you're out and about in the morning. That must mean... Oh, where is everybody? That's not good. Anyway, want to patrol? It's patrol time, right, buddy? Right? Patrol time? Patrol time? You want to patrol? And one, and two, and one, and two. Hey, I'm training, dude. Get out of here. Little scrub. Space Hunter Robo. Get out of here. There is no need for Drake Redcrest to patrol. Peace has prevailed this day. Okay. But you never know when the enemy will strike like a cobra. And so oh, we've been through this. Ultimate technique. He's gonna freeze the enemies with the power of justice. <laughs> Isn't that the coolest thing you've ever heard? Certainly not the coolest thing I have ever heard. That just sounds ridiculous. Frozen hand of justice. But now, train, leave ye. Fine, I'm gonna go play with my ball elsewhere. <laughs> so uncool. That Drake Redcrest guy, he acts all cool, tough, but he's not. I'm gonna actually go, I think I know where everybody is. I think they're all upstairs attempting to calm Mother down. And probably to no avail. Everybody knows if you tell someone to calm down when they're not calmed down, they're probably not going to calm down. It's a little reverse psychology thing here. Somebody who's frantically like throwing shit and stuff like that probably isn't going to respond well to calm down, calm down. Jenny, what are we gonna do? Your mom is angry very very angry oh why did you reset your positions silly silly ferris why did you reset your position although you are in a pretty good spot that's convenient for what we need you for thank you thank you ferris always appreciate it all the way up to the skies that's probably enough i don't need that much energy to go into this but i'm going for it yeah, 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 keep going. You got it. You got it. Okay, just kidding. We're done. Oh, dear. Oh. Mm. Came a little close that time. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And while I charge, I will take another bite of my chicken soup. Mm. Pretty close. Pretty close indeed. Mm -hmm. Now let's go. What are your boys' take on this? Now I'm just gonna stay out of it? Alright, fair enough. I'm sure Chibi Robo would want to do that, but for the sake of plot and game advancement, we can't. We have to get involved. We must get involved. We're a part of this family. Chibi Robo is an appreciated part of this family by at least one individual at a time. Maybe always Jenny. But Jenny doesn't understand she's so young. Or perhaps she does understand because she's so young. Children are a lot smarter than you think they are. How was I able to beat the queen boss lady thing when I was so young if I wasn't at least competent? How else would I have gotten where I am today if I weren't at least competent? Something about the word competent just feels like incredibly condescending. I don't know if it's just me. Like, like for example, you're talking to somebody and you call them incompetent hurts a lot more, in my humble opinion, than being called dumb. Like, if somebody called me incompetent, I'd feel like there was a core value of, like, my being that has been, like, ripped out, like, a, like stabbed with a spear. They're like, how dare you call me incompetent? I'm very competent. How do you think I'm speaking right now? I have to be at least very competent. At least a little bit. Hey guys, um, can I get involved? What should we do, Jenny? Mom is... Uh, uh, uh. Ribbit, ribbit. 
ribbit, 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 ribbit. What? You're saying we should burn the house down? That's a really bad idea. Jenny, put your hand down. What are you doing? Put your hand down. Wait, that's it. I can look through these slats and then get my eyes poked out. That's my smart girl. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Definitely wasn't talking about arson. No, definitely not. Yurgh! Oh, it's no use, kiddo. My face is too big. I can't see inside. Ribbit. Oh, but... Give me your hand, Jenny. Please don't. No, please don't. Don't do that. You'll hurt yourself. How about Chibi Robo? Oh, I've got it! Chibi Robo, would you like to do all my dirty work for me? She locked herself inside of the bedroom. I'm a little worried about her. I need to see what's going on in there. I can't see through the slats because I'm too small and my face is too big. A common problem, but I'm sure she'll be happy to see you. She's not mad at you. She's mad at me. I'm the asshole. Jenny, you didn't hear that word. Can you help me out? Yes. Yes, I can. Watch this, Mr. Sanderson. I'm gonna show you what it's like to be on good terms with your wife. Take notes. The first step is to climb up to the door handle. The second step is to use your helicopter head to go over to the clearly loving sign that is no longer accurate, at least at this point in time. Then climb up that and walk right inside. And that's how you spy on your wife. Did you take notes? Did you take notes, Dad? The whole time. I was taking notes the whole time. Th thanks, Chibi. Oh my god, don't fall like that. Nope. Don't, don't, don't fall. You're good. You're good, pal. You're good. You're totally good. Pop on down. Can I retrieve the frog at this point in time? I need to find the frog. Where is... Oh, she's at the table. Good, good, good. I'll talk to you in a hot second. But first, I want to talk to the frog. Are you still sleeping? Are you still, like, comatose? Zaza. Can I spray you with water or literally anything? I've got nectar. You want some of that? Mmm, tasty. Za. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? Frogger suit. I'll croak to get you to wake. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, dear. I didn't want to spray more nectar on you. Croak. Bounce. Did that not work? Ah, whatever. Zaza. Zaza, 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 Zaza. Whatever. I forget. Can I pull this suitcase out? I totally can. I'm just gonna pull this out. I already know about this. It won't open if you don't know the correct password. It's true. I don't know the correct password. Not yet. I haven't found it in uh, the notes yet. I haven't found those already. Mrs. Sanderson! It's therapy time with Chibi Robo! Right? Right? That's what we're doing around here? That, that, that seems to be the most appropriate course of action right now. Everybody is high tensions? A lot of, a lot of stress out? Yeah. No, no, no. De definitely, definitely time for a little uh, happy time. Definitely time for happy. Definitely time for the happiness. Has this thing been down here the whole time? Oh, I guess... Yeah. Anyway. Let's pop on up and go over to the table. Um, should I go to the ground or... I don't know. Let's see what happens if I just kind of like... Talk to you from the floor. Maybe you'll pick me up and put me onto the table, perhaps? Or do I have to really go out of my way to convince you that everything is okay? It's all good, Mrs. Sanderson. It's fine. Oh, what is it, Chibo? Is something wrong? Yes. Oh! My husband must have sent you in here. Uh, oh! Ooh. <laughs> Glances, darts eyes. Oh, well, it's not your fault. But let me tell you something. He's not getting off the hook until he's sorry for what he did. Chibo, could you give my husband this letter? I feel like it would be most appropriate if you give him the letter. Oh, it's a love letter. Oh. Oh. Mm. Nothing scary about that. You scare me, Mrs. Sanderson. Thank you, Chibo. <laughs> he has to understand. I just remember a dream I had. You were picking up garbage around the house. Thank you, Chibo. Whenever I had that dream, the house seems to sparkle in the morning. Oh, yes, indeed. Mwah. Thank you, Chibo. You're welcome, Mrs. Sanderson. Your happy points make me feel alive! Or as alive that I can be for an automaton. 
Spread the happiness, my friend. Spread that happiness. Spread it wide. Hey, Mr. Sanderson, I got something for you. Your wife wants to say something mean to you, but in a very nicely coated and perfumated letter. Mm, this letter smells like rust and, and more rust. Wait, I don't have a nose. I'm, I'm a robot. How could I tell what this smells like? Mr. Sanderson, what's your take on this? I'll get to it eventually. Okay, let's head on back up and uh, I guess pass on the message to those who are most... Oh. Just a minute, Chivo. Oh, yeah? Being so tiny must make things awfully hard for you. Let me give you a hand. That is the nicest thing anybody has done for me in this house. Finally? Chivo, I know you're small, but do your best, okay? I will try my hardest. Thank you, Mrs. Ch I almost called you Mrs. Chibo. Mr. and Mrs. Chibo, the Chibo house. Well, how did it go? What'd she say? Here's a letter for you. <laughs> this is not gonna go well. Hey, is that what I think it is? Oh my god, it's not just a heart, it's a heart that looks like a break in it. It is, isn't it? A love letter, say it is, say it is. Thanks, little buddy. I appreciate that. Why don't you... Why don't you open it for us? Those, those assumptions of yours are really gonna not make you feel so good. I'm telling you, man. Probably a good first. <clears throat> I think I'll read this love letter out loud, because I know for a fact that it's a love letter. Oh, yeah, Jenny, you're gonna have to sit down for this one. Dear dysfunctional family, town tracks mud all over the house. Jenny thinks she's a frog. And the man of the house. Is it man enough to find another job? Well, I've had enough. I'm sorry, but you pushed me to the edge. Oh. The only option I've got left is divorce. Huh? Divorce? Ribbit? No! That is incredibly disappointing, and honestly, Mr. Sanderson, you are taking this incredibly well right now. Oh, I've got no time to lose! Oh, I, I, I've got to cook! Oh, I clean the house and fix uh, stuff! I have to win her back! Uh, uh, let's go, Jenny! Come on, Tao! Okay. Ribbit! Arf! Just as the dog and the frog of the house say. You- yeah, wow. Oh, slide on down that handrail there! It is time to get cooking and cleaning and everything else. Well, what a conniption it seems that we have ourselves in. Um, time to, uh, I guess, head on down and, uh, take a look and see what's going on elsewhere. Whew. That was a hefty pill to swallow. I'm gonna pick up the soda can and do my part. It's the only thing I can do as a little chibi robo. Let's get up here. Oh, can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? Ah, I could not do it. Oh well. What is that? Whoa! I didn't realize the space cruiser was up there, actually. That's pretty cool. Hey! That's pretty cool. Well, I gotta go talk to one of them, and I still need to give Tao his bone. Tao, don't you want your bone? I think there were two or three bones in this. I don't think there was only just one. If there was only one, then... Oh, well. Wishful thinking, I suppose. I love cleaning up the house now. Of course I do. I, I get I get happy points for it. Happy points is exactly what I need in my life. I don't need anything else. Uh, nice cleaning bonus there, cheapster. And my moolah bonus is much more. Cool. Just your very presence makes everyone happy, happy, happy. Just you saying it like that makes me weirdy, weirdy, weirdo doubt. Just a little bit. You know what? But I like your spunk. I like your spunk, Tilly, you know? You have energy, and that is good. The world needs some more energy like that. Isn't that right, Cheapster? Cheapster? Cheapster, why are you running? Why are you running, Cheapster? What are you trying to do? I'm gonna save this family! You bet you are. Yo, what are you doing gyrating out the back door, buddy? Time to water the backyard! Well, I mean, he's definitely reacting a whole hell of a lot better than 
I, mean, I don't really have a comparison, but to be perfectly honest, like, if your response to, I'm gonna get a divorce is, I'm gonna clean the house, I'm gonna try to win her back, then that's like, that seems like a really good, positive energy and positive, positive mental attitude. The world needs more of that. PMA, more PMA. Positive mental attitude. That's good in life. Yeah, you water that backyard, Mr. Sanderson. Nice. Number three. Shooby dooby 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 doo doo. And he sings too. What a guy. Tao, I got a bone for you. If you want it. Does he want bone? Looks like Tao wants something. Do, do you want to give something to him? Yes, I want to give him a bone. I've got a bone to pick with you. Just kidding, it's a bone to give you. Here you go, buddy. Or I can give you a stick. Dogs like, sti dogs like sticks, right? Whoop. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. There you go, buddy. I give this to you, my friend. Nine happy points. Good points. I got 25 moolah. Spreading the happiness. Oof, oof. Oh, yes. Good doggy. Very good. Oh, he seems to be enjoying that. That's a good thing. Good thing, good thing, good thing. Good things should spawn more good things. That's lovely. Alrighty then. Uh, Mr. Sanderson, can I help you out with anything in the small amount of time that I have left in the day to do so? Mr. Sanderson. Oh, I have a little time left. I have to talk to him now. I'm gonna do my best with the chores until Jenny's mom is in a better mood. The family's got to work together now to make her happy. I'm counting on you, Chibi Robo. The future of this marriage really rests on your shoulders, so, uh. Take that to heart, Chibi Robo. Chibi Robo, do you need some quiet time with good old television? No! No, please! Don't take me back to the bucket! No! We're going back to the bucket. Chibi House. Chibi House rules. Chibi House rules. Back in the bucket. Well, great work out there. You did really well for a potential divorce. Um, yeah, let's just move on, okay? We don't, we don't have to talk about it. You don't want to talk about it. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! Oh, but we have new items. Is it the radar? I can really use the radar right about now. I want to call forth the aliens. Mm hmm mm-hmm. I can find things not visible to the naked eye. I like to save? Absolutely. Time to get all this moolah, 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 moolah. So how much does that cost again? I need a, I need a new price goal. Seventeen hundred and thirty. That'll be fun. That's the next goal. Next goal is to get the Chibi Radar, because then I can summon the aliens. Bum, 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 bum. Well, it's nighttime now, so I think it is most advantageous of me to probably not bother Redcrest, because he seems to be preoccupied with his own stuff. I am, however, going to go upstairs and continue dealing with the folks in the Sunshine Room, because I do have some nectar left. So I should use that nectar. I've been meaning to do that for a little while, but now I finally can. Very, very nice. Nothing quite like a big old swig of water to uh, calm the body down, let the vocal cords rest a little bit, something like that, you know? Also, I have to find the crewmates. I think, if I'm correct in saying, now that I've started the mission uh, with Plankbeard, now I can actually start finding the, um, the, uh, whatever that, uh, the pirate crew, if that even is the case. Oh, they're doing training over there. I want to train with you guys, too! It's jungle training time, isn't it? It's indeed jungle training time. Alright, guy. What do you got? You want to begin jungle training? I do. I really do. Well, hurrah! It's time for jungle training. This exercise teaches you to shoot at the tattoo instead of your federal soldiers. Uh, all right, climb this vine to head into the jungle. You'll encounter all kinds of stuff in the jungle. Like elephants, intelligence indicates animals. And enemies are in the area. Eliminate all of the enemies without harming the animals. But you're training me to kill Tao. But th yeah, this seems a little counterintuitive. You know what? I'm cool with it. 
I'm cool. I'm cool with it. Don't don't kill the animals. Yo, free rangers! Yo, hard boiled! Go, 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 Alright, I'm going up, I'm going up. Here we go. Hurry it up, soldier. Okie dokie, here we go. Up to the top of the bees. Oh, I'm gonna need to use the power of um of the copter. Go, go, go. I, I'm going, I'm going. Jeez, I come on, I'm going. I'm not slower than any type of mud. Is mud really that slow? I mean, mud doesn't really move, so I guess I am pretty slow compared to mud. I feel like I don't actually need that other leaf. Hmm. Let's see, that's the one. Is that all I've got? Yes. Yes, sir. It's actually all I've got. Clearly, I don't have a potential radar and, and a blaster and many other tricks up my sleeve. Like, this is definitely all that I've got. For sure. Make my way across all the way to the other side. There we go. Now I can make my way back up to the top of the drop. The uh, jungle? Jungle. Is that? Yes. I'm gonna stop responding to those types of comments, you know? Okay, so do not hurt the animals. Eliminate all the enemy forces. Hello, you. Oh, I did not mean to put that away like that. Shoot. Are you an animal? You're an animal. What about you? Uh, I thought there was another thing right there. Animales? Are there more enemies around? There's an animal. Hello, you. Don't shoot more than once. There's definitely an animal behind that. Hello, you. Hi there. Is there another one? Another enemy. Oh, and that's just where I'm supposed to drop. Well, I think that was all of them. I hope. Here I go. Down I go. Bye-bye. I'm almost toward the bullseye. Oh, there we go. Oh, God. Why are you have to... No. Oh, my God. There we go. That could have been very close. Oh, my God. Wait, did I not kill all the enemies? Did I... Huh. Well, I guess I didn't kill all the enemies. Oh, because there's some sitting right there. Should I have done that, too? Oh, no! I might have missed that. Well, clearly I'm not very good at this particular episode. Oh, that was all. That's the enemy. Don't mistake it for an animal. I, I know that. Um... Sir, did I miss something? Can you... Can you tell me again? Drive the man crazy. <laughs> the jungle could drive the man crazy. I feel... Did I really miss something up there? I guess I missed an enemy. Shoot. Well, I guess I'm gonna head back up. I definitely did not pass jungle training. You know what? Time to die. Time to die! Is that all? I am going to opt for the gentleman's way out by jumping off a vine and um, being okay. Actually, wait, but I have moolah that I'm trying to conserve. Uh, I really don't have a lot of moolah. Oh, well, let's do it. Bye-bye, cruel world. Right? Cruel world? Cruel world. So long, cruel world. You were cruel, as I said, as I went. You have my permission to stop crying, television. I am here. It is I. The Cheebs to the Robes. Cheeby Robo. C to the H to the I to the B to the other I. Chibi. Hey oh, got him. I wanna save? Not really. Not particularly. Not this time. I wonder if I can go back to jungle training again. I feel like I missed something up there. I'd much rather redo it again from the very beginning than fess up to my own inadequacy. I'm not incompetent. I may be inadequate, according to Sarge. I'm not incompetent. That hits deep. That shit hits deep. I'm not incompetent. That's silly. Okie dokie. Let's try to see if they'll let me do jungle training again. I would appreciate it. Right, Sarge? Right, Sarge? Sarge. I just noticed those flowers, flower, mosquito, dragonfly things, kind of look like plugs. Everything looks like plugs in this room. I do want to begin jungle training. You're absolutely right. I'm very glad that you just kind of forgot about the last occurrence that we had, and you're kind of treating this as if it were the first time. I really appreciate that. I do not need training instructions. Uh, just don't ask why. Yes, free rangers. Oh yeah, go, 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 go. Okay, I need my blaster, and I need to shoot the guy. Oh, okay, I guess I don't need to shoot this one. Here I go! 
up we go to the top yet again jungle training it's jungle training baby Can I actually, like, climb with, with the cheat? I don't know. I'm not even going to bother doing that. I feel like I'd be wasting too much time if I try to determine whether I can actually climb with the chibi copter, like, equipped it. There we go. Let's do this. All the way to the other side. I'm trying to think where that other, like, rude dude might have been. I guess, like, I was I was attempting to rush through it, and I probably should have just taken my time. Been more, been more observant, you know? Be a little more observant for these types of missions. I mean, it takes a certain type of observance and uh, awareness of your surroundings in order to be a good soldier. So I've been told from somebody who definitely doesn't look like an egg. Not that I'm saying egg shape is, is bad. No, egg shape is very good. Don't hurt the animals. Hurt the enemy forces. You got it, son. Are there more? Hello, you. There is an animal. I literally almost fired on them. It's not good. Oh, there you are. I definitely did not hit you. There's another animal. Animal, animal. There's one guy. There's the other. There's another guy. There we go. And one more dude. And that was the one I needed. There we go. Time to jump. I guess I should have waited for the signal. There we go. Here I go, down to the bottom. Perfect. I did it another two minutes. Is that good enough, Sarge? I hope that was good enough. I think that's all I can muster. Jungle training time! One minute, 48 seconds, and 60. Yes. You passed jungle training! <gasps> well, thank you for that, Sarge. I knew I always would. I always knew I'd get to this point. Sarge just gave you 33 happy points. <laughs> all right, dude. Yeah, spread that happiness. Next stop is waterfall training! You soldiers are a disgrace! Dude, stop berating your soldiers. You want to encourage them. Eh, I mean, I guess that's it's your crew, so you do whatever you want to it. Let's do waterfall training. You want to do the waterfall training? Oh, you know it. Head to the waterfall! Waterfall. This will make your mind sharper than a dagger and your body harder than steel. Listen up, I do not want to repeat myself. Okay, you won't have to. March straight down this way, soldier. Okay, straighting down to the waterfall. Oh my god, there's a... Never noticed there was a waterfall over there. Wow. That was pretty cool. Never knew that. Wow. And then I gotta go all the way up to the top, maybe? Do I have to shoot them? You'll eventually reach the waterfall. When you get there, you have to climb to the top and meet up with Private Frisco. And, and we're free rangers and we're hard boiled. Go, 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 banana, rotate, banana. Oh my God, dude's like slipping on the floor through all of this. Am I not supposed to be going up this way? I feel like this is not the way I'm supposed to be going. However, I am going to do this the only way that I know how to. Using my ingenuity and, I don't know, literally anything else I've got. Let's say gumption. Ingenuity and gumption. And grit. And hustle. Those are important words. I'll come back for you later. Let's see if this gives me to a nice advantageous position. I'm gonna try it. That was pretty good. I like that. Unless you're gonna tell me that I cheated. I hope you don't tell me that I cheated. Hey, hey! Die. Oh my god. No, stop that. Don't shoot at me. What's the matter with you? Why you gotta shoot at me like that? Oh, don't shoot. I don't like it when you shoot like that. Don't do that. That's very disrespectful. Oh my god, did that work? Oh my god. Here we go. Oh my god, go up, go, go, go up. Oh my god, why? What are you doing? I can't walk around. Wait, what are you doing? No private, there we go. Well, I seem to be stuck. It appears that I am stuck on the wrong side of the thing above. Oh, this is not good. All right. Cheapster, what are you doing, my guy? Cheapster, my dude. Please don't fall, please don't, you're gonna, okay, well that was not too bad, I guess. Uh, well that ain't good. Well, I guess I'll grab a, frog thing while I'm over here before I die again. Can I get inside there? How am I not, like, dying from the water? I'm a robot. 
Um, yeah, I'm gonna die. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, cruel world. Cruel world, goodbye. Maybe. Let me live on as a member of the free society. Free range. We're free range eggs. Eggs, get it? Egg, just eggs and free range chickens and... Anyway, I'm gonna die again. Is there like a restart button for this? I don't want to have to die. Eh, it looks like I'm dying. All right. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Bye, everybody. Let me die again. Actually, I could have just used this trauma suit. Why don't I just use the trauma suit? Okay. At this point, I am going to plug in my headphones because they are actually finally running low on charge. I actually just got new headphones, and so these ones have been going strong for about eight and a half hours, and I can see the red thing on the bottom of my computer screen saying that they need a charge. So let's plug it in. There we go. Now it's charging again. Oh, Chibi Robo! Oh, I'm back alive, don't worry. It was just a concept of water training. Waterfall training. It's a, it's tough. Not everybody makes it out alive. I did not make it out alive. But I have multiple lives. Therefore, I'm fine. Unlike those other eggs, when I hit the ground, I don't crack like that. That's good. What's up, dude? Alright. Sounds good. Let us continue to train to be the best eggs in the world. All right, well, let's try this waterfall training again. This time, I'm hopefully not going to die so terribly. I don't want to, but it happens sometimes. Sometimes you gotta die to learn how to live. I feel like that is definitely a quote from someplace, although... Nah, I, I would have no idea, honestly. I don't think I'd be able to figure it out. Hey, Sarge, I'm ready for the waterfall again. The waterboarding? Was it waterboarding or waterfall? Oh, whatever. <laughs> Anything for the free range core, right? 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 Yes, yes, waterfall training, please. Please don't yell at me, Sarge. Sarge, I, I have very sensitive mechanical ears. These diaphragms can't take so much energy like that. Please don't explain the training. I just have to get to private, uh, I think it was Frisco. Yes, free range, hard boiled. Go. Go, go, banana. Go, banana, go, go. I feel like it'd be actually more beneficial for me to go down from the bottom, but uh, it's just so much more cool. I don't know. If this next attempt doesn't work, I'll try it from the bottom, but I might go on up here a whole lot more. It's still cool up here. Isn't that right, Cheapster? Right? Cheapster, you agree with me? Uh, run if you agree. Yes, of course. Of course, Cheapster. I am kind of running out of time for the evening now, so I don't think if I get it in this trial, I'll be able to in general. Copper time! Trying to make it over there again. This time, directly? Oh, yeah, nice! There we go. That's the proper surface to be on. Awesome! No, no, no! Oh, dear! Nope! Go up the ladder! There we go! Yes, don't fall! Don't fall! No, do not fall! Oh, good. I'm very glad that you did not shoot at me like that. That would be just unfortunate. Nice. And then nice. Are you the right one? Are you the right guy I want to talk to? Hey, buddy. I did it! Finish! Yes! Waterfall training time! 1 minute, 12 seconds, and 91. You passed the waterfall training! And everybody is surprised. Welcome to the Free Range Corps. Isn't that right, everybody? 33 happy points. That's 33 more happy points that I had before. Now I'm happy, 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 happy. Insert like 20 more happies there. Or so, so like that. And the soldiers are a disgrace and Chibi Robo reigns supreme. I know, I know. The Cheapster is the ultimate. Naturally. Everybody knows it. Cheapster is a rock star. All right. I have a little bit left in the night. Uh, actually, is there any more training to do for you guys? I think hot ride training is another one. I always think I, I think if I remember correctly, I always struggled for hot rod training. Done for the day. You got it. Uh, I wanted to go upstairs to talk to Sunshine Bear, but uh, whatever. Lower my lighting a little bit. The, the lighting is getting darker and darker as the day comes to an end. It is now a glorious almost 7 o'clock here on the East Coast. I mean, these great United States. What a, what a grateful time that is. Almost 7 p.m. 
Good stuff. I've been awake apparently for too long. Just kidding. I'm very much enjoying this. Uh, if Honestly, if I wasn't enjoying it at this point, that'd be unfortunate. Why would I subject myself to something like that? Who knows? Maybe I like it. Because I do. I do like it. That's why I do that. Chibi ranking is still 9 to get the next bonus. You need 207 more. I got it. All I'm here. Do I like to save it? Yeah, I completed waterfall training. That's like a huge achievement. That's something you put up on the fridge. That's a really huge achievement. Um, I don't have enough money for anything else, so. I do want my radar at some point, though. I will work to get my radar. The radar will come eventually. They always do. Everything comes eventually. All right. Are there any more frog rings in this room that I haven't gotten to? I know, like, that one up there. But I feel like there's something else I need to do before I go up there. Was there always a ball up there? I don't remember. Redcrest is up there just hanging about. Whatever. I'm gonna go to your room, Jenny. Is that okay with you? I'm gonna go up to your room. And talk to your bear. Because that's a thing that I do. And I'm gonna pick up the trash. Oh, you're sad. Oh, that's angry mom to a very small dad. Is dad actually that small? Is mom actually a lot taller than dad is? Because, honestly, it also hits pretty deep. My fiance's a little bit taller than me. Depending on what shoes we're all wearing. But usually a little taller than me. Usually. Sir, sir! We have a problem! Oh, that was the one of the, the little guys. Sir, we have a problem. Whatever. Oh, what's the problem? Is somebody missing? Oh, are they going to AWOL? Report! I had to figure out who that was. Oh, they went AWOL. Nope. Bye-bye, soldiers. Some men have gone AWOL. Uh-oh. Well, that's no good. What? How could this be? Um, because they went AWOL. They just kind of walked away. Waddle waddle. And they waddled away. Maybe it's all my fault. Sure, I was tough on him, but it was only because I didn't want to lose any more men. But all that did was make me lose him faster. And some of them will become pirates. Bunker busters, what have I done? I'm... I'm a disgrace. A soft-boiled, undercooked disgrace. So many more egg puns. I'm not fit to be a fried egg sandwich. What a statement. Troops dismissed. You're a disgrace to the name of Free Ranger. And I'm not worthy to lead you. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Oh, oh, God. oh he's walking away. Oh, my God. Oh. Where are your boys at, Sarge? Where are all your boys? Oh, the frog ring is up there in the waterfall. Ah, I understand now. But where are the boys at? Where are the boys, where are the boys, where are the boys at? Hey, Sarge. Sarge, here we go. Buddy, Sarge, can you come back here? I have some questions I need to ask you. Let's say, hypothetically, your boys, your men, your guys, uh, decide to become pirates. Is that cool? Is that cool with you? Because I think it's going to happen. I feel like this is a very, very likely future. Not that I'm a robot who can tell the future. I definitely cannot tell the future. Although there's this dude in the basement who claims to see, like, the future and stuff like that. Um, the great Pico. Pico. Like, T. Oh! It's a dude with a teapot as a hat. Pico is a type of tea. Oh, it totally makes sense. I just got that. I would have only known that starting last year because only last year did I read that book on tea. And I, I bought tea because it was mentioned in the book. That, oh, that. That's clever. That is very clever. Good props to you, Chibi Robo folks. You get my approval on that one. That's my one-handed clap for you. It's, uh, it's very easy to get. So, I mean, like, it's not a big achievement, but it's what I can give you. Here, actually, here's my... There's my other one. There we go. There's my two-handed clap. It's, um... It's harder to come by than the one-handed clap. Or, maybe. Honestly, you know, you did, you've earned it. You've earned it. There's a lot of work with this game. It's a good game. I know you're hearing this, like, almost a decade later. Probably more than a decade. I don't even know how long this game has been out for. But, um... You've earned it, my friend. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. Alright, well, time to go talk to, uh, Snuffle Bears. Nope, not like that. Actually, how do I get up there? 
Oh wait, I oh oh. Well, I'll go grab the uh, the frog ring actually while I'm in this location as I make my way over to the room because frog rings are Gucci Gucci gumdrops because it makes Jenny feel better and Jenny's in a bit of a dysfunctional household right now so any kind of happiness that she can get is beneficial for her development. Or at least I'm sure some child psychologist would agree. Alright, get on up here so I have a little more, more distance to that other thing over there. If I can, let's see if I can. No, stop! Ah, uh, I don't want you to do that. Go up, please. Thank you. There we go. Can I get it? Can I get it? Get it? Get it on the ledge? Now, I know there's a chibi door up there, somewhere. I will retrieve that. I told you I'd come back for you later, and my goodness, do I keep my promises. I'm a man of my word, except for my word I forget about. If I forget about my word, then I, I'm sorry. I will think about that eventually. But you have to tell me that I forgot about it, or else, well, I'll never know. I am the kind of person who forgets things a little bit, or doesn't notice things that are right smack in front of my face. It happens a lot. But you know, that's why I have plenty of post notes around, pieces of paper to remind me what I have forgotten. Like various things that happened on screen, you know, it's a, little, it's a little difficult to keep track of like absolutely everything that people wind up mentioning, so I got a, I got a list to it. I write things down. Alright, got everything in there, and now I want to make my way to the waterfall. Is there any like trash on top of there? Is there any benefit to going all the way up to the top? There might be like a secret chibi door up there, but I really can't tell until... Oh, right. I can't get in there until I turn the waterfall off. Maybe there's a switch somewhere. I think there's actually a switch somewhere for the top. Maybe. Or something like that. Maybe that... Maybe that... Maybe that there we go. I'm gonna run out of energy. I'm not good. Was there a switch at the top? Somewhere around the edges? There's the switch. There we go. I gotta shoot it with my gun. Boop. There's the switch. Time to turn off the waterfall. I feel like this might have been one of the ones that I missed. Not knowing how to get in the inside. Oh, I don't want to turn it back on. Oh, I accidentally turned it back on. Definitely did not mean to do that. I'm going to turn it back off again, because that's what I meant to do. And, uh, yeah, now I'm going to go get that frog over here. I'll get the frog. There we go. It's probably not a lot, right? Yeah. Frog ring. Frog ring gets... Nice. Janet, Janet, I got you your frog ring. Anything else in this area that I should know about? Oh, the red block. Yeah, that's probably important. Not exactly right now, but eventually. Eventually. When I finally meet Diamond. Um, this might be a spider attack area, which I would be wise to accept in the onslaught. Yes, hi there, everybody. I'm gonna try to do this systematically so I don't waste any shots. There we go. Hey, buddy. And then the other one. I don't want to waste any shots because I don't really have... I didn't have a lot of charge left. But that worked. Let's collect these ruffles and then I'll go into the room, throw the ruffles in the garbage, and go recharge myself. And try to talk to the Sunshine Bear. Who I'm sure is very happy to receive. But mostly the Nectar. But also kind of me. But mostly the Nectar. Oh, well. Trash time. Pop it in. Lob it in with ah. Aha. And aha. And aha. And aha. 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 And plenty of stuff to go in the garbage. Can I like, if I get to the crumbs and I don't want to throw them in the garbage, can I like save them? If I click the B button or something? I got a lot of trash. This is all the moolah I can. Oh my god. Actually, this is really good. Wow. Alright, for the crumbs in there. It's okay. That was good. Nice. Lots and lots of money. That's very good. Time to... Oh, cutscene time? Apparently. Oh, what's going on? Aw, oh, more buddy. You seem sad for some reason. <sighs> it's okay, buddy. I'll come to you. I'll go up there and I'll make you feel better. I'll put that, push that button on your back and make you feel alive again. Although you were always kind of dead, but, you know. Sunshine needs an intervention. You're damn right Sunshine needs an intervention. I'm gonna go fuel the addiction by uh, giving him some nectar in the pot, you know? I feel that this is best for me. I have to work on myself first and look out for number one, and then I can worry about the safeguards of other people's addictions and habits. So, there is progress to be made. 
So I will... I'll give him what he wants. He wants the nectar? By God. He'll have the nectar. Hey, but... I'm getting unhappy flashbacks. Hey, um... Buddy? Buddy? I got... Got something for you. Doing alright? Uh, maybe I should talk to you, but maybe we should just talk things out first. Right? Look. Oh, look at him go. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, I don't even think I need to narrate this one. This provides all the narration on its own. Um, excuse me. <laughs> okay. You, you can... Um... Are you done there, sir? You done yet? How about now? You done now? Oh, um... <clears throat> sorry to interrupt your meal. Huh? <laughs> now, how long have you been standing there? Oh, um, not very long at all. <laughs> we just, just got here, honestly. You should have at least said something. I, I, I did, but, uh... You did what? Uh, um, is, this, is there something wrong? Uh, we, we just kind of bet, so I'm a little unaware of what's going on. What? Oh, it's nothing. I'm sorry. Everything's all hunky-dory. <laughs> sorry about that. Well, my name is Sunshine. It's nice to meet you. This is the uh, first time we've met, isn't it? Yes. And you are? Um, this is Ch Chibi Robo. And uh, I'm Telly, his manager. Chibi Robo and Telly. Oh, yes, I see. What nice names. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you all. Uh, yes. Ah, oh, nice to meet you too. Well, uh, we should, we should get going, I think. Yeah. Nectar! Nectar! Ah, uh, is, is something wrong? Are you okay? You're convulsing really uncomfortably and making me... Uh... Holy shit! I'm hungry! Dude, love that guitar rift. I'm hungry for nectar! Bring me some nectar! Nectar from a flower! Bring it now! Don't make me hurt you! Douse me with it! I wanna roll around in it! Sweetie Bear needs nectar! Nectar! Oh, bring me the nectar! I can't help it! Ah, this man is going absolutely batshit. Oh! Um, Chibi Robo, we need to find this bear some nectar stat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a good thing I brought a tube full. Uh, where are you, buddy? Should I just put it in your little um, thing over here? Or where'd you go? Um, how? Hmm. Well, um, that was a thing that happened. I can't, every single time I remember this happening, I never quite remember it being as terrifying as it was when I was younger. Uh, well, you're not around here. Can I put it in the pot? Put it in your pot? You want some? No? no? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll come back later. We'll, we'll, we'll find you another time. We'll find you another time. I think you need to take a moment. Or two. Or as many as you need, really. Oh, there you are, buddy! Hey! Oh, okay. Moment's over. Can you stop convulsing? What are you- Oh. Hey, hey, pal. Pal, just close your mouth. Close your mouth. Don't, don't eat- Don't slurp with your mouth open. Here you go. Nectar? Douse you in nectar? Yeah? Yeah? Is, is that good? Is that okay? Mm. Nectar! My sweetest friend! Yeah, 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 exactly. I'm full of growth and happiness now. Why, thank you so much, Chibi Robo. I, I like nectar, as you can clearly see. I have a problem, which you can clearly see. I, I can't see anybody because there are no therapists in this house. Do you provide therapy? Well, as a matter of fact, I've given therapy to the missus, so providing therapy to you probably wouldn't be too far off, right? Right, buddy? Yeah, yeah. That, that, that good? Would you like some more nectar? 
you okay? I'm nutso for nectar! I did some alliteration there because it makes it friendlier for the children, so I'm not as terrifying as I would be if I didn't do any alliteration. Alliteration is very important. It's a very important and underrepresented literary device. All right, pal. I believe you. Well, I finally talked to Sunshine. Very, very Sunshine. If by sunshine we mean that, of course, the sun is a fiery fusion reactor that is constantly spitting out gigatera petawatts of energy and trying to kill literally everything in the universe, yet somehow providing its life. Yeah, that's sunshine. A raging ball of fire. Plasma. Which is fire. So, there's your science lesson today. Anyway, time to go talk to Mort. Mort seems to be the person to talk to. What is all that television? Oh, I should go talk to the television. Not talk to the television. I should go in back to the television. Actually, how are you doing today, Pitts? Uh, I haven't talked to you in a hot minute. Here, come, come here. Hey, girl, what's up? Who's been bringing me flowers? It must be a secret admirer. I'm sure he's just a wonderful person. I'm sure he is. You're absolutely right. I'm gonna go talk to him, actually. You know who he is? No. I may. Let's not worry about it. What is it? Oh, it's the it's the it's the signal in the backyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's supposed to tell me that aliens are coming. Right? A aliens are coming. That's, that's exactly what that means. Don't you know? These aliens are coming. Down we go. Yum. Happy points. Happy points are good. Happy points make me happy. Happy points make me happy, and nectar makes sunshine happy. Without happy points, it makes me sad. And without nectar, sunshine terrifies me. Hey, Mort, buddy. Um, how you doing? Um, I have a couple of crayons. Let me go take care of this first. There's a little bit of trash up here. I'd love to have a conversation with you, but to be honest, I really can't work in this environment, so I'm gonna go clean up a little bit, and then, uh, then we can go back to what we're doing. It's a crayon box. I can put a crayon in it. It's a good thing I left at least one crayon in there, or I would have never known that that was a crayon box. Oh, Mom, give me some happy points. Spread the happiness. I don't think I have any more crayons on me. I think I only have the one for now. Yep. Yet the Rooney Positooney only got the one. And now I've got none, because I gave it. I exchanged it for happy points. Everybody knows happy points are the way to go. Always, always the way to go. Well, now I got this trash. Mort, uh, I'm ready to take care of you now. Uh, small therapist Chibi Robo, come on, uh, come to the rescue. Hey, what's up, buddy? A hero and a princess, a time worn cliche, isn't it? Uh, yes, we all know that story, don't we? But I'm sure Princess Pitts would rather have lovely fresh flowers instead of my withered flowers. Whenever I touch a flower, it dies. If a lovely nectar flower were to bloom here, I'm sure Princess Pitts would be very happy. Well, you see, the thing is there, Mort, that I can help you with this. I happen to have the patented Chibi Robo Digamajigger, and I'm gonna dig a hole. Then, I'm going to plop in this hole a little nectar flower. Watch this. Do you have any tears that I could water this with, perhaps? Um, let's see. I have this squirt thing full of nectar. Might as well not let the nectar go to waste. Hey! Um, what's your face? Sunshine, was it? Yeah, totally not problematic and addicted. Um, I got something for you. I just don't want to let it go to waste, so I figure I'd give it to you, who is all happy, 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 and will give me some happy points for it. We all want to be happy, isn't that right? I'm gonna run out of time. Um, actually, I don't even know if there's any water running. I have the water running the other day. Would you like some more? Yeah, it's nectar, my favorites. You're right. Yay, I'm covered in nectar. I can dance around cause I'm covered in nectar. Everything I do makes me wet with nectar. It doesn't come out in the washing machine. Would it? Would it come out in the washing machine? I mean, nectar's water-based, right? Cause plants? I'm sure it comes out pretty easily. Would you like more nectar? Soap on the jewelry! 
You're so full of joy? Good, 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 good. Well, I don't really... I mean, I have this other nectar. I wonder if there's any water around here. Uh, there probably isn't. I don't see of any water around here. Technically, there's water in the waterfall outside, but that's a little far away for the time that I have here. So I think what I'll do with the rest of my time here is attempt to get the crayons that are inside a little thing over here. That might be advantageous going forward. It's just another thing that I can work on. Fun stuff. Fun stuff with the Cheapster. Cheapster time is here again. Alright, so let's go up this flower. Oh, and then fall to the test of time. Isn't that right, Cheap? Heading out again? You got it! Oh, heading to Rosa's? Awesome! You'll learn. I know you will. Have fun out there. Alrighty then, and I got a little bit of scrap for a Utilibot too. I'm still a little bit low on Moolah to buy the radar. So I'm working on that. Cyclotron. Foyer warp. Sweet. Yeah, I'll build a warp. Warp tech is awesome. I think that warps me from the bottom to the top. So easy. Easy mode. Bop it in the system. Bopped it in the system. Nice. And then out pops something on the other side. A barrel. It's a Utilibot. Duh. <laughs> Don't you know that? Thanks so much, Telly. You're always appreciated. Wait, you I love you. Oh. Robots can't love, but they can be loved. Remember that. Alright, let's try to see. I there are some stuff. There's also more stuff in that room that I want to take care of. I'm gonna go outside and collect some water. You guys leave the door open at night? What's up with that, dude? I don't need that. I don't need to leave the door open. You're just burning off all the electricity and the AC. Maybe that's another reason that your wife is angry at you. You always let all the air out. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Get some water over here. Nectar flowers look like they could use a little water in. Peace out, baby. Let's see about getting some water over here. And then I can water some of the plants, and I'll water the nectar flower that's currently growing in Jenny's room. There should be water right over here. I want to collect the goggles and stuff in that room, and that should be very, very good. That'll be advantageous. Water. Water, water, water. Go back here, pick up the stick, water some of the flowers. I don't remember if watering the flowers outside does anything. I don't know, water them anyway, because that's a nice thing for the Cheevester to do. Cheevester's a nice kind of guy. Oh, it looks like there might be spiders back there. Trying to mess up our fun times. Looking for a fight? Hankering for a fight there, guys? Gotta, gotta get a fight? Nope, no fight. So I will clean up your mess. Interesting how, like, the grease doesn't, like, absorb into the ground. Because, like, I feel like that's how it would work out. But I, I can do that. I, I don't know. I'm not an engineer who did, deals with, uh, with, with, um... What do you call it? Uh, dirt. Dirt. That would be a civil, like, civil engineer. Good, good? Nope. Okay, that doesn't really do anything. That's fine. I don't need that nectar. Oh, woo. Oh, woo. Oh, woo. Oh, woo. Oh, woo. All the wolves outside. Actually, there, there should be wolves around here. What a suburban village. Maybe? Is this suburbia? Feels like suburbia. Nice yellow house in the distance. Uh, oh, you have a red house? Yeah, a red house. Oh, look, there's a... Oh, yeah, top of the tree. And then we can get up there, get the white brick, and there's other doors all around. Oh, hey, everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Well, I mean, you were supposed to be my friends, but you're not actually my friends. And because you're not my friends, I am going to show no mercy. Actually, would I show mercy if you were my friend? 
I mean, if you had to die, then why would I sure mer mercy you kill you quickly? You're my friend, so if I have to kill you, I'll kill you quickly. Yeah, yeah that would make sense. You are my friends. Or at least that's what the manufacturers intended us to be. But, you know, that's okay. That just means I will have to, uh, kill you quicker. Kill you nice and easy. <laughs> kill you nice and easy, like that. Mwah, lickety split. Easy. Easy. Easy die. Easy die. So let's make our way back up to Janet's room. Janet's room. And then there's like two crayons in there that I want. I think there's the snorkel and the goggles that I want. I'm trying to collect all the stuff in Jenny's room. And I also want to walk the plant. Of course. Of course I need to walk the plant. There we go. Just in my light and just a little bit more because it gets dark around here. And when it gets too, when it gets really, really dark, that's what I like. Which I like a bit. Do I want to know how to use the warp field, Tillabot? No. I already know how to, but thank you. You already know how to use it? You must have been reading your manual. Yes. I definitely read the manual. I love how it like sucks me into the ground and then pushes me back up elsewhere. It's exquisite. Exquisite. All right. Now that we're up here, hey pal, hot rod racing. Uh, I don't really want to do that now. That was not usually one of my strong suits. Oh, hey, you sleeping on the ground? Sleeping on the ground? Oh, it's okay. You're, you're working hard, man. You're working hard right now, so I'll clean it back for you. It's no problem. No problem. I love your uh, Drake Redcrest uh, sleeping bag. Like exquisite. What's this over here? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Oh, it's the book. You must really like the book. That's good. Be into what you're being into. If you're into it, dude, just be into it. Right, Dad? Yeah, you the best, Dad. Good guy. I always wondered over here, like... Oh, this is like... Like, these things over here are completely bent and battered. Like, was it the spy doors? I don't know. I don't know what caused that. I don't remember if that's ever covered, like, within the storyline of this game. Whether we ever tackled that. I'm unsure. Alright, Jenny. Oh, I see the television going, and it's probably telling me about... Oh, they're all watching TV. Alright, that's pretty scary, Jenny. Do you realize what you're watching? Do you realize what you're exposing yourself to? That's like alien tech right there. That could, like, melt your brain, dude. Just remember that. I'm not gonna stop you, because I'm not your parents. But remember, it could melt your brain. Turn it into mashed potatoes. Not even mashed potatoes. Liquid potatoes. And doesn't that sound disgusting? I don't know if liquid potatoes sounds good or just downright like. Yeah. Although, I've yet to try it, so I can't just dismiss it as a, a bad thing. Oh, did I want to save? Yeah, I'll save over this other one over here. The staggered file. There we go. Ready? Let's go. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go up to here so I can. What was I doing? Watering the plant. Watering the plant that is yet to bloom. Watering the seed. That's what I'm watering. A hey, Mort? Buddy Mort? Also, I noticed now, too, like, Jenny is completely unbothered by the fact that her toys are walking around her room, so... Not even Toy Story- somebody brought up Toy Story logic before. This is not even Toy Story logic. It is beyond that. If you were innocent enough to believe, you were innocent enough to, um, just, just kind of let it happen. My toys are talking to me and walking around the room. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Um, can I... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, can I water you? I don't want to water you specifically. I'd rather water the plant. Oh, hey, Mort. Didn't mean to do that. Um. You are a hero. Brave. Fighter of fires. Unfortunately, I was not on fire. Oh. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm putting out the fire with the water. Exquisite. Can I water this? Oh, do I have to do it from this distance, maybe? Like, gotta have a little distance on there, maybe? Right? Perhaps? Yeah, did that work? I don't know if this works or not. I did water the plant. Maybe I gotta be up on top. Or maybe I just let it happen. What, can I t should I talk to you? Did you see that I planted the nectar flower? Are you cool with that? Hmm. Oh. Well, I just wanted you to be proud of me. But even if you're not proud of me, it's okay. I'm not disappointed. It's just everybody needs our time. It's okay, Mort. I accept you. However, I am going to try now squirting from this vantage point and seeing if it makes it any better. So uh, if I splash you a little bit, I 
Well, I warned you. Nice. I don't think that did anything. All right, got it. time to go find some crayons or something and uh, see what kind of weird voodoo shit uh, Jenny's watching. Yeah, voodoo. Oh, there's a crayon right there. Oh, I, need to get, I need to grab that crayon. I require that crayon so I can fill up the box properly. There may be three crayons remaining, perhaps, perchance. I'll get up there. Yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. It looks like there are three... Looks like three crayons missing, and there's one of them down there. But first, before we even do that, let's clean this up a little bit. You can draw it all over your desk when you address me again, Jenny. What do you gotta do there, Jenny? Jenny? What do you gotta do there? You gotta clean up after your mess, Jenny. Come on. You gotta clean up after your mess, Jenny. Clean it up. There you go. Clean it up. And go down with the helicopter and grab this little drawing thing right here. It's called a crayon. And now it's my crayon! Because it's red. Red is not my favorite color. I like the blue crayon. But that, I don't think we needed to grab. I'll push it off the edge. And then fly down with it. Nice. I love points. Happy points. I'll clean up some of the ground over here, too. Just, to, just trying to help out. Just trying to help out. Uh, you know, actually, I'll conserve my energy for when I come back down. There's also a... Um, I almost called him Potato Man. Egg Dude up at the top of that dresser up there. Is, does that come up on my... It doesn't actually show up on my radar, which would make it incredibly difficult to find otherwise, so it's a good thing I saw him. Otherwise, I may never get the crew back together for the pirate ship. Captain Plankner will be so angry with me. Not that I care. I'm a robot. I don't have feelings. Do I? Maybe when I become super chibi robo, I will gain consciousness. Or maybe that's not what Citrus Soft had in mind. Or maybe that is what they had in mind. I don't really know. Is there any concept of the self in this game? Do we cover any concepts such as that? I am unsure. Chibi Robo, I don't think, goes that deep. Although, I'd be cool. it'd be pretty cool if they did. Though it's not necessary. It's, it's definitely not necessary. We don't need to go that deep. I don't need to be questioning myself and what it means to be human. Or not human. Uh, with this game. That's a, that's a little too deep. I don't think I'm going to be able to make that from here. I'm sure I'll, I'll give it a try. It did not work. But there is a little thing down there. And if I shoot it with my little, uh... Shoot him a jigger, then I will be able to succeed. Boop. Yep, nice. Oh, don't fall down. Let's plug myself in to adventure. Right? That's that's the basically the title of this game. Plugging into adventure. Is this adventure? Wow, this is what adventure is really like. It's even better than they describe it in the picture books. Okay, so let's try to see if I can get myself up from here. No. That helps a little bit, but that only gets the crayon. I feel like I need to be higher up to get to that last one. Not unless I finagle. Nah, I don't think that's gonna work. I'm just gonna go down from here. I need to go to a higher vantage point in order to get that. Is it really already this late in the night? Wow. How much time did I spend in here already? Oh, well, I guess I I got two crayons. There's one more, little more crayon left. That's good. What's the best way to get all the way up to the- Oh, you know what? Best way is probably to go all the way to the top up there and then move my way around. Uh, oh, yeah. How do you get it? Ah, I see the handbags. I see the handbags. That's how I'll get up there. The handbags. They've got strings that I can climb because I'm, I'm a little robot. Dude. I can climb strings normally. Just saying I'm more able to do it now because I'm a little robot. Dude. I don't know if I have enough energy to get up there. However, I sure as hell will try. Doop -doop -doop. That's fine. You're fine, you're fine. Oh, pfft, I wasn't fine. Alright, I guess I'm gonna collect some energy. Ho hum dum de dum. I guess I might as well talk to Jenny while I'm down here, or the game will make me talk to Jenny. Why are you going green, dude? Why are you going green? Circle, middle, radar. Oh, okay. Alright. Well, if you say so, buddy. Haha, <laughs> alright. Sunshine, what's your take on this? She crazy? Uh, why would I ask you? You got a pretty bad baseline to compare it to. Jenny's gone nuts, though. Okay, cool. Glad we're on the same page. She hasn't been sleeping at night because she's all worried about her mom. She doesn't even notice me dancing around here. I don't know how to speak, Rimitis. But I do. Ta da! Rimitis? Hello. Oh, same old, same old. Circle, middle, right, whatever. Yep, radar. 
Circle middle radar. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. Okay, cool. Alrighty then. That's pretty cool. So long as you're entertained. Nope, don't want to go up there. I want to go over to the charging port. Actually, not really. There's really no point for me to go over the charging port. What do I gain from that? It's already so close to the end of the night. It doesn't even matter. Did it really take me that long to get up here? I'm trying to think, what else did I do along the way? Maybe I did something else and I just completely forgot about it. Oh, man, time flies when you're having fun, I guess. I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna get that thing. Oh, wait. Yo, I'm gonna shoot the wall. I'm gonna shoot the kill. Shoot the wall. Did it work? Long range shot not working? Maybe? Oh, I missed it. How about a little bit higher? A little bit higher now. Nope, a little bit higher now. That might act that not actually work. Let's see. No, okay, I don't think I'm far. I, I think I'm too far away from it. I gotta get over there. Oh, time to get back to the chibi house, aka the bucket of bolts, because it literally looks like a bucket in my memory. It's very bucket-like. Very bucket-like this particular evening. Oh! Oh? Good morning. Good morning. Chibi ranking is still nine. Well, nine, which means no in German. So I reject your reality and I substitute my own. That's not my joke. It's not mine. It's a uh, something from Mythos, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was uh, Jamie Heineman who did it. Not Jamie, the other guy. Adam Savage, that was the guy. Recyclatron. Oh, I can buy my radar now. Time to go to the center of the radar and bring forth the aliens from another planet. Now I've got the radar. Radar is good. Radar is very good. Now I've got it. And what will I do now? Summon some aliens? What do you think? Aliens? Aliens. All I can imagine is, I don't remember, um, was it, uh, it's not Mitsuyo Kaku. I don't remember who the guy is who's at the aliens to just like, <laughs> aliens. Aliens to I remember that meme fondly. Fondly. Fondly remember that meme. There we go. It's gotten a whole hell of a lot darker over here, so uh, excuse me if I adjust my red Does that not go any darker than that? Oh, well, I guess that's as dark as that light goes, so, uh, yeah, all right. A little pasty this evening, but I have very white skin, so, hey, what do you expect? This is all I can, this is all I can do. I'm working with what I got over here. I'm working with what I got. And I think it looks beautiful! It's even more beautiful if I wanted to change colors. That's the fun part. That's a smart LED, that's a smart LED light bulb up there. It's connected to my internet. Someone's gonna hack me, they're gonna hack me through my light bulb. <laughs> what a concept. It's happened before. I'm pretty sure that has happened before. I'm not just making that up. I'm gonna try to go back upstairs and, um... Oh, wait, no, 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 radar. Oh, well, it has to be at night. The radar has to be at night. So I will go back upstairs and attempt to find the other crayons because we're all looking for happy points right now. Happy points are good points. Good points are happy points. What's in your happy? I don't know. I'm trying to see if we can make some adjustments up there. Maybe the fact that Mort is in front of that thing is why I can't water her right now. Well, you know, I can always go into uh, Mom's room too, so uh, to see like Dinah. But I really want those crayons. I don't know why, but I have this, I have this urge to get all the crayons. So, being that it is currently at the forefront of my mind, and I will not be able to forget about it, and they'll get that crayon. <gasps> and I'm gonna shoot these little guys. Perish! Perish! You've perished. Thank you. Although it was definitely not advantageous to you, I'm very happy that you decided to abide by my request anyway. So, thank you for that. Always very appreciated. Because I'll charge myself up before I go. Or, yeah, nah, I don't think I need the charge from here. I got plenty of charge left. Plenty, plenty, plenty of charge to get up to the top. I'm gonna get Egg Boy, and then I'm gonna get Crayon. And hopefully snorkel and goggles too. I want all that stuff. I don't. I want to say snorkel and goggles was for eggplant dude. Could be wrong about that. I know where eggplant dude is though. Maybe that was it. I don't really know. I'll get it for whatever reason. Or maybe it allows Chibi Robo to swim. No, it doesn't. Why would he even need a snorkel? Like he doesn't breathe. It's a robot. <laughs> it's a robot. Silly. Robots don't breathe. Unless they're designed to help facilitate breathing, like an iron lung, but I don't think an iron lung is considered a robot because I don't believe it's autonomous. I don't know. I remember taking a robotics class and we kind of explained like what a robot is and what a robot isn't, and I'm pretty sure one of the requirements is it has to be like relatively autonomous. Um 
But I don't know. Don't take it from me. It's not like I majored in robotics. Just electrical and computer engineering. Just whatever. Look at you having a good time in the mirror over there. Oh, yeah. You go, man. You go. You go get him, queen. Yeah. You look like a pirate now, don't you? Yeah, you do. You do. You're very pirate-like now. But so long as you're into it, I'm into it. You're into it. He's into it. And if he's into it, well, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, no. I didn't want to... Okay. Guess we're doing that now. What a pleasant little town up here that nobody would ever have access to, because why would they? Like, it's not like Jenny can get up here. Whatever. In the meantime, I'm gonna go grab this block. Please excuse all the num num numing outside. I, they like to do that. Who? I don't know. Just just the locals. I right, so actually that's a very that's a very odd thing to say. I'm considered a local too. I've been here for about a year. I, I'm local. The other locals. In addition to myself, I don't really need that happy point. I gotta get those things over there. There's plenty of gooks all over the wall. Is gook a bad word? I don't know why, but I just had the thought that a gook is not a nice word. But, like, if there's gook all over the place, that seems like an appropriate thing to say. I don't really know. I gotta check my language every once. Every couple of years, you gotta check your language to see if what you're saying still means what you think it does. But when I can tell, I don't know if gook means exactly what I think it does. I'm really sure. I feel like it's a derogatory term, but I don't have anything to compare it to. I look at the Urban Dictionary, but, like, how much do I believe the internet? I don't know. Got a little bit of energy in there. Time to go down. Yeah, that, that won't hurt. There we go. And let's... I, I think I have just enough to be able to go get that guy over there. And who might you be? What's your name again? I don't remember. There were a lot of you eggs. Sorry, I don't want to call you, like, eggs, like, like I'm, like, profiling you or anything, but you, I, I, I'm pretty sure you're an egg. Pretty sure you're an egg. Um, what's your name? My name's Maui. I'm practicing my pirate stance. Yarrr! Get him, Maui. What Captain Plankbeard is recruiting? Ooh. Thanks for letting me know. Peace. Bye. Bye, Maui. What can I say except I'm a pirate now? Arg. Love that. I think gunk would be a safer word. Gunk? Gunk. I like that. Gunk is better than gook. I have now taken gook out of my vocabulary. You will never hear me say it again. Unless I do it by accident. In which case, eh, you would better. In that case, I apologize. How are you today, Lively Dawn? I believe last we saw... I thought last, last I saw you, I think we were playing Warframe, I think? Since there is a derogatory term close to what you said, but not the same for Koreans. Ah, okay. I enjoy crowdsourcing information. I've learned something today. That's a very good thing. It's a very good thing. We all learn from each other. That's good. What else is there in this room? I think... Oh, right. The snorkel and goggles and the frog ring. So I think I'm going to go back up and then kind of float my way down. Oh, but I need electricity. Electricity. So let's go do that. Electricity. Electricity. Where's that from again? Schoolhouse Rock? I think that was Schoolhouse Rock. I never watched a lot of Schoolhouse Rock. I just kind of knew that song. And a couple of others that were kind of dotted throughout my childhood. Being that this game is also from my childhood, you know, that's what I do. Good. Lively Dawn is <coughs> doing good. Had a stream in the background the whole day, but just now decided to say hi. Ain't no problem. How am I? How am I? I'm doing all right. I've been reminiscing, and reminiscing feels good. Um, the coffee helped today. Got some soup in front of me that my fiance very happily made for me. Or I don't know if she happily made it, but I'm very happy to have it in front of me. She's very, very stressed with um, school stuff and studying for finals and whatnot. So uh, the, the most that I can really do is offer to like make tea. I, like I try to make tea for her in the morning to make sure that everything is like calm to get into the day. Tea is a wonderful way to start the day, unless you're in a coffee mood, which in which case like coffee is a good way to start the day. But uh, no, I've been I've been actually in very very high spirits recently. Um, it wasn't too good these past couple of weeks because I've just been kind of confused and stuff like post graduating college stuff. But uh, started applying to like like jobs and stuff like that, and a lot of a uh, lot less worry on my mind. There's a lot less worry on my mind right now as opposed to like this time again last week and hanging out with friends and stuff like that. I saw my close buddy last night, and uh, that's good. It's good. Uh, oh, overall, it is a very, very nice day. It's been a very, very nice week so far. It's been, uh, been good. Keeping myself busy to distract myself from, like, questioning what it means to be a responsible adult. 
Yeah, I wish her luck and happy that you don't have finals anymore. Trust me, dude. I am happy that I don't have finals anymore either. I'm happy to be out of that. But yeah, I'm sure she'll do fine on them. She has, like, she has in the past had a couple of uh, uh, troubles with some of the finals and whatnot, but she's always made it out the other end so far, and she's actually at a friend's house right now helping to study for it. So, like, honestly, I think that's the best she, the best she could possibly do on it. So, it's, it's great. I think it's, like, the whole, like, it's the idea of potentially failing that is the worst part about taking a test and knowing that, like, there's a lot that rides on it and falling behind and potentially having to, like, like, take another year, which is, like, that's terrifying. I feel like when I went to, I, she's got it a lot worse than I do, I gotta say. I don't think when I was in college, I ever thought that failing a class would mean I have to start all over again. And I feel like that's, that's, like, like, something that she's felt. Um, it, it's, 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 it really sucks. But I guess that's, like, that's the grad school, like, when you're really being pushed through, like, uh, like, pushed through the grinder like that. Ugh. Snorkeling goggles, and I'm gonna shoot the wall. That's a good thing. I think that goes to Eggplant Man. Postgrad is nice, too. Question about being an adult. Yeah, I feel like the most questions I've had is kind of like, you know, like, what do I... Oh, look at that. Oh, I have to, I have to radar this thing. Right? Oh, I have to shoot this thing, I think. If I click and hold, and then like that. Right? No, no, I just gotta keep clicking it, I think, maybe. Do I, do I keep clicking it? How do I do this again? How do I unlock this door again? Do I have to be like super powerful shot? There we go. I had to pop it into existence. There we go. There we go. That's what I had to do. Hold. Hold indeed. Hold indeed. I've done it. I forgot that this was the kind of tutorial. This was like the introduction of the, uh, the secret doors. But yeah, postgrad nice. That's the scary part, so make it through the class. Oh, absolutely. Like, I think the worst part about, like, postgrad was kind of figure out, like, what it is that you want to do versus what you know that you need to do and finding, like, a, like, like a lay point between the two of them. And that, that's kind of, like, that, that has been, like, my most, like, very real fear is thinking, like, whatever job that winds up coming next or whatever opportunities come back that might not be worth it. I don't want to be like making the wrong decision here but like honestly anybody out there who says they know what they're doing is um definitely had a point in time where they didn't at least i i think i think how do i get to that case down there i think i need to break the glass somehow but how do you break the glass i guess i'm gonna go down this way maybe into the other side perhaps oh exactly sweet and the frog coin i believe is frog ring is on the other side but yes, indeed. Same kind of one, the specific job and finding a job is very different. Yeah, I know, like, what I had originally, the, it's a thing, like, the reference that I have to go off of is my co-ops, because at Drexel, I had co-op experiences where I kind of went off to work for, like, six months, and then came back to school for six months, and went back to work for six months, I came back. Um, and the only thing I have to, like, compare to are the experience I had in those work environments. And to be perfectly honest, it's, I've only worked, like, I think three, three, four jobs, and it's not like you get a literally, like, level playing field with what you're expecting to do. I originally wanted to do, like, hardware work and stuff like that. But I also kind of realized that I really like, kind of like, I, I like my desk. This this little space I've got over here, I, I like this. I like kind of having my space. So hardware isn't really something that I'm going to be able to do, like, just from here. Unless it's, like, something programming worth. Hold on one moment while the boys go by and do their thing. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, they're zooming away. It's a little noisy around here sometimes. But, uh, so I've kind of, like, let's see, I... I don't know if they were interviews, per se. They were, like, initial conversations for, like, two jobs? And one was, uh, I think embedded design, which is, like, you take the actual chips on your microcontroller and program that in, like, assembly or programming languages. C. And the other one was, like, straight up, like, a programming job. And they called it a full-stack web programmer. And that sounds scary, and I don't exactly know what that is, but you know what? Things seem to be going well so far, so I'm cool with that. Uh, it's the same, you have your job from your Drexel co-op if you're ever going to go back to the company, but I don't want to. Yeah, I actually had one of my past co-ops reach out to me. They were like, hey, we've got some new projects. If you're interested, um, your name come up in a meeting, and we'd love to at, like, offer you the opportunity. But that place was like... Um, an hour and a half car ride away, and to be perfectly honest, I didn't have a very good time there. It was all Excel spreadsheets, and people that, 
like I, I find that one of the most impo more important things that I'm attempting to look for in a job culture is like if I don't exactly know what I'm doing because I literally just got out of college that the person I go to ask for help is not going to like shame me about it because at that particular co-op I was assigned a project that I didn't really know much about. I was very much learning the basics of circuits at that time, and I went up to the guy who assigned it to me. I'm like, can you please walk me through this process because I don't exactly know what I'm doing with it, and I don't want to make a mistake with it. And he kind of was just like, how do you call yourself an engineer if you don't already know this stuff? And oh, you think you know Microsoft Word? You apparently don't know Microsoft Word if you don't know how to do cross-references. I'm like, dude, can you chill? Like, it's my second year of college. Like, come on, man. You think I know all this at this point? Like, it was a very annoying job i did not like that it was very very annoying but like so i decided i, I messaged the hr manager back who messaged me a couple of days like a couple of weeks ago i was like thank you so much for the opportunity like uh i remember back my co-op time actually i didn't say that like um what did i say I was like, thank you, thank you so much. I'm not interested in that position because I'm living in I'm living in the city. It would take me way too long to get out there. Um, but if you know of any like remote positions available, or if you know of any potential other opportunities in the city that are under like the same like field that uh, like field that you guys do, then like you know obviously like like pass my name along, and I'd be very interested to talk to somebody else, but not your company. But again, thanks. And that's that's kind of what I did there. Yeah, some people in the field are very not fun. I feel like there's a lot of people in the field, and in my in my experience, I can't say this about everybody, but it's like it's the older end engineers that I've experienced have been the ones who are more likely to be like, dude, you should know what this is by now. I know it by heart. Like, of course you know it by heart. You've been at this like 40, 50 years, and I'm new. So like, please don't like try to make me feel bad about it. Living room bridge, kitchen bridge, kitchen bridge, living room bridge. These at least seem worth it right now. Let's put kitchen bridge. Kitchen bridge. Uh, but yeah, like, and that's that's my particular experience. I am. There was at least there were like a couple. There were at least like, for every single bad dude that was a senior engineer that I had experience with. There was a corresponding like good dude that made it made it all worth it. Like I think there were two. Like there was at least one person at the at my first co-op, and then like two were kind of annoying that was the guy I was speaking about and then the other one the other like two other guys who were like really really helpful I learned how to like uh, braid wires together uh, for for machinery parts I learned like honestly I was in a cubicle with two other co-ops and this other guy who's like 60 plus years old has been working there for almost 50 years now and he was he was a riot I love that guy he made that co-op bearable every once in a while like he just kind of say like I got a story for your role and I would turn around for my excel sheet and be like yes something to distract me from the monotonous work that i'm doing right now i have three months left and oh my god so that was overall lovely ex lovely experience i learned to, i learned something from that and this is what i learned from that co-op i don't want to do that just like i learned from uh, again in the beginning i really wanted to do like hardware stuff and so i took some hardware based classes on analog semiconductors and semiconductor electronics both passive and powered my god, the professor was an ass. He would start the class and just like, if you guys don't know this, and it's going to be on the test, you're going to fail my course. Uh, that was the first course that I didn't do. Like, I, I get pretty good grades. But comparatively, that was the course that I did the worst in. And I felt terrible about myself. Those tests were all terrible. I felt like I failed it, and yet I passed at the very end. I was like... I am all through a well full of emotions right now, and I don't want to do that again. But then I actually did it again. And then reminded myself why I didn't want to do it the first time. And, well, whatever. Like, we all, we all have our paths in life. Needless to say, hardware, hardware stuff, transistors, all that stuff. Eh, eh, no, no. How about, how about like, putting circuits together? Yes, I like that. And PDS matching and RF stuff? I, that's cool. That's cool. I like that. Anyway, time to call upon the aliens. They are, they are wanting for us. We need to do that. Ooh. Oh, yes. Come forth to me, aliens. I always love this theme. This theme is like whimsical, very entertaining. They got inviso technology. It is indeed the aliens. I would consider them to be very alien-like. Alien robots of another dimension. We've been talking about this. Also like disco powers. Gotta love that. Gotta love that. A lot of stuff that uh, Lively Dawn finds for jobs is just either defense or building wiring and yeah, don't want to do that. Yeah, I found like, I never thought that I would want to do like, like a lot of programming based stuff, but Eh, you know what? I find programming fun. So if that's something that I can get a nice job out of, then I can do that. And I can do it from the comfort of my own space. I like to keep things remotely because I really like to like handle things around the house. It's good. It's good. Hello, robo alien things. 
I bet the dude who designed the Chibi Robos got inspiration from these dudes. They are talking in very, very small text. I cannot understand it right now. They talk very softly. Luckily, Lively's got some student teaching for the physics secondary education. Sir, that I'm just going, getting for the hell of it. Yeah, so you have time to waste before you try to find the job that you want. Yeah, that's a good idea. Honestly, I found too, like, even if I don't find like, the exact job that I want now, then I can always just get something in the interim and figure things out along the line. Like, there's no rush to find the perfect job, but I suppose there is a rush if you have bills to pay to, like, do the, do the things. Oh, you, oh, bye. Bye then. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye. But I feel like there is a rush to get a job in general. Maybe not the perfect job, but a job in general. And that kind of like, that idea kind of spooked me. Because I was like, I don't, like, I don't know. Like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I got, I got plenty, plenty of thoughts on that. It all just kind of comes back to like, I don't want to make a mistake or anything, you know? Uh, Chibi Robo? Yeah? What's up? Was that, uh, uh, what was that? Was that you, Chibi Robo? Um, yes. I believe it was. You're losing it, Chibi Robo. I, I only asked you that to test you. Get a hold of yourself, bot! Those were aliens! I've seen them on the TV, but this is the first time I've seen them in real life. Oof. Would you look at that? There. They're smaller than I would have thought. Tiny aliens. Tiny, tiny aliens. And they were very shiny. But their voices were so quiet I couldn't make out what they were saying at all. Time to upgrade the chibi radar so I can actually hear what they're saying. That's the next step. I'll ask uh, Citrusoft if they have a chip that can help you hear their voices. Oh, okay, you're in direct contact with them? That's cool. Oh, yo, look at you! Hanging on top of the tree. I see you up there. I'm coming for you, buddy! There's a pirate ship that wants your participation! Captain Plankbird wants you to join the pirate army! Arg. I suppose. Uh, arg. I suppose. Um, let's see, was there anything else? There's a bird up there, and I can't exactly remember what the bird... What I need to wake the bird up? I know there was something to wake the bird up, but I can't exactly remember what it... Nope, not a chibi radio. I want the copter. Chibi copter, please. Chibi chibi copter. I want to say I just needed something loud to, like, wake them up. Or maybe spray nectar out the... That's probably a very bad idea. Seeds. I was birds eat seeds. Gonna wake them up. How do you wake them up? Maybe it's a costume that I need. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. What's he doing? What you doing? I'm back on. I'm training to become a pirate. Sir, yar, sir. What? Captain Plankbeard is recruiting. Thanks for letting me know. Boo -doo -boo. I get some happy points. That's all good. Well, Lively's gonna get back to it and look in the background. Hey, thanks for stopping in and saying something. It's always nice to hear from folks. Want to know what the bird says, Loriacalypse? Give me a moment. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try something. And then... Or maybe I need to get sticks. Birds like sticks, right? I'm gonna try something real quick. And then... Then we'll phone a, then we'll phone a bird. The, what's the word? Phone a friend. Phone a friend. So I do that. Bird must wake up. Can I wake you up with a... Wait! Wait a minute. You wake up the bird. What? How do you wake up a bird? Do you need to, like, cock-a-doodle do in front of it? I had a moment of inspiration. But instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rip it like a frog. Bounce. Oh my god, it worked. Just kidding. Not cock-a-doodle do. Rib it. Rib it, rib it, rib Whoa, yikes! I always slip! <laughs> Chirp? Wow, look at the time! I almost missed my date! Polly will peck my eyes out if I'm late. Last time, she broke all my feathers. I had goosebumps for a week. Thanks for waking me up, Chirp. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, forgot to say that love this game before we go and got into the job talk. Dude, what a, what a time. What a time this game. I've actually wanted to marathon this game for like a month now. Like when I was back uh, doing my like uh, month vacation, I wanted to get into this. And I wanted to marathon it this one of these days to get see how far I can get in whatever time. Uh, honestly, I love it. Some of these games, like, I, there are some games that I know that I can marathon. And I knew this one was one of them. Super Mario Sunshine was one of them. Because I know, like, I could spend hours playing that game because of how much I want to, like, rediscover all those things that I thought I remembered from, like, my childhood. Fun stuff. 
I don't know why, but he seemed grateful. Way to go, Chibi Robo. You're very welcome. Thank you. Well, I figured out the bird. Thank you for the offering of help, though, uh, Luriacalypse. I had to look at the name for a second. It's a, it's, a, it's, a t it's a little bit of a toughie. It's a little bit of a brain twister. Or at least in terms of, like, you have to pronounce and stuff. But it's great. I always appreciate help from the community. Although, like, I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of, like, people just kind of giving information. But I do appreciate you asking as well. And if I do need help, I want I want to kind of, like, rack in my brain for a little bit. But it's always, always, always appreciated, nonetheless. I'm glad I was able to give it a shot, though, beforehand. All right, I need to, I always remember me failing this log. There we go. Nope, not failing on that log. Don't want to fall from the tree. Not today, gravity. I won't let you have it. Not today, at least. I'm gonna, oh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna chibi copter it up and um, perhaps not have this frog suit on because I feel like, is that making me slippery? No, it's not making me slippery. It is something else entirely that's making me slippery. Don't want to fall, don't want to fall. Sweet. I forget, are these like bird droppings that I can slip up? <laughs> Always ask, absolutely. Oh my god, that's a little, that's a little emote for, for Chibi Robo. Hmm. I see that you must be a Chibi Robo fan. You have an emote dedicated to it. That's so cool. It's so cute. Honestly, I love stuff like that. One of the coolest things about like streaming some of these types of games is that like you wind up finding, like I wind up, running into people who are like super fans of it or like really really into it and just like yes i can vibe with somebody about how cool it is and how much at least like it mattered to me when i was younger i feel like i learned a lot from this game i can't exactly say what it was but it definitely had something to do with like probably respecting your parents like boundaries and cleaning up stuff and you know yada 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 it's always fun it's it's so cool to be able to do this kind of stuff that's one of the uh, obviously one of the main reasons that i keep on doing this stuff is because wow so many awesome people out there so many awesome people who like like i think of it this way if there's one thing that i know i like a little there is somebody out there who likes it a lot and for better or for worse and i know that there's something out there that i dislike considerably there is also somebody out there who likes it a lot as well for better or for worse but that's a good thing Oh, you're part of the speedrunning community of the game. Nice. If I had to ask, because I was wor I was wondering about this before, I saw a clip that was uploaded by somebody, and it said speedrun, but I it said like it was like two and a half hours. So like, how long does it take to speedrun this game? Because it seems like because of a lot of the uh, like getting the scraps to be able to access certain locations, that it could take a while if you're not like lucky. But I'm sure what I consider to be like a luck aspect of the game is actually something that is completely determined deterministically, and I just don't know the trick behind it so i always wonder with that type of stuff especially with some of these games like I, we wind up running into the speedrunners like i remember i ran into when i was playing celeste another a platformer game that i ran into the speedrunners there too they're such nice people it's so cool i gotta i have a lot of respect for speedrunners i don't know if i'm the type of person to be able to like do this all like over and over and over and over again like, I feel like it would drive me bonkers. But, I mean, I actually did have a thought. Like, I played a game recently called Chicory, and I actually thought to myself, like, I would happily play this game again tomorrow. And I was like, maybe that's how, like, the speedrunning kick starts. Oh, can I get my... Let's see. If I go down here and copter this, I should be able to get on down. Any percent activating Giga Robo takes about two-ish hours. 100% all stickers take stickers takes about eight. Oh, I believe that. Interesting. Very cool. So that can take about two hours. All right, that makes sense. I guess technically, yeah, technically speaking, you don't really need to go upstairs. I don't think to activate Giga Robo because all that stuff is downstairs. So you're never locked into like the scrap requirements that you may need. Yeah, that makes sense. Halfway through dark time, I am going to go recharge myself inside and then go back up to the top of the tree because I believe there's an eggplant friend up there that needs my attention. I think I remember the eggplant guy specifically to me was like, it's an eggplant? Why is there an eggplant in this tree? This makes absolutely no sense. And I was very confused about it at the time, but I'm pretty sure there's like an internal reference there somewhere that I just don't understand and never quite looked into. It sounds cool. Oh, uh, you still need to go upstairs to the divorce scene. Oh, right. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That makes sense. <laughs> no saving for me, dog. Ready? Then let's go. 
Oh, here comes shit from the sky. Classic. That's what I get for rushing out. Am I okay? I'm just fine. Good point, though. And now, I guess, technically, right after the divorce scene, you can activate, like, you can actually activate Giga Rova. Oh, but you also, oh, because you need the divorce scene, so you get the code to the case. Ah, I didn't get the code to the case. I haven't done that yet. Gots to do that. Gots to do that, indeed. But, uh, I'll get to that. I'll do that in the morning. I'll talk to Mr. Sanderson about that in the morning. In the meantime, clean things all around. I can't exactly remember where you get that code from. But I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I know I will. Get there eventually. Good stuff like that. It's all about positive mental attitude to be able to do stuff like this. Honestly, half the fun is just kind of going back and trying to piece together, like, all of the stuff that you thought you knew. Like, all of the stuff that you knew is fragmented, so you want to piece them all together into something that is a cohesive and comprehensive, like, playthrough of the game. Like, I feel like I remember the aliens, and I remember the uh, Gigarobo, and I remembered, um, probably frog, the frog things and stuff like that, and crazy sunshine bear, but I didn't quite remember how it all connected in between. Not, like, off the top of my head. I'm sure if I thought, like, uh, enough about it, I, I'd fig I would have figured it out eventually, but, like, eh. So, let's see. I want to go up to the top to see where the thingy is. Don't fall off the edge now. Oh, hi, bird. You're back? Okay. How, how did it all go? How'd, you, how'd your date go? <laughs> Looks like he's trying to say something. Don't you have a way to speak to animals? Yeah, the, uh, the, the frog suit. Do I get to talk to you again? Oh. I can talk to you again. What you got, chirpster? Oh, you again. My stomach's empty and I'm starving. Got anything for me? Breadcrumbs? Got breadcrumbs? Uh, I don't have... You want breadcrumbs? I got cookie crumbs. Cookie crumbs. What about that? Is that cool for you? Oh, good. Oh, that's what I wanted to eat. Chirp. Crunch, crunch. Gobble, gobble. Crunch, crunch. <laughs> nice. Oh, you've gotten bigger. I'm full, chirp. <laughs> what are you coughing up, my friend? Is it a ring? All of those crumbs that made me thirsty. Chirp. This is going to ruin my singing voice. Chirp. Water's good, but I prefer that sweet nectar from a flower. It coats the throat better. Now that my stomach's full, I think I'll fly around a bit. Chirp. Bye-bye. Sweet. Well, peace out, my friend. Until next time, I'm going to get to give you the sweet nectar. I'm counting on you. Okie dokie. You can count on me like one, two, three. I'll be there. Haha. -ha. There's the... There you are. There you are, my friend. This is where I want to be. I'll take this thing off. And I'll dig into the ground. Classy. Come on, dude. It, come on out. Nope, maybe. Oh, was it not digging? What was it then? Maybe I just need a water room. Maybe I got a water room. I feel like I got a water room. What's water in this time? I got water, don't I? Yes, I do. No? Hmm, what was it? There was something about this spot. Maybe it was like singing a song or something. Doing a little dance. Doing a little frog suit dance. I'm just gonna jump around like a frog. Right? Maybe? I don't know. Or perhaps it was the radar. I know there was something about this spot right here. I'm gonna use my radar anyway. Is there apparently something over there? Eh, that's cool. But I don't really need to worry about it. You know what? It's just an eggplant. I'll worry about that later. I got bigger fish to fry. Marriages to, um, to prepare. That's the Chibi Robo way. Now... Do I need water for anything else? I, I do want to try to water things upstairs. Like the little seed, the nectar seed. Nectar seed, important. Not super important, but important enough. I need to talk to Daddy-o. Eventually. In the morning. In the morning. Gotta figure that shit out. Now. Maybe I help him with the burgers. Maybe that's, maybe that's what triggered that scene. I know helping with burgers was always fun. I really enjoyed that particular minigame when I was younger. I, I really loved that. Making our way to the upstairs. Oh, look, TV's on. Oh, that's what you've been doing. You've been training in front of your TV set. That's what it was? Oh, well, that's, that's good at all. I gotta pick up some more trash, honestly. I'm running low on money and moolahs. Needs more moolahs. Need moolahs for everything. Mo moolah 
no problems. Less moolah, also no problems. Because if you don't got enough mo if you don't got the cheese, what are you gonna do with it? I also gotta remember Dinah as well. I have to take care of that stuff in that room as well. Dinah and who I imagine's name is Phil. I recall his name being Phil. The flower dude. Like the flower dude. Oh, I am dizzy. Dizzy, dizzy, dizzy. Time to plug on in. Was I going back to the was I going back to the Jenny's room or something? I lost my train of thought. What was I doing? What was I doing? Am I gonna save? No. What was I going to the Jenny's room? Oh, I was gonna try to water the plant. That's what I was gonna try to do. Onwards we ride! As I pick up your trash. Trash. Trashity trashity trash 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 trash. That was another thing about this game that I, like, remembered a lot of when I was younger. The fact that you go around and pick up trash. And you get paid for that. That's so cool. That's, like, dream job right there. Just pick up stuff off the street and get paid for it. Like, like, enough pay for it. Not like, you know. If it was, like, your actual job. I don't know. Stuff like that seemed always cool. At the time, it was, like, that idea that, like, oh, I could just pick up trash and get paid for it? Wow, younger me is, like, easy money. I love picking up trash. Might as well throw it all away while I've got the opportunity to. Lob it! Get all the money! More trash, more money! All good. Oh, actually, I've got quite a bit of moolah right now. That's perfect. Where did I get all that moolah from? What did I do recently? Other than throw, throw away a bunch of trash. I guess I have more trash now. That's good, that's good. Tons of happy points. And also, if I make it all the way to the top over here, I'll be able to... Oh, the flower has grown. Oh, sweet! I didn't even have to water it. I thought I had to water the plant. That would make sense, right? You water the plant and... Oh well. Alright, I'm gonna ignore the trash for now because I want to go to the crayons first and talk to Mort. If I can. Oh, hi Mort! I guess we're talking to you anyway, so... Go sweet. Tell me a sad story. The flower blossomed. Oh, that's good, that's good. Now when you touch it, it will die. Give it to your princess! I love this scene. So wholesome. The power kills it. And then I accidentally touched it. Oh. So sad. I killed it. I made it. It's like me. Don't be too hard on yourself, Mort. She loves you. And it was such a pretty flower. Oh! Girl! Princess! Is it the princess? Uh, ellipses? It's a monster! Ah, ah, it's a woman! Would be my next response. Oh, peace out, dude. Well, it's okay. Nobody said, like, love it at first sight is, like, a deal breaker. Or rather, the not love at first sight is a deal breaker. It's more the idea, like, oh my goodness, this monstrosity was the one giving me the flowers that I so love. Is he the one who's been giving me, bringing me flowers? Yes. As you can plainly see. And now to the crayons. It's a crayon box. Put the crayons in the box. Never do you get a nicely organized crayon box. Nice. I'll give you some happy points. Spread the happiness and that's okay. Let's try more crayons. There's more crayons to be found. Crayons? Good. Very good. I'll give you some more. Sweet. Spread the happiness. Indeed. One last bother with the crayon box. There you go. Is it crayon or crayon? I don't know. I kind of use them interchangeably. Depending on who I'm trying to piss off that day. Although I usually don't have the opportunity to piss people off with the idea of a crayon. So usually I say crayon. Or crayon. Like folks and folks. Mrs. Sanderson will be so happy. Way to go, Chief Revo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Spread the happiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I need to talk to you about things. Tell Chibi Robo everything. He captivates me. 
I get lost in his dreamy eyes. They're beady and so colorful. Mine are so blue. But when I think of his face, I faint with fear. Classic female scream. Classic. Like that. Terrifying. Terrifying. That's good. But we need better. Whew. Whew. Happened again. I fainted. Did I scream? I didn't mean to scream. I just like big screaming. You see, I... I'm terrible with scary things. Oh. I need your help to work up my courage. I've got to get over this complex of mine. Ah. <sighs> I need the spooky outfit. I don't currently have the spooky outfit. I'll try to go grab the spooky outfit for you, my queen or princess. Uh, you're probably a princess. They're all queens. Everybody's queens. Oh, you are going crazy for nectar again. But I don't have any on me. Sorry, pal. I'm gonna have to wait till next time. Hey, buddy. Buddy. Uh, it's okay. Like. She only thinks you're hideous. That's not bad. That's redeemable. I think we can come back from this. Seriously. Princess Pete saw my face. She must despise me now. Oh. Yes. Why that's... Bandages! Bandages to wipe your tears! Right? This thing? Ooh! Bandages! Can I have those? Absolutely! Those are for you, my friend! You're covered in bandages! Maybe you need a little bit more to cover yourself up from head to toe. It's been 18,000 years since I've had new bandages. You're welcome! That's what we do around here! Smiles and faces at Chibi Rebel Incorporated! Spreading that happiness, one happy point at a time. I'm so very thankful. This is the happiest day of my life. Bye, sir. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe another time. Okay. Rumble, rumble. I'm gonna pick up this trash. Thank you for your patronage, sir. You're a valued customer of Chibi Robo Incorporated, bringing smiles to everyone. Hey, pal, I just want to gaze upon your horror before I go to sleep. There we go. Terrifying. Just as it should be. Just as it's always been. Oh, he's walking past me. Don't hurt me. Back to the chibi house. I might have enough to charge up all the giga batteries. Maybe. Good morning. I can hardly believe my eye bolts when I saw those aliens. Shocking. Simply shocking. I couldn't quite figure out what they were trying to say. They were speaking so softly. Oh, I almost forgot. I think Citrusoft makes a chip that would allow you to hear soft voices. I'll contact them right away. Oh, yes, I knew they had something like this. It's called an alien ear chip. You're telling me that Citrusoft just kind of makes one of these? They most definitely knew about these aliens. Oh, for sure. I spoke to Citrusoft and they've agreed to carry it in the online store for anybody who wants it, including you and everybody else. If you buy it, you'll be able to hear the softest voice as clear as a bell. Uh, you have to try it out. You just have to. You got a Chibi Robo! Oh, it appears that I've gone up in rank. By a little bit? Maybe by one? Are we at eight now? Yes. Now we've got a brand new bonus battery. It's exactly what I've always wanted. My battery went up to 230. Ooh, that's three that's 20 more than I usually get. Very good. Oh, in order to get the next bonus battery, we need 335 more happy points. Get me even more happy points to make a super chibi robo. Let's go, chibi robo! I will save. That seems like an advantageous thing to do at this particular point in time. Oh, I guess I'll save in the empty one. All right, cool. Now I got all these save files, and they're all mine. All your save file are belong to the cheapster. Let's see how much that chip costs and whether I... I do need the alien to bring 
what this face back to life. So I will be spending this moolah eventually. Uh, but do I want this thing first, or let's see, alien ear chip is 2150. I'm gonna restore the battery first. That's what I'm gonna do. Because I think I just need, I, I think I might have enough, right? Has 7,000. Yep, there we go. Do I want to charge it? Yes, I do. With 3,000. 3,000, please. There we go. 3,000 kilowatts into the battery. There you go, my friend. Come back tonight. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Oh, it's getting a little, it's getting up there. It's going a little crazy. You filled up the Giga battery. It's got 10,000 kilowatts and it's ready to go. Yay, yay. But then, congratulations, Chibi Robo. You've done a, uh, 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 excuse me, uh, oh. Pop, pop, a loop, pop, 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 bam. Well, no more charger for you. But I got a battery and it's very green, like Kermit the Frog. Wait a minute, according to my data files, th there should be a control panel somewhere on Giga Robo's body. All right, well, let's go find it. And I'll talk to Dad, too. I'm gonna talk to Daddy. -o. Gotta tell that man. Gotta tell that man what's up. He's also missing a leg, so I still need to get that leg. Where's Daddy? -o? Daddy, are you outside? Excuse me. Oh, sorry about that. Maybe he's in the kitchen. That was just a little hiccup. Nothing to be afraid of there. Nothing to be afraid of. It's all fun in Dandy Town. Daddy -o? Nah, nobody's in there. Oh, hey, you. Hey. Hi, you. Up there. Yeah, I know you. There. Okay, come on. So let's have a good time. There's a bridge in here. There's a bridge in here, and I want to use it. I know I got that battery, but I have to go downstairs. I wanted to try to find Dad first, but he's around here somewhere. Not in the kitchen. I just wanted to make hamburgers, Dad. Just wanted to, just wanted to make some hamburgers with him. Oh, good friend, Dad. I remember those days fond of Daddy O. Daddy Batty Battable. Yes. Alrighty then. Go on up there and get the other egg yolk man. That's what we gotta do. And this is the bridge. And I will be able to bridge it over into that direction. Very good. That's what bridges are for, right? Yes. Uh, no. Not here. This is perfect. There we go. Chibi Brobo, do you want to know how to use the bridge utilibot? No! Never! I know how to do it already. Oh, you already have to know how to use it? Fine, jeez. I'm just gonna go back to my corner then and just cry myself to sleep, I guess. Boop. Flippity floppity. I love the sound that this one makes in particular. I don't know, something about this. Something about this just very, very <laughs> Nice picture of the stuff at the table. Read some of these bills. Bills, bills, bills. Bills, bills everywhere. There's too many bills in this place. Apologies to anybody named Bill out there, but there are, in fact, too many of you. I found this in the other room. I think it's another bill. Okay. Yeah, they're bills. Bills, 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 bills. bills. Yeah, bills. Bill, 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 not a science guy. Hey, buddy, I just want to tell you about this really awesome opportunity that might fit you. You're dressed like a pirate, so I want to tell you that there's pirates, peoples. I'm Cincy. I want to be a pirate. Pirate, I mean. What? Captain Plankbeard is recruiting? Oh, sweet, dude. Thanks for letting me know. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Go -bye. off and spread that happiness. Spread it wide. Spread it far and wide. I think he needed... How many bros did he need? How many, bro How many bros did he need? Captain Plankbeard, was it four? Or maybe it was all six. I've been all sick. Hey, I'm gonna shoot you guys. Or is it just one of you? Oh, it's a couple of you. Nice. Excellent. Excellent shot. Very good, Cheebster. Very good. Anyway, back into the other room. I want to go upstairs. Right. I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna take care of something upstairs. Don't know what it is yet, but I'll take care of it. Definitely will. Definitely, definitely will. Hey, guys, over there. I kind of want to collect that red block, just so I don't have to worry about it going forward. So I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to get myself all the way up to the top of the place. And then, I don't know, just kind of like hover my way down. 
I'm not sure exactly if I can reach it from over here, but I will try. If I go from here, will I be able to make it on top of one of those? I don't know if I'll be able to. Wasn't there a way to get down into that jungle garden there? I don't really know. I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. I want to be at this point here. We'll see if this works. If it doesn't work, eh, whatever. There we go. Trying to, trying to. Ooh! Hi, Sarge. Sarge. Sarge, buddy. Sarge. Ah. Oh. Okay. I'll just use. I'll just use the. You know. The, the cheap. The cheap device that allows me to go up that high. That's. That's kind of what I should be using. The ladder. The ladder utilibot. Yeah. That thing. Um. Oh. I don't think like I can get it. Can I get another way over there? Oh. I guess I kind of can. Yeah. I totally. Oh. No. 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 Put that down. Put that down. And pull you in the other direction. I'm gonna bring you all the way to the other side of the room. This will be my way. I'm coming for you, Sarge! I miss you. I miss your... I miss your soft, eggy body. Telling me orders. And telling me how to be a better egg. Although I am definitely not egg. However... Oh, there's a rug over there. That ain't gonna work. Too much ruggage. Can't do it. Can't do it. Alright, well, I guess I'll push forward. As best as I possibly can. Maybe I'll get enough distance. Probably not. Well, at the very least, I'll make it over here. Up to the, uh, uh, space jam thing. Space marauder. It's a spaceship. It's a spaceship. I'll charge myself up, and then I'll go all the way up there to see what I can find. I've recharged 53 times, and I still don't feel like I've aged a day. I'm just as, like, young and limber as I was previously when I was first bought and brought into this dysfunctional household. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go up. Dad, yeah, don't wanna plug in from there. I wanted to go up. Hey, Sarge, buddy. Do you have a convenient way for me to get over there? Oh, yo, Space Patrol people. I don't really want to play Space Patrol right now, but I'm happy to have met you all. Well, I haven't met you all. I haven't even talked to you yet. I'm afraid of making contact. I don't want to initiate contact. Conversation is scary. I'm going to hide in my little uh, metal space. I'm going to hide in my cheap space. The hammer space of, uh, of the world. Maybe this is the dimension where all my inventory gets stored. It must be it. That has to be it. Uh, I suppose a f bridge might be advantageous in this position. But there is no way to get across there. There is definitely is not. Alrighty then. Anything else in this room that I should be worried about? Nah, I'm gonna just go upstairs. Aside from my red block. Oh well. Oh well again. I have to go back over here to my teleporting thing. I have to turn it on again. Oh dear. Give me that. Give me this little thing so I can turn it on. Turn it on. Plug on in and jump. It's that easy. Give it a charge and jump on in. That's the peak of perfection. All right, I'm gonna go talk to the other folks. Talk to the long, the star-crossed lovers or something. I'm gonna tell Martha he's actually indeed scary. I'll try to scare him. Maybe. I don't know. I don't remember how that goes. I know there's a spooky suit. I don't exactly remember how to get the spooky suit. But I'll find the spooky suit. I'll get that spooky suit eventually. Oh, for sure. Oh, I'll get that spooky suit, alright. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Where are you? Ye nectar boy. Where are you? You're probably underneath the bed as you always are, right? Right? Oh, totally. Mort, I've come to see you again. Nice pieces of trash. I like that. Gonna put that in the piggy bank. Put it all in the piggy bank. Put it at, in the piggy bank. Put it all in the piggy bank. Gonna save up my money. Hi, Mort. Yes, indeed. You are scary. What do you want? Oh. I... Uh... I have bandages, too. I just wanted to show you what it's like to have bandages. Son. I want to talk to you, son. Come out and greet me, son. 
I know you're not my son. That just wouldn't make sense. Please, give me a chance. Fine, I don't want to talk to you either. Jeez. I'll just go talk to somebody else. Like a like pit stain over here. Princess pit stain. Do you have anything else to say, ma'am? Do you like the flowers? Flowers look pretty nice, right? Right, 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 yeah. You see, I, I, I'm terrible with scary things, so I have to learn to scare you. I need your help to work up my curtain. Yeah, so I need the, I need the spooky thing. I need the spooky, the spook suit. I, for some reason, remember the spook suit being, like, one of the ones I get, like, one of the ones I would usually get, like, really, really early on. But I don't remember anymore. I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. Eventually. Oh, technically I needed to go downstairs. Oh, I needed to talk to the gig. Giga Robo. I have the battery. I must insert it into Giga Robo. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. Aha. I'm gonna go do that because I just remember that's that was the next big thing. Giga Robo. Yeah. Yeah. Big robot dude. Big big biggy robot dude. I'm gonna go downstairs and take care of that. Honestly, when you've had a robot in the basement for all this time, oh, you know what? Even if it's not a ra robot, even if you got an old, if you got any sort of old dudes in the basement at any particular time, you should probably say hello to them every once in a while. Yeah. Everybody did. Got you. Cop to time. I mean, whoever you've got in your basement, whatever you have in your basement, give it some love every once in a while, you know? Old boxes. Old friends, old memories of past relationships. Give them some love every once in a while. You never know. Now, I think there's a pirate dude somewhere up there, if I recall. Uh, so I'm gonna check that first before I even talk to anybody else. Oh, wait, I forgot. Yeah, there's a there's a rope here that I can use. Sweet! The Braid Pico is not downstairs. Where'd you go, bro? Where'd you go, sweet Pico? There's three of them there. I don't remember if it's four or six, but I am going to give it a shot anyway. I believe there's one up here. I will find you. La 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 la. There we go. Gonna find my way up. Oh, there's also a frog ring over there. I should totally go get that. And a door. I love doors. All right, now who may be up here? Hello? Anybody? 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 Anywhere? Hello? Anybody bouncing up here? Oh, I thought there'd be a bouncer. Oh. No bouncer to this club. Come on in. You didn't even need your ID to party. Not at this party. We're not checking age at the door. We are checking bags, though. And coats. So if you'd like to keep your coat, just uh, speak to any of our uh, representatives. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's how this party works. Coat check. Coat check. That's what they call it. Coat check. We got a coat check around here. All my coats are already hung up. Although... Yeah, I don't really need my coats. It's actually quite warm in here. I'm a little chilly, but also a little warm. I can go either way. I can go either way. Hello? I am here to take your frog thing. Actually, I haven't talked to Jenny in a while to actually give her the frog rings. Hmm. That's okay. More moolah. See, I've pretty much almost got enough for that, uh, that hearing chip. Now, anyways. Oh, hi, everybody. Hey, I wasn't expecting to shoot anybody today. Get out of here. Get on with me. You silly monsters. Silly rascals. Silly rascal. Manhandling is for men, I guess. Not like, don't manhandle Chibi Robo. Like, oh, dude. Come on. He's not even a man. He's a robo. That's, that's the, that's the, that's the point. All right. Big, not cheapster, Geebster? Geebster? Geebster. Nice. What's up, Geebster? Like to see it. Nice. Ahoy there, Chibi! Have you truly fiddled that hook and battery? Yes. Yes, we have. Thank you for asking. You're an amazing piece of work, let me tell you. Ah, but ye've not yet found Giga Robo's missing leg, have ye? Just still gotta do that. Got a lot of happy points, though. People, people happy about Giga Robo. They like this guy. Love this indeed. 
Oh, out with a Giga Robo! What have you done with your leg, matey? It's in a briefcase upstairs in Mom and Dad's room. Yar, what am I saying? You've no tongue to speak with. Oh. Glug glug. Would you like some water, sir? I know you originally stated that you like water. I'm gonna throw water on you. I think I think you said you like water. Wait, no, come back here. I have water for you. Yeah? Didn't you like the water? I think you like glugging water. By me dad's eye patch. Be that water? For a pirate, there'd be nothing finer. Oh, I always carry me jug, but I'll not say no to a free splash now and then. You're welcome. Sir. Captain. Oh, your water sets me head to swimming. It settles me belly at sea, but turns me legs to mush on land. Water gets you drunk? Is that is that supposed to be the implication here? Because that, that sounds like the implication. Alright, so now I gotta find my way upstairs again. I need a thing, which means I gotta go stuff in the parents' room. Oh sweet, a cleaning bonus! Awesome! Your happy bone bonus is... 41, alright! Cleaning is good. It feels like a pay raise for doing a really good job. <laughs> What's a good job? What even is job job? Clean up some of this grease. A little greasy, greasy grease. Oh, come on. Greasy, 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 greasy. There we go. Now I'll clean. Now I'll plug myself in. I only need a little bit of charge. The day is about to roll over into the night, don't you see? Hey, whatever. I don't believe that was actually as close as you think it is, Telly, but then again, I could tell you this every single time and you still wouldn't believe me. So. How many more doors are there in here? There's two more doors. I wonder where the radar will tell me some secret ones are. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Oh, it's up. All right, let's try to look up. Look up! Keep your head up in the sky, matey! Keep your head held high! Positive mental attitude will be able to allow you to do anything if you put your mind to it. Oh, I guess it's time to... Time to switch. Yeah, we're good, we're good. And day turns to night. Oh, why do you scream at me when you say, oh? Is it because you were expecting me to say, no, I don't need any quality time with you? And you're just like, oh, how rude. Great work out there, Sergeant. Still at eight. Let me get the next bonus. We need a little bit more. I would love to save. Saving is a wonderful thing that we do. Force file. Let's see, I can think I can build another Utilibot, but which one? That's the question. Which ones do I have available? Just the living room bridge. Alrighty then, guess I'm building the living room bridge. I have enough scrap for it, so might as well. And I think I need over 2,000 moolah for that other um, hearing chip, so I don't have that right now, so I'll have to wait until next night over. Contact the aliens again. Unless I find all the moolah now, in which case, ooh, sweet. I'll take a check and see how much it actually costs. I want to say it was 2,100 something. I think. I'm going to double check just to make sure. It's nice to have my space back in my little bucket again. That Giga Charger was kind of taking a lot of space in here. Let's see. Chibi 2150. And I have how much right now? 1490. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. We're getting there. It's a fun old time. Ten hours later. I love this game. Eventually, I'll feel that thing that people talk about. Uh, uh, what is it? Being tired? <laughs> yeah, not, not right now. I'm gonna go upstairs. I know I need to talk to the alien, but I know the briefcase is in Mom and Dad's room, so I should go upstairs and talk about that. I'll go up there and see what there is to find. I don't remember what kind of stuff happens up there during which time of the day, but eh, whatever. At the very least, there's a bunch of doors up there that I might be able to gain access to, which will give me all of the moolah to buy that chip. It's all about the chips, my friend. Doritos, Fritos, Lay's, other chip brands that I don't know about because they're not sold here in America, which I'm sure there are plenty of. And I'd like to know about so I can purchase them and try them and expand my flavor profile. Be pretty cool. 
I'm always into trying new things from other places that I don't currently have access to. How would I know unless somebody tells me, you know? That concept always amuses me. Like, I'll discover, like, I, like, I remember... There's a word for it when, like, you first discover something and then you, all of a sudden you start seeing it everywhere. I don't remember what the term is, but I remember I felt that way about RC Cola. I remember going to Virginia one year, visiting my cousins, and they had, like, RC Cola. And I was like, I've never seen this before. And they're like, yeah, it's just cheap cola. And then I started seeing it everywhere. It's always existed. I just never noticed it for some reason. Just never did. Very confusing. But alas, 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 alas. Loading into this room. Okay, is everybody sleeping here? Are you still awake? Oh, you fell asleep probably sorting out all the tech stuff. Oh, poor, poor girl. Poor gal. Poor gal. Let's see. I know I need to... Is it? Do I need to shoot that in order to make it do things? I can't remember how to turn that thing around. I gotta shoot it. Shoot it? From a distance? Nope. Mm. Well, there's no sticker on it, so I suppose it's not going to shoot. Yeah, I, like, can't remember how to turn that thing around. I know there's something in this room about it, though. And I know it turns all of the, um, the extra shells. It turns the shells. That's a, that's a current conundrum that I can't seem to wrap my head around. Oh, well. I wonder if there's any, um, special doors on this particular level. Where are you? Oh, over, over here. Where could you be? Couldn't find the secret door. Where's the secret door? Probably somewhere up there. Oh, it's on, on that surface. Look at that. Oh, it's on top of the bed? Even cooler. Sweet. I'll get up there eventually. But first, pick up some trash. Find some Mula. Feel better about ourselves. Because we picked up trash. Did something good today. We've made a positive difference in this world. And, uh, that's, good. that's good. Oh, I can actually get up there? Oh, whatever. I'll just run somewhere else then. There, I know it's the code. I know the code. I need to find the code to the breeze case. Where that may be, I don't remember. Where's my dining girl? Where's she? Where's she at? Where's she at, dining girl? You up here? Well, the TV's not out, so I don't think she's out here either. I'm just gonna open those blinds over there. That, I think, is the next thing that I want to accomplish. But I will also try to find this special door. Oh, yo, you're up on top of that lamp. Yo, I'm coming for you, dude. Yeah. All right. We can do that. Are there any other positive vantage points that I can find? Probably up there. There's stuff on top of the bed over here. There are notebooks. Probably bills and stuff. The family budget is a mess of red ink. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's full of receipts. Including the one that I found, probably, right? Let's see what that door is. Oh, it's up up there. Ah, uh, well, I'm not at that vantage point anymore, so that doesn't help me. There's trash in the bed, though. We like the trash. We like to find trash in the bed. Can I get over here from here? Maybe. Uh, I need to recharge somewhere. I think there's an outlet on top of the mantle over there. Yes, yes, there is. What is this guy? Receipt number one. One chibi robo equals crazy moolah. Yeah, that makes sense. I feel like that would do that. I'll pick up this trash over here and then try to talk to my ribbit friend again, whose uh, condition is currently... Actually, I never actually went up this thing over here. Um, maybe there's something I'm looking for here. I never actually pulled out these drawers. I know I was attempting to one night and it never actually... Ooh, moolah. There's always Moolah to be found. Oh, there's some stuff up here. Ah, this is probably important. Potentially. Potentially important. I could still bury- <gasps> A door! I like doors. It's me, but, uh, door is... Tura? Maybe? I don't remember. I don't remember what door is. But it's got Moolah! Dinero! Uh, where'd a copper at? Over here. There's plenty of stuff up here. But it doesn't seem like anything important. Oh, well, I had to give it a shot anyway. Is there anything, uh, seeable in this room? No, it does not appear to be. Again. There was something about this area, I thought. Get up here, get over there, get around the, uh, perfume bottles and stuff, and then... There's a purse! It's a purse! 
But what's inside the purse? Maybe money? Maybe not? Maybe disappointment? Because we expected something and did not receive it? It's very possible. Anything's possible. Possible. Or so I've been by commercials. Sir, will you get up? Ribbit. Ribbit. Yes, you're convulsing. I see that. I see that. Oh, wait. I should put on this frog suit to understand what you're saying. What are you saying? What are you saying, sir? Tell me something. Yeah, that's what I needed to do. Uh, Chibi Robo, you're still here? Yes? Rita. 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 Wake them all up. Oh, and that's what brings Dinah down from the top. Dinah's prey is moving again. Time to go in for the kill. Hello, you. Wow, you look terrifying right about now. Roar! Excitement! How did you not tear yourself into pieces by jumping from that height? Goodness gracious! Yes, grar, 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 grar. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that thing! Oh my god! Run, run, run away, run away, baby! Chibi Robo? Uh, I... Goodbye! Bye, dude. It's because I look like a frog. I'll just take the frog thing off my hoodies. She goes crazy when she sees frogs. And then you'll break all your teeth because, like, you're made of metal. So, like... <laughs> yo, yo, my teeth! You're made of metal! You are? I am? Yes, I am made of metal. And yes, your teeth. Dyna teeth! There you go. Get out of the back. I don't want them or anything. You can have, what, what use do I have for these blocks? Hey, yo, whippersnapper, give me my teeth! I love your theme, Dyna. I forgot about this one. Roar, now I'm just as terrifying as I was before. Ah, thanks, Junior. This ain't much, but you go out and take it. Thanks, girl. I got a moolah, too. Oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. That's good, that's good. Thank you for that. I mistook you for one of them damn frogs. <laughs> what do you expect? My eyes are gold. Ow. You was dressed all in green. Silly whippersnapper. I guess it was fate that brought us together. Stop by if you need anything here. Bye now. So long. Bye. Bye. See you. Till next time. Bye, girl. Peace out, Girl Scout. <laughs> Bye. Well, that's what I get for walking around dressed as something that I'm not. Where'd you go, Donna? You just kind of walking around? Oh, I should take fr Ribbit, friend. You're just kind of hanging in the corner now. Yes. Yes, indeed. Or should we frog again? Here, talk to Froggo. Frida. Frida. What happened, Ribbit? Right. I've got to get back to Frida or the double, Ribbit. Will, will you take me to the backyard, Ribbit? What if I tell you no? What if you got to go there yourself, dude? Nah, I'll take you. Really? Truly, Ribbit? I'm... I'm counting on you, Ribbit. Time to pick you up and put you in my noggin. Pass that frog. Nice. Now I can bring that down to the front yard. Backyard. Not front yard. There's not front yard. Or there probably is a front yard, but I can't access it. Ah, yes. And this is where we get the... Yeah, here we go. Clink, clink. Hey, what's up? Ow! Chibi Robo! Just look at that, will ya? Ma Sanderson's tapped in him there, and he hasn't had any food or water for three days. The way he's been neglected is criminal. There are no two ways about it. Look at how young and strong he is. 
He's the picture of gallantry. I never realized how predatorial, pred predatorily she speaks. Huh. Oh, if only I could open them blinds. It ain't nothing but wishful thinking, though. If I were prone to melodrama, I might phrase it like this. Dum, 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 dum. The old dino can't open the blinds. Will Funky Phil ever know freedom again? His name was Phil, I knew it. Yep, that's reckon what I, that's probably what I'd say. And I definitely knew already that his name was Phil. I wasn't, I didn't just freak out there for any no good reason. To be honest, it's pretty sad, ain't it? Oh man, if only somebody could open up for him. Oh yeah. I can do that. I just gotta open up the blinds. I can do that. I can open the blinds for you. I was attempting to figure out how to do that before and honestly forgot how to do it. To be honest. I know there's a little thing right there. I just gotta pull it down. But but how? Also I'll go for pirate, dude. Hey there, Funkle Phil! How's it going, buddy? Uh, uh, come on, baby! Come, come on, girl! Don't, don't be like that! Come on over here! Come on, come on, buddy! You, you, please! I'm, yeah, I, I'm on my funky knees here! Come on! Yeah. Oh. Okay, so I, I don't have knees, but like... Oh, give me, give me some funky fresh lover! Oh, I swear I'm gonna... Oh, I'll, I'll never get my funky self out of here! Look at that! Work with me! Come on! Just a, just a little bit! Little bit! Huh? Hey! Funky Robo! My, uh, my corny friend here isn't showing me any love. It's left me in a very unfunky love bind. Could you, could you open this, Funky Robo? <laughs> yeah, I can do that. I got hands. I got claws. Word! Now that's what I'm talking about. Now go do. Oh, go. Wait a minute. I'll give it a little push. You catch it, and then you save me. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then I click the button. Time to go. Put the, just put the put the thing down. There we go. Just climb on up and push it all the way down. Oh, I may run out of energy. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I won't run out of energy. I'm just fine. Did we do it? Phil, did I did it? Did I do it? Well, he seems happy enough, so it looks like I did it. Yeah. You the robot! I am the robot! Actually, there's a couple of robots, but I'm at least one of them. I, but I guess according to you, I, I could be the robot if you want me to be. I'm more than happy to fill whatever gap that you've got in your life. Spread the happiness. I spread that happiness. That crazy Mrs. Sanderson! Jeez! She just has to shut the blinds. It's not like anyone's peeping in the window. Come on! I get a little subconscious too, so that's why sometimes I pull the window blinds. But anyway, but now I'll be able to kick my funk into high gear with practice my and practice my moves. Oh, oh yeah, funky Robo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, where's the plug? I need a plug. Where the plug at? Where's the plug at? I thought it was the plug over here. No, the plug is on the other side of the room. Well, whatever. Now to talk to you again, and then talk to your secret admirer over there. Yeah, Funky Robo! You know, as a reward, you get to check out my new moves. Howdy, Funky! Oh, look at him go. Oh, oh, look at this man, John. Long time no see. Let me tell you, this old gal wanted to open the blinds for you, but... As any fool can see, <laughs> these little tiny arms of mine mm -mm, aren't fit to stir a pot of chili. You, you about startled me out of my skin, Chibi Robo. You, 
You handle them lines like, like a pro. Thanks for that. You're welcome, ma'am. Anything to help you and this young chap over here get together, I suppose. Whatever, whatever I can do for you, I suppose. Whatever gets me happy points. I'm in it for the happy points. That's really all I'm in it for. It's just the happy points. Now, listen up here, Funky Phil. What? What say you shake off some of that dust and show me some boot scooting? How about it? For, for old time's sake. Oh, well, um... Uh, well, um... Um, ain't no kind of answer. You've been skipping meals again, partner. Ah, uh, men need to be manly. Manly. You know what I'm saying? Manly. How are you gonna find yourself a good little missus if you ain't got no spunk? Now, if worse comes to worse, I know a certain dinosaur who bites the bullets and marry her. How do you think you can bite the bullet? You could barely bite little robot's head over here. No, oh, stop your wilting, you dang fool! I'm just pulling your leg, uh, er, stem. It, it, it's a, it, it's a joke. J, O, um, K, E. That's how you spell joke. No, being stuck inside all the times made me plum crazy. How are you gonna get ahead in life if you, if and you ain't got a sense of humor? Come on, let's get a move on. This is so awesome. Hold everything. Let me turn around one more time. 180 degrees. Let me say this to you. I got a riddle for you. Do you know what kind of race a T-Rex could never win? The answer's right in front of you. An arms race. Get it? Arms race. Cause, cause, cause my arms. I, I got tiny arms. It's a, it, 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 you got, you, 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 you get the joke? It's a little gag, like, like little, little, my arms. That's, that's the joke. I got, I got a million of them. Oh. Hey, I ain't done yet. Man, I just uh, pulled her off the stage there. Make way for all night, funky. Man, look at the way those hands move. I definitely remember these hands. I most definitely remember these hands. You can't catch me anywhere not remembering these funky little hands. It's it's literally all the hands. This dude is all hands. It's all hands. There's no hips in that. It literally got no hips. It's all hands. Oh man. Just like I remember, Funky Phil is... Funky! It's in the name. Oh, if I were 10 years younger, oh, that boy would be mine for sure. Uh, ain't no two ways about it. He's be, he'd be mine. He'd be mine. I'd own him. He's mine. I'm telling you he's mine. Right, Chibi Robo? You agree with me? Please tell me you agree with me. I fear the response if I say no. John Tilton! Oh, you know, partner, you're brighter than you look. Wow, he funked so hard he dropped a child out of him. What in tarnation? Funky Phil, something, something fell off of you. It's a, it's a darn gold seed. Why, why, why am I blushing? It's only a seed. Oh, snap out of it, Dinah. Snap out of it. Get it, get a hold of yourself, girl. Go, go, uh, get that seed and see what it is. I can't look at it. I, I can't, I can't look at the seed. You, you take care of it, Chibi Robo. I'm leaving all the cards to you. Yo, Phil. That was pretty crazy. Um, and this is gonna seem weird. And don't take this the wrong way. 
But can I suck some of your funk? I know it's weird. Yeah? No? Okay. You haven't responded, so I'm just I'm just gonna kinda I'm just gonna kinda do this. I'm gonna suck some of your funk. Alright. This funk is now mine. And I'm gonna take it over to the under other windowsill. Don't don't worry about it. I won't misuse it. I know Funky has a very special place. Funk has to be used properly. If you don't use Funk properly, literally the end of the world. Literally. Uh, Funky Seed? Yes. Hmm. Well, if it's a seed, should you plant it? I'm inclined to believe so. That's why I said I was headed over to the other window, so... Didn't you say... C come on, Telly, catch on. Ah, he's, he's a little so sometimes. He didn't catch on. He's he's a later model. He doesn't have his up-to-date machine learning models as Chibi Robo does. Naturally. Excuse me, naturally. Naturally, naturally, naturally. All right, let's head on over to a plug. Plug myself in, and then go plant some seeds. Plant some seeds of doubt. Nah, there's already seeds of doubt in this marriage. That's just unfortunate. Why would I even go there? Nah, I don't know. No. I actually got scared when the screen went completely black there. I legitimately thought the GameCube had shut off. It scared me. I get scared sometimes. That's spooky if I've ever seen it. All right, so I gotta get Pirate Dude. Oh yeah, I gotta go back up for Pirate Dude. Because Pirate Dude's there too. Yeah, Pirate Dude. I gotta remember my pirates. There's so much stuff going on in this game. It's always moments like that in video games. Like, like sometimes I forget, like, the joy that a video game can bring. And honestly, that scene, oh, that felt awesome. I don't remember what I was listening to the other day. But it might have been, it might have been a song, it might have been a song perhaps, where they were saying like, you know, like, dance like, the, what was it? Oh my god. It was probably like a song or something like, dance like nobody's watching or stuff like that. And I'm like, honestly, you know what? Oh, sometimes you just gotta dance like nobody's watching, man. Just do, just do your thing. Do your thing with as much gusto as you can, as you can, you can muster. As much gusto as you can musto. Nah, I don't like that. That sounds weird. That, that definitely rubs me the wrong way. But... I remember going to like high school dance, not even high school dances, to middle school dances, and like just wanting to kind of like bust a move on anybody, like bust a move around anybody who'd let me, so to speak. I thought it's, that actually sounds kind of weird, but I was always the kind of kid who felt I, I get a little self conscious sometimes, but like back on the dance floor, I felt like I could just go absolutely nuts and just kind of just kind of let the music let me do whatever it told me to. That's what I felt like. I would like spin around on the ground. I'd like, I'd like, get, like weave between the crowd. And honestly, that was some of the most fun I had back in my formative years. I don't usually get to do that much anymore. There's not a lot of places nowadays that I know about that I can just kind of go to and like just kind of dance to like pop alternative music. I, I should, I could go to a club. I'm 23. It's not like there's anything preventing me, but. I'm an Idaho, and I'm trained to be a swashbuckling pilot. Yeah, we've all seen that whole like thing before. Like Captain Planky is recorded? Oh my good golly goodness. We've heard the same story. But like, I don't know. I always felt like that I wanted to dance like nobody was watching. But yet, when you dance like nobody's watching, literally everybody is watching. And it's it's a little nerve-wracking, I will admit that. But I, I mean, I, at the time, just tried to get past it as much as I possibly can. Because I just wanted to have a good time. And honestly, you know, if I want to have a good time, I'm not going to let anybody stop my good time from happening. I just will not let that happen. Especially when it comes to dancing on the dance floor. Oh, I totally missed it. Mm. Oh, no, we're all good. We're still good. It's still good. All's good. Honestly. I mean, to be fair, it's not like there was any, like, like, reason for me not to dance. Like, every time I would ask, like, you know, should I should I go out there and dance? Like, my friends who I surrounded myself were just like, yeah, you know, go out there and do your thing. Like, do your thing. And I was like, thank you. And they encouraged me. And that's, that's why I was able to do that. Because of my friends. My friends encourage me. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Let's put the funk thing in there. Funky seed. And I'm going to water you with liquid funk. I found it! What'd you find? What is that? A funky fill seed. I'll squirt it with funky sweat and it'll sprout. <laughs> pop, pop. Cute little funky fills will be poppin'. Poppin', yo! Up all over the place! Oh, little funky fills! Fillies! 
Philadelphia? Oh, who we? They sound plum adorable. Adorable as can be. Oh, little fillies. All them little fillies running around, dancing on with their daddy. Can you think of anything cuter? You can't. You can't, can you? I can. You can't. You can't. You just can't. Oh, I plant a funky seed myself. But he's... Oh, I don't have the energy to carry him. Nor the arm ring reach the wingspan. I don't got it. I need to go to the nuclear flower plant. No, no, wait, no, that's that's not the joke. Um, if I if I plant it and it starts falling over, they call it the leaning flower of power of flower of me, sir. You were having a riot up there, aren't you? <laughs> Which of those is funnier? Uh, what should I do? Oh, simple jokes are the best. Hmm. You get too fancy on folks and you lose them. Oh! It's time for that suspenseful show that I like. Oh, darn corny shows. I eat them up like popcorn. Oh, I bet you somebody falls off a cliff again. See? Corny. Unintentional comedy at its best. Yeah, people falling off cliffs when they're not supposed to or getting hit by bad, bad, bad things happening. You oh dear. There we go. Man, you are, you are some kind of wonderful, Dinah. Nice. What's up, little funksters? Uh, Philly. <laughs> it's a Philly. I'm picking up Philly. I guess I should bring him over to Phil, huh? I would make it there in time. Ru Night is kind of running out. Oh, let's give it a shot. Doop, de -boop, de -boop. Gonna go give him to Phil. Gotta return you to your father. All right, let's do this. I don't know if I got enough time. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. All the way up. All the way up. All the way up to the filster. Come on. Do, 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 do. I have to fill it. I have to uh, deliver your babies. I'm delivering your babies. I am a midwife. Am I a midwife? Chibi Robo is a midwife. And now I can't not think that ever again. Because he delivered Funkles, Funkies, Funk Phillies babies to him. Damn. Whoa now, Funky Robo. What's got you feeling so unfunky? Your children. It, to answer your question. I mean, it's not actually making me feel unfunky either. Like, I'm actually feeling pretty funky because of it. But, like, even still, you know? You get that. Oh, that's, that's bright. Oh, I gotta find a nice... Yeah, that's fine. Go, Peppy Deans! Go, Peppy Deans! <laughs> what? I have children? Oh, who that? Your Peppy? Now, now, where'd these kids come from? <laughs> no and no. I don't know, dog. You don't, you don't know? What are you talking about? You're the one who brought them here. I'm not your old man, funky little dudes. I say, come on now, I'm not your daddy. Go, Peppy Dance, Cookie, go, Peppy Dance. These kids aren't relenting. No, no freaking way. Oh, right, that's enough. Now, for the last time, I am not your poppy. Don't disappoint the children, dude. Oh. Look deep into my eyes, Phil. Are you sure they're not your children? Look at them. They look just like you. What? I, I'm, I'm not their pappy. 
Funky Phil isn't even married. Kids out of wedlock. Dude, yo, Phil, you have the ability to reproduce asexually. Do you not realize that? You don't need a partner for that. What? Asexual reproduction? I've never heard of something as crazy as that. That's ridiculous. Why are you looking at me like that? Alright, how about this? Okay. I ain't your daddy, but I'll show y'all how to funk like a villain. I want to learn how to funk like a villain. What? What I say about Cal and you call me Patty? Well, funky robo, uh, yeah, yeah, get on down to the living room and bring me the Drake Redcrest wax. Wax? Wax? That's the perfect tone for a group this big. I ate your pet. I don't tell, I don't gotta tell you that. Jeez. Anyway, I'm counting on you, Chibi Rope. Funky Robo. Are they? Man oh, man alive! They're adorable! God, cuter and all! Get out! They look just like Funky Phil! Oh, just look at the little varmints! Oh, they're too darling for words! Oh, here I come! I'm not gonna break myself into pieces! You can break yourself into pieces? Don't break yourself into pieces! Alright, you seem to be okay. I'm not sure if I'll be able to, uh... uh where'd you go? Where'd you go? Uh, Dinah? The night is almost over. Man, this has been a very filled night. <gasps> no, no, no! Oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Dinah! Dinah, where are you? No! I have run out of time. The funk had to end this evening. Uh, way to go. I think we can call it a day. I'm proud of the work we've done. Dude, that was... a lot. I forgot that the scene got so freaking animated. Jeez, I love that. That was probably the most excited I've been in this game so far. Ten and a half hours in. Man, the fun just don't stop. The fun just doesn't stop. Oh, and I went up in happy points things too. That's so great. I'm gonna take another bite of my chicken noodle soup. I think y'all don't mind. That is. Rank number seven. Sweet. That's a lucky number. Damn, my battery went up by 30 again. That is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Excuse me. Six, 763 more happy points to get to the next level and the next battery thing. Save after that? Oh, absolutely, I'm gonna save. Oh, for sure. Excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. How much scrap that? I don't have a scrap. Got some stuff on the ground. After that, I need to take a little break. I need to refill up my water. I need to go, like, take care of a couple of things. So I will be back in a hot second. Promise. In the meantime, as Funky Phil would have wanted, please enjoy these conga line rainbow dancing parrots. Be back in a little bit. And welcome back to everybody! We're continuing with Chibi Robo, but you knew that because it's been the same thing for the past like 10 hours and 40 minutes, so why would it change now, right? Uh, what do I do now? I feel like I'm so like oddly without direction now. Uh, I need to find the code to the briefcase, and I feel like the best course of action would be to talk to Daddy O, so I am going to chat with Daddy O. I can't handle any more of the papers things? No way! Fine, I'll just throw stuff away. There's so many papers around here. No, oh, maybe it's because uh, Jenny's been uh, drawing pictures again. That's good, that's good. Draw some pictures. Creativity in the young ones is always a good thing. I feel like I wouldn't be where I am today if I wasn't allowed to draw. Or paint. Or literally do anything. I think my parents were pretty good influences. And look how I turned out. I scream in my apartment alone. On camera. And I'm happy with it. And I'm having a wonderful time. I'm sure my parents would be proud of me. Actually, I know my parents are proud of me. I just spoke to my parents earlier today, a couple hours ago. That was during the last break. When was the last break anyway? How long ago was that call? 
Man, time really flies when you're having a good time. That was like 6.30. It was like, oh my god, like two and a half hours ago. Damn. Awesome. Honestly, I like to think of it like like that, uh, like, you know how when you, when you go running, uh, you get like a runner's high? Uh, personally, when I used to perform on stage, like, I get like my heart would race and then after I'd like, I'd do my thing on stage and then I'd come on off and I'd feel like I had like a, like a, like an actor's high, I guess? It's kind of like, it goes all, it goes all to your head. It's all ego. I'm telling you, it's all ego. Any, any actor who says like, I don't do it for the ego, like, I don't get a big head, but you, you get a big head. You, you gotta get a big head. There's no way that you're not getting a big head. Like, I don't know. Uh, I'm having a good time. That's what. That's all that matters. Because if I'm not having a good, because I'm not. If I'm not having a good time, what the heck do I expect anybody else to have a good time, right? That's the. That's the. That's my. That's my way. It's my philosophy. It's one of my many philosophies. I have many philosophies, and they come up in conversation every once in a while. Pretty much whatever's in here, just comes on out. Just comes on out every once in a while. Now I'm in the backyard. There is a bug on my screen. I must. Get, there we go. Get out of here. Thank you. Thank you for not completely messing up my day, bug. Goodbye. Well. Daddy is not outside. <gasps> Frida, wait! I have your boyfriend. I'm I'm gonna give you your boyfriend. Here, let me uh, let me get in my frog suit to to make the occasion more special. I don't want to like interrupt it by looking all robotic and metallic. So, what a touching reunion, right? Right? Touching reunion. How long is that loser boyfriend of mine gonna keep you waiting? Honestly, here it's. Is this your loser boyfriend? The passed out frog that I have in my pocket. Seems oddly appropriate. <gasps> oh! Yeah, watch me as I offer him up to the Sky Gods, and then the Sky Gods deliver him back to you unharmed. It's amazing. That's religion, baby. Or is it? Or is it just frog? Is it religion, or is it frog? <laughs> Friend, you're... You're still alive. No, you sure got yourself into a mess. Frida. I'm... I'm done for. Ah, I got mistaken for food and food for bits. Dude, you're literally in one piece. What are you talking about? What did I tell you? The house is dangerous. You, you got hurt because you didn't listen to me, as usual. Don't talk, don't talk so loudly, Rivet. My head still hurts. You don't know what pain is, my friend, but you're gonna find out soon enough! What? Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe I was better off as a dinosaur snack. Yeah, I'm sorry! Ribbit, I'm sorry! Are you really? Are you really? I'm sorry if we caused any trouble. See you later. No, no, no. All's well. well. All's well. I'm just here to help. Just here to help. But you're welcome. You're totally welcome. <laughs> yeah, help me! You just wait and see what's in store for you. Wow, that was pretty. That was pretty incredible. All right. Well, bye, bye, froggies. Bye, bye, froggies. Till next time, I suppose. Oh. I feel bad for Fred. Nah, I don't feel bad for Fred. He left for so long, and Frida was so worried. Oh well, time to find Dad. Maybe Dad's in the kitchen making hamburgers. I love hamburgers. I didn't have hamburgers tonight. I had chicken noodle soup tonight. Lovely, tastes absolutely awesome. I do like nice home cooked meals. Sometimes I get to make them too. I'm getting better at making home cooked meals. I've been had to do. I've been having to make more like dinners and stuff in my apartment. Uh, because, like, my fiancé has a lot of time for study, has to do a lot of her time for study, and so she can't make it all the time, obviously. And I've never been one of a cook, so I always got kind of nervous when it was my turn to make dinner. I've been getting more and more... It's if you practice. You practice and you get better at cooking, you know? Like anything, it's a muscle. It's a muscle in your brain that you gotta work out every once in a while, and it uh, becomes easier with time. I think, at least. That and, like, I guess, like... When you have ingredients on hand, it's a lot of googling what you can make with those ingredients. At, le at least in my case, it is. Uh, I got a frog suit, uh, Jenny. If you want to chat for a little bit, I got I got rings for you. Rings, rings like Sonic the Hedgehog. Yay, Chibi! Mom's mad. That's why Dad's been cooking. <gasps> he is cooking. Yes. I'm so hungry. I can't even draw anymore. Sunshine was hungry too, so he went somewhere. 
say, um, it looks like you have something there. Can I have it? You absolutely may, because you asked so nicely. Here you go. Froggle ring. And I got two more where that came from, if you'd like all of them. Thank you very much. You're so well. 99 happy points. That's a lot of happy points. Or maybe I gave uh, all the rings to her at once. I, ho I hope so. I'll check my inventory. Oh yeah, I did. I totally did. If you collect three more, something good will happen. I believe you. I trust you. Yeah, I gave them all to her. Sweet. White block, green block. The red block is in the other room. And I don't exactly remember where. I think it's a blue block. The blue block might be the last one. Dog tags I've got to give to, um, what's-his-face, uh, Sarge, but I can't yet get up there, so I cannot. You know what I think? I think I got the spook mask from Sophie, but I haven't spoken to Sophie in quite a while, because of the whole, like, Jake Redcrest thing. Maybe I, if I scare her enough times, I think that's when I get the spook mask from. That might be the, middle, the spook outfit or whatever. Because I need to help out Princess Pitts to be spooked. And not be spooked out from the potential love of her life. daddy -o. Nice. What's up, Tao? I don't have a bone for you. What does it matter? What's it matter anymore? I have no bones in my life. I have no bones in my body. If I have no bones in my body, I can't be happy. Because I'm only happy when I'm not gelatinous. A gelatinous pile of flesh. That's disgusting. Absolutely nasty. I could probably plant some like flowers in here, but I just just don't want them. Not right now. Now is not the time. Flowers? Now is the time for action. Excitement. And burger flipping. This was always one of my favorite minigames. I don't know if I was ever good at it, but I guess we're about to find out if I can ca if I can catch up to the camera that came before me. Hey yo daddy yo. Wanna make some burgies? Burgies, burgies, dat, dat, bur burgies. Can I, can I talk to you from here? Yes, I can. I have to be on the very edge of the counter. Help me, Chibi Robo. Oh. Jenny said she's hungry, but I'm hungrier than she is. You get it? Come on, help me make hamburgers. Yes, burgers it is. And then everybody will be happy because everybody will have a nice hamburger in the middle. Ah, oh, sweet. A zillion thanks. Every time I hit the kitchen, I end up burning everything. Let's grill some burgers! Okay, I'm going to explain the process, so listen carefully. First, we do some prep work. I love how my, like, my, my plastic cord is just sitting on the hot surface. Set those buns on the plates! Plate. Bun. Telly, thanks for telling me it's on the plate. I, I knew that. I could see it with my eyes. My robo eyes. You know, I remember this theme specifically. I can- I, I'm feeling like that- I'm feeling like that nostalgia just by listening to it. Oh man. This is great. If only cooking burgers was this easy. I always wind up finding a way to screw up. Actually, I've never actually made burgers before. Have I ever made burgers? I don't recall ever having made burgers before, but it's very possible that I have. I don't exactly know, though. I'm just unsure. Alright, now we got these things. Alright, oh, because I gotta flip things. I have to use your flume to flip the patterns. Depending on how long it sits there depends on how well done it is. I think if you see the smoke comes out or hear the sound effect, that's, that means it's changed. Yep, that means it's at two. Cook them until both sides are brown. The perfect for the tooth long. Watch the smoke and look for three. That's three. Hopefully I don't wind up screwing this up. Oh shit, that was the wrong one. No, oh, that's three. I gotta bring this patty over. There we go. Put that on the plate. 
I think you just became a two, right? Two? You might be a three in a second. You're a three already, cool. So this one's a one on that side. Uh, that's a two now on the other side. It should be, right? Yep. So flip that over again. Oh, it's a four, because it touched the other side. Shucks. Nope, that's still a two. I think that's it, honestly, on that one. Oh, that's a three. I gotta flip that. Oh, dear. I wonder if... I wonder if beef tastes good. If only I had teeth. Oh, come on, flip that burger. Yeah, all right. And then, we just gotta wait. There we go. That should be a three on both sides. There's a four on that one, but it's okay. I'd like to try it just once in my life. I'm sure you would, Telly. Sure you would. Then we got the buns, right? Once you set the those buns, we're finished! Wow, that's one fine-looking burger! Or is it? Is it really a fine-looking burger, or are you just saying that to flatter me? This part of the process is so painful, you just gotta wait for the buns to come out. Oh, what the... <laughs> that didn't work. There we go. I'm starting to get excited, too! Me too, dog. Me too. Excitement is overtaking my very bones. There we go. Honey! Daddy dinner! But it's the morning. Can't be dinner time yet. Is it really that late in the day? Oh, where did the lettuce come from? Is there any cheese on there? I certainly wasn't a part of that process. My bet. Oh, yes. Jenny's mom doesn't want any. My bet. It's, it's more fun to eat together. You right. You right, fam. Guess we'll have to give her a portion of towel. He's happy about it. Okay, let's eat. Munch. Oh, uh, I forgot. Chibi Robo and... Uh, we appreciate the thought, but unfortunately we're robots. Yeah, you're right. Okay, then. We'll just help ourselves. Don't mind us. Please, go ahead. Let's eat! Shall we? Oh, stuff that whole thing in your mouth. Yep. I would do the same. Just right into my thick skull. Wait a minute. It's... What is it? Delish. Oh, you got the cooking sticker. Oh, you really are amazing, Chibi Robo. Oh, cool, I got the cooking sticker. Sweet. I think that's actually the first sticker I've gotten. <laughs> got 20 happy points for everybody. Yeah, I think that's actually the first sticker that I've gotten out of, what, like, many of them? 20-something, maybe? That was good. I like that. That was items, uh, sticker. Yeah. While I'm in the kitchen, I know I have a little bread crumb in my pocket, uh, cookie crumb in my pocket. I should totally go, uh, feed a fish. Oh, well, there's a cookie thing right there. Where's that bridge at? Oh, okay, well, that's inconvenient to get through from here, but I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go for it! Yeah, play with that towel. Go for it. Let me get back up there, feed the fishies. Got the cookie badge. Not sure what the... How do I get the code again? I can't remember what the code was, or where to find the code. I'm sure I'll get across to it eventually. Somebody's got the code, and they're gonna give it to me eventually. I'll find that code. That's really the only piece that I'm missing. Oh, I gotta talk to the aliens too after I purchase the chip. How many, how much monies do I got? Yeah, I got enough for that chip. Sweet. I'll do that next. There is always a next adventure. Hello, fishies. I would love to give something to the fish. Here is a bread crumb. Oh, a cookie crumb. Here we go, guys. I'm sure we'll enjoy it. You always do. Lovely, lovely fishies to eat. 16 happy points. And I got 16 bula. Spread the happiness. Spread the happiness. Uh, Dad, I got a question for you. I want to talk to you about the code to the safe upstairs. It's possible I need to like go up there and click on the box again, like the, the briefcase again to figure it out. 
Oh, nuts. I'm in the doghouse, Chibi Robo. What am I gonna do? You see, I was busy cleaning. And I accidentally dropped my wedding ring down the drain. Ah, oh, here we go. Chibi Robo, you gotta get it back for me. You just gotta. Absolutely. More than happy to do so. I was waiting for this. God, oh, thanks. You're a lifesaver. Uh, that's my Chibi Robo. How will you recognize it? Oh, I know. Our anniversary date is engraved to the inside, and that's the code to the briefcase. Come on, Chibi Robo. I'm counting on you. Now I gotta go back up on the thing again. Whatever. That should be easy from this angle. All right, let's go inside. Into the drain. In we go. Down we go. Here we go. Into the drain. What are we gonna find? It's gonna be an engagement or um, wedding room. It's gonna be the wedding room. Now I know there'll be rats down there. I always like this song too. It's fine, just jump, just drop. There we go. Uh, there's some things over there. Oh hey there, buddy. Buddy rat. Shoot! Oh, can I not kill you guys? I totally thought I could. No, 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 I want to flip over that way. Oh, that's it. I got to do that thing. There we go. That's how that works. I just got to hide in the little things. Okay, okay. Well, that's how we're doing things now. Alrighty then. Oh, dear. Well, I guess I'm going down here now. <laughs> fine. Fine, that's fine. Let's go down over here. Most of the stuff down here is moolah anyway. There's plenty of moolah down here. Oh, my gosh. Plenty of moolah. Oh, I, not, I don't have a lot of energy. Well, there's the ring, so I got it. I'm just gonna get back up. Dad's wedding's ring. Wedding, wedding ring. Oh, it has two zero zero six six seven engraved on the inside. Hey, yo, buddy. Yeah, go get him. Yeah, go get him. I gotta get myself out of here before I run out of energy. So let's get on out of here. Go up this little thing over here, and actually, this might be really close to the way out. So, speak. actually. I have a feeling there's a frog ring down here. I have a strange, sneaking suspicion that there is. No, stop. Back the other way. Maybe it's on the other side of that thing over there. I got a, I got a feeling. I don't know what it is. But I feel it. Oh, shucks. Can I, like... Oh. Nice. He just ran right into me. I just run around past him. Oh, okay. Well, that wasn't... There was nothing over there. All right. I guess if I just run past him, then it's fine. Oh, I got whacked. Oh, don't whack me too hard. Okay, time to get out of here. I have a lot of moolah on me. Oh, dude, this is not good, actually. Time to go down. Oh, this is not good, actually. I don't... I think I'm gonna die down here. Oh, my God. Unless I get out of here fast enough. Oh, let's see. Well, I got out of the sewage, uh, the drain a little, uh, at least. Technically, if I just kind of wait around until, um, until the day ends, I won't have any problems. The plug is literally right over there. I can't make that. Oh, shucks. Ooh, this is not very good. This is not very good. How do I let time... Mm. That's no good. It's a bad moment. Bad moment to be alive. I could wait till it's just the end of the day, but then I can't talk to Daddy anymore. Well, I gotta do something. I'm gonna lose. I I'm not gonna lose too much blue blood. Oh well. Here we go. It's all or nothing. I gotta go tap the Daddy O. But then I drop. But at least I got the Redding Ring. So all's well. All's well that ends well. That's fine. I'll just take another bit of my soup. I lost like a thousand of it, but I still have enough for the chip, so it's fine. 
Don't forget to recharge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. I lose moolah all the time, but I still have enough for the chip, so all is well. Okay, it was 21.50. Save? Nah, not yet. I gotta give the ring to dad first. Who's in the other room? Cooking? Well, not cooking anymore. He finished his cooking. Alien ear chip. Oh, yeah. There we go. Perfection. That's all we got. Thank you for your visit. You're very welcome for your visit. Party, party, party time. Nice, and I've been upgraded appropriately. And it even is accompanied by a little bit of, like, fanfare and stuff. Let's go. Let's go, dude. I'm not cleaning that up this time. I got bigger fish to fry. I gotta talk to aliens. I gotta get the, the, the foot. I got things to do. We're nearing the end. We're definitely nearing the end. I think what I'm gonna wind up doing is I'm gonna play until I beat Queen Spiders. And that's probably where we're gonna end it, because it's been 11 plus hours so far. And that seems like a really accurate, like a very smart goal. Smart goals. There was totally smart goals for the way to go. Uh, yeah, I'll kill you guys. Kill you guys. I'll get on me. Oh, goodness, you're right next to me. There we go. Shoot behind me. Wow, I'm. I slid way across the floor. I've never seen Chibi Robo slide that far before. He's got mad slide skills. Slide tackle, Chibi Robo. Slide tackle. Slide tackle. Hey, Daddy, I got your ring. Thanks, Chibi Robo. Rob. That's my fake burp. Oh, man, I'm full. I think I'm gonna be ill. No, but the, the ring. Oh, okay. I guess you don't want your ring back. In that case, I think I'm just gonna go upstairs. Or I guess hang down here for the evening, because it's going to wind up turning into the night anyway, so... Excuse me. Oh, I need to get wax from, like, the living room. Wax. Why would we need red crest wax? What does that even mean? Like... No, I think he's talking about... I think he's trying to talk about music. So it might be a record. It's probably a record. It's probably a record. It's definitely a record. It's gotta be a record. I'm gonna take a look around in the room to see like where I can actually find it. It probably shows up on my radar. Not radar, uh my eyes. My eyes, my sweater. Drake, Red Crest out. Oh yeah, look at that. It's right over there. Where's it on top of the table? Looks like it's on top of the table. Or no, it's over near the record. Oh yeah, oh yeah, right over there. I don't know if I'll be able to make that by the time the time turns. I'll give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. All the way up! All the way up, my friend. You got it. You got it. Right? Right? Totally got this. There you are, right there. Sweet. Just pop on over this and give it a grab. Sweet! Easy. That is like perfect progress for a nice end of the day. Then, I suppose it'll be switching over real soon, right? Like really soon? Like really, really soon? There's the soon. That's exactly as soon as I thought it would be. On to the evening. I can go upstairs, I can open up the case, and I can give the wax to Funky Phil. And then get Giga Robo's leg, take it downstairs, talk to the aliens, it'll be great. It'll be awesome. I think I'm gonna do that all in one night. I'm gonna do that all in one night so I can talk to the aliens. We're gonna get the next bonus. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Let's go. Let's go. It's the baby. The baby says, play Chibi Robo. It's good for you. It's good for my soul, but is it good for my body? I don't know. I've been sitting in a chair all day. It's probably not super good for my body. But I've been taking some breaks. I think it's a breaks. I think I've taken three breaks this time and one micro break. Anna says I should take more micro breaks. I, I understand that. I understand. My knees have been hurting a little, like hurting a little bit, probably because of the position of the chair. I mean, ever since we adjusted, we readjusted the chair. I'm like really close to the ground now, so my feet actually touch the ground. And Anna says that that's supposed to be like the best position for my knees because my feet are supposed to be touching the ground. I'm a very small person. This is that has the potential of being a very tall chair. So oftentimes, it can be a bit of a conniption. What's up, Sarge, buddy, buddy boy? I'll get to you. At some point, probably. Maybe, maybe not today. Maybe not today. Getting closer and closer to the end. 
Oh, this has been nice. I'm wondering if I'm going to surpass my stream time record. I've never gone longer than 12 hours. Honestly, I want to get to it. I'm like an hour away. I could totally do that. But we'll see how far it gets me in the next hour. Or how long it takes me to get to the Queen Spider. However long it takes. I think when I played Super Mario Sunshine, I want to say I, like, beat the final boss at around maybe like nine, th nine hours and 30 minutes. And then I kept playing until like almost 12 hours because I was like, I had to try to keep going. And eventually I just kind of ran out of direction and I had to stop because uh, I got tired. Not yet tired. Not yet super tired. I kind of like, I mentally prepared myself for this day. I've been looking forward to it for quite a while. Okay, so time to go over there and show the power of the funk. And then I will take care of the briefcase. Or rather, I will take care of the briefcase now so I can get the leg. Then I'll go talk to the Funkos. The funk, the funky couple. The funky chicken! It won't open if you don't know the correct password. What? But I. But I have the ring. Oh, will you not? Oh. I thought I talked to Dad about. It. I guess I gotta wait till he's not like there. Ah, sad boy time. Oh well, well I'll talk to the funky dudes, and then I'll talk to the aliens too, and that'll be good. That'll be very, very good. Maybe I'll try to see if I can get Sarge to do a thing or find him. If I can even get over there, do I actually need like the uh, spaceship to get over there? I feel like there's another way that I just don't know about right now. Heck, whatever. It's funky time. Right? Excuse me. Yeah, yeah! Yo, funky robo! Did you find the Drake Redcrest wax? I did. If you can call it wax. The album. Oh, that's just another name for wax, I suppose. I believe that. Oh, maybe I gotta give the wedding ring to, um... Mrs. Sanderson. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You're the funkiest funky robo. Oh yeah. 16 happy birthdays. And more happy birthdays. And then the little fillies give me some too, maybe? Give me some funk? No? Okay, that's fine. Let me go for it. No time to waste, let's dance. Dance, 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 daddy, dance. Go on, boot scoot. Dance, you funky tumbleweeds! Yeehaw! Go for it, my friends. Dance like nobody's watching. Woo, yeah! Drake Red Crest forever! Oh, I forgot there's three more of them. I think a drink as I experience this. I honestly forgot this even had lyrics to it. This must be like a theme to the show or something. Obviously. Oh my god, another funk! Excellent. More funk, more fun. Yeehaw! Rat him, funky! Look at them tiny fellows go! All the little sprouts can't dance! Yes, they can. And look, there's another one. Get down and funky! Freaky, little dudes! That was a funky good start. Thanks, Funky Robo! Welcome back, dearest. Funky oh, Phil, give me more! More happy points! And a hundred moolah. Spread that happiness all around. They're cuter than armadillos and tutus! No, I wanna do something nice for these little sprouts. Isn't there anything I can do? You could say, nice performance. Isn't there anything I can do? Why are you looking at me? Don't look at me so weird like that. I, I don't know, just, just do it. Isn't there anything I can do? Why are you repeating? Isn't there anything I can do? 
I got it. I just thought of something good. What are you doing? Where are you going? I'll take y'all out out of the big blue sky. Adios, partner. Peace, Girl Scout. Peace out, Girl Scout. It's practice time, baby. That's a lot of funk energy for a couple of little fillies. Well, now I got the funky seed. Time to go plant some more little fillies. As scary as that may sound, downright terrifying. The world could use more funk like that. Oh, what the? Chibi Robo! I was trying to do something, girl. Why'd you throw a block at me, blockhead? Over here, over here. Well, I got the purple block now. There's just one more block that I need. Could you spare a few minutes for your old dino dinosaur? Come here, will you? Okay, and I guess I'll take this thing with me too. But um, you knocked me right off my surface, dude. Such disrespect, dude. I was doing stuff. I was doing stuff. I need to plant more fillies, dude. You can wait your turn. There's only so much moonlight to go around. Jeez. Such disrespect. Such disrespect. I'm gonna go plant some more fillies. Otherwise, the, uh... The three on one side, none of the uh, three on the other won't, go, won't work. Let's go plant the fillies. Just by putting the little funky seed into the other area. All right. You can use the funk to grow more funk. That's how funk is born, don't you know? That's how you bear more funk and deliver the funk to Phil. I am Phil's midwife because I am delivering his children. JB Robo, I'm telling you to get your tin caboose over here and talk to me. Yeah, I'll get you. I need to make more. Oh, can I actually not? Uh, dude, you won't let me. Oh, you won't even let me plant the fills. Dude. Disrespect, man. <sighs> Fine, here I come. Talk to you about block stuff or whatever. I really wanted to deliver more children, but apparently that. That's gotta wait. It's gotta wait. Phil's children have to wait because of you, woman. Unfortunate. Absolutely unfortunate. Okay, Dino, what is it that you want? I got a favor to ask you, Chibi Robo. Now, you remember that block I threw over yonder? No. How could I remember? You whacked my head so hard with it that I have amnesia. I thought you might. You're as smart as a whip, and you got eyes like a paranoid prairie dog to boot. What do you mean by that? Anyway. I need blocks. If you find any, bring them on over to me. Yes! Or should I say no? I'm gonna do it anyway. That's a good boy. I'm fond of kids who give good answers. Like yes? That's a good answer, right? Very good answer. For the happiness. So, did you bring me any blocks, Chibi Robo? Yeah, I got a few of them, actually. Um, there's one red one that's missing, I know that. What you got? Show it to me! Well, the purple one that you threw up my head so rudely. But a very good aim. Gotta say, very, very good aim. Oh, and I'm handing them all over. Sweet. And I got the yellow one. I think I got a green one in there, too. And a white one. And I know the red one is in the foyer. I'll get to that. 99 happy points. That's a lot of happy. There's so much happy to go around. Spread that happiness. Well, thanks, amigo. I only need three more. I only know where one of the other ones is. <laughs> R.I.P. R.I.P. All right, let's all get on down there so I can, um, bear fill more children. Well, I'm not the one with bear. It's, it's the plant. So the plants are the one bearing children. I'm just the one delivering. That's we, as we have we noticed. I'm the midwife, not the actual wife. The midwife, not the mother. Obviously. Chibi River King. He's a, he's a robot. He can't give birth. Can he? All right. Nope, no saving yet. I got other things to do. Right, then let's go. All right, I'm gonna plant these fills. Plant these fills real good. 
I'm gonna plant these fills like nobody's ever planted them before. Now, on attempt number three, to plant those fills. I've been trying for so long, goodness. I've been trying. Really, really been trying. A lot of baseball stuff down here. Not sure why I just noticed that. Not a big baseball guy. Not a really big sports guy. I already mentioned that. Not big into the sports balls. Definitely not into the sports balls. Not as much as some people would be. I think I did mention already, like, if I was to get any, into anything, it'd probably be soccer. I'm a little interested in soccer, because I used to play soccer. That was good. Place. Oh, Phil, would you... Come on, get up on there. There we go. Get up on there, and then... Do it again. There we go. Now I can actually plant things properly. Thank you. Put it in the ground. Put the seed in the thing. Funky seed. Funky seed. Put it in the ground. And then give it that good good. It's a good thing I still have some of this. Yeah. There we go. It's fungy in its own special way. See that one on the little one? Is the runt. He's the runt of the litter, but he's still happy. Right? Right, little funky dude? Why you gotta look at him so funny like that? Don't, don't look at your brother so funny like that. He's like, what are you guys? Just a little red. Kind of like the red egg dude. So this is the one in charge. Freaky Phil. Oh, yeah. Not funky. Freaky. Like freaky deaky me out. Honestly, you need a little freaky to the funky. If you don't got enough freaky to the funky, you ain't got something new. It's just everything same funk as everybody else. Or at least that's that's how I imagine the logic would be. Um, I feel like freaky as well is where uh, it's, it's well necessi uh, necessitated by the funk community, perhaps. I don't know. Anybody in the funk community that can confirm or deny that? I, I don't really know. I don't listen to a lot of funk, but I try to. I only know one funk band, and that's Ripe. And that's based off of somebody's recommendation. That's all I got. That's really all I got. Let's see what kind of funk this brings. There we go. What's up, dude? There's funky sweat everywhere. Disgustingly funky. Whoa now, funky robo! What's got you feeling so unfunky? Again, your children. I love how the, the other twos are fillies, and these one, that the other one was a freaky fill. It's a whole new beast all on its own. There you go. Oh, baby! Oh, I'm cool, I'm cool. You're not shocking me twice. <laughs> Yo, Funky Robo, check this out. I don't know where you're getting these dudes. But, but they're my funky buddies now. It's time to practice our funktivity. Like an activity that is funky. Go for it, my good guy. Is there anything else that I can help you with this evening, sir? Ooh, yeah, Funky Robo! One day, me and the little Funksters are gonna put on a show and you're invited. Yeah, in the meanwhile, take care of that old lady, will you? Exactly. Yep, uh, I need to bring in the blocks. If I don't bring in the blocks, she don't get no... If I don't give her the blocks, she won't be able to get off her rocks. And she wants to get off the rocks, right? Right? Everybody wants to be off their rocks. Everybody off your rockers. That's how we party. That's one way to party. If there are many ways to party, that is one of the ways to party. I wouldn't say that I'm a, uh, wouldn't say that I'm a, um, what's the word? Like, like, the person who would make the standards of the party. I wouldn't know. I am merely a party denizen. That's what the party hat's for. It's to denote me as being part of the party as everybody else could be. And now let's go over to the door. Sweet! If I had some more, um, if I had some more nectar on me, I totally should have given some more to Sunshine over there. But, uh, hey, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, what's going on down there? Hey, you! Hey, what are you doing, Sophie? Coming down the stairs? Have you ever been upstairs before? Oh! That's cute! Oh, it's Chibi Robo! See you later! What? Uh, okay. Uh, 
I'm not questioning it. I'm just like, you good, girl? What, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Now, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to scare you with my Drake Redcrest thing multiple times, right? Here, I'm gonna scare the shit out of you. Watch this. No, you're completely ignoring me? Why you gotta ignore me like that? <laughs> Drake! Oh my, you're here to see me, little old me? <laughs> Wait a second. It's fucking Chibi Robo, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's definitely me, Chibi Robo. Yes, it totally is. I, I'll, I'll be honest. I, yeah. Don't startle me like that. One more time. One more time. I'm gonna startle you again. I'm gonna keep on startling you because I think... Is something wrong with Mr. Sanderson? He hasn't been to the kitchen lately. Yeah, he's right here. Oh, Mrs. Sanderson. Maybe. Here, watch this, dude. I'm gonna do it again. What pow I'm gonna scare you with my swagger. Yeah, I scared you again, didn't I? Yeah, you're here to see me. I am. Yeah, I am. Yeah, totally. You're much smaller than Drake. Yeah. How many times? I, I feel like this is the way to do it. And if not, I'm just gonna head on back downstairs and uh, uh, speak to aliens or something like that. That's how we do it. I'm gonna do it one more time. Watch this. Right? Right, right? Isn't that, wasn't that cool? Wasn't that cool, man? Yeah, watch this. Yeah, isn't this cool? I could do my pow pow! Scare the daylights out of you. Yes, I am the Drake. I am Drake, and you. You are my love. You're my love, and I am the Drake. That's how we do. Mm, you know, that's fine. No, it's totally not me. I'm just gonna lie to you this time. Whatever. Whatever, dude. Fine. I'm going downstairs. I don't need this anyway. Too cool for you. Too cool for school. Too school for low. Cool. Words that come out of my mouth. I'm gonna talk to aliens. It's cooler than caterpillars. So, yeah. There's that. I said it. I'm, I'm not afraid to say it. Yeah. Take it up with my manager. His name's Television, aka TV. But don't call him that. He doesn't like that. Or you know what? Do call him that because he likes. Th he doesn't like that. Yeah. That'll put him in place. All right, Red Crest is over there, and the aliens are outside. Got a plug in the wall somewhere. Is there a wall plug over there? I'm already too far past it to even care. So let's go do this. Plug myself in, talk to the aliens, fun, fun times, learn about the secret of uh, unlimited power. You know, the light of, the light of it. I am fully recharged. Am I gonna save? Absolutely not. Why would I do that? Saving is for... Smart people. Oh, wow, you really... Am I okay? That's happened five times! Thanks for counting. I seriously don't understand the point of that. <laughs> but it is funny. It doesn't do give me the chuckle every once in a while. And that's good. Because we like that. All right, time to go talk to aliens. Time to phone the mothership. Oh, look, another uh, bone back there. I guess I'll dig that up first, and then I'll have a, at least a topic of conversation with Tao. Good morning. Oh, hi, everybody. Get off of me. Get away from me. Silly spiders. Tricks are for kids. Or at least so I've been told. I have eaten tricks before, and I'm very much an adult. Although I'm not sure the last time I ate tricks, whether that was in my adult life or before. Technically, the adult life beginning. It must have been before. It, I couldn't have not eaten tricks within the last like five years. Like that'd be that'd be too long to go without tricks. Tricks is okay. Oh wait, that's not the right thing. I need to do the radar. There we go. Phone home! Phone the mothership! Very... Very whimsical. I like that theme. What's up, dudes? Chibi Robo! Aliens. Aliens! You right. 
Wow, wow, this is the first time I've seen one in real life. Are you... Do you think most people see them? We are friends. We are here to see friend. We made promise to friend. Must see now. Are you friend or friend? Where is friend now? Friend is in the basement, actually. Chibi Robo. Let's show them the way to their friend. Yes. Way to go, Chibi Robo. Keep this up and we'll be at the top of the Chibi Robo ramp scenes in no time. Do your best. All right, I'll take you downstairs. You want ship? Oh. Bye bye. We follow you. Thank you. Thank you. You're so welcome, Titan. And Io. These are the these are the moons of Saturn. And uh, Ganymede. And then there's another one. Wow, 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 Chibi Robo, the aliens gave you happy points. They did. Titan! Titan! Io! Io! Ganymede! Ganymede! Nice to meet ya! Nice to meet ya! Very good. Follow me! I'll protect you for the demons! They're like very robo-humanoid. Wait just a minute! Drake Redcrest, you wouldn't... Who decides? What is justice? And what is evil? What is justice? What is evil? I don't know! You cannot fool me disguising yourselves as Space Hunter Robo! Aha! I know, you've come to annihilate this world! Hideous! Extraterrestrial friends! I must stop you somehow! What are you gonna do? Strike a pose? Space Hunter Robo, I don't want to believe you're an agent of evil! However, it will exist. Justice will defeat it. This is what justice is all about. And I am the hero of justice. And then, are you going to do your strike pose? And that's not going to stop us, dude. Space Hunter Drake Redcrest! Fizzle. Your spell has fizzled. Your charm spell has fizzled. Space Hunter Drake Redcrest! Excuse me. Oh, you've run out of gunpowder. That's what the gunpowder's for. I remember now. <laughs> Humiliation is a cruel mistress. I seem to have run out of gunpowder. All right. I'll let you go just this once. But uh, your days, they're numbered. Don't think you can escape. Adios, enemigos. What was that? Cool. Alien is amigo. Want to meet amigo? Yes, alien is amigo. You are gonna. I'm gonna take you to your amigo. His name is Giga Robo, probably. He's downstairs. I can tell it's you because I remember when I downloaded Giga Robo's memory, he definitely stopped a spaceship. Like, a full-on crash landing almost occurred, and Giga Robo was there to stop it. With his immensely powerful robotic arms, and legs, and body, and energy. Which definitely came from, like, some quantum cells. It's no, it's no wonder it costs so much energy, but literally, you were definitely making matter from nothing. That's, that's a scary process, let me tell you. That sounds terrifying. Come along, my alien comrades. Don't worry about it. Uh, Sarge, don't look, okay? I love watching them, like, jiggle around, like, following behind. It's so cute. Well, it's almost night, uh, morning time, so might as well do this. I'm kind of running out of time over here, but let's do it. Basement. There we go. Come on down, my friends. It's funny, because they can float. Haha! <laughs> oh, look, it's the Great Pico! It's the Great Picocho! Oh, I think I got all your dudes. There is your buddy, right? Friend! Pow! 
Puppy! I did it. I took your friend. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Oh, thanks guys. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Would be the proper call and response for the different accents and emphases that were placed on the different words. Oh, you got more happy points from the aliens. Uh, yeah, your achievements are already on a universal scale. Go Chibi Robo. Ellipses. Sad boy time. Friend? I think I needed this to happen before I could get the leg upstairs. Pretty sure. Glug, glug, glug. Gar, <laughs> what be all the ruckus now? Greetings! Am I immobile? This same you seek? It's meat cold! Yar, shut your cork holes for a second! Are you asking about Giga Robo? Aye, he's as stiff as me beard! And me beard's made out of wood! Mighty stiff! Mighty stiff wood! Wind has stopped! Wind does not move! Wind has No, 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 he's not dead. Remember, robots can't die. Silly. We promised, friend. We are too late. We are sorry, friend. No good. Well, they're sad because their eyes got all purple and they're all like light blue now. Very sad boy time. Are ye all grieving for me, shipmate Giga Robo? What a kindly bunch of critters, ev! I can't stop me tears. <laughs> tears are tiny oceans of sorrow. Tis from a poem I penned once. Oh, are Forget I said that. Pirates don't write poems. Tis another part of the pirate's code. We never write poems. I'm shoving off for now, Chibi. Yeah, bye, dude. You're just gonna walk back to your ship, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We leave. Depart. Withdraw. Bye, guys. It's okay, I'm gonna bring him back to life. That's how the story ends. He comes back to life, I promise. Here, dude. I wanna talk to you about your pirate pals. Ahoy there, Chibi. You'd come in at a good time. This scurvy splinter's about to set sail. Oh, yeah. It's gonna set sail, all right. And these little yokes. It's almost time. Guard, tis the one-eyed flying crate. Many thanks for all your help. Uh, no, no, that's that's fine. Just remember what you promised. Your a pirate always keeps his word. Tis part of the pirate's code, it is. Here you be. What'd I get? The pirate's map. Ah, yes, I forgot. Treasure map A. Yar, here's the next one. Pirate map. B. Yeah, and this be the last one. It's pirate map C, isn't it? Or perhaps it strips straight to the D. Nope, just C. It matters not. In the end, all of the booty will rest in the scurvy splinter's hold. Yarr. Sure. Our best mates, prepare to set sail. And off it goes, into the wild purple yonder. Set sail, Splinter. Go for it. Are you ready, kids? Go! <laughs> <laughs>
Go! Go! <laughs> Anchors away! It's actually flying. That's that's magic. That's straight up magic. There's both magic and science in this world. Who knew? Or perhaps the two aren't so mutually exclusive. Well, peace out, I guess. Bye. Peace. Bye-bye. Oh, all four of these. Oh, how spectacular. Oh, uh, well then, Chibi Robo, if you'll excuse me. Bye. I'm gonna talk to the great Pico and have another out-of-body experience. Before the night ends. It just seems like the most appropriate thing to do at this time. How much money do I have? I don't know. Um, another sucker! I mean, oh! Dear me, your soul is unclean! Will you cleanse your soul? Yes. I'm gonna give you another thousand. Because I just can't stop but gamble. Your desire to achieve enlightenment is quite admirable! Moolah corrupts the soul! But if you use your moolah, then your soul is gradually purified. Now then, allow me to take your moolah as a pollution for your dirty soul. Let the cleansing begin. By repeating this process, your moolah will be purified and return to you in time. And this is the one true way to obtain worldly desires and become one with a higher plane. You have 589, moolah. How much would you like to purify? 500. 500? 500, yes? And... Now let us begin the process of cleansing your moolah and your soul! I think it's the same thing as before. We get like a little existential dread, we get out of body experience, we see the eyes jiggle a little bit, entrapment is release, abandonment is friendship. Everything that you think is one way is actually the other. And the cosmos embraces you with love! Let your doubts and fears melt away! And just enjoy like the little like guitar action in the background. Oh, it's this thing's eyes again. Oh, yes. Oh, close them. Yeah, go ahead. I'll reach with my soul. I'll feel with my soul. I think your eye is going to stay closed. It's gonna remain closed. It's gonna stay shut. I'm telling you. It's gonna remain shut. Oh, whatever. My clean soul will be able to see the answer with certainty. Well, will my eye open? No, not at all. I don't believe it will. It'd be bold of me to assume that it would. You believe it will remain closed, yes? <coughs> I'm ready. Are you ready? Now jiggle. Observe the jigglance of the eyes. I wait in anticipation. I just cannot contain my excitement. What could it possibly be? I don't know. It remained closed. Incredible. Ah, wonderful! Your noble intentions have birthed the miracle. You are correct. Men and women alike will rejoice in the presence of your soul. You have gained 1,000 moolah. Cool, I got it all back. Awesome. I just noticed there's a little, like, spiral in its eyes. That's crazy. I never noticed that before. I doubled my money. Your noble intentions and trusting soul have birthed a miracle. I must spread word of this miracle. I must share this joy with others. Will you continue to cleanse? No. The house always wins, my friend. I'm leaving. Oh my, this is not part of the plan. You're going to stop? Huh? No. Oh, how unfortunate. Eh, whatever. Well, your uh, moolah and soul have been cleansed, and now return to you is indeed uh, whatever. Uh, please come again. Goodbye. Right, whenever you close your eyes, please think of me, Pico, the man with the pots as a head. It's funny because Pico is tea, and so he's got a tea. It's got a teapot. It's it's a uh, it's it's a joke. Anyway, I'm gonna clean, as I always do, to cope with these types of out-of-body experiences. 
That's how Chibi Robo copes with this. Chibi Robo has to care about his mental health too. Oh my god, look at these things. Yeah, I'm not also gonna destroy the non-believers. Purge the heretics. Purge the heretics. Yeah, get, get it, get it. Yeah, there we go. See, purging the heretics also makes me feel good. That and cleaning up more messes. What's up? I'm gonna clean up the messes. I'm gonna purge all the heretics. You're right, I will. Way to go. Kind of the call of the day. So now the next step is to probably um, use the code to unlock Gigaroba's leg to get Gigaroba up and moving again. And then as Gigarobo, Gigarobo moves around the house, eventually we will fight Queen Spider, and that will be that will be it. That'll be it. I don't know how long that's gonna take. What's that? I know I'm almost at 12 hours. I got 15 more minutes till 12 hours. Jeez. I marathon it. I'm marathoning it, all right. It's the power of my ability to hyper focus on something for a very long period of time. Well, now I've got this money, so what do I do with it? I suppose I will spend it on that battery that I've been telling myself I don't want. But I want it. I should have it. I should get that. Yeah, I should get the cheap battery. I've been putting it off this entire time. I think once you use it, that's it. If I'm correct in saying. <laughs> so it saves you once. Chibi battery. It's time to work that body. It's time to do line jumps. This is probably the most active I will be this entire stream. Let's do it. Oh, I don't have enough space on my... There we go. Yeah, line jumps. I've upgraded. Let's keep on going. Oh my god, I whacked my foot on my chair. Jeez. Let's keep on a going. Let's keep going, ladies and gentlemen. Work that body and do some line jumps. If you want to, you don't have to. I'm not your parents. I'm going to do line jumps, though. Because that's what it was requested to me for. Oh, this actually feels really, really nice that my legs are moving around. Here, where's, um, where's, uh, where's Baba Louie? Baba Louie, Baba Louie, Baba Lou? Where's Daddy-o? Where's Daddy-o? I gotta give him his engagement ring back. Um, Dad already needs to talk to Mom. And also give her the engagement ring. I don't know who gets the engagement ring. Somebody's gonna tell me that that's the code to the briefcase. Ah, oh, somebody will eventually do so. And then I will be able to use that code on the briefcase, appropriately so. Whew, feels good. Alright, where's Daddy-o? Daddy-o over here? I don't really want to help you with the burgers, but if I have to, I will. Yeah, I think I have to go talk to mom about that. All right, maybe? Buddy? Buddy Papio? Help me, Chibi Robo! Jenny said she's hungry, but I'm hungrier than she is. So, uh, what we need to do is. Huh? A, a bun, meat, uh, uh, a, a, a stove. Yeah, is, it, is that. Whatever, come on, help cook me. Help me cook some burgers. No. I have more important things to attend to, Daddy-o. What? Man, you're a jerk. All right, peace out, dude. I'm going upstairs to talk to your wife. You know, the one who doesn't love you right now? Yeah, it's hard, I know. Shoot the little non-believers. That's a lot. This is a lot of heretics to purge. There are so many heretics to purge. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Now that I'm over here, I can go purge some more heretics. If they show up. If the heretics don't show up, then I can't purge them. I'm not actively seeking heretics. Oh my god, look at that, heretics! They're right behind me. There you are. It's only one heretic. You're dead now. Oh look, there's there's a couple more. Oh, there's so many heretics to purge. Incredible. Well, I mean, if you ask for trouble, trouble's bound to find you. go upstairs and talk to you uh, I get I guess talk to mamacita I hope she has something to say about the engagement ring somebody must somebody's got to talk about this engagement ring oh I also wanted to talk to Tao to the dog because I have his little uh, I got his bone I got his bone hmm. oh well I'll do that perhaps when I go downstairs Nice. He's going up. Here we go. Up the thing. Gonna talk to mom about maybe wedding ring stuff. It's time for Chibi Robo Therapy Session to prevent you from burning down your own house. Not that you said that you would, but I feel like it might have been heavily implied. So let's give it a shot. Mama! Mama! 
Give me the coach and the briefcase. Please, please. I see you've delivered my letter. Hmm. I think you deserve a reward for being just the smartest little robot ever. Mama gave me 120 heavy ones. Oh, 330 moolah. Oh, you, you don't have to do that. I never thought boycotting all of my housework would be this boring. I wish there was something I could do. Oh, wait! I know! I haven't sewn for ages. I think I'll get out of the old sewing kit for a change. Since you've been working so hard and been such a good bot, I'll make something nice and cozy just for you. Sweet! Just give me a little time, okay? Oh, very nice. You've been cleaning up the house. Wow! Thank you, Chibi Robo. Oh, you're welcome. As always! And I got 10 moolah. Yes, for the happiness! So, I want to talk to you about that box under your bed, uh, if that's at all possible. Uh, mother, come over here. Or maybe I just know the code right now. Do I know the code now? Yeah? Won't open if you don't know the code. Yep, I know that, but it's most definitely the of the ring. Actually, you know what? What if I just... What if I click on it in my inventory? Right? You're gonna be inside. Yep, yep. Now I know the code, right? Now I know the code. Ah, I, I just thought I knew the code. Oh, uh, mama. I need to talk to you about that box of the bed. Hmm? I wanted to make you something, but there aren't any old clothes. Oh, I can't make anything with any, any material. What should I do? I'll hunt around a bit for something, so just wait a little longer. Oh, but make sure you tell me uh, if you find anything we can use, Chibo. Oh, I need to talk to somebody about that box. Oh, look. Boxer briefs. <laughs> wow. This is just sitting on the ground. Old boxers. Nice. Impressive. Anything else in this room I should go for? Outdated scarf. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that. Oh my goodness, what a, what a trial this has been. And after you make my sweater, then we'll uh, we'll, we'll talk about our uh, the, the, the world, right? We'll want to talk about the world, talk about, like, you know, that briefcase? We gotta talk about that briefcase. Girl, we gotta talk about the briefcase. Uh, out there, scarf is up there. I could probably get it from all the way up there, so let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Dun -dun 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 Gone to speak to Dinah or Dinah's realm. It's not really. Dinah's probably asleep right now, or uh, pretending to be asleep, because that's how that do. Because uh, you know, you know, right? Dinosaur. What's up, dinosaur? What's up, dinosaur? Get it? Dinah. What's her name? We've been friends. All right, I want to get that scarf, and it's right here. Now, what's the best way to get over there? I'm gonna try to use helicopter. Power. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh me oh my. Oh my god, totally. That worked. Okay, so now I'm up here. I honestly did not realize I could get up here like that. Uh, well, now that I'm here, uh, I don't know where to go next. I need to go up there somehow. I'm gonna move very, very carefully. Very, very carefully. Oh look, there's a little birdie in there. Oh no, that totally didn't work. Ah, down I go. Down I go. I get that scarf, jeez. What is the best way to get to that scarf? It's to get up there somehow, but how do I do that? If I get up there, can I like climb along the other rafters over there? And No, that doesn't really give me enough space. Oh, I see that. There we go. I can get up there. Um, okay, I see that. So, I need to make my way over to that lamp. I'm gonna try this again. But first, I guess I'm gonna go and, um, increase my battery power. Perhaps this will get her to talk about that briefcase. She'll be like, you can have whatever's inside of it. I don't need it. It's probably my husband's junk anyway. I've recharged 58 times. Sweet! 10 more. Or 11 more. And then we got special numbers. Oh, of course. Shit falls on me. Nice. Oh, 
I feel like that's supposed to tell me that I'm like, like doing something stupid or something. I just, I do not know. I do not know what that is supposed to imply, but I sure feel like an idiot when it happens. Nah, just kidding. I don't take it personally. There's no need to take something like that personally. It's just a small inconvenience for the day. Don't let it ruin your entire day. That's just... You don't need that. You don't need that in your life. Now, let's see. From here... I wonder what kind of, like, distance I can get. To that little thing over there. I want to get on top of that clock if I can. I see the little birdie over there. Oh, wait, maybe I can jump on top of the birdie when it comes out. Let's try that. Oh, that didn't work. That didn't work. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, my. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I'm over here. That's actually probably a good thing. Maybe? Oh, not really. Uh... I'm gonna go back down again. Back down and then back up. Into the hole. And then back to the surface. Back to the surface world. I'm gonna do exactly what I did before again. Oh my god, it totally worked. I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna just let that happen. Now from this vantage point, do I see a small handkerchief over there? That's the other one. There we go, now on top of this. That's pretty cool. I mean, I guess I'll go up here and get all the chibi doors. Because uh, I can now. Just climb on up here and then just take them all. Sweet! And then the other chibi doors rely on me turning that switchy thing. I'm pretty sure of that. What can I find up here? Anything special, special, important? Just these cheap doors. I'm gonna unlock them all. I'll get all the moolah. So many doors to find. So I'll open them all. On my journey towards trillionaireness, I'll be a trillionaire. Wow, look at all these moolahs. Exquisite. Now, hopefully I don't fall while trying to go from one to the other, or else that'd be rather disappointing. All for naught. All for naught. Chibi copter again, and push it on over. Push it on over. Pop it on that way, and that's three doors out of four. Nice. Excellent, so much moolah, and this should give me a good vantage point to get that other uh, handkerchief. So it all actually all works out. Sweet! And now let's get our way down. Down, down, down to the handkerchief. Hopefully onto the ledge. Then I can talk to Mama Sita about that thing that she's gonna sew for me, and then probably gear the conversation towards a time where we can talk about the briefcase underneath the bed. Handkerchief. All right, uh, Mama Sita, Mama dear, no day is not Santa Claus. Oh, that wasn't very cash money of me. I just fall like that? That's that's not very cash money at all. Goodness gracious, probably the least cash money thing I could have done for myself. This is pretty cash money, though. Gliding my way down to the ground, talking to Mom. It was up, Mom. I see you. Hmm. Did you find any old fabric, Cheapo? Oh, yes, I did. You're gonna love these boxers. I'm gonna give you the boxers first. Right in your face. These probably belong to your husband. Right, yes. He's not using them anymore. They're old. Oh, that'll work nicely. Oh, uh, but you know, I'm pretty sure there are three pieces of old cloth around here. Is this material all right with you? Could I have really only done- could I have just done one? Yeah, no, I like that. That's fine. Let's get your measurements. Can I really only taken one? You know, Chibo, for a little fellow, you sure are a hard worker. If only my lazy husband had some of your get up and go. I wonder how long this will drag on. Let's forget about that for now. Why don't we get you all measured up? Turn around and raise your arms. Boop! Oh, how adorable. It understands what I mean. Don't move. 
That's right. Stay still. Your height and shoulder width are... You're a small one, aren't you? I bet it's hard to find your size at the store. Are you talking to me, lady? Because that's accurate. I can't imagine trying to shop for chibi pants. Let alone size 28s. Yeah, like freaking impossible to find. Just wait and see. I think it'll be done by tomorrow, so go play with Papa for the time being, okay? No! No! I need to talk to you about the thing on the bed! Please! Oh, dude. Hmm? I need a little more time, Chibo, and I need to go. Okie dokie, guess I'll go play with Papa then. Hmm. You wanna help me up? You wanna help me up, girl? Uh, oh, I should probably plug in. I'm running out of battery. Running out of battery. You can charge 59 times. All right, 10 more. Uh, no save time. I'm going out there. Let's go. Oh, didn't mean to do that, but we're here. Now, there was something else that I wanted to accomplish somewhere in the house. Oh, I wanted to talk to Tao, the dog. Thank you for assisting me, Mamacita. Indeed, being tiny is very makes it very difficult to get literally anywhere in life. Tiny, I'm not tiny. That, that, that's tiny. That's tiny. That's very, very tiny. That makes it difficult to get places. I, I'm not that tiny. I don't think life has been made any more or less difficult because of my physical size. Time to take myself all the way down to the kitchen. I'm not dealing with you crab nuggets. No heretics today. I've got business to attend to. I gotta go talk to the dog. Here I go. Into the kitchen. Oh, yeah. Popped all the way down. I love that. One of the quickest ways to get to the ground, I think. All right, so I could talk to you, but where the dog at? Where is the dog? Oh, whatever. I guess I should talk to you about burger stuff, because then I'll have the opportunity to talk to you about the wedding ring, right? Help you? I suppose I have no choice. So let's do it. Oh, wow, look at that. Officially 12 hours. What? All right, we did it. We've surpassed the 12 hour mark. Whatever, come on, help me cook some burgers. I don't want to, but I feel like I have to. I'm gonna make them taste terrible. I'm gonna make them taste terrible for you. I don't think I've ever tried to do a really bad job on this. I'll just do this as quickly as possible. Prep work time, oh yeah, prep work time. Yes, indeed. Let's do that. Set those buns on the plates. Oh, I know how to do it, sir. I sure know how to pick these burger buns. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I want to be eating some more of my chicken noodle soup during this. Things will just happen. I'll wait for all the buns to get on the, the stove top. I sure know how to bun them. Yes, I do. All right, Mr. Sanders Sanderson. Come on, let's get some more in here. No thanks, sir. I don't want to. No, I gotta eat undercooked burgers. That's not done yet? Oh, fine, jeez. Oi, 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 oi. Let it happen, sir. Let it happen. I appreciate at least the fact that the game doesn't let you serve undercooked meat to your family. That I think is a very good lesson. Don't eat undercooked meat. Just, just don't do it. We'll die. Maybe. Probably. Maybe. Probably. Mm. 
Come on, do the thing. Smoke. Smoke, I say. This one's probably done, right? Probably. This one's probably done. I wonder if beef tea's good. If only I had teeth. You darn right, television. I think beef tastes pretty good. In my humble opinion. Yeah, I think you're done. You done? I think you're done. Oh, it needs to be cooked a little more. Alright, fine, fine, fine. There we go. That was the threshold we were looking for. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, indeed. Alright, daddy -o, grab some buns. Got some noodles I need to put in my mouth over here. And crunchy green beans. It's okay, TV Robo. I'm just gonna leisurely enjoy my food as you leisurely create yours. I gotta drink some of this broth now. I think one of the best parts about soups and stuff like that is obviously the broth that's left over. It's great. It's awesome. One of the best things ever. Dinner time! Then can I talk to you about your uh, your wedding ring that I got back for you? Like, are you even curious about it? Like, I feel like you'd want to know. Jenny's mom doesn't want any. It's more fun to eat together. No. Oh well. Giving the portion to the dog. It's a time to eat. It's okay, again, don't worry about us. We literally can't eat. We are robots. We cannot do that. We, there's no physical way for us to eat. Even if we did eat, where would it go? It just gets stuck on our circuits and stuff, you know? Yum, yum, Ibit. Oh, yeah, it's so good, isn't it? Very good beef burgers. Made by yours truly, the chibi rope. The cheapest of the ropesters. Ooh, yeah! Twenty happy points. Twenty happy points and twenty more happy points. Points for the happies. I got the fifth. Spread the happiness. Oh yeah. Gonna put that over there and sir, can I talk to you about your your wedding ring? I believe now is the time to do so. Right? Right? We've all had a good meal. We're all full now, right? I think so. Yes, sir? Sir? Yes? Yes indeed. Excellent, sir. Absolutely excellent. Well, I'm glad we had this talk. I'm gonna go try to find the dog. Somebody's gonna listen to me. The dog will serve me. Isn't that right, Tao? Tao, where are you? I got a bone for you. Get another bone. Get another bone for the bone lord. Bones for the bone throne. Where's the dog? Is the dog in here? The dog must be outside. The dog has to be outside. I can see puppies, therefore the dog must be outside. Do I have enough time to get to the dog? Maybe. That might be good. Just enough time? Just enough time to get to the dog? Yeah, what's up, dude? You want a bone? Did you like lose you keep losing your bone, I'm sure, right? That's probably it. Tal wants something. What could it possibly be? It must be a bone. Oh, yes, it's a bone. Oh, it is most definitely a bone. Wolf indeed. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> oh, woofity, woofity, woof, woof, woof. Some happy points is good, and some moolah is also pretty good. Strange how the dog has money, but, eh, you know, we're past that at this point. Woofity, woofity, woof, woof. That's it, right? Yeah, yeah, it's time for the new day, yeah? Definitely time for the new day. In the meantime, I'm gonna clean up some gunk. Clean up gunk. It's good for the soul. It's good for the body. It's good for the uh, good for the wallet too, because people pay you. I'll take the stick. I want the stick? The stick? Can I get stick? Becky wants stick. Becky, Becky wants. Becky, let me smash. Let me smash Becky. Becky, let me smash. Get stick. Stick. Ben. Ben is a hoe. Ben is. Ben is a hoe. What's that mean? With the with the birds. Birds, man. Birds. I have these treasure maps I could look at. 
but I'm not that curious. Oh, you know, I, I should probably have nectar on me. There were a couple people I didn't know that wanted nectar. So I'm gonna try to... Oh, yo, look at the ship! It's in the sky! Damn! Yeah, there were at least a couple people who said they wanted nectar. Uh, I don't remember which ones, but... I've got it! Oh, that one is all wilted. Bye-bye, flower! Who else wanted the nectar? It was... I know... Uh, Sunshine obviously wants the nectar, but who else was it? Oh, it was the bird. Oh, the bird wanted the nectar. Bird's all the way at the top. Eh, I'll see him later. I'll see him at night, maybe. Yeah, we'll see. We shall see. We shall see. We shall see. We should be getting back to the Cheapster house. Isn't that right, Cheapster? I mean, Cheapy uh, house. Uh, bucket of bolts. Bucket of, bucket of, bucket of, bucket of, bucket of, bucket of bolts. <laughs> Great work, Arthur. Thanks for screaming at me. I guess that means we've gone up another rank, you know? TV ranking has gone from 7 to 6. And I get another battery upgrade, right? Now, are they going to leave me at 290, or are they going to brown me up to 300? Because that's just unsatisfying if I'm 290. It's at 290. That is incredibly unsatisfying. Wow. can't believe that. Jeez. Wow. Next bonus battery, I need a lot more. Let's go. Let's be a hero. Oh, yeah. Would you like to save? Yeah, probably. What are the Utilibots going to make? Now that I've got all this scrap, there's been more and more spiders showing up. I wonder if that means that something evil is on the way. Super duper evil. There's only one way to tell. <coughs> That's an experience. Ba -da -pa -pa. Bedroom bridge and basement warp. Bedroom bridge seems convenient. I'll get one of those. And then as well, I might as well get the basement warp too, because that just works. So many utilibots to build. So little time to use them all. I love how it not only does it chew on all the scrap, it actually like... And then... Like the sigh is if really chewing and digesting that was really all that energy, all that much energy. Incredible. One more Utilibot. Isn't that right, machine? Yes, machine. Oh, was there anything else I wanted from here? I don't think there was, to be honest. Uh, let's, uh, uh, I was meaning to click the Recyclotron, and I completely did not. Oh, well. Cheap PC. Cheap PC. Cheap PC. Cheap PC. Cheap PC. Cheap PC for you. Only I don't have scrap left in my inventory. More Utilibots are on the way. More Utilibots indeed. And more and more pop up the other side. Honestly, they kind of look like... I, I feel like they kind of look like cheese cubes. I don't know why I get the idea of cheese from them. The eyes certainly cert like ruin the illusion. But like they kind of look a little yellow in there. It reminds me of cheese cubes. Like little things that like, like uh, Parmesan. Or, uh, or cheddar? Or Parmesan and cheddar? Honestly, there's a couple of different shades of yellow on there. I got the Utilibot sticker. That must mean I've gotten all the Utilibots. I guess so. Set it up in the basement. And I guess the bridge in the bedroom, I guess, is what allows me to go to, like, the sewing table, right? Okay. That's happening over here. Uh... Daddy, are you still sleeping on the couch? Or I guess you're not sleeping on the couch. You're upstairs. I forgot. You're sleeping outside of the room. Ooh. Ooh -wah, ooh -wah. Ooh -wah, ooh -wah, ooh -wah. Uh, uh, uh. Um, actually, Drake Redcrest, I've got gunpowder for you. You want gunpowder? I got gunpowder for you. Talk to me, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're doing your thing. You're doing your thing. You get a fizzle. Yeah, there's nothing back there, because you got no gunpowder. <laughs> you and her too, huh? Well, she's one good-looking princess. Oh, she didn't realize the dead flowers, but it could give Drake Redcrest as much to learn. Only then can justice truly prevail. Thusly, I will study a new technique. If I am able to master it, I'm sure the lovely princess will be impressed. But for now, let's return to my training. You've got just what I need, Space Hunter Robo. It's gunpowder. I've had this since, like, the very beginning, dude. Here you go. Take it. My pose would be useless without gunpowder. I love how, like, this toy, this, this action figure that you've got, actually takes gunpowder. That seems incredibly dangerous. 
Oh well. My super pose is ready again. Now that's Justice. Justice is ally. Yeah, do the thing. Big explosions. I'm surprised that like, people aren't like getting like woken up. Space Under Code Part 7. Gunpowder costs one moolah per use. Be frugal. Be frugal. Grazie. Space Hunter Robo. Were you like Italian this whole time? Really? Something about I feel like I doubt that. Alright then, well. Enjoy your evening, pal. I'm gonna go upstairs and uh, try to figure shit out. Do I have to go downstairs at all again? I don't think- maybe I have to go talk to- Ah, uh, I'm gonna do- I'm gonna try going downstairs and talking to- Try to make contact with Giga Robo. Then I'm gonna go outside again and try to make contact with the aliens again and go up to their ship and, I guess, explain what the problem is? I, I don't exactly know what's keeping me from the thingamabob. It's definitely something. I'm definitely missing one little thing. I have to talk to what's his face to uh, try to solve that. Is Pico down here again? Yeah, I'm not talking to you. I don't want to gamble no more. Oops, there we go. I want to plug myself into you again, please. Will that will that be good? No, I can't do that. Talk to you. Uh, well, there was the little there was a the little pad on the on the end of it. Oh, this is what the number was for. Uh, I need to go back to the thing again. That's what it was. All right. This is for the password. Passwords are usually birthdays or anniversaries, right? Oh. Doesn't Papa's wedding ring have his wedding anniversary engraved on it? It does. I need to remember what that number is. That's what it was. It's a good thing I came downstairs. That would have been unfortunate. 200667. There we go. 200667. Seven. There we go. Turn on, my funky friend. The password is wrong. Passwords are usually birthdays or anniversaries. Right? What? I literally just put that password in. Or was it 677? Seven, seven? Oh, I gotta check again. 200667. Maybe I put 677. Seven. 200. 6. Six. Oh, I put four. There we go. That's gotta be it. Welcome to the land of the living again, Giga Robo. Oh, but I can't get up because my leg is broken. Because you need the leg. You like you need the leg, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need the leg. So I gotta get the leg. I gots to get me the legs. Come on, you Lieutenant Dan, use those new legs. Gotta get that leg. But I gotta talk to somebody about the leg so I can use the password. Oh, but the password must be different. So it's a different passcode than it is a... Oh, okay. So the wedding ring didn't have that passcode. What could the passcode be? What is that passcode? I gotta figure out how to get that passcode, then. I don't remember what it is. I guess talking to somebody? Oh, my goodness. I feel like I actually need assistance on this one. So now we're just going to figure out a uh, briefcase password. I don't want the actual password itself, just how to get it. Chibi. Chibi. Robo. Just so I know where I'm going. I feel like I'm kind of missing something. I mentioned it. Panel on the bottom of Giga Robo's code. That's, I know what the code is, but it's not the briefcase. Yeah, that's what I want. Silly. Neo Seeker. That's not the right code. That's not the right code, silly people. Apparently, everybody on the internet is just like, well, the code is on the wedding ring. Like, that's not the right code, silly. The one for the briefcase. She looked in with the charge shot for the chi. Uh, oh. Okie dokie. I got it now. I do have to talk to the aliens again. 
and I missed something. I had I, I did have to talk to the aliens again. That's what I was doing. That's what I was about to do until I forgot. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna freak the shit. Hell, uh, I'm gonna freak the shit out of you again, right? I'm gonna knock you all the way down the staircase, right? This is what I'm gonna do, right? Go for it. What pa pow? Did that work? Are you gonna be knocked all the way down? What? I'm not thinking about anybody, especially not Drake Redcrest of all people. Jeez. Sorry to bother you, Chibi Robo. Are no, you good, dude? Bye bye. Hey, look, a secret letter that fell out. Nice. Bye bye. Oh, feels good. Write it down, my friend. Write it down. Oh, the stuff kind of fell down there. Well, that's where I gotta go anyway, eventually, to get outside. So I was on the right track to go talk to the aliens. That's what I gotta do next. And then you need to cool them down. They're they're scintillatingly hot with the water. So that's what I had to do next. I always like kind of like bummed out every time I try to look up a hint. I'm like, ah, I'm so if if I would have never gotten it, like I'm like, oh okay, well it's a good thing I looked that up. But I just needed to push into the right direction. Chibi Robo. Yeah. Did you find a letter? Yeah. Would you like me to read it for you? No. Don't. That's very noble of you. I'm touched. Oh, I just gave you five happy points. Nice. <laughs> Thanks, Telly. But I'm curious, so let's read it anyway. Seriously, dude? No. Ahem. Dearly beloved. Red. The bright, vibrant red of your crest represents your burning passion. White. The pale white of your uniform represents your pure heart. The two colors intermingle to make pink the color of my love. Listen to the beating of my heart. Hear the pulse of my love. I am a slave to the brilliant hues of your love. Cute. A cute love poem. Cute love poem. Like that. Like cuteness. Whoa, this is a love letter! Yes, indeed. Sorry, but I just had to read it! Listen to the beating of my heart! I heard a strange sound the other day. That must have been her heart beating for me. For you? Oh, excuse me. That's not for you. What? Telly, that's not for... Oh, yo, you're totally in love with the caterpillar girl. Nice, dude. Go for it. Be feel, feel good about your loves. All right, out to the thing. I'm not taking care of you guys anymore. I don't want it. Nope, not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Not gonna take care of you. I'm going outside. To the to the outside, so I can talk to the and commune with the aliens again. gotta make contact with them i gotta make contact with them i need some water in my spritzer so i can cool them down because they're not they're not feeling so hot when they feel bad they heat up that's those aliens i definitely would have forgotten the um cooling out the aliens part i definitely would have forgotten that one in that moment so glad i wound up figuring that one out that was a good little giveaway that, that one was good, that was good. yo what's up reboots I guess I'll talk to you guys, too. There's plenty of people to talk to. There's always... There's lots of stuff that in this game. Really keeps you occupied. Really does keep you occupied. Which is exactly what a game is supposed to do, you know? Keep you keep having fun. Alright, time to talk to the Rebo... The Rebo twins. Actually, they're not twins. They are definitely not twins. If they were twins, then it, they shouldn't be boyfriend and girlfriend. No, 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 no. Boyfriend and girlfriend. The Rebo couple. The Rebo couple. Very well, couple. I like that much better. What's up, guys? Long time no... <clears throat> Long time no see, Chihibi Robo. Ribbit. Can I ask you something, Ribbit? It's been so dry here lately. This keeps up our minds and bodies will shrivel out like disgusting prunes. We need to stay moist. It's the frog away. We used to bring the rain, but the rain ritual... Now there are only two of us, and we need three frogs to do it. Bit. Can you help us with our rain ritual, please? 
sure. I'll let it happen. Really, a ribbit? Let's have our rain ritual, ribbit. The rules are easy, ribbit. Adjust your timing so that you crouch at the same time as us with Z. Za. Watch our movements carefully and get the timing right, ribbit. Let's go, ribbit. Nice. That's it. Raw ribbit, raw ribbit. Wait, but you were at the. No. When we crouch together, just za at the same time. Oh, so you have to crouch together. There we go. Right on! There we go. Here comes the rain again. Falling through my head like a memory. Falling through my head like a new emotion. Here comes the rain again. Here it comes again. Nice. Yay! Rain ribbit, rain ribbit. Oh yeah. Thank you, Chibi Robo. We can now party like the frogs we know we were meant to be. Not only just for us frogs, but the flowers are happy too. Aw, that's a lot of happy points. Sweet. Spreading that happiness far away. Oh, you got the frog stickers. Sweet. More stickers. Super amazing. Now it's time to make contact with the aliens again. Hopefully not in frog form. And I got water in my thing to cool them off. Oh, you know what? That was it. Yeah, I think when you get into the ship, they're like crouching in their beds and stuff like that. And maybe you can tell that they're hot from things. So maybe I would have figured that out. Oh, growl. Oh my god, Tao, what's up? Oh, Tao is angry. Very hot. What's up, dude? Ganymede, how you doing? Everybody's saddened by death. Disappointed. Tiny, Ayo, Little Bang. Everyone's sick, sick, sick. Ganymede not well either. Oh, watch out, my dude. Are you gonna walk over to the water? Or are you gonna walk over to the... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Buddy, don't do that. Help me. This is terrible, TV bro, but we need to take Ganymede back to the UFO. <laughs> woof. Woof, woof. But he's too hot to the touch. Hurry up, save us, bad air. Hot. Shivers, death. Because you're hot, so I need to extinguish you. Come on, Ganymede, let's go back to the ship. I'll take care of you and your buddies. With the power of Agua Fresca. Fresh water is what I would have attempted to say there. Pow! That opens it up, and then you can go into your little pot, hot there thing. Get on in there, little bang. Was little bang? I think it was little bang. Indeed, I completely agree with that, little bang. Too much of that processed food, it'll really get you. I'm gonna try to avoid that if you can. I'm gonna heal you all. Friend, dead, disappointed, everyone's sick. Animated. And then? You're welcome, Titan! Happy to be of service, as usual. You got it, buddy? Yeah! Oh yeah, I, I guess I would have figured that out with the water. But I guess I wouldn't have had the water in my inventory, so it's a good thing I had it. Go for it. Go for you guys. Yeah. It's interesting. We've got plugs that come out of our butt, and they've got plugs that go into their butts. It's interesting. Oh, but you're too weak. Weak. Sick. Hot. Dizzy. No energy for blaster. Drop dead. Need water. Want to sleep on bed. Comfy bed. Must open bed. 
Well, I can definitely open your beds for you. Get in your bed. Yep, I got plenty of energy for that. Go to bed, Ganymede. You deserve the rest. You're gonna be a good friend to our uh, Giga Robo over there, you know? And now I'll get two more beds left. There we go. Whack. Titan, I believe, is the big guy. Right? Right? Oh, no, no. Uh, or maybe that's the other one. I don't remember who's which. I think Titan's the big guy. Maybe. Thank you, thank you. Oh, that was Io. So Titan's the little guy. Spread the happiness. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang into the chair. It's actually a bed. Get in there, my friend. Get all up in there. You're welcome in advance, because I know you're going to say thank you. Thank you, thank you! What did I tell you? Titan. Spread in the happiness. All beds deployed! All beds deployed! This vessel will now enter drive mode. Color code authorization required! Oh dear. Color code? In the color code? Oh my, now what is that? Uh... Don't I need to squirt y'all with water? I'm gonna do that. Right? That cools you down, right? I know that makes you cool down. Cooling down, thank you! You're welcome. I'll cool down all of you, because I don't think I can do that color code thing. Oh, did I miss him? I think I missed him. Oh, shucks. How many shops do I have in this thing, anyway? I hope I only have at least two more left. Cooling down, thank you! And the next cooling downs as well? Honestly, this is nice. I'll admit, I am getting rather tired over here, so I'm gonna try to get to the end of this as fast as possible. That's what I'm attempting to do right now. I am getting mighty, mighty tired. I get a little hot in my apartment, too. I've kind of just been sitting in the light, in the limelight this entire time. I got plenty of water, though, so that's really, really good. Plenty of water left. To keep myself hydrated. Finally. I knew I'd be getting tired. I knew my steam would run out at some point. Slowly but surely. I cannot wait to go to bed tonight. That'll be great. Always, it's always a nice, like, honestly, when you, like, to put a lot of effort into the day, it always feels nice to kind of lay back in bed at night. I think it makes it all worth it. It's like the accomplishment of a lot. I think is really, really cool. Pop on open. And that, whoa, that's pretty cool looking. Time for Simon Says. Red, blue, green, yellow, red, blue, green, yellow. Uh, red. Uh. Oh, I step on the thing and then. Oh, there's it. This is the puzzle. It's a disco ball. No, you mustn't. I'm gonna do it. Red. Oh, red's not right? Oh, was red bad? I thought it was in there. No, you mustn't. Green? Okay, green wasn't the right one. Is it yellow? I don't know which one to start with. I know red, blue, green, red, blue, green, yellow, but which one's the start? I'll try blue first. Okay, apparently yellow's first. So, red, blue, green, yellow. Yellow, red, blue, green. That's what it needs to be, right? Maybe? Yellow, yep, red, blue, green. Oh my god, I clicked red. Ah! Yellow, red, blue, green. Yellow? What? Which one is this supposed to be? I'm so confused now. What? I guess I should talk to them, I guess. Buddy? Oh, wait. I'm the right friend. Oh, why is... Oh. Oh, I forgot how to do this puzzle. Oh my god, what is this? Do I shoot the thing? I don't think I need to shoot the thing. Oh, I see. I see. I have to select one of them first. That was green. There we go. That's what I had to do. Step in the outer ring and then match it with the inner ring. 
Nice. That's one piece in. I got three more pieces. Puzzle time, baby. Now I want to do red. Now I'll go in and do red. There we go. Getting slowly but closer to the end. I'm technology secrets! I'll show you secret technology. I mean, I really won't, but I'll try. I'll try my best. Oh, I keep clicking the green. My timing is very off on that. Oh my god, like, really, really off. That's red. Oh my gosh. There we go, there's the blue. Now I gotta do the green. Yes. Puzzle time, baby. Do not match the colors! I'm gonna match the colors whether you like it or not. We're going on a trip to our favorite rocket ship. Flying through the sky. Little, little things. Color code authorization accepted. Color code. Yeah, we, we heard it the first time. Color authorization accepted. Drive mode engaged. Temporal shifters activated. Warp vessel ready for boarding. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's the warp vessel. Oh, and this is the part where I go back in time. And that's when I find the code to the briefcase. That's what it is. Yep, I remember now. That's how it's all coming back to me. That's how it was. And then I break the thing, I go back in time, and that's how I found the code for the briefcase. I completely forgot about this part of the game. Oh, sweet. You mustn't know secret technology! Uh, Chibi Robo, what are you doing? I've never seen anything like this. C can I go with you? Yeah, dude. Come on. Come on. Come on. We're going on an adventure, Telly. You, you and me. You and me both. It will be a great time. I'll just squeeze in then. Don't worry. I'll fit. I'm a small little television. Yes, you are. Scream. Telly screams in agony. A bedroom. Yep, I... Now this is all coming back to me now. I completely forgot that you had to go to the past for the password of the briefcase. Oh, man. Now that I'm here, then I'm like... Th there's my energy that just came back. I'm gonna take a sip of soup, though. Because soup good. It looks like we've... stopped. Uh, let's get out, uh, Chibi Robo, shall we? Okie dokie. Oh, little tiny. It's them hanging out with the, the Giga Robo. Oh, oh, oh! Uncle, uncle, uncle! Go, Giga Robo! Give up, huh? Never! You can't use Giga Robo, that's cheating! Are we in the past? That's impossible! Ch ch uh, ch ch Chibi Robo! Uh, how could this be? But everything's sepia, so we must be in the past! That's exactly the thing, if we're in the past, everything is sepia. Those aliens created something extraordinary! Impossible! Shocking! Well, I mean, since we're here, might as well do a little exploring. What's in the room? Anything special? Circuit schematic. The circuit schematic for what? I think this will eventually fall, uh, falls its way over. I think. Or do I push it over? Push it? Push it real good? Pow, pow, pow? No? Alright. Oh, I think I could fall on top of it and take it out of the thing. The circuit schematic, I'm pretty sure, is for, is that for Giga Robo or is that for Chibi Robo? Because I'm pretty sure I thought, perhaps, that Mr. Sanderson actually worked on the Robo designs, I thought. I thought he was like a key member in that, although I could be very wrong about that. Pick it up. Put it in your pocket. Circuit schematic. There we go. And then, I know the bone is around here somewhere. I remember seeing that the bone has to be collected. 
Uh, it's not here yet. So I gotta talk to the peoples first. What's even in here? Oh, it's a bunch of nuts and bolts, yeah. Bunch of nuts and bolts. Can I get out of there? Yeah, I'll take a look at everybody else down here. No! I want to spend my money on toys! Oh, is that the result of this? Like, if you lose... If you win, you get to spend your money on toys, and if you win, then you do. Or if you if you lose, you don't get to spend your money on toys. Hmm? What's this? Who are you? Hmm. You remind me of someone. Uh, let me think. How about Giga Robo, right? I'm literally right next to him. Hmm. Not him. Not Tao, obviously. Wait a second. Giga Ro. Giga Robo? No, it couldn't be. Of course. Lies, lies. I don't believe it. Giga Robo has a son? But, but he's, oh, when did, when did he have time? Oh, hey, look, look. Oh, I'm losing the battle over here. Uncle, uncle, uncle. And then, oh, no, completely twists his wrist around. Pay attention. Forget about the match. You need to see this. Gosh. I hope a future child is cuter still. Everybody loves their own, right? It was nice to meet you, baby Robo. I don't know what your tangled story is or how you got here on those tiny legs. But it was nice of you to stop by. I'm sure your mother is worried, so you better go home now. Yeah, totally. Please visit again when we have our own baby. Oh, and please be nice to Tao. He's grumpy right now because he wants a dog bone. But one bone per day is all we can afford. He'll have to be patient, though, especially when the baby gets here. But Tao is a growing puppy, so he needs his food. Hmm. Well, I'm sorry if I'm keeping you. Feel free to go now if you need to. I'll come back again to see it, again to see it sometime. And then I need the bone. But I don't have the bone. Oh, man. I need the bone, but I don't got the bone. There's no bone in this time period. I gotta go back for the bone. Oh, my goodness. Well, there's still more to be done. I gotta go back because there's no bone around here. Huh? Are you going home, Chibi Robo? Yeah, I need the bone. Don't got no bone. I need to get that bone. I don't got that bone. Can't give it to Tao because he wants the bone. But I'm correct in saying you get Tao out of the way of the briefcase and then you can read what the code on the briefcase is. Alien tech dangerous! You're not hurt? Must not use again! We traveled through time! That was amazing! Aliens could do neat stuff! Totally, dude. So, I think with the power of the sleep, uh, I think with the power of the thing that uh, Mrs. Sanderson is making for me, I'm pretty sure I'm actually able to, like, pass through the days faster, so I might actually gain access to the bone faster than I think I will. Um, but if I go inside and do that stuff now, because I, I, gotta, I gotta get this done. I gotta get this done. We're almost at the 13 hour mark. Gee whiz. But I told myself I am going to beat Queen Spider, Queen Queen Spiders. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get there. I know I will. That's the power. That's the power of perseverance. I will do it. I will. I will. I will. But I gotta find a bone. And for the bone, let's see. I'm I'm gonna buy the five minute thing because the five minute timer will make the day and the night pass faster. So at least I'll get to the other side a lot faster, or at least in half the time. CBPC time. Oh, what is this? Scrap trade. Nice. And I can exchange it for Moolah, I think, right? It's a one-to-one. -to -one. Eh, it's fine. I don't need that. Because I don't got Nova Strikletron anymore. Because I bought all the Utilibots. So who needs it? Sweet. 
Time is a fickle thing. Indeed. Interesting how Chibi's got the time to let... Basically, I mean, Chibi Robo technically from the very beginning had the power to influence time, not travel through time, but, you know. So is it daytime now or is it nighttime? It's still nighttime. It's now five timer instead. Oh, I gotta wait till the next morning. Well, I guess what I'll try to do in the meantime is try to get that red block, because I know there's a red block in the foyer room. Space Hunter Chibi Robo, may I have a word? Seriously, Drake, at a time like this? Jeez. I'm having trouble mastering my new move. Am I raising my foot wrong? Perhaps I need to shake my hip more. What is that? <laughs> cold, cold ice. I forgot you guys came back. Cold. Ice cold, freezing, must remember. Remember. So that's how it should look, more or less. What do you think, Space Hunter Chibi Robo? Sure, dog. I honestly forgot this part of the game happened, too. <laughs> it is just as I thought. I shall stay the course, no matter the cost. A thousand thanks to you, small Space Hunter Robo. Six happy points. Spread the happiness. Indeed. Uh, what are you robots doing over there? Just kind of hanging in the window, or... Is that what y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Trying to remember stuff about the cold? Right? Oh, no, you're just... Alright, well, y'all have disappeared ominously, so I'm just gonna continue that way. They must remember the cold. I must remember the cold. I remember wintertime. Not very fondly. It was very cold. I didn't like going outside because... It was cold. I like going outside when it's hot because it's warm. I like the warmth. Warmth is a good old, wonderful, wonderful thing. I think. I think at least. So I'm gonna go try to find... I gotta get that red block. But what is the best way to get over there? I don't think I can take this thing across the carpet, can I? Can I take it across the carpet? Is it really that simple? Because usually it doesn't let me... Go... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't plug in. Nope. Turn around. Then move this way. No, I can't get it on the carpet. So what's the best way to get over there? To the red block. I don't remember how I got to it previously. I can't move this ladder across the carpet. And there's not really a really convenient way for me to get up there from around. Maybe if I head over in this direction. Maybe there'll be like a transporter on top of that chair over there. The power of the chair will help me. Usually there might be like a shoelace or something hanging down from a location to let me climb up. But time is running out for the evening, and honestly, I'm not exactly so worried about that right about now. See, if I was able to get the ladder over here, that would be very advantageous. But I can't get it over because it's blocked by the carpet. Oh, silly carpet. Always getting in my way. Stupid carpet. I feel like in my personal life, I was always, I've always had a vendetta against the carpets. Apparently, when I was younger, I used to eat the carpet. Pfft, silly Cameron. Silly, silly Cameron. Don't be eating carpet. I don't eat carpet anymore. Naturally. I stopped years ago. At least, maybe, 20 years ago. Very long time since I've eaten carpet. What do you guys have to say for yourselves? Yeah, 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 you're talking about stuff. Oh, what are you talking about? Hey, that's... Oh, it's the dog tags. I had to give it to you guys? Yeah, dog tags. Nice. No, it can't be. Those are Memphis's dog tags. <gasps> Everybody stops and stares. What do we do? You infiltrated the great Harry Monster's lair? Yes, I did, and came out unscathed because I'm a robot. I'm made of metal. What is he gonna do? Chew me? He can. <gasps> Pipe down. What's going on down there? I honestly didn't realize I was supposed to give the thing to these guys. Oh, whatever. Private Chibi Robo infiltrated the Beast Lair! And brought back Memphis's dog tags! <gasps> what a bunch of hogwash! Pop it on down, my friend. Let me show you for real, Zeus. I got the thing that proves it. The tags! The tags, the tags, the tags, the tags, the tags. Let me see them! Here, here, here you go. Here you go, buddy. It's all you. 
Give it up to the Sky Gods. And then I give this to you. Memphis! I'm so sorry. I couldn't save you. I let you down. Forgive me, Memphis. The Chief Christ. We will never defeat the great hairy beast alone. We gotta pull together, man. No free rangers. You're hard boiled. One for all. Oh, oh, oh. Keep on saying it loud. Oh, four, one. You got it, my guys. You guys are the best. Finally, good words for your team. We owe a lot to Memphis. Because of him, the free ranges will come back stronger than ever. Hold up for a second. What if Memphis is still alive? We gotta get cracking to resume our training. Go, 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 go for the train. Was there anything else to train? So you survived an operation into Tao's lair. For a scrawny house cleaning robot, you got a lot of guts and bolts too. You showed a lot of courage out there. That's why I'm asking you to do me a favor. Help instruct our anti-Tao training. Sure, man. I got enough time for that, probably. With you on our side, we'll have some serious manpower- er, robot power. Here, put this on. And now I've got the dog suit, right? There we go, the towel suit. I was wondering- I couldn't remember where I got that before. Now I'm doggy. Well, slap me with a battleship. You're even more hideous than the real towel. The other boys will crack when they see you. Then we're headed to the backyard. Are we? Backyard time. Again. Hey, look, I was just over there. Nighttime training time. Listen carefully, everyone. We're gonna start our towel training. Yes, sir. The training will help us withstand Tao's fearsome bark. Private Chibi Robo, in this exercise, you will play the role of Tao, because you're dressed like a dog. Press Za to bark and scare all the soldiers. When your battery is below 31, you won't be able to bark, and then you will fail. You want to stand. Okay. Do not waste your barks. Use only when several soldiers are together. You need to hear that again? Nah, no, we're good. I'm satisfied. Let's begin. Go! 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 Oh man, I was trying to get the two of them. What are you doing over there, pal? Come on, get get closer to your pals. Oh, okay, get. Oh. Then I got the both of them. You shot me! I can't believe you shot me, you jackass! Oh, I don't got a lot of shots left on this. I, I should hope I can try again. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, if I can just get the two of them together, then I should be alright. Come on, come over here. Come over here. No, don't shoot me. No, don't shoot me. Come over to the other guys. Come on, get on together. If it goes below 31, I won't be able to bark again, so I gotta get them close. Can I? Can I get them close together? They're getting closer. Oh, come on, this way. This way, this way, this way. Nope, don't shoot like that. Nope, don't do that. Come over here. Yes, closer, closer. Nope, the other way. Come on. Would you stop rolling around like a dumbass? Jeez. Well, I guess actually you're doing this because, like, you're trying not to die, which makes total sense. Here, I want to chase you towards your other friend. Keep no, no, no uh, not that way. Go the other way. Jeez, these eggs just, like, roll around, don't they? There we go, that was it. Yes! All our 
Army soldiers KO. Tau training cleared. That came down to the wire there. I did not think I was going to be able to do that, but with the power of perseverance, and we're good. Thanks to you, my men are ready for the worst. They're prepared to face the great furry evil. 66 happy points for the good old robot. And they gave me 60 points to, 66 points to the free rangers. Spread the happiness, my friends. Spread that happiness. The time for training is over. Gotta come up with a plan to save Memphis. And once we've drawn up our battle plan, we'll be ready to take on the great hairy threat. We'll need you when the time comes. It's time we take the fight to the enemy. Help us take down the tyrannical Tau. Not right now, I hope, right? No, certainly not right now. I'm out of time. I can't. It's time for morning time. And then I can go talk to uh, Mrs. Sanderson, who's upstairs, who has my little thingy. You got my little suit, my little pajama suit. Made out of boxers. Classic. Absolute classic. Well, no time to waste, television. We got things to do. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 313 more happy points for my next battery if I wanted it. Time to save? Oh, it's definitely time to save. Getting closer and closer to the end. Just gotta defeat that spider beast. The beastie beastie girl. Beastie beastie queen. All right, time to go upstairs. Talk to Misty Sanderson. Gotta head upstairs. I don't think I have any more frog coin, uh, frog rings for you, so all is well. No worries about that. No worries. Don't have to go and do talk to Jenny or anything like that. But I should be able to go up, get the pajamas, skip to another day where the bone should be out there. I gotta look around for the bone outside specifically, because then I can get the bone, go back to the past, and then do things. And then give the bone to Tao, and then unlock more stuffs. More stuffs indeed. Dear, are you okay over there? That's Shogun Spicy? <laughs> yeah, we know about that, don't we? Interesting. She went through three boyfriends. Interesting. My fiance is watching The Big Bang Theory. I think I mentioned that before. And she still is. After having gone out and studied multiple times today, I think she deserves it. You've earned it. Anyway, back to the bedroom. Uh, now I can talk to Missy Sanderson. I think you're done with the thing, right? You're definitely done with the thing. So I can sleep my nights away. Looking for the bone outside. I think that's what this gives me the opportunity to do. Hmm. Oh, Chibo, I finished making your PJs. <laughs> Try them on for me. I want to see how they look. Nice. Pajamas. Pajamas for the cheapster. Made out of boxers. Oh, you are just too cute. When you're tired, make sure to get some sleep. Oh, have you been picking up garbage around the house? I have been. Thank you, Chivo. You're welcome. I also just love how you call me Chivo. Just, it's funny. Alright, now with this, I should be able to fall asleep and let the days go by, I think, right? Well, I'm not gonna do that just yet. I'm gonna go out and look for the bone real quick. The bone. The bone is important. The bone. The bones, the bones, the bones will tell. Maybe. Bones, 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 bones. Yes, thank you for helping me up, madam. Making tiny. Yes, indeed. Bye bye. Peace out, Girl Scout. I'm gonna go. Onward to more adventures. I'm gonna go back downstairs. Hopefully, to find the opportunity that I seek the bones. Hope there's some scrap dudes behind me. The heretics must be purged. However, I am not in any mood to purge heretics right now. I'm in the mood to help recorrect the timeline, I guess, is what I'm doing. Recorrecting the time run. I'm doing, yeah, that's the timeline. Hello, everybody. Yeah, really not trying to mess with you right now. Just kind of running away. 
Maybe the bones outside. Maybe the bones been within us the entire time. It's about the bow. It's see, the real treasure is the bone friends we made along the. It's the bones we made along the way. That's the real treasure of adventure. Absolutely. T stick. Now, how often is Tau Berry's bone? Now, that's that's a bit of a question. It'd be cool. It'd be pretty dope if the bone's already out there, right? Bone. Oh, no bone. Oh, no bone. They are here though. Can I talk to you about your wedding ring? Not that it really matters. I already used the code. 200667. I guess I'm gonna try to sleep then. Sleep in game, let the days go by. That's what I gotta do. Unless you need some help over here, Mr. Sanderson. If that's your real name. The room looks really clean today. You must have worked so hard. Ten happy points. Indeed. All right, then. I'm gonna do my best with the chores until Jenny's mom is in a better mood. The family's gotta work together now to make her happy. Indeed. I'm counting on you, Chibi Robo. That was the same stuff before. Okay, well, time to sleep. Night. Until next day. Time sure flies when you're making folks happy. Yeah, now I can actually go between days a lot faster now, which is... Hopefully the bone will show up eventually. Ah, uh, what a good night's rest. Great work out there! Sure. My goal is the bone. I need that bone. Gotta get that bone. Gotta get that bone, bone, bone! Bone, bone, bone! I have... I have the feeling that this will be done within the next hour. I'm feeling it. I feel it in my bones. I feel it in my bones. I think my mistake is I kind of took my time. Actually, you know what? What am I talking about? There's been no mistake here. I've been having a good time for this entire time. Tired, sure, but like, honestly, after this, like, as I mentioned before, like, the, like, a feeling of achievement I get, like, after doing something like this, I'm really proud of myself, you know? I'm cool. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with he spent so much time on that. On this. It's a good game. To, honestly, it's a really good game to spend time for. To spend time on, you know? I think so. Alright, time to sleep again. Pass on to the next day. Did I put down, like, a bottle cap? I may have put down a bottle cap as a pillow. It's so cute. I could probably maybe make more progress naturally if I did stuff with my days, but... I am tired. I gotta kill that spider lady. TV ranking is still six. In order to get the next bonus better, you need a lot more. Indeed. You keep telling me this. Tell you. As if things have changed. You know, this is no time to save. I don't have the bone yet. This is no time to save. It's time for bone hunting. It's time to go hunting for bones. That's what it's really all about. Time to go hunt for bones. Or rather, just one bone. I need one bone for the past. Now, I think if Tao is outside, then that means he buried the bone, right? Maybe? There's mud out here. There is no bone. But you are hanging right here. Hmm. Is that the, What's the best way to get the bone? Oh, maybe I could talk to you. I could talk to you in my Tao suit. Right? Because uh, cause I'm a dog now. I can understand dogs. Hey, no offense, but I don't think you... I don't think of you as part of this family. Hey, check out that outfit! You're copying my look! Oh. Wait a second! Wait! C can you? Can you understand me? Yes, I can. Bark! Wow, for real! That's amazing! This is so cool! <laughs> nice. That's your response. Yeah, I accept this. I accept this. This is pretty cool. Awesome. Th that's all. That's all you get. All right, uh, time for PJ time. I'm gonna go to sleep again. I wonder if this is the best way to like make the bone happen. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Bring a bone dog before you leave. Put the dog bone in there. Best way to get dog bones? I wonder if he just. I mean, eventually he'll wind up burying another one. 
Maybe it's every two days. Maybe every two days he buries a bone. Maybe. I, there might be another bone around, but I don't exactly know where it would be. And honestly, I feel like this may be faster in the long run. Maybe. Maybe. But I gotta get that bone. This is indeed a bit of a puzzle game. It kinda, kinda wrecks your brain a little bit. You're not prepared. Now I remember. I'll remember for next time. I will definitely not forget this time. Or maybe I will. Honestly, who knows at this point. Actually, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna check the kitchen as well. To see if the bone may be in the, um, in the doghouse. Or even in the bowl, for that matter. And, nope. I believe it's in the yard, if it's anywhere. Interesting how that bone just kind of, like, disappears, though. When, uh, when Tao's not munching on it. Speaking of which, where is Tao at night? Is he outside? I don't remember where Tao is at night. I, I, he might be on the couch, actually. Actually, I have seen him up there a couple times. At night. Bone? Bone, 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 bone. Nope, no bone. Time to go to sleep again. If I wind up, like, passing through, like, multiple days of time and still no bone shows up, I'm gonna have to figure out where the hell those bones are. But I feel like this might be, uh, beneficial. Keep on passing the time! Yeah, yeah, good morning. We got it, we got it. You're giving me the same old spiel every morning, and I feel like I still don't get tired of it. Oh, yes, not, in, not at all, Telly. Though, I am willing to get- I am really hankering to get the heck out of here. Yo, bet though, honestly, whoever made the Chibi Robo must have had inspiration from the aliens. Like, they totally knew what was up. I am, again, though, gonna look in the kitchen, because I have a feeling- I had this thought that it's possible that the bone may be in the kitchen. And me not know about it, because I've been trying to go outside. Nope, there's Tao, but I don't see no bone. There is no bone in the house. So I'll try outside again. Just gonna repeat this process. Gonna just keep on repeating this process. Gotta get that bone. Gotta get that bone. Gotta take it to the past and then code. Get the code. Get the leg. Bring it to Giga. Turn Giga on and then like past nights until your spider comes down and traps everybody because you need Giga Robo to be able to to do that. Me thanks. Oh no bone. Oh guess I'm gonna sleep again. Time to sleep again. Here I go sleeping again. Boop. Oh it's a tiny little pillow. It's not a bottle cap. It looks like a bottle cap though. We should be getting back to the chibi house. Chibi Robo Bones. Bones. Dog bone. Yeah, that's what I figured. Oh, I just gotta keep on looking. I was just double checking to make sure what I'm doing is not just my own insanity getting the best of me, that if I just keep on going, eventually I will get another bone. I'm just making sure of that. That is the case. They respawn every once Super Chibi Robo is a goal of ours. We know. Give it for pajamas. If so, we can change the day into the night. Yeah, I know. I got that now. Nope, no saving yet. Not until I find that bone. Just gotta keep on looking in the backyard. It's a shame that, like, I just gave Tao the bone. Basically, right before I needed it. Ugh. Ugh. But that's what you gotta deal with, you know, sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta... You know, th things happen like that. Things happen. Technically, I bet I could have gone to a previous save and just kind of like blasted my way through, but honestly, I don't know how much time that actually would have saved. I see a bone? Nope, no bone. Time to sleep. Sleepy time. Knocked out. Knocked out, cheapster. Quiet time with television. No, thank you. Although, I suppose if you want the time, then we can provide. We're trying to help out here. Hmm. Good morning. Yep, yep, yep. What's the next tip that you got, Mary, for me at television? If your chibi ready starts going crazy, you got a spoon or a blaster. Oh, really? Does the spoon work too? I didn't want to save, but here we are. Yeah, I guess so. I didn't realize you could use a spoon, too, to whack open those doors, but, all right, sweet. I dig it. I dig it a lot. All right, let's go for it.
This is like day number three since I started looking for bones. So hopefully, hopefully there's a bone outside. I'm inclined to think day number three, it's gotta be, right? God, there's still no bones. Oh my God. How is there still no bone? That's crazy. Tao, what have you done with your bone? I guess they just keep on spawning. All right, sleep again. I need that bone to proceed. You gotta have that bone. You gotta have that bone. I will just keep on doing this. This now, this is this has become monotonous. I will admit that. But it's totally, honestly, is it really anybody's fault? No, I don't think it's really anybody's fault. Technically speaking, if no, nah, honestly, I think I gave the bone to Tao like a night before, like a day before. Oh yeah, it was the day before I was planning on going to talk to the robots, and I would have really never known. So either way, it would have taken me quite a bit of extra time. Whether or not I, you know, wind up looking things up or not. Let's go find that bone. Going to the bone outside. This is night number four, perhaps? Or night number three, I'm not exactly sure. We'll see, we'll see, I wonder. I thought I remember something like if the twigs are outside or if there's footprints, that means that there's a new bone. Uh, I don't think that's a thing. Not at all. Nope. No new bone. Not at all. Not yet. Gotta go to sleep again. DJ time. I'll just keep on doing this until, until I have, until I got my bone. God, I just like, my mind is now like one track. I'm like, I need the bone. That's all I need. Bone to the past, to the code, to the briefcase, to the leg, to the giga, to this queen. That's how we do that. That's my goal. My goal is to kill the spider queen. And ah, uh, damn it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. No, I don't wanna save. No, don't let me do it. Don't let me happen. Don't let me see it, television. Don't let me see it. On the bright side, at least the music doesn't get on my nerves. This music is always a bop. Is it bone time now? Crossing my fingers. It's gotta be a bone. There's gotta be a bone. There is still no bone. Incredible. I have been day after day. Find that bone, jeez. This is agonizing. How long did I normally wait for bones? Like, I don't remember how long it was between like the first bone that I gained the to town and the second one. Like, wow. It's like a long time, a lot of number of nights. Lots and lots of numbers of nights. Apparently, bag of dawn, so can't figure out the right spot. Never seen one in the kitchen in the game. It had picked up several in the backyard. There you will see. You need to make sure you're looking around in first person view so that there's one thing on the OZ dog bone underneath the tree. Sometimes under the tree and sometimes and other times on other end over the TV door. Oh, really? Apparently, some people find them in the kitchen. Some people find them under the tree. On my first bone in the kitchen, but number one, this was early in the game, so I think it just be the first part of the game. Oh my god, so we can, the bones can be in multiple locations. So maybe the fact that I've been going out to the yard is exactly why I haven't found the bone. Oh man. Alright, well, it's still bone looking time. There might still be a bone in the kitchen. Off tap, it was in the Japanese version for cheaper. It's adorable, they'll find another chance. What? Oh. Apparently, some people don't like the Japanese versions of Chi the Japanese version of Chibi Robo. I don't know why. Hmm. All right, is there a bone in here? Bone, 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 bone. On a shelf, maybe. I'm looking for a shelf. Shelf with a bone. Oh my God, dog bone! It's in the kitchen. Oh my goodness. Yes. Dog bone time, and it's night time, meaning I can actually call forth the aliens to go to the past. I think it's a progress. Well, good thing I checked once more, or else I probably wouldn't have gone back to the kitchen again. Dog bone dough. Dog bone good. Oh, thank goodness we finally found the bone. I don't think I've ever been more happy to find a bone in my life. Honestly, 
Not if any of the dogs that my parents have had, if the dogs at my parents' house eat a lot of bones. I know, I know the big, the big dogs, mostly the big male dogs usually go, actually, you know what, all the dogs wind up going after the bones. I know the bigger dogs in the past used to always go after the bones. They would chew those bones, like, all the time. And we got a little guy who's a little Jack, uh, Jack Russell Terrier, maybe Pitbull guy mix, and, um, He'll sometimes- I'll sometimes catch him with the bone. He's very sheepish, though, so he's like, you catch him with the bone, and he's like, oh, I wasn't eating a bone. I'm like, no, 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 dude, you're- you good. You- you eat that bone. You enjoy that. Like, that's exactly why we have the bone, for you to enjoy it, so, like, go for it. Don't let us stop you from having a good time. Time for the robots again. Robo-aliens. We get the code. Code to the briefcase. Go upstairs. Get the leg. Go downstairs. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I love how, like, dude, honestly, that UFO looks like it's a UFO with, like, like, like an egg beater on the bottom of it. I'll be honest there. Kind of looks like an egg beater. All right, time to go to the past. I'm gonna shoot this thing again. All right. No mercy, everybody. No mercy. Power shot. There we go. How do I go inside? Alert. Colors. Oh, indeed. You mustn't know. Honestly, like, what am I hurting? I'm not hurting the future. Wanna go again? Yeah, yeah, Telly, come on. Come on in, Telly. The time rift is fine. Yeah. Bedroom. I'm in the bedroom. I'm in the past now. It's like you're flowing through an ocean of time. And honestly, the time pod, kind of, the time machine, kind of looks like a squid. A little squid that's kind of like bloop, 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 bloop through time. Now that I got that bone, oh, here we go. I also recall too, like this song that plays in the past always made me very sad when I was younger. Dog bone. There we go. Offer it to the sky gods, and the sky gods will place it into the bowl. And Tao's just like, oh, a bone. I want that. Right, go get him, little guy. Enjoy that bone. Hey, watch the front door. Lorio Caleb's a storming. Awesome. Hey there, everybody. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all! We're still playing Chibi Robo. I forgot a couple of things, but I'm now going for it, and now I've got the code to the briefcase. Yes. It was 2455, five, right? Was that the password? I, I gotta remember that. 2455. Five. Yeah, Lori Raid, let's go! Welcome to all. Welcome to Lorio again, Casp Casparius. I wonder, I wonder, were you playing some Chibi Robo before? You may have been. We were kind of talking it up a lot before in the speedrunning, so I wouldn't be surprised if you were. Time to go back to our time. And then now that I got the code to the briefcase, I can open the briefcase and get the leg and bring forth the Giga. You were doing some art. Oh, awesome! Was that also Chibi Robo themed, or you just kind of do whatever comes to mind? Aliens are dangerous, yeah. You're not hurt? Must not use again! Oh, well, well I have no purpose to be using that one again. Because I've got everything that I need. I've got the code to the briefcase. Time to go upstairs and utilize it. Do I have enough time in the evening? Uh, yeah, I got plenty of time. Let's go for it. Go for it upstairs. Nice. You are redoing your GG emote and a personal project. That's so cool. Glad to know that you're making progress and all that stuff. I, for one, love to hear progress stories. Progress is good. Very, very good thing. Though, of course, we try not to get ourselves too over-encumbered by the thought that we need to make progress as long as we're having fun. Fun fun is a good thing. I've had fun. Where there's been a lot of ups and downs, but uh, you figure things out. Now I'm right on track. I'm right on track to maybe finish in an hour, perhaps? 
I don't know. It's been a lot. I gotta try to remember when was the last time I even played this game. It must have been a long time ago. Because I remember, I know it was brought up in conversation. Because I actually, this is actually my second copy of Chibi Robo. Because when I went home, I was trying to find it and I couldn't find the disc anywhere. And so my mom's just like, oh, we'll just buy you a new one. And so we wound up buying a new one. And then we found, found the old copy of the disc and the new copy of the disc. So now I got two Chibi Robos, one for home, like home, home, parent home, and then one for here which I'm currently using now. I want to say this is the newer copy, which makes sense, obviously. I'm trying to use the newer one. I'm actually really happy that my GameCube didn't have any problems with it this time. But, um, I don't know. I, I didn't have any doubt that it would. Fired the thing up, had it going for like a half hour before even stream started. It was just working just, working just fine. So, uh, that was the test, and the test passed, and it's been going for over 13 hours now, so it definitely passed. Anyway, time to open the briefcase. You are still sleeping there. Goodness gracious, you poor, poor woman. You work yourself day and night to take care of this house. And I know you've been kind of sleeping in your room, but you've been working on yourself up here. Working yourself mentally, it's good. We try to see the best in things. Enter password. Two, four, five, five. Popping on open. There's the leg. That's a nice little giga leg. And now I can go downstairs and utilize it. Put it on the robo. Yes. I feel so close. Oh my god, look at all y'all. Oh, and that's what re that's what released. Ah, uh, now I recall. Ah. Uh, I see. So the goal, the goal is not to defeat Queen Spider. I have to oh, I have to turn on Giga Robo. This is when the boss fight happens. Oh shit, dog. To be perfectly honest, like why are you keeping those evil thi or I guess they were supposed to be friends, so it's no wonder that they're in the case. Sweet Space Justice. How dare you come barging in? Yeah, you literally knocked down the whole door. This isn't the time for that! Come along there, honey! Head to the living room, little buddy! We're gonna fight these things! Also interesting how the spiders, like, actually make web? Oh, it's time to fight! I've been looking forward to this moment all day long! Seal the door! I'll seal the door, yep. At least we'll now find the TV remote, which will be attached to the Queen Spider, if I recall. I'm gonna look for that TV remote. I bet it's there. My god, there's so many of them. So many of them such as- You have- You have a riot vest? You've got a vest on like- I don't know, it's bulletproof or anything, but you were prepared for this to happen. Alright, guys. What to do from here, you know? Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Um, sorry, Jenny. Uh, we're gonna be stuck in here for a little while, so sorry! Ribbit. Oh, we're... No, we're not in such a hurry. We forgot your drawing set. I'm sorry. Ribbit. Ribbit, I am disappointment. Is there anything that you could do? How about looking at the photo album? Oh, Ribbit. That's good. Yeah, be occupied like that. You used to hate looking in here because it had pictures from before you were born. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. All right, all right. Here you go. Sheesh. Oh, little doggies. The code to Giga Robo and all that stuff. Yeah. What do we see in the book? Perhaps it's time to wake up the Giga. Oh, I just noticed we've drawn the blinds too. Now they won't get in from the outside. Look! Who? It's Giga Robo. He's in the basement. C calculator. Nope, not a calculator. Or perhaps a very, very large calculator. Alright, um, Mr. Sanderson, I have to go take care of business. Uh, little Chibi Robo on the job. You got it, we got it. Oh, circuit breakers, I'm sorry, Chibi Robo, this is all my fault. Because I was the one who designed those nasty spiders. What? You never told me that. Uh, yeah, uh, Ribbit? I know I should have told you. I'm sorry. But listen, 
you need to know something. I designed the spiders to be your friends, Chibi Robo. But then, company reprogrammed them to be hostile and cruel. That's why I quit Macroware Robotics Incorporated. Wait, what? You quit? Like, Q-U-I-T quit? Oh my gosh, you never told me any of that! You never told me any of that! I was ashamed! I didn't want to talk about it! That's all in the past! Right now, we have to get rid of those spiders! I'll put the energy wave that I was researching at Macroware Robotics Inc. to good use! I'll use it to remodel the Chibi Blaster! The spiders are my responsibility, it's up to me to take them out! Me and Chibi Robo! Now that we've got that settled, let's get up the circuit schematic from upstairs! Um, Han? Do you remember what I did with it? Oh, I don't know, I haven't seen it in forever, I probably threw it away! <gasps> threw it away? Oh, the circuit schematic is gone! Crud! What am I gonna do now, Chibi Robo? How about I give you the circuit schematic that I stole from the past? I'm gonna give it to you, buddy. Here's the circuit schematic that you were crying about. I got it. Don't you worry. Sacrifice to the Sky Gods, and then bring forth the information to your brain. You better get to work, Mr. Sanderson. This is the circuit schematic. Ah, now that I have this, I can build something truly amazing! But I mean I told Seth to do it right. Let's go upstairs and grab it, Chibi Robo! What? Hold on, you're going upstairs? Those crazy things are upstairs! I know, but I'm the dad of this family, and if everyone has to be in danger, I want it to be me, and not my child or my wife. H hire honey, Jenny, Tal? If anything happens, promise me that you all take care of one another. I'll be careful. I will. I promise. And when I get back... Yes? I expect a home-cooked meal waiting for me! Yeah, keep on waiting, big guy. Sir! Oh, fine, fine. Come on, let's go, Chibi Robo. Nothing like some artificially introduced conflict to bring a marriage back together. Huh? Hey! Oh! Why would you scream, yeah? Are you excited? Ellipses. Let's shit up, split up, Chibi Robo. We gotta keep the spiders busy. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna get my tools from upstairs. Your blaster won't work on those spiders. It'll be tough, but hang in there. Be careful. It's up to you and me to save this family. All right, let's do this. Let's, let's do it. I just gotta survive for 30 seconds. I'm just gonna pick myself up and just run away. Oh my God, just run. Run, 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 run. Just gotta survive for 30 seconds. 30 seconds, gonna be easy, right? Yeah, hey, don't like it. Oh my god, you're chasing all the way out there. And you can shoot webs and rush in like that. How disrespectful. You have no respect for technology. I mean, I know you are technology, but seriously, like... Actually, I don't know what came before. I wonder if Chibi came before or the spiders came before. I suppose the spiders came... Or the spiders came after the fact because they were designed to help out with the Chibi Robos. Thanks for waiting, little buddy! Let's head to the living room. Yeah, let's head to the living room where I don't know. Are your is your family still on the ground or have that? Oh yes, they are. They haven't been completely locked up yet. <sighs> oh, I oh man, oh, I'm out of shape. Oh crud! The lights too. What in the world is going on around here? Did you find your tools or whatnot? Caro, Caro, Ribbit, Ribbit, I'm your daughter. <laughs> oh, I got it. It's the toolkit, all right. Oh, 
Oh, and there's a little chibi robo in there. It's just like, hey, I'm, yeah, I'm in a can. Got it. All right, yeah, okay, celebration time. All right. Now I can give those spiders what for. Now, hurry, hurry, convert it. Convert it? Rib it. Convert it? Oh. Yeah, I guess. Here we go. Solder time. Okay, Chibi Robo. Um, get out your Chibi Blaster. What? Uh, hey, hey, hey! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't wave that thing around like that. I'll see you in a little bit. Oh, so sorry, sorry. Oh, because he was waving the little thing around. Okay, Chibi Robo, let's get this show on the road. Open up your Chibi Blaster. Hey, look at that. It's actually got stuff on the inside of it. Look at that. Nice. I'm gonna rock your world. Don't worry, this won't hurt a bit. Not like you can feel anything, right? You're a, you're a robot. I remember this part. Nice. All it took was a little spark of inspiration. Uh, oh man, I'm kind of nervous here. Come on, you got it. Don't break it or anything. You got this. Easy. Just a couple of pinpricks and that'll be all you need, Chief Rebo. Great gravy, what have I done? Wait, wait, wait. No, it's fine. It's fine. Don't panic like that. What a way to freak us all the heck out, right? Or at least your family. I'm not freaked out. I'm the player character. There's no problem there. I'm back! Well, welcome back, Lariocalypse. We're getting to the good part. Almost to the good part. Yeah, just get this here. Bam, bam. Now I've got fire, fire power, as opposed to just fire power. Now it's fire, fire power. Okay, Don. Woohoo! Yeah! Time to defeat everybody. Here come the spy. Oh, if it's time. It's time for battle. Man, this just keeps getting worse. We're sitting ducks! Uh, honey? Jenny? Tao? Barkity, barkity, bark, bark, bark. Hang in there. Chibi Robo and I are gonna turn those spiders into a uh, spy chumps. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, totally. Let's go, Chibi Robo. Let's do it. Bark into the foyer. I'm gonna eat those spiders for breakfast. All right, let's kill them all. All I gotta do is shoot them a couple times. It'll be just fine. Just keep on whacking them. I suppose charge shots will probably be the best thing that I should use at this point. But let's see how that winds up working. Easy. I'll be fine. Really doesn't use a lot of energy either. Alright, where are the other ones? I guess I gotta move around. Oh, I see them. They're kind of hanging. They're just kind of hanging around. Oh, yeah. Quit getting with the charge shot. That works really well. Absolutely. Oh, well, it kind of did the thing. Nice. Five more left, but not in this area. Over on the other side. I can exchange all this scrap for moolah if I wanted to. All right, let's do it. Nice. Nice, nice. Oh, those charge shots really work. Oh, for sure. Oh, don't, don't wind up hitting me like that. No, thank you. No, thank you. Is what I should have said. I should stay in bed. Oh, and then screaming ensues. Eek! Ah, oh, stop! I love how the scream was also translated into Ribbit as well. Ah, uh, Ch Chibi Robo, the family's in trouble! Ah, uh, I have a bad feeling about this. You better recharge and hurry to the living room. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. To the living room! And honestly, not much farther than that. What a thing going on here. Might as well recharge, and I guess I'll save too if given the opportunity. Might as well. 
I am going to fight and destroy the queen. Finally. I've recharged 60 times. Very good. I do a little save. Vegas 60 file. Four hour. Oh, yeah. It's doomsday. It's doomsday time. Ready? Then let's go. Pull yourself out of the wall and get on faster. We're back going to the living room. To fight the queen. I honestly, like, my goal was to fight the queen and defeat her because I honestly forgot that the queen came before Giga Robo. So. But I'm gonna open up Giga Robo because that's the end of the game. Help me! That's a lot of web, dude. Oh, typical. Dang, you're still on? Yeah, yeah, I'm almost to the end, though. I almost did it. I was going to finish this game. One shot the whole entire thing. We're very close. Very close to the end. Now I just got to beat the final boss. How long have we been streaming? Eh, about 13 and a half hours. Honestly, I was going to say not the worst I've done. No, this is the worst I've done. This is the worst I've done so far. Yeah, nice. Dog, how? Micro breaks, snacks every once in a while. Probably this weird ability of mine to hyper-focus on things for long periods of time. Also, I dedicated my whole Sunday to this. I knew what I was getting into. Yeah, huh? Oh, what could that be? You are disgusting. And you've got the, uh, you've got the leg on you, and there's the t is there a TV remote, on TV remote on there too, maybe? We were missing one of those too. I can see Giga Robo's leg hanging off your body. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Now, where's the TV remote? We're looking for that, too, honestly. Chibi! It's the mother of all the spiders! Run, Chibi! Run for your life! Time to go onto the ceiling. We're gonna turn this house upside down. What a wonderful boss arena, too. All right, time to shoot the shit out of you with my new and improved blaster power. The, the living room is upside down. It's the power of electromagnets, probably. He's even got an entire refrigerator on top of him. It's time to destroy evil. Space Hunter Robo. I think we need to fight in order to make things go back to normal. Chibi Robo, watch for its web attack! Whoa, okay, trying to watch for its web attack. I won't let that hit me. No, oh my god. Okay, well, I tried to... Oh, I wasn't running fast enough, I bet. Oh, come on, come on. Uh, trying to trying to run for my web attack. I'm trying to run for the web attack. It doesn't really... Oh, there we go. Now I can keep on shooting. Try to go for charge shots if I can. Oh, got myself... Clip trap for the thing again. Consumption! Ah, at a time like this. The perfect time. This is the perfect time to remind for consumption. Honestly, the web attack really ain't that bad. Oh, it does give me a little thing. Watch for its web attack! Trying to. Oh my god, it just keeps on getting me bad. Where's the best way to avoid that? I don't know. Just keep on, keep on keeping on. Shoot the armor off of its body! That's what I'm doing, dog. That's what I'm doing, bro. Honestly, a couple of big old charge shots would be just fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be just fine, I'm sure. Maybe try to avoid its weapon shot if I can. Oh my god, it charges up fast. Oh, you know what? Maybe I need to be a far away from its web attack. Huh. So it costs money to attack? No, I don't know. Money to attack. I'm using energy. It's battery power. I'm battery powered over here. Oh, no. Oh, I see. If I get sucked in, that's where it gets me. Oh, and then the spiders come down from the ceiling. Oh, well, there's only a couple of... Uh, it's only like half the audio system on it now, so we're fine. Telly, you are not helping me with just telling me to shoot the armor off of its body. Obviously, that's the goal here. Use the power of the shooting majigger. Hit him real good. Oh, okay, there goes the sound system. And the cage that was definitely from the basement. There we go! My battery's running low. Oh, shucks. Oh, it's in purple mode. Just a little bit more! My battery is running dangerously though, but you know, that's fine. Oh, you were shooting things. Oh, I gotta get out of the way. Well, Astro's headed on to sleep since he's gotten like no sleep in the past two days. Good luck! Well, thank you, sir, for popping in at the very last moment. I always appreciate your presence. 
Oh dear, don't shoot at me. Mm. I gotta like gain power. Just gotta keep on shooting. I'm gonna run out of energy. I might have to do this one again. Maybe, maybe. Oh dear. Uh oh. Oh, maybe that was it. Oh, sweet. Yes. You did it, Chiba Robo. You did it. Well, that's it. We did it. We killed the queen. Now I've got the leg and the frog ring. You know, I always wondered to myself, if you don't collect the frog ring right here, can you ever get it back? I don't know. I, I always ask myself that question whenever I play this one. Nice. Nice job, guys. Yeah. High five. Finally, after 13 hours. Finally got to it. And it only took a little bit of help. A little bit of help. I had a little bit of help from the internet to remind myself. Things are going back to normal. Yeah, strange how the house just like flipped like that. No idea how that happened. That was crazy, Chibi Bro. You beat that humongous spider. But now, I'm wondering. Was that spider really evil? Or just programmed to act that way? Hmm. What is evil? What is justice? Hmm. I guess Redcrest had some uh, had good thoughts on his shoulder. I think I understand how Mr. Redcrest feels now. Lost. In a train of thought. In any case. Hey, uh, don't forget about us. Shoot us down, please. Uh-oh, too many donuts for me. Pop on down and everybody is a-okay. Ah, nice. Ribbit, ribbit. Oh, yes. Ribbit, indeed. I think everything is okay now. Oh, come on. Give him a kiss. Uh, honey, I've... I've been... I've been such a jerk. Be quiet. Big lug. Give him a smoochie. Whoa, I'm back, baby! No divorce for me! I'm a redeemable character! I love you, honey. Aww. Thank you, Chibo. And you too, Telly. Telly? Telly Vision. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. Thanks, Chibi Robo and Telly. Thank you, Bibbit. Woof. Oh, all the happy points, but not all the all the happy points. Though there is a significant number of happy points. Now I just gotta turn Giga back on. And that's it. That's the final thing that we're doing. I got the spider sticker. You really are amazing. Oh, yes, indeed we are. Now it's time to celebrate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's party time! And so, the party continued late into the night. And family harmony was restored. Excellent! Wonderful. Oh, I guess I gotta... Yeah, I'm kinda low on energy, aren't I? Yeah, I definitely was. Yeah, I was close. You're fully recharged. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Oh, we get to adjust the. Oh, yeah, I definitely did want to go a level up. Sweet! This will give me just enough energy to go turn on Giga. Nice. Top five. That's good. That's good. That's good. Now I'm up to 320. Perfect. Now I just gotta go on downstairs. That's a lot more happy points that I need. And honestly, I do not have the time to do so tonight. Honestly, this has been great. I, I really like being able to go back and like completely re through, re really play through like the games that I remembered so, like I remember so fondly as a child. I'd say remember so vividly, but I apparently didn't remember it so vividly so as to know exactly what I'm doing in every single step of the way, but ah, you know what, that's the fun of it. Hello, Space Hunter Robo! What's up, dude? I got things to do, man. Brilliant work, and I was a witness to it all! You're a true Space Hunter, my friend. Enough! Leave such things aside for now. Let us relax with the watching of television. 
Hurry, I will miss the special technique, the Great Twin Blizzard! Dude, no, I don't, I don't want to do, I don't want to do... The, the Frozen Rings of Saturn! Karma scarce as a blast, we missed it. Unfortunate. We have to watch the news. Shucks. I don't want to watch the news. That's silly. Well, that's the way the asteroid curbles. Space Under Code Part 9. Monitor the pulse of society. Oh, ho, it begins. It's the news time. Uh, good evening, I'm Ron Jabrak John. This is Phone News. Our country has recently been consumed by the white hot fires of Chibi Robomania. And whether you know it or not, the passion casts a dark shadow on everyday life. We now go live to Sunny Merriweather. Sunny, what do you feel about the situation? Rod, I'm coming to you live from in front of the nuclear power plants. This new Chibi Robomania brings with it more than clean floors and clutterfully lives. It is also placing a severe demand on the local power supply. Sources tell phone news that if Chibi Robos continue to fly off the shelves, power demand will outstrip supply and send the region into a panic of unfathomable proportions. We predict rioting, looting, and perhaps the end of our civilization as we know it. Ron, what are your thoughts on that? A dire prediction indeed. Thank you, Sonny. Fellow citizens, continued usage of Chibi Robos appears both dangerous and foolhardy. What will you do? I will continue. And not stop myself. No! That's not true! That's impossible! Space Hunter Chibi Robo, a threat? No way! It just can't be! No! Never! Space Hunter Chibi Robo, we've overcome numerous trials and adversities. But if this is true, have I no choice? Must I actually defeat Space Hunter Robo in Mortal Kombat? If justice defeats justice, is it justice? Oh, the humanity! The mind-bending conundrum! The very pain of life itself! Space Hunter, Drake Redcrest. Find out next time on next season. Space Hunter Robo, Drake Redcrest needs to be alone for a while. I am very sorry. I have to think about life for a while. All right, I'm gonna go wake up my friend now, my uh, my older brother, so to speak. He's a really, really nice guy and an even nicer robo. Good stuff, my friends. Good stuff indeed. I just gotta put that leg back on the robo and then turn him on. Getting so close. Now the question is, will that take me 15 minutes? Will I make it to the 14 hour mark? I don't think I will. That is not the goal. The goal is not to make it to 14 hours. The goal is to turn on Giga Robo. And uh, it's possible that I might just have to start even earlier the next time I play another game from my past to make it past the 14 hour mark. We're always trying to improve upon ourselves. Always trying to break new ground. I'm sure one day I'll be able to pull off a 24 hour stream. That would be pretty awesome. That's a goal to get to, right? Right? I'm not crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy for even thinking about letting me do that. <laughs> One day. Anyway, time to put your light back on. Offer to the sky gods, and then I give to you this gracious leg. Now I'm just gonna turn you on. That's all there is left. Ba, 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 da. Celebration time. Alright, buddy. Here we go. Two, zero, zero, six, six, seven. I bring you back to life, old Robo. The memory doth come back. The secret to immortal life. The power to bring life to anything. And the solution to the world's energy crisis. Potentially. Uh, Chibi Robo, um, look, all the robots are here. It's almost time! Oh. Yar! Everybody's here again. Hello, Captain Plankbeard. Oh, hoy there, QB! What be you doing? What are you doing? What ye be doing? What be you doing? I'm turning this dude back on. By Grog Barrel's flaming blade!
dude. I'm getting like, I'm getting like the feeling, like, ah, oh, I got the chills. Gigarobo. No, you brought him back. No, I definitely did not bring him back. Yes, I did bring him back. Of course, I brought him back. Weebity wobbity woobity wo. That's what Giga, Giga Robo says to yo. Chibi Robo. Giga Robo is saying thank you. That's nice. Oh, that's nice of him. Yeah. 300 happy points. Spread that happiness to everybody. Oh, you got the Giga Robo sticker. I can hardly believe it. You really activated Giga Robo. You are too much, Chibi Robo. I'm going to tell the other toys about this big news. See you later, Giga Robo. Peace out, Girl Scout. Blow me down and batten me hatches. I'm the happiest parent alive here. <sighs> All crying ensues. It is a very emotional moment, I understand. What, what are you doing to Chibi Robo, matey? I'm gonna put him on my shoulder. Isn't that cool? Isn't that nice? <laughs> we'll have to call ye Giga Chibi Robo. Is that right? Time to head up the stairs and let everybody know that I am alive. Go forth. Go forth and conquer the world like you've never thought you could before. And I guess you don't really need the energy power anymore. Time to bring back the promise of ultimate energy. It's endgame material stuff. It's how the world was supposed to end. With the energy crisis being solved. It's okay, Chibi Robo. Or Giga Robo, take your time. You've got the right of it, me hearty. Oh, well, is that right, everybody? Oh, indeed. I do really do miss my friends. Hello, friends. This backwater's no place for the likes of a sailor such as ye. Giga Robo! <laughs> Go for it, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go upstairs. He's a heavy little lug. Heavy big lug, not little lug, heavy big lug, but all the love and affection you could ask for in a robot, which I guess is not a lot. So technically it's infinitely more love and affection than you could ever ask for in a robot. Everybody watch out, there's something like stomping its way into the kitchen, uh, the foyer, I guess. Enemy assault, lock and load. But who be it? Perhaps you recognize our buddy Giga? Nice. Sweet bazooka casserole! Is that Giga Robo? Yeah, he's turned on again. Why, well, hello there, friends. Hello, I've come back to save humanity. Ceasefire, you moron! Huh? Huh? Watch it, soldier. Don't point that thing at me. Does that look like an enemy to you? Company! Salute! Salute to the Robo. What a good Robo. Go forth and conquer, Robo. Oh, look, it's the spaceship rider. And is the, is the hot rod gonna come, like, riding across the, uh, riding across the carpet? Everybody's very happy to see Giga. It's cool that all the toys, like, all recognize Giga Robo. Long time no see. <laughs> well, what do you know? Not like father and son. Where's my piggyback ride? Dude, chill. Yawn all the little funky fillies and stuff. Awesome. Feel the fun stification. Hey, sure is a small one. Keep on rocking, big man. Yeah. Oh, wiggity wiggity wah! Dance for the Giga Robo. What a beautiful time. Now to the living room. I kind of like how, at least in this game, they they really like drag out the scene because it's it's important for everybody. Good evening, citizens. I'm Ron Brookshire for Phone News. 
Our country has recently been consumed by the white-out fires of cheap Rebelmania. And whether you know it or not, this passion casts a dark shadow on our everyday life. Oh, at least this is a rerun from last night. We now go live to Sunny Mayweather. Blah, 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 blah. May, Sunny, blah, 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 blah. We live in the front of the nuclear power plant and every day. Energy crisis, like you said, and the other thing. Clean floors, colorfully lives. Oh, yes, indeed. Yeah, we got it, we got it. Just wait till you see this stuff. You thought that energy crisis now? Wait till you plug this bag boy in again, which you won't have to. Because infinite energy supply. We solved the energy crisis from aliens out of space. It's because of good robots saving alien robots that we have solved the energy crisis. Indeed, fellow citizens. <laughs> and everyone just like, dude, Chibi Robo is great. Shut up. You're fine. Look into my eyes and doubt. Hmm, what would you do, honey? I turn to drink Red Crest and save. I turn it to drink Red Crest and save the world, of course. Admiral Room Activity Detected! Tonight we ride! Space Hunter Drake Redcrest away! Ooh, darling. Oh! My husband is such a scout. Oh my gosh! Giga Robo! I haven't seen you in such a long time! Woof! Yeah, woof! Hello, it is me. I am the Giga Robo. I have come back from the dead because of the Tiny Robo. I am here to make your lives a living hell once again. Or quite the opposite. Haha, <laughs> that was a joke. I mean no harm. I am merely a robot. But I have to go make up my promise to my friends. I, 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 I fall to the ground. What is wrong with you? You reactivated him, right? Right? Oh, for Pete's sake. Where are you going, Giga? I need to go say hello to my friends. My friends, the aliens, they have promised me something. I need to go say hello. They are my friends. I saved them from the pits of despair. Not the pits of despair, the pits of your backyard. Unfortunately, no one died. That was also a joke. See, it's humor. And now nighttime come forth, and so do the aliens. Ah, oh, what a touching reunion. Like, gotta love the oboes and the strings and the flutes and stuff in the background. Gotta love that. Everybody's down. Oh, they're so hot and bothered. But now they're very happy to see, right? I mean, it really wasn't that long ago. I mean, eight years, maybe. Eight, ten years, perhaps? Shrimp crash! Fun, nice catch! That's actually pretty dope that, like, Giga Robo was able to save the aliens. Fun, save you! Thank you, thank you! We offer thank you gifts! What? Any two wishes! Friend first wish! I want to give soul to toys! Aww, that's so nice of them! We give ball of light! Then friend, fr friends, friends move! Is that how they did it? Friend kind! Good guy! Good guy! The best guy. Friend second wish. For Sanderson's and Giga Robo's in the world. A body that does not need energy. But no more balls of light in spaceship. No more balls of light in spaceship. We return to our home. And we bring back Ball of Light again! Aliens never break promise! Like pirates! Aliens never lie! Good P! 
people. Not fun will live forever. Friends, sit, sit, sit down. That's dope, dude. I mean, I, I knew all this happened already, but even still, like, just seeing it all again is just so, it's so heartwarming. It's so touching. That somber moment. We give the power of the balls of light to you! And gyrate a little bit as it comes back down. Take this and accept this eternal body. The power of light within you. Go forth. Pow! Now you live forever. No need to be plugged into power. Yo, Chibi Bruno's body is definitely backwards. I'm going out of control! Literally, Giga Robo is foaming at the mouth. Or foaming at the neck, I guess. Robots just like, did we just kill our friend? Oh yeah, we're totally surpassing the 14 hour mark. Nice! Such torture. Such torture we put ourselves through. Now, come back to life. Now he doesn't need the battery. Good, it is done. Friend don't need energy. Friend have eternal battery now. Chibi Robo, friend too. Friend no need energy. Friend have eternal battery. Plug it on in, buddy. Plug into adventure. Oh, there it goes. All the way up to the top. But then, all the way back down to death. But then, we go all the way back up. Because what is infinity, but not the very end of everything? Chibi Robo! Now you've got Infa Battery! Are you alright? No, I think I died. You are alright, aren't you? Yes. I'm more than alright. Everyone, don't panic, don't panic, I've got it under control, it's fine. Chibi Robo and Giga Robo aren't broken! Celebration time, come on! Return to planet! Bye, everyone! Until next time! And then they turn back into the actual uh, alien forms. Can't sing this on Earth! Bad air! I love that they actually turn to like these alien like flubby wubs, but they take on the form of the friends! Earth Inky, return home! Little squid dude! There he goes! Awesome. Bye bye. Bye bye, Giga. Interesting how like these this particular area alien race has the ability to grant wishes. Incredible. What's wrong? What just happened? Giga Robo. You're out of juice! Infinity? You don't need energy anymore! Yes, Master. That's absolutely correct. You too, GB Robo! Yes. Let's just- let's just ne never tell anybody. Great Galloping Gamble Race! The energy crisis has been solved! And that's the end of it. And so go the staff credits and staff roll beginning. That was awesome. Honestly, this is the second time 
I have done like a marathon type stream like this where I kind of go back and play specifically a GameCube game. Uh, of course, it doesn't have to be for the system. I like I really like doing stuff like this. It's nice that like I like to think of this as like, excuse me, a day that I get to take to obviously relax and chat with the people who's on the line and just like kind of like like really appreciate it by dedicating an entire day to something that I felt like, I, I don't know, it feels like really, really good because I feel like over the course of like my entire childhood and stuff like that, I spent like so much time on these games anyway and I feel like I kind of lost touch with that stuff. But as I got older, it's nice to be able to just like take a day and just like almost like feel reattached to um, these games that I felt so attached to and kind of like give it new life, at least in my memory. My memory's not super good at remembering a lot of things in a timely manner for long periods of time. So this kind of gives me a nice little refresher to go back through it all again. See, and look, look at that. The news crews in the past are back are just like, oh my God, you've got an infinite energy robot. We are definitely going to do like, like um, experiments on this. Like seriously, y'all. For sure. Like there's no way that they're not gonna like, oh, look at that. There's a cloud in the sky, the little chibi robo with a little heart on the end of its plug. Bink. That's one final cuteness. Oh, how lovely. Well, that was an absolute blast. I gotta say, I finally feel the tiredness. I definitely feel that tiredness now. And I can't wait to brush my teeth and head straight to bed after this. Because we did it. We've accomplished that goal. As soon as Telly shuts up and I have that one chance to save. Just in the happy points total. Looking pretty good at this rate. Make it number one won't be any problem at all. Just keep on doing what you're doing, Chibi Robo. Here are your results. I'm at rank four now, right? I think I want to say, oh, five to one. Okay, I'm already there. Sweet. I got all the ranks. Now I'm super Chibi Robo. To celebrate your making number one. Uh, yeah. Citrus Soft has sent you a special gift: a super Chibi Robo costume. Excellent. Nice. Just icing on the cake. I'm just as I was before, but now even more shiny. And I've got a little S on me. Super Chibi Robo. Look at that, you finally made it. Congratulations, Super Chibi Robo. I'm glad that I accomplished that goal, too. This isn't your first day as Super Chibi Robo. Get on out there. Oh, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While you're here, Chibi, would you like you like to save? I would. And that's it. We've done it, everybody. That is all I've got. Ladies, gentlemen, and those who fall in between and beyond. That's all I've got. I'm going to walk outside just so I can have the nice music in the background as I go to the other screen. But that was a joy. I am very tired now. So off to the ending screen. This is where I'm going to end it to the evening. For everybody who stuck around until the very end, I very much appreciate your presence. I always do. We had a, uh, one new wonderful party guest come along, and I'm thankful for absolutely all of you. Um, I'm surprised I managed to... I, I guess I'm not surprised that I made it this long. 14 hours? No problem. No problem. Let's see if I can get it up to 24 hours. That would be 10 more hours than we are now. Uh, that'll be a goal for someday. In any case, I always appreciate everybody's company. I don't know what I'm going to do is my next marathon thing. I don't know. But what I do know is I will be back on Tuesday uh, with another game as I wind up doing while I figure out my schedule and life stuff. In any case, it is about 12.30 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. So I'm calling it a good morning for myself. But to everybody else, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night or day or evening, or twilight, or dawn, or whatever time it might be, wherever you are, the party must continue. So with that being the case, so long to everybody. Peace out, and party on. Until next time. Bye, everybody.